Hi guys, I want to invite you to join the Patreon where you will get some benefits as well as audiobooks that will not be uploaded on YouTube. Over at Yenju, they were busy making clay replicas of monks and witches. Li Xia's place is also not easy. He first went back to Maple Village and was surprised to find that Inuyasha was still nailed to the sacred tree by the ceiling arrow. It's been several days, right? Ailey didn't come over to unblock Inuyasha. Could it be that after Ailey was cursed, he suffered serious equelli and had difficulty moving? The more he thought about it, the more worried he became. So he returned to the modern world without even having time to say hello to Mithraya and others. When I arrived at Higarashi Shrine, I only saw Mr. Higarashi who was cleaning the yard. Grandpa Higarashi, are Higarashi-san feeling better? When he saw it was Li Xia, the old man was startled for a moment, and then he was filled with surprise. Xia Jun. You are finally back. Ali is still asleep and has lost weight Xia Jun, what did she experience on the other side of the well, and why did she become like this? What? You haven't woken up yet? Although Li Xia was worried at first, he was not in a panic. But after hearing the old man's extremely excited response, I was really surprised. Yes, come and go to the hospital with me quickly. In the eyes of the elderly, this young man knows the most and may be helpful to his granddaughter's improvement. As the old man said this, he threw away his broom and tried to grab Li Xia's left hand, which he had disguised using illusion magic. But because it was an illusion, the result was a futile attempt. Xia Jun, your hand. It's okay. I'll lend it to someone else for a few days and I'll get it back after a while. Li Xiahuan didn't care. But the old man's hands were trembling is it so dangerous over there? The resentment and blame that had been suppressed in the old man's heart all disappeared at this moment. My granddaughter is just in a coma, her life is not in danger, and she will wake up sooner or later but this child, at such a young age, has lost a left arm. What a great kid. He has been working hard to protect his silly granddaughter, right? It's really okay. Li Xia comforted. At this time, he grabbed the old man's wrinkled hand with his right hand, asked about a Li's condition, and rushed towards the hospital together. The two took a taxi and quickly arrived at the hospital. Sure enough, Ali was lying quietly on the hospital bed and sleeping at this time. There is also an eye-catching hanging bottle hanging next to the hospital bed. Coincidentally, three of Ali's best friends and Higarashi's mother were there. The former should happen to be visiting a good friend today. Auntie, how is Higarashi-san doing now? Li Xia eagerly stepped forward to ask. Xia Jun, you are back. Just come back. After Higarashi's mother saw Li Xia, a stone hanging in her heart was slightly relieved. Then he added some details that the old man didn't explain clearly on the way. One is that just three days ago, the two four soul fragments in Ali's neck that almost penetrated the aorta were finally discovered by modern medical equipment. But the attending doctors at the hospital all felt troubled and couldn't decide whether to perform the operation. Because from a physical point of view, the main reason why the girl was fine but still fell into a coma was not the two fragments. From the soul level, it happens to be the four soul fragments that are causing trouble. In the opinion of the attending doctor, the little girl's life is not in danger without surgery and she can wait for Ali to wake up on his own. Surgery would be life-threatening. This is a bit difficult to handle. Another thing is that strange things happened several times in the ward where Ali was located. For example, every midnight, Ali would disappear inexplicably in the hospital bed and reappear in the early morning. This kind of thing is very strange. Thanks to Higarashi's mother watching here every night and hiding it from the doctors and nurses, the hospital didn't notice this abnormality. Otherwise, things would probably get into trouble. Does that happen again after changing rooms? In the corner, Li Xia asked softly. I've changed it twice, but it doesn't work. Higarashi's mother, who was very haggard, shook her head. This made Li Xia narrow his eyes slightly. It feels like there are probably ghosts like Mayu or monsters like the demon child spirit at work. Auntie, please don't worry. Now that I'm back, I won't make Higarashi's condition worse. I will find a way to wake her up as soon as possible and take out the two fragments in her neck. But some things are inconvenient it's going to be done in the hospital, 
so he'll have to trouble you to get Ali discharged from the hospital first. Good. Compared with those clueless doctors, Higarashi's mother believed in Li Xia who had supernatural powers. Outside the room, Ali's three best friends had already been ignited by gossip. Isn't that Xia Jun, who just transferred to our class and has been attending classes for a few days? I heard that he took a long vacation and may not come to class this semester. I didn't expect that he would suddenly appear in Ali's ward. Yuka, who had short black hair, said in surprise. Looking at his anxious and worried look, are you familiar with Ali? Eri, who has long hair shawl, is thoughtful. The fluffy haired Ayumi was even more confused I see that Auntie and Grandpa Higarashi are very familiar with him. Isn't this the first time they have met? Do you think they are relatives? No, Ali's family background is not unfamiliar to us at all. Then, will Xia Jun be Ali's boyfriend? As soon as Ayumi said this, the eyes of the other two women lit up it's very possible. The reason why Mr. Xia asked for leave. If it is for Ali, then it makes sense. The reason why he appears here is a kind of proof. Wow. I didn't expect that Ali would have a boyfriend behind our backs. Maybe they're all engaged. Got engaged. So envious. He took Ali out of the hospital, and then directly passed through the bone-eating well and returned to the Warring States monster world. Then he went straight to Yao Lao Dushin. With the old immortal's OD, he was able to take out two four-soul fragments from Ali's neck without any damage. It was easy to pick them up at his fingertips. Without the four soul fragments causing trouble, Ali's consciousness quickly returned, and he was awakened in the wine vat world after a while. Kid, this thing is so tight. You'd better use it sparingly to avoid being plotted by this thing. The old immortal who handed the two fragments to Li Xia gave serious instructions. Well, I'll pay more attention. Li Xia knew that the old man was doing it for his own good so he would not refute the old immortal's kindness. How's it going, Ali? Li Xia turned around and asked. But the next moment, he was wrapped in a wave of warmth, which was the girl's hug. Being held in someone's arms, she was still a beautiful woman. Li Xia's heart was beating wildly at this moment. Xia Jun, I'm so scared. I thought I would never see you again. I was trapped in a darkness, and there was no sound in that darkness to respond to me. I don't even know how long it has been. The girl spoke incoherently. Li Xia listened quietly to the girl's story while listening to his own heartbeat. After roughly understanding the situation, I became more certain that the jade of the four souls was at work. Trying to use the sequelae caused by the curse of the black witch Chun to plunge Ali into permanent darkness. Once Ali cannot withstand the test of darkness, such as making a wish to the four souls jade in advance. Hiss. Thinking of this, he felt more and more evil and hot about this jade. By the way, Ali, please relax first, I can't breathe. Next, Li Xia and Ali both began to accumulate their own strength. They stayed in Lao Xian's wine tank water world for nearly half a month. In the past ten days, they not only learned some magic ODs from the powerful monks, but also learned the spiritual ODs of different factions from many witches. Ali's inheritance is too incomplete and thin. He can use the demon-destroying arrow with just one move. In view of this, Li Xia specially combined the Black Miko Chun and many Miko schools, and selected a total of small-scale defensive barrier, large-scale hidden barrier, spiritual barrier. Spiritual rebound, spiritual power light ball, breathing condensation technique, spiritual power burst, and butterfly purification technique are eight techniques for Ali to specialize in. Small area defensive barrier it has a powerful defensive effect. It doesn't take too much time to arrange, and it can even be done in one thought. Can be used in emergencies, but requires concentration. Large-scale concealment barrier it can isolate the area where it is located. Outsiders cannot know the exact location and cannot enter it, which can have an excellent concealment effect. Spiritual power rebound, in the original timeline, Kikio used this move to bounce back the curse of the black Miko Tsubaki. Spiritual power burst and spiritual power light ball, Ali had already used them before under Chun's control. Li Xia collected and sorted them again as a means for the little girl to protect herself in close combat in the future. These many experienced Miko's experiences can more or less allow the girl to move from the basic to the advanced quickly. Then there is the breathing technique, as the name suggests. 
It is best for a mage turret like Ollie to be as low-key as possible before the war. Butterfly Purification Technique The Witch uses talismans to materialize the clear power to purify the target. It is mostly used to deal with dirt that cannot be touched. Ali used to touch the four soul fragments contaminated by evil energy directly with his hands, which was actually very dangerous. If Funai moved her hands and feet on any piece of jade she landed on, the little girl might capsize in the gutter. This time, didn't Tsubaki use the four soul fragments and the girl's blood as a medium to successfully complete the curse? The second time around, Li Xia really couldn't guarantee that he would be so lucky again. After all, what if he happened not to be with Ali at that time? He was really worried about leaving the safety of his friends to Inuyasha who relied solely on his nose. As for Li Xia himself, what techniques did he learn? He didn't learn anything about attacking. His energy is really limited and he cannot learn so much at once, and he has three major shikigami to make up for his shortcomings in attack therefore. His main learning direction is towards auxiliary and defensive types. Abbreviation Life-Saving Category Anyway, he didn't want to miss anyone that could enhance his life-saving ability. For example, he can already construct the boundary known as the turtle shell in zero. One seconds. Not only is it fast, but its hardness is not bad either. Even the poisonous dragon's sharp claws cannot loosen it. When he thought of Neraku's powerful purple barrier in the original work, he became extremely greedy. After Bailing Mountain, Neraku's opponent's barrier not only adds the means to control the monster energy and rebound the opponent's monster power SS it also has the ability to connect and attract each other. And can strengthen the ability to travel through space from the monster cemetery and return to the living world. This can no longer be described by a simple turtle shell. Of course Li Xia was greedy for this. I also understood that Neraku had made subtle structural changes to his own barrier. Therefore, he not only specialized in the study of mana enchantment, but also figured out the demon power enchantment based on the gourd's drawings. Finally, he even tried to combine mana and demon power to create a hemp rope enchantment with dual attributes. He is also seeking change and seeking progress. The so-called hemp rope boundary actually utilizes the production principle of hemp rope. Regardless of the conventional mana enchantment or the conventional demon power enchantment, the principle is a single energy of the same type flows according to a law. Forming a barrier that isolates the inside and outside for stronger ones, a barrier can also be formed on the outer surface of the barrier. The repulsive force of stocks to the outside world. There is a sense of deja vu with countless threads running parallel together to form a rope. Based on the principle that every inch of the hemp rope is entangled with each other to greatly enhance the toughness. Li Xia allowed mana and demon power to overlap and entangle with each other regularly, trying to form a more resilient barrier. The initial attempt was not smooth. One reason is that mana and demon power are two different energies. There are more or less conflicts with each other, so it is inevitable that the two will overlap and mutually exclude each other. In the past, his magic power was far weaker than the demon power, and this situation was not very obvious now. His magic power is stronger than the big Osmanthus mask and the godly tree mask, but not much stronger, so it has become more obvious. Another reason is that the overlapping form of hemp rope is more complex. Take three one meter long thin ropes and tie them side by side to form a thicker rope. The length is basically still one meter but if you use hemp ropes to overlap and tie them, the three one meter long ropes will be tied into one hemp rope. There may only be 90 centimeters left that is, 90 centimeters. If you want the final hemp rope to be tied to be 1 meter long, the thin rope you choose initially must be at least 1. 1 meters long. In other words, the barrier structure created by Li Xia is more complex and requires more mana and demonic power. If it is too refined, it will require a high degree of mental concentration to maintain it. If you relax even a little bit, you are likely to miss the mark. In addition, the amount of mana and demonic power used increases, which naturally consumes more energy. This is not friendly at all for a beginner. In addition to the enchantment aspect, he also learned the breath-holding technique, induction technique, clairvoyance technique, repulsion technique, and meditation technique. Breathe concentration technique can strengthen one's own breath concentration. Induction technique can enhance his sensitivity to evil spirits. Sky Eye Technique can increase his chances of seeing through the changes in monsters. 
Repulsion technique is used to repel foreign objects or help them stay away from dangerous targets. Calm down technique is mainly to help him calm down quickly when he is panicking. This was originally a blessing technique that senior mages and witches could use to face powerful monsters in high-end situations. So that they could face danger without fear how it would be used on Li Xia would depend on his on-the-spot performance. There are some flaws, probably due to the failure to acquire the SS of high-level practitioners to fly in the air. In the original work, the sweetheart by Lingshan's body has long since become a mummy and cannot move around normally like ordinary people, but she can still fly. The old man flew out from Bailing Mountain in a daze. He is also the only human being who flies without any flying vehicles or monster pets. Unfortunately, there is no flying heritage among this group of monks. However, with everyone's concerted efforts, he was provided with several additional fusion instruments that were pretty good. Relying on the old immortal's poisonous wine jar, all the magical weapons of dozens of people were fused. Similar to the rebirth of Coral's flying bone in the original timeline. A cassock, a zen staff, a magic pestle, and a rosary in one hand. When Li Xia put on the big Uzmanthus mask, a mighty green dragon climbed quietly on his back and then opened his cassock again with a look of compassion on his face maybe he could achieve another identity change with just a bald head. More than ten days of wine world precipitation. This allowed Li Xia to basically use his soaring SS with ease. It also gave Ali his first formal exposure to the witch's training course. It makes up for the shortcomings of its own lack of means to a great extent. How do you feel about using this longbow? The long bows used by more than 10 or 20 senior witches for many years, with the help of the old immortal's poisonous wine, finally merged into the only treasure bow. A treasure bow formed under such circumstances would probably have miraculous abilities and would no longer be an ordinary longbow. It is similar to a monk's magic weapon, which has been maintained by the mage all year round. It has more or less exorcism properties attached to the magic weapon. Miko who are good at bending bows and setting arrows, and the longbows they hold are no exception. Xia Jun, thank you. Ali bit his red lips lightly, then lowered his head slightly, his eyes constantly moving and dodging. When she thought of the scene half a month ago when she took the initiative to hold the classmate in front of her in her arms, her cheeks became hot and she felt a severe fever. Fortunately, Li Xia didn't think he had suffered a loss and asked to take it back or sewing. Outside world. The old immortal was already quite unhappy. He is lecherous, but that doesn't mean he likes to eat dog food. He has been cultivating in the mountains and fields for hundreds of thousands of years. Now he just wants someone to get out of here and stop tormenting him. Maple Village Li Xia, who returned to the village, had a complicated expression after seeing Inuyasha with a few fallen leaves on his body. Did I seal Inuyasha? Ali blamed himself a little. Li Xia comforted the girl. I don't blame you. You didn't get the orthodox inheritance from the shrine maiden before, and you had never been exposed to many things, let alone use them. At that time, you had a powerful spiritual power but no means to use it. It's normal for the black Miko Tsubaki and Naraku to plot against them intentionally or unintentionally. Besides, you only used sealing arrows instead of demon-breaking arrows. It will not cause fatal harm to Inuyasha. On the contrary, the ceiling this time has only benefits and no harm to him. With this lesson, he should also have a longer memory. How could one be plotted against someone using similar tactics again and again? Of course, you too must remember this lesson. From now on, you can no longer be careless. In addition, you also need to practice various SS frequently, do some homework that a witch should do, and develop your own potential as much as possible. I understand, Mr. Xia. Ali responded in a clear voice. She had actually thought about it during this period, if she had known many witches' spells in advance, would she have been D so easily? The answer is negative. Because Kikio easily countered the black Miko Tsubaki back then. She inherited her foundation from Kikio, so there is no reason why she should be so much worse than Kikio. Well, you just understand the truth. Although no matter when or where you are in danger, I will try my best to protect you but I still hope that you can proactively learn some self-rescue ODs. Because there are many when the time comes, I really may not be able to make it in time. Besides, I also want to experience the feeling of being rescued by you. Li Xia smiled gently. 
His warning words would not have much effect if placed before this incident, and the girl might not listen to them. After all, Granny Fong, as a senior witch, had already taught Ali some witch techniques. But the little girl has always relied on her friends and has not studied seriously at all. Grandma Maple, as Kikio's younger sister, traveled with her sister fifty years ago and met the black Miko Tsubaki. At that time, she learned not only the SS of archery from Kikio, but also many things about witches. Required courses. For example, the witch's barrier. However, Grandma Fang's talent is limited and can only be described as mediocre. She is the most common and ordinary witch in this era. After fifty years of accusation, the old man could only cooperate with Mithraya to build a hidden barrier with many flaws. In the past three or four months, due to the many inspirations and force training brought by Inuyasha and others. His SS have made great progress, and he can basically hold up a defensive barrier independently. As for Ali, as the reincarnation of Platycodon Platycodon, and having to go out to collect the fragments of the four souls despite all kinds of risks, Granny Fong had no reason to hide them with her broom. However, the little girl only had the demon-breaking arrow and the sealing arrow from beginning to end in the original timeline. Is this normal? Now. With the appearance of Li Xia, this knowledge blockade was broken. After experiencing the Black Witch incident, Ali was a blessing in disguise. Not only did he gain the inheritance of many senior Micas, but he also learned a lot of lessons, and finally no longer completely relied on Inuyasha and other teammates. She already understood that in that endless darkness, when she was in despair, no one could help her immediately. She can only rely on herself. Thank you, Xia Jun. Okay, let's save people. I just hope this lesson is really effective. Li Xia felt solemn when he thought that in the original work, the girl was plotted by the psychic four soul jade. And was hit by Neraku's clone by Yi using the underworld waning moon to break the underworld. At that time, it was Ali who faced that darkness, almost reaching the edge of collapse, and fear was about to swallow him up. And if the little girl does not have the halo of the E, there is a high probability that she will suck to the darkness. As a result, he made a wrong wish, fell into the trap of the Four Souls Jade. And was forcibly pulled into the inner space of the Four Souls Jade to form another never-ending struggle with Neraku's soul. On the other hand, the Miko Kikio acted independently from beginning to end. It combines wisdom, strength, independence, and a strong mind. This woman's inner strength allowed her to be severely wounded by Neraku who came out of Bailing Mountain. But she was always confident in defeating this big boss who had almost collected the entire Four Souls Jade alone. Regardless of the final result, Kikio, who has long been accustomed to the loneliness of a strong man, at least has a big heart that Ali did not have at this period. That strong belief is beyond the reach of Ali, the E who occupies the main common soul. Kikio is caught in Shere Khan no Tama's scheme and will never panic. Therefore, what Li Xia is doing now, what he wants to do, is to strengthen Ali's heart. Realize the huge potential in a girl's body. By the way, the heart of a strong little girl. Don't become the team's most unstable weak point. If he fell into the underworld like in the original plot, he couldn't guarantee that he would be able to get it back without any danger. The same goes for this one, but don't end up in the same place a third time. While Li Xia was muttering in her heart, she took several photos of Inuyasha from different angles as a souvenir. This precious material is so rare. I'm afraid it won't happen again in the future. After the photo was taken, Ali stepped forward. He grabbed the sealed arrow he shot before. Powerful spiritual power exploded, and the arrows melted quickly. Inuyasha woke up slowly. I am. Inuyasha glanced around and saw Ali and Li Xia nearby, as well as Mithraya, Coral, Micah, Chibao, Aha, and Granny Fong, etc. Who were rushing towards the small forest not far away. I'm still a little confused. His memory still stuck to more than twenty days ago. Ali, is your curse okay? Inuyasha was still very concerned about this. Don't worry, Mr. Xia will take me to Lao Xian's place and help me remove the last remaining sequelae. The girl smiled energetically. In fact, what she didn't know was that the old immortal only helped to recuperate her body. And it was Chun who secretly resurrected the body of clay that truly eliminated the hidden danger of the curse. 
As the saying goes, to untie the bell, you must tie the bell. No one knows her own cursed style better than Tsubaki. By the way Inuyasha, how are you? There's nothing wrong, right? It's okay, I'm just a little hungry. After Inuyasha learned about the situation of the girl in front of him, he breathed a huge sigh of relief. After all, Ali's suffering before had a lot to do with him. The main reason was that he didn't listen to Li Xia's prompts and took Ali back to the opposite side of the bone-eating well. And failed to interrupt the curse of the Black Witch in time, which triggered everything that followed. He still feels a little guilty. His companion was fine, and the big stone hanging in his heart finally fell to the ground. You can't blame Ali. I can only direct my anger at the person behind the scenes. Ha! Huh. Just you're fine. The little girl was equally relieved. After all, she was the one who sealed this little friend. Although it happened for a reason, I was still a little embarrassed. Master Inuyasha, you finally woke up. On the mic is back near here, Mr. Mingjia was overjoyed. With one leap, he jumped onto Inuyasha's shoulder, and then he aimed at Inuyasha's neck and took a bite to show his longing and respect for his little master. Snapped. As soon as the slap sounded, Mingjia, who had just taken half a sip, instantly became a thin piece of paper. I have to be amazed at this guy's resilience. In addition, its jumping ability and vitality are also quite amazing. If Neraku gets the physical ability of Mr. Mingjia, who knows how troublesome it will become. At this moment, when he touched the empty Inuyasha at his waist, his expression changed. Where is my iron broken tooth? Hearing this, Li Xia roughly recounted what happened more than twenty days ago. Inuyasha frowned when he learned the details. Has the Tetsuya fallen into Sesomaru's hands? Now, I'm in trouble. He knew very well that it was useless for Li Xia to get the iron broken tooth, which had become extremely heavy and difficult for him to swing. The situation was critical at that time, and it was indeed the best choice to leave it to Sesomaru, the great monster. But, those are his iron teeth. How can he get it back later? Xia Jun, Xia Jun, you are really going to cause me trouble. Inuyasha was thinking this, and suddenly realized sewing was wrong. Wait a minute, wasn't Sesomaru always rejected by Tetsuya? How did he come up with a solution? It's Natsukuen, Natsukuen gave away his left arm. Yukai can't use Tetsuya, but Natsukuen cut off his left arm and gave it to Sesomaru to replace, and then he repelled Naraku's group of monsters and went straight to Huanglong it hit Naraku hard. Miroku sighed. Only then did Inuyasha notice that Li Xia's left sleeve was empty. Xia, Xia Jun. You. Inuyasha's pupils shrank at first, then slowly widened his eyes. I'm fine. Also, don't worry, since I sent Tai Suya away, I will naturally find a way to get him back to you. Li Xia waved his hand and promised seriously. At this moment, all the small complaints in Inuyasha's heart disappeared. Instead, there was deep guilt. When Inuyasha learned everything, he wanted to slap himself twice. After Mithraya and Koro learned more details this time, they admired Li Xia even more. Ali understood that Li Xia mainly chose to take risks and get angry because of her, and he pursed his lips in emotion. Granny Fong, Chibao, Ah Ba, Mr. Mingjia, etc. were also in awe. For the safety of everyone, he was willing to sacrifice one of his arms and silently did a lot of preventive work. Such a companion is really too reliable. The Musashi Plain is more than a hundred miles northeast. A village is located. A little demon had been causing trouble for many days, and was finally solved by a young mage passing by. While the villagers were preparing various foods to thank the wandering monk, a woman in a cloak among the crowd took one more look at the young monk, and then left quietly. After the monk had left the village some distance away, this beautiful woman in her twenties appeared from behind a big tree and looked at the young man with a sad expression. Miss, what are you doing? The mage was relatively cautious at first. I was originally the daughter of a famous family in Nara City in the south, but my family has been destroyed in the war. I should be the last survivor of the family. In order to revive the family business, I want to have a child with a young and strong man. The beauty wearing a cloak and with an excellent figure spoke out her identity and purpose. As he spoke, he took a few steps forward and looked at the young mage expectantly. His face was slightly red and pale, and coupled with his big misty eyes, 
he made me feel pity for him. So, you have a crush on me? The young mage's eyes brightened slightly. He fully understood the painstaking efforts of the girl in front of him who had no demonic aura. More recognition of the other person's vision. Borrowing seeds from outstanding men is a fine tradition of this era, in this land. The beautiful woman took the initiative to ask him for seeds, which shows that he is still very good. Master Mage, are you willing to help me realize my wish? The beautiful woman took a vigorous step and bumped gently into the arms of the young mage who had just become a master and lacked experience. This collision seemed to open a door to the soul. Someone's heart beats like a drum. This. Looking at the little cherry mouth that was getting closer and closer, and looking at that beautiful and beautiful face, the young man felt his mouth was dry. However, what he didn't notice was that the woman's back and waist were quietly torn apart, and two huge blades stretched out. The originally calm surroundings were suddenly filled with powerful demonic energy. Before the young mage could react, his whole body was already held in the arms of a large mantis that stretched out to a height of 7 to 8 meters and a body length of more than 10 meters. Master Mage, I'm attracted to you. The big mantis opened its sharp mouthparts and screamed strangely. The young man was horrified, and the souls of the dead were at risk. Not good. He never expected that a large mantis monster with great demonic power would eat the internal organs of a human woman and then hide in this empty shell to hide its demonic aura and continue to injure people. This monster is so cunning. Monster, don't even think about it. The robes on the young mage's body bulged, and spells fell out of the pockets around his waist, as if some powerful backhand was about to explode. Result. Click. His waist was broken. The big mantis gave him a hard hug and ate him. No, I can't die here. I promised Master Shen Quan that I would come back alive. But the world in his eyes still quickly faded from color to gray. Kacha kacha. Blood splattered and quickly dyed the land red. The big mantis monster feasted happily. There is no chance for the prey in its mouth to struggle to its death. The young monk was quickly eaten, with no bones left. The flesh and blood of a strong mage is so delicious. After the big mantis had a small meal, he was about to return to the village and pick a good-looking woman to try to reproduce the record for the fourth time. This sinister man's move almost made him develop his own ideas. But in mid-air, a joking voice suddenly sounded. If that guy Neriku also acted as a woman, maybe he wouldn't have suffered the heavy blows he suffered before, right? Who is you? The big mantis turned its head and looked at the beautiful figure on the feather boat with a wary expression. What responded to it were dozens of sharp wind blades the dance of wind blades. The person who came was none other than Kagura. After finishing off the big mantis monster, she threw out a piece of squirming flesh. This piece of flesh and blood rapidly expanded in mid-air, and then quickly enveloped the big mantis. Ha! Huh. It seems that the movement was a bit loud and alerted the villagers. Before she could take action to block the news, a group of hell-poisonous insects called the Most Fierce Shing rushed out, causing the village in front to quickly become ruined and abandoned. That night. Maple Village. In Granny Fong's house. Xia Jun, what should we do next? Should we continue to collect jade fragments? Or looking for that evil monster called Neraku? Mathreya asked with a serious expression. Although Neraku cut off the wind cave curse between him and him, after Li Xia's analysis, it was basically certain that this was only temporary. If he couldn't do sewing while Neraku was weak, he would have missed the opportunity to beat up the drowned dog. This is really a pity. After Li Xia thought for a moment, he gave an answer that shocked everyone. Next, let's just split up into two groups. The troops are divided into two groups. Everyone was shocked and confused. Among them, Ali, who made a special trip back to the modern world to tell his family that he was safe, had his beautiful eyes widened even more. In her opinion, her relationship with Li Xia only had the last layer of window paper left. Even her mother and grandfather highly approved of her and Li Xia's further progress. To suddenly separate at this time, is this considered to allow both parties to calm down? I have to say, the little girl is so sensitive. In fact, Li Xia really wanted to give Ali more time to think about it. In the long process of getting along with each other, he really had a good impression of the girl. 
During the half month of getting along with Lao Xian, the relationship between them heated up sharply. He is very happy to be able to get together with him. But out of respect, he decided to give the little girl some more time to think about his true thoughts. Let Ali see clearly whether she made her choice out of true love or out of self-blame and guilt. To outsiders, he likes to play dirty. But for his own people, he hopes to treat each other sincerely. Of course, he didn't say it clearly, but gave other explanations. Nariku faked his death to show weakness before, in order to let us completely ignore his existence. So that he can complete another wave of accusation in secret and relieve his breath as soon as possible. The four soul fragments also need someone to collect them. Therefore, my opinion is that the four of you continue to search for the fragments of the four souls scattered all over the place. The other way is for me to do alone. We use a two-pronged approach to improve search efficiency as much as possible. Li Xia was determined. With his strength soaring, although it is still difficult for him to win against the big monster, he is more than enough to protect himself. In addition, he also had the intention of tempering Ali while Nariku was at a low point. Let Ali go through low-intensity actual battles to collect four soul fragments, and improve his proficiency in various spells as quickly as possible. We don't expect the girl to perform as well as when Kikyo was in her prime. She only needs half. No, just one-third is enough. On his side, there will be a high-intensity battle, which is not suitable for Ali, a novice. On the contrary, the intensity of the battle involved in collecting four soul fragments is generally not too high. If the intensity of the battle surrounding the four soul fragments was really high, Gangya would not be able to hold two four soul fragments for a long time. What's more, his solo action was not a single-minded action. He has other plans. Xia Jun, Nariku has faked his death, how can he still accumulate more? Mithraya was quite confused about this. Don't forget Nariku's two clones. Kanna's ability is extremely strange, and he is probably watching our every move through that mirror right now. If I hadn't set up a hidden barrier whenever I did anything now, 80% of what we were discussing would have been leaked. As for Windmaker Kagura, its strength is quite impressive, and you have experienced it before. Even if it can't deal with the big monster, it can pose a considerable threat to various monsters under the big monster. Coupled with the fiercest victory all over the place. Speaking of this, Li Xia's expression became obviously serious. Outside, there is the strongest fighter who provides intelligence, inside there is Kanna who monitors everything. And Kagura, as a combatant, launches precise strikes based on the compiled information. Therefore, as long as the division of labor is clear and Nariku is given enough time, he can recover quickly through the magic of witchcraft. Is it even possible to go further? The potential of Nariku, who has four souls at full value, has been seriously underestimated by everyone. Isn't that guy's retreat in the original by Ling Mountain a last resort after the two brothers Sesomaru and Inuyasha were severely injured? Everyone thought that Nai Luo had become a lost dog and that it was unlikely to happen. As a result, after he came out of seclusion, not only did his injuries recover, but his strength also increased several times, overwhelming Sesomaru who was also improving rapidly during that period. It can be seen from this that before that, the coordinated cooperation of Kanna, Kagura, and the most powerful Sheng brought great convenience to Nariku who suffered heavy losses. Splitting the troops into two groups can indeed greatly increase efficiency and ensure that both ends are correct. However, Mr. Xia, if you find any clues about Nariku, you must not pursue them alone. After contacting us, we can follow the clues together. Out of concern for his partners, although Mithraya agreed with Li Xia's opinion, he still gave a few words of advice. It's natural. Li Xia nodded. Isn't he the stubborn Inuyasha? Even if he is now very mobile and capable of protecting himself, he will not take risks easily. Even if he is determined to catch up, he must call Seshomaru along with him. By the way, Grandma Fong, where the bone-eating well is, I have to trouble you to call on the villagers from several nearby villages to help build a large courtyard. I will use enough food as a reward so that everyone will have no worries about food and clothing in the next one or two years. He has not forgotten this. With the support of his ancestors, the entire Li family began to serve him. Hoarding food is naturally not a big deal. 
While talking, he also took out four small bottles from the newly added third storage gourd on his waist and threw them to Inuyasha and Moroku respectively. This is. The four people who got the vial were very curious. After opening the bottle, a soothing medicinal fragrance quickly filled the entire room. This is a small benefit for us to win the hundred ghost bath. It can strengthen the foundation and strengthen the body, and help increase mana and spiritual power. It is a rare good thing for human practitioners such as wizards and witches. Li Xia wiped out the fifth bottle and put it in Granny Feng's hand, while smiling. These medicines are all refined from the pool of thousand-year-old spiritual milk found in the Baigoe Bat Lair. When he returned to the Li family to obtain the follow-up inheritance of Fu Dao, he handed the things to the older generation. More than twenty days passed, and the Li family finally gathered all the remaining auxiliary materials to refine the finished elixir. Is there such a good thing? Mithraya's eyes brightened. My family's heritage still has sewing to offer. Li Xia smiled. Intermediate elixirs are very effective at the stage of refining qi and becoming gods. But for someone like him who is about to reach another big threshold, the effect is very average. Not long ago, two ancestors from the Li family who were resurrected from clay came to the island nation of Tokyo quietly and brought these miraculous medicines. When Ali went home to report that he was safe, he also went back and met the two ancestors at Mayu's house as agreed earlier. There are twelve vials in total. After he nodded, the two ancestors left four bottles to train outstanding tribesmen who were stuck in the bottleneck. Now, the team gets four bottles. Since it has the best effect on mages. Mithraya, take it. Inuyasha said, throwing his bottle to Moroku. Coral also felt that she couldn't use it, so she wanted to return the bottle she got to Lysia, but Lysia held down the girl's hand and pushed her back Coral. Although you have no magic power, these elixirs are also it can strengthen your body, so keep it. Finally, he took out the sixth bottle and gave it to Yunku, Chi Bao, Ah Ba. You guys also have a taste. Thank you Xia Jun. Well, from now on, pay more attention to the various natural materials and treasures in the deep mountains and old forests. With that said, Chibao and Abba were given a list. On the side, Mr. Mingjia, who witnessed this scene, was thoughtful. The night passed. Li Xia acted alone and flew directly to the holy mountain of mankind Bailing Mountain. To the northeast of Musashi country, in the even more distant east country, there is a sacred mountain full of sacred aura. It is Bailing Mountain. According to legend, this place is the place where the legendary holy monk White Heart Master was seated. Master by Exion was a spiritual monk with powerful magic power and kind-heartedness during his lifetime. In the era of famine and plague, this eminent monk selflessly distributed his only food to the hungry people. And went around to help people suffering from diseases, saving countless people on this land. People respected him very much and gradually worshipped him as a god in their hearts. At one time, they regarded him as their only belief in living. Unfortunately, this person also contracted an unknown disease and fell down one day. At that time, people helplessly gathered around the bedside of Lady by Exion, hoping that the eminent monk would respond to their various requests. Sweetheart Bai was deeply moved and decided to transform into an instant Buddha so that she could still protect this land after her death. The people who saw hope followed the instructions of the holy monk A put the seriously ill master into a wooden barrel and buried him in the ground leaving only a breathing tube connected to the outside world. Then, amid the prayers of countless people, the holy monk who was buried underground closed his eyes and silently recited Buddhist scriptures, choosing to sacrifice himself. As for the people on earth, then just pray with peace of mind. What is dirty is pure, and what is pure is dirty. Good is evil and evil is good. Life is death, death is life. In the land of Master by Exion, Bailing Mountain is the home of the holy monk. After the death of this enlightened monk, his physical body became a mummy, and the living people placed him on an island in the center of a large lake at the foot of Bailing Mountain. It is sealed underground in the Buddhist temple in the center of the island. Accompanied by the cold darkness and eternal silence. Later, sowing magical happened. Bailing Mountain quickly gained an extremely powerful sacred barrier. This enchantment is somewhat similar to the psychic enchantment at the back of the Demon Slayer's village. 
After the death of the Miko Tsuezi, her unwillingness formed a special psychic barrier to seal the cave, preventing evil spirits from approaching. The sacred barrier of Bailing Mountain also rejects all kinds of monsters. And the sacred barrier is more domineering. After all, even the air in this place will be purified by the sacred barrier at all times, and the purified air will turn into white mist surrounding Bailing Mountain. The evil spirits are involved, which is harmful but useless. Monsters such as Shippo and Micah will become dizzy if they are not close to the sacred barrier and are just contaminated by the white mist on the periphery. If the lustful Mithraya approaches with a hint of lustful thoughts, he will immediately feel a strong sense of guilt, and then feel uncomfortable all over. The group of little pets dead soul insects under Platycodon Platycodon will collapse and dissipate in pieces after being exposed to the clean white mist near the woods at the foot of Bailing Mountain. Even a big monster like Sesomaru will become sluggish and his strength will drop significantly once he gets close to the sacred barrier. If one breaks through the sacred barrier forcefully, he will be strongly rejected by the barrier or even be injured. Everyone knows that Sesomaru always walks in a straight line. Your young master never likes to take detours. But in front of the sacred interface, Shadian retreated for the first time. This person saw clearly that when he went to settle accounts with Neraku with his injuries and his strength greatly suppressed, it was clear that he could not live with himself. The older brother is not as single-minded as the stinky younger brother. No, the half-demon Inuyasha forced his way into the barrier of the holy mountain in the original timeline, and as a result, the blood of the demon king in his body was directly suppressed. It was obviously not the night of the new moon, but he suddenly transformed from a half-demon into an ordinary human being. This shows how unfriendly the sacred barrier is to monsters. In addition, even today, more than a hundred years later, the sacred barrier is still operating stably and continuously. This sacred barrier seems to have a life of its own. As a result, monsters and evil spirits fled one after another. The humans living around have been protected by the spiritual mountain for generations and are almost not disturbed by external evil spirits. To be able to set up such a powerful purification barrier shows the level of master by Exion. Logically speaking, Neraku, as a gathering of evil spirits, cannot get close to the sacred barrier. It is even more impossible to pass through the sacred barrier and hide in it. But Neraku in the original work first ran to the island in the middle of the lake where Baishinshin's soul was trapped, and gained Baishinshin's approval through his unshakable tongue. With this holy monk opening the door of convenience, Neraku can naturally enter Bailing Mountain without injury to avoid the pursuit of the protagonist group, Sesomaru and Kikyo. Li Xia came here for three main purposes. One is to determine whether Neraku has hidden in Bailing Mountain. If Neraku happened to be hiding inside, then it would be necessary to take advantage of the time when the opponent has not completed his transformation to quickly integrate the power of Tongzi. Yunya, Shen Quan and other Miko mages, so that everyone can come together to teach Neraku a good lesson. Tell the guy what it means to catch a turtle in a urn. Even if Neraku is like in the original timeline, he can convince Bai Xiongren to open the door of convenience for him and obtain the cover of Bai Lingshan. But it is impossible to convince the holy monks to deal with humans. The holy monk whose soul still exists will not take the initiative to harm human beings in any case. In the original work, Ali and other humans were injured by Mangu's SS on the island in the middle of the lake. The kind and kind-hearted sweetheart Bai took action directly from afar in Bailing Mountain and healed Ali and others' injuries in an instant. Mithraya used his wind point to attack Master by Exion. Not only did the holy monk not harm Mithraya, he actually retreated. Therefore, as long as Bailing Mountain does not collapse, it will be the home of mankind. By then, Neraku will be beaten to death, and the holy monk will feel sad at most. But if other human beings are targeted by Neraku, the kind-hearted holy monk will definitely not sit idly by. This is a holy monk who is bound to go astray. Hey hey hey! The second purpose is to get to know the sweetheart. This holy monk spent his whole life redeeming others, but in the end, he failed to be redeemed. Although Li Xia's strength is somewhat inferior, he still wants to try to make friends with the old man. It would be best if he could redeem him in the end. Besides, for an eminent monk who almost took that step, who was just a hair away from becoming a Buddha, the inheritance in his hands should not be underestimated. No matter whether this holy monk is so amazing that he has created a path on his own, 
or he is following the footsteps of his predecessors and has been following the path of their predecessors. Since people can practice to the level of setting up the sacred barrier of Bailing Mountain after death, and can instantly restore the injuries of Ali and others with the sacred light, the inheritance behind them is definitely not trivial. It is no problem to say that it is the top law in this period of the island country. He is naturally very interested in this top-level inheritance. The Third Purpose The Evil Spirits Suppressed in Bailing Mountain Bailing Mountain has the ability to purify evil spirits and suppress monsters. Naturally, wizards and witches in the past will not miss this magical treasure. In Yao Lao Duxian's Wine Vat Water World, he learned from some senior monks and witches that there were actually some troublesome monsters sealed deep in Bailing Mountain. This holy mountain, which can purify evil spirits and monsters, has existed for more than a hundred years. How could it be possible that no mages and witches have been throwing garbage here for hundreds of years? In other words, in the original work, Naraku went into Bailing Mountain to transform himself, and maybe he got a big deal that no one had thought of. Perhaps, this is why Naraku's body of 10,000 monsters was obviously destroyed by Inuyasha and Sesomaru, and in the end there was still extra material for him to use for transformation. Of course. Even if there are some monsters in Bailing Mountain that Naraku can absorb, the number will not be too many. After all, those who do not reach the level of a great monster will be constantly purified by the sacred barrier and will become cold within a short time. And if the big monster is tortured by the purifying power of the sacred barrier all year round, it will be too much for him. What's more, big monsters cannot be sealed by ordinary mages and witches. Therefore, Li Xia came here not only to check the specific situation of the seals in Bailing Mountain, but also to take away some things. For example, under the purifying power of the sacred barrier, there is sewing that has not been completely eradicated for fifty years. That's a demon knife. To be precise, it is part of a superior demon sword. The name of the demon sword is Chinkuan Long Sword. This blade of the universe was made by the swordsmith Hai Ren Fong who was entrusted by the superior monster Xing Huangquan decades ago. Using the corpses of 222 star monsters with different abilities and great strength. Combining the power of yin and yang, it can even cut through space. Because this blade of the universe has gathered countless evil spirits and evil thoughts, whether it is evil spirits or evil spirits, it is extremely powerful. Powerful enough to easily affect the minds of humans and various monsters. In general, people control the sword. But this sword is very evil, and everyone controls it. Therefore, Yu Huang Quan, the target of Xing Huang Quan, was divided into two, divided into Qian Blade and Kuan Blade. Among them, Kuan's blade was suppressed in Bailing Mountain. In the original timeline, this demon sword almost sucked away Tai Suya's demon power and turned it into a useless sword. If you want to get back the Tetsuya from Sesomaru, it would be a good choice to exchange it for this high-grade demon sword that has a low growth limit but has quite good performance. There is a tomb some distance away from Bailing Mountain, Li Xia touched his chin and said in deep thought. This tomb was the burial place of the seven that he had learned about. Since you are passing by this place, of course you should not miss it if you pass by. The graves of the seven-member team have not yet been dug up by Neraku, which shows that Neraku's escape direction should not be to the northeast. The ashes of two of the seven, Mangu and Snakeigu, were taken away, and the remaining five were used as bait to see if they could catch Neraku. I wonder if Neraku would waste five four-soul fragments just to resurrect the other five people. At the foot of Bailing Mountain, on the island in the middle of the lake. There are flowers everywhere here. Accompanied by the refreshing fragrance of flowers, Li Xia opened the door of a small wooden house. The next moment, he put on a Shinmu mask. The figure slowly sank into the ground. Not long after, he touched a large wooden barrel. This should be the coffin that sealed the body of Sweetheart by. Following the small hole, Li Xia turned into a tree root and got in. Then he saw a mummy sitting cross-legged in the middle of the barrel. He coughed and cleared his throat, and was about to call out to this legendary holy monk. The old man's eyes suddenly opened without warning. In the darkness, a pair of orange eyes stared over. The smile on Li Xia's face froze as they were so close to each other, her heart suddenly tightened and her breathing stagnated. I've seen the holy monk. No matter how scary the old man's appearance was, Li Xia still greeted him politely. Who are you? Why are you here? 
there was confusion and surprise in the yellow-orange eyes. Li Xia used some words that he had planned in advance to talk to the legendary monk. Junior is just a mage with some tricks. Originally, I came to pay homage to the holy monk. I never thought that because the contracted Shikigami was somewhat special, after getting close to this place, I felt a faint sadness coming from the ground. The junior was curious for a moment, so he sneaked underground to take a closer look. Only then did he learn that the soul of the holy monk had been trapped in this cold and dead darkness. A moment of curiosity? Of course I'm curious. You are the most legendary eminent monk in the past hundred or even centuries. You have rescued people in need and your reputation has been passed down to an era. I am really puzzled by this younger generation that a person like you can actually have a trace of sadness left behind. When Li Xia said this, he stopped talking. And he was indeed shocked by the old man in front of him whose body had long since died but whose soul was still there. When I was a kid watching anime, I didn't think much of the mummy through the screen. Today's close eye contact always made him feel butterflies in his heart. Oh, it's ridiculous, isn't it? The saint who saved the common people would die in confusion and pain. A creepy smile suddenly appeared on the face of the mummy with a stiff expression on sweetheart by. It was a wry smile. Li Xia sighed after hearing this. Indeed. Who would have thought that you, who was highly virtuous and respected by countless people during your lifetime, would still have your soul trapped in your dead body and still not ascend to heaven? After the emotion, there was silence. Sweetheart Bai also fell into silence. Next, the old man and the young man miraculously remained quiet in this darkness. It wasn't until the old man thought a lot that he retracted his thoughts and looked at the unfamiliar but energetic young man in front of him again now that you know that my soul is trapped here and can never find rest. What do you want to do? At this time, Li Xia also got over the initial palpitations. Looking carefully at Sweetheart Bai, he no longer felt afraid on the contrary, the more he looked carefully, the more kind he could see the old man's kindness. When the holy monk who was sitting cross-legged asked what he would do, he brazenly used the psychedelic power of the mountain ghost to hallucinate himself. The mountain ghost has absorbed the female ghost from Guetu City. Immediately, he took a step forward, slowly squatted down, and then naturally took the mummy-like sweetheart into his arms. Although you have been dubbed a holy monk, you are not a saint. How can there be a person in this world who is not confused and filthy? It is precisely because humans are confused and sometimes contaminated that they want to be noble. There is nothing shameful about cherishing life and being attached to the world. Isn't what he pursues immortality and even eternal life? What's more, you have already dedicated enough to mankind. Li Xia's voice was sincere, full of tenderness and relief. But obviously, this was not enough to calm the inner obsession of the holy monk. However, his hug also pried open Sweetheart Bai's closed heart. What the old man lacks is sincere recognition. At least during this period, this recognition was unique. Master, I can borrow part of your mummy body and use advanced ghost techniques to help you create a clay body. In this way, you can gain a different kind of freedom and no longer be trapped in this silence and darkness. I wonder if you are interested. Li Xia suggested sincerely. It is exciting to think about recruiting a super strong man who has half a foot in the realm of Buddha to serve as a protector. Even if he knew that this person was too strong and there was a disparity in power between them. He could not control this person at all this person could easily get rid of the control of ghost arts if he wanted to. But even if Sweetheart Bai doesn't serve as his protector, he is still a transcendent being who will definitely protect him when he is in danger. If Naraku dares to trouble him again, the holy monk will definitely tell Naraku why the flowers are so red. Do you want to use my power to deal with any monsters or monsters? Sweetheart Bai's eyes seemed to be able to penetrate the essence of things. Li Xia's true intention was revealed at a glance. Yes. I want to use the power of the holy monk to help me subdue some powerful monsters and contract them as Shikigami. With your help, even big monsters should be no problem. Li Xia did not hide his ambitions. His talisman contract inheritance followed this path. The relationship with the old monk can be regarded as a deal he provides Sweetheart by with a body to move freely. And the old man helps him suppress a few big monsters that can get into his eyes, so that he can complete the contract of defeating the superior. A win-win for everyone. His current S, 
with the help of auxiliary objects such as spirit sealing talismans, shrines, altars, etc. Is suitable for contracting monsters with 5-star demon power it is still too reluctant to contract with 5-star demons. This was the main reason why he didn't rush to find the giant ghost of Duobao Pagoda. Although he could not borrow the power of the Four Souls Jade, he still did not want to rely too much on the Four Souls Jade. Anyway, they are all about suppressing monsters and eliminating evil spirits. The power of the Holy Monk is used instead of the power of the Four Souls Jade. The former is undoubtedly safer. In this case, there is no need to make a clay dummy. Sweetheart Bai shook her head. Li Xia didn't ask any more questions, just looked at the old man quietly. He knew that this person would give him an explanation without him asking. Really? The old monk took a breath and then gave an explanation. Although my body has long since died, it can at least carry all my soul and allow me to exert power close to the peak of my life. It would be different if it were just a clay body made from ashes and tomb soil. That kind of false the body cannot carry too much power no matter what. For people with relatively low SS, this flaw is not obvious but for people with high SS, this flaw will be greatly magnified. Platycodon is an example. In the original timeline, Platycodon has always been in a residual health state. And when he was first resurrected as a clay body, the false body couldn't hold all the souls and even broke apart, repeating the serious injuries he suffered during his lifetime. Speaking of which, among the many humans who have been resurrected from intact clay bodies, only Kikyo is inexplicably injured. As soon as he was resurrected, his right shoulder was bleeding profusely. Can't you carry all the soul power in your lifetime? Li Xia frowned. Xia, thank you for your kindness. However, there is no need for me to be resurrected. If I give up this dead and withered body and let you resurrect me with a clay body, my strength will be greatly reduced. Once the clay body is accidentally destroyed, Bailing Mountain's purification barrier will collapse. Once the purification barrier disappears, this land will definitely attract countless monsters to gather. When the time comes, no one knows how many villagers will suffer. That's a risk I don't want to take. Rather than that, it is better to continue to open the barrier and maintain the status quo. Although the old man's body has long since died, his compassion and love for mankind are still alive to this day. Li Xia couldn't say much about this. Although I was a little disappointed, I was more pleased. Master by Xian is still the holy monk with high moral character and respect for the common people. This is extremely rare. Then. If I can lure monsters to Bailing Mountain, can you help me suppress those evil people? Li Xia retreated and settled for the next best thing. Of course. Bailing Mountain is the power I left to future generations to fight against the evil spirits of monsters. The old man's eyes moved and his words were sonorous and powerful. Master, I have one last request. Oh. Tell me. I also ask the seniors to accept the juniors as disciples and pass on the orthodoxy that can subdue demons and suppress evil spirits. Nowadays, there is a fusion monster named Neraku, who is bewitching and ing all kinds of wizards and witches everywhere, and is endangering everyone. He slaughtered cities and villages at every turn, which was a heinous crime. The junior's strength is low, and he has fought against him many times, but he is no match for Neraku. If it hadn't been for the help of my friends, would have become a withered skeleton in the grave. Alas, although this junior does not have the ambition to all the evil monsters in the world. He still has the wish to protect the country and the people, and he also asks the holy monk to fulfill his wish. Li Xia finally revealed his main purpose logically. And it's also the euphemistic way to settle for the next best thing. The legacy of Lady Whiteheart. Wrong. It should be said that it is the inheritance of his master Li. This inheritance originated more than a thousand years ago and is a branch of Taoism that was introduced to Yu Island during the preaching qing period of China mainland. However, the inheritance has been passed down for too long, there are big gaps, and it is no longer complete. More than a hundred years ago, my master received the incomplete inheritance and embarked on the path of spiritual practice. Later, relying on his own talent, this person overcame many difficulties and practiced to a high level step by step. Finally, based on his own experience, he completed the incomplete inheritance in a way that suited him. It is worth mentioning that. 
This master who claims to be just one step away from becoming a Buddha is actually not sure whether he can become a Buddha after taking that step. Because of this, the old man was confused and hesitant at that time. After all, you know that you can become a Buddha by stepping over it, and then complete the dual transformation of body and soul in this case, how can you talk about being confused? Why be confused? You are about to become a Buddha, but you are confused. Based on emotion and reason, it is only right to die without hesitation. Therefore, people all over the world speculate that their master has become a Buddha with half a foot. This statement is worthy of investigation. Of course, even if he takes that step, he still cannot become a Buddha. This also allows him, as an apprentice, to obtain three relatively complete volumes related to the three major steps of refining qi. Refining qi to transform into spirit, and refining spirit to return to void. He was very distressed before. The Li family's inheritance was only quite complete in the part of refining energy and transforming into spirit. When it came to the part of refining energy and transforming into spirit, it was already somewhat incomplete, but not serious. After that, the part of practicing spirit and returning to void was even more complete. It's so incomplete. After cultivating to the extreme, without great fortune, I am afraid that I can only become a practitioner comparable to ordinary monsters. It has no benefit whatsoever in extending life. Master Bai Zin's inheritance is different and can reach the threshold of Lianchu Hadao. And after completing the refining of qi and becoming a god, and entering the stage of spiritual training and returning to the void. You can greatly strengthen your soul, and your mana and spiritual power will skyrocket. Even if the body dies, the soul can be preserved for a long time. Master by Xian is a living example. Even if reincarnated, most of the soul power from the previous life can still be preserved. This is the case with Platycodon and Ali. With a more complete inheritance, Li Xia is now very motivated. Thank you teacher for preaching and clarifying my doubts. Halfway up the mountainside deep in Bailing Mountain, Li Xia bowed solemnly to Sweetheart Bai. After staying here for five days, he listened to Master Bai Xian's teachings and reorganized what he had learned. He felt that he had gained a lot. The key is that those powers that did not originally belong to him have become gentler after being purified by this teacher. For example, the mana source given to him by the dozens of wizards and witches who were robbed at the ghost tomb was originally only 50 to 60 percent assimilated. But now it has been assimilated to at least 80 percent. For another example, the traces of resentment still carried in the souls of those wizards and witches were directly purified and transcended by my old monk master with his powerful magic power and complicated scriptures. That was a small hidden danger that even monsters and immortals like Yao Lao Poison could not remove. As the saying goes, there are specializations in the art industry. The changes brought about by professionals are truly different. Furthermore, how could it be possible that there would be no hidden dangers if he repeatedly relied on the demonic power of the Shikigami? Fortunately, all of them were baptized by this compassionate master with the power of purification. All his hidden illnesses were cured again. It gave him a new lease of life. In the end, Daeguishu masks monster consciousness which was born from the contaminated four soul fragments, was completely obliterated by his own teacher's overbearing purification power. But the poisonous dragon and the mask itself were preserved. Although the soul has been purified, the body can still move according to orders. And soon a new consciousness will be born. It would be a brand new immature consciousness that was completely loyal to Li Xiao. Similar to the existence of the original demon pill. You are leaving. On a futon, the old monk asked softly. Well, I have accomplished sewing, now I have to do sewing. Li Xia nodded. Go ahead. If you encounter any crisis, return to Bailing Mountain as soon as possible. I can help you resolve the crisis. Finished. The old monk with a white heart, holding the magic weapon in front of him and a string of rosary beads in his hand, closed his eyes. The white mist became thicker and thicker, gradually covering the old man's withered figure. Li Xia bowed again, turned and left. None of the monsters sealed in the mountain could catch his eye. The strongest one is at the level of four-star demon power. And there are no tricky special ODs. It can only be said that the mages of this era are not very good, and the really powerful monsters cannot be sealed by them. By the way, 
I moved Master Bai Exian's physical body to the inside of the sacred barrier of Bai Ling Mountain. Will Nariku still have a chance to see this person in the future? Li Xia, who was sitting on the poisonous dragon and carrying the Kuan blade of the Qianquan sword, left this place, touched his chin and fell into deep thought. You can't even see her face to face, so there shouldn't be any way to seduce her, right? If he could be abducted by Nariku without even meeting him in person, then he could only say that Nariku was awesome. I hope that my preemptive behavior of eating alone will not lead Nariku to a dead end. In the past, he had little s, was restrained in doing things, and had to consider the feelings of the people around him in everything he did. He wished that Nariku, who was powerful and had great potential, died early. Now, he doesn't want Nariku to die too early. He took a fancy to Akadoji's container. I want to learn a thing or two. It would be a pity if Nariku couldn't hold on and was ed too early before he could create the container with a very high growth limit. 4 star level mana. The combination of Big Osmanthus Mask Poisonous Dragon is close to 4 star demon power. After fusion, two sacred wooden masks with demon power reaching 4 stars. In addition, there is a mountain ghost whose demonic power is based on the mask of the sacred tree. This is the pure power that Lysia has mastered on paper. It is a vital force that has basically eliminated any hidden dangers. In addition to these living forces, there are also demon weapons a fire tip spear, a hot wheel, a tremolo blade, and half of the Chinkuan sword. Artifact Use Spear There are also magic weapons a string of rosary beads, a magic staff, a demon conquering pestle, and a cassock. Furthermore, he held most of the four souls jade in his hand. Of course, the biggest change was that he first completed a transformation in the old immortal's wine vat, and then with the help of Master by Exion, his body was almost completely reborn. Li Xia at this time is completely different from a month ago. With this background, and the Master by Xin Xin who is willing to help him, how is it possible to say that his mentality has not changed at all? The road to immortality quietly beckoned to him. The simplest and crudest way is to use most of the four souls jade in your hand to absorb a big monster and replace it. And you will have no problem gaining hundreds or even thousands of years of life. But it also has the lowest growth ceiling. Even if he replaces the top monster dragon bone spirit, it will be like that for the rest of his life. I am afraid that even the height of Seshomaru in his later period cannot be caught up. If they are replaced by low-level immortal power practitioners like Urkuzin, they may be able to gain more longevity. But the price is that their strength level is difficult to reach the level of Seshomaru and Nariku in the later period, and they are only worthy of being the prey of those top-level monsters. The best way is to practice like master, step by step. First, let the soul continue to strengthen and transform. Even if the body dies, the soul can survive forever. If I cannot become an immortal or a Buddha in this life, I will be reincarnated and practice Buddhism again. On the back of the poisonous dragon, Li Xia muttered. Reincarnation and rebuilding are nothing more than losing the memories of your previous life. As for the backup OD for retrieving his memory, he still had some clues. For example, Platycodon and Ali. If Platycodon gives all his memories to Ali before he becomes wise, then will Ali be considered a new life for Platycodon? The path to becoming a true immortal as a human being is too difficult. After sighing softly, he thought of by Tomzi's container. That is, the later version of the sprite pill. You know, except for a powerful barrier in by Tomzi's heart, his other abilities are very average, and his demon power value is not high. But even if Shinshimaru grows to a six-star level, he will remain absolutely loyal. If he could cultivate that kind of powerful and loyal container to protect him, many problems would be solved. With strength, you will have all kinds of resources such as material and knowledge with strength, you can view immortality from different heights and seize opportunities and chances one after another. Well, to put it bluntly, he still values human identity more. In addition, he didn't know whether the monsters in this world would suffer an unknown purge in later generations just like the time and space where Ali lived. But don't wait for him to transform into a super giant monster, a great reckoning will come. When the time comes, won't he have to bear the brunt? That might make him vomit blood. The prerequisite for pursuing immortality is to live first. Without understanding why Ali's world entered the end of Dharma age, he wouldn't dare to, let alone transform into a monster, if he were Ed. 
he was kicked in the head by a donkey before he hurriedly turned from man to monster. Ha! Huh. What is that? On the ground. A giant bear thirty to forty meters tall, like a hill, was being besieged by swarms of the most ferocious hell poisonous insects. This giant bear is not a monster, just an ordinary beast. But for some reason, its body size has grown hundreds of thousands of times. In just a dozen breaths, the giant bear with very weak demonic aura began to retreat steadily. Its huge figure not only failed to bring it any convenience at this time, but instead became a perfect target for the group's fiercest enemies. Just when Li Xia was wondering why the group of poisonous insects attacked the giant bear, the big man's forehead was accurately attacked by a poisonous bee. The poisonous bee then took out a small purple fragment. For soul fragments. In the clouds, Li Xia's eyes couldn't help but light up. I didn't expect that there would be an unexpected surprise during this trip. These fiercest opponents are indeed good at gathering information. It has been more than four months since the Jade of Four Souls was shattered. This giant bear, which got a fragment early on, is still at large, which shows how deep it is dormant in the forest. But it was still found by Zhuo Mengsheng. Moreover, this place is at least seven or eight hundred miles away from Maple Village in Musashi country. In such a remote northern place, even the most powerful opponent can find it. The breadth of Neraku's vision should not be underestimated. No wonder we can find the remains of the stone gate leading to the monster cemetery underground in the Kingdom of Fire. Not only is Wa Mengxin good at gathering information, he is actually not weak in terms of strength when operating in a group. No, hundreds of poisonous bees gathered together to form a monster arm, and hundreds of poisonous bees gathered into a meteor hammer full of spikes. Swing the meteor hammer with your monster arm, the hammer head rotated a few times and then hit the giant bear's chest hard, and there was an immediate sound of cracking bones. The giant bear suffered this blow and fell down with a scream. The fiercest victors turned into a swarm again and quickly pounced on the giant bear's body. Not long after, the big man who had lost his four soul fragments turned into a pile of white bones. The battlefield was quickly cleaned up. Unfortunately, these poisonous insects are pets that are completely loyal to Neraku, and there is no possibility of conquering them. Seeing that the jade fragment was about to be taken away by a poisonous bee, Li Xia immediately took action. The poisonous dragon was recalled by him, and the mask was put on his face, and he quickly fine-tuned and completed the disguise. The demonic power of the big Osmanthus mask and the poisonous dragon was coiled behind his back in the form of a green dragon. Immediately afterwards, he was wearing a cassock, a staff in his right hand, and a string of rosary beads around his neck. His left hand, which was transformed by magic, held a demon-conquering pestle. The identity forgery is completed. Monster, where are you going? A blue barrier was propped up, trapping all the fiercest players in it. Then, a green dragon in energy state was punched out by him. Now that Neraku has delivered a friendly gift to his door, how can he not accept this kindness? Etiquette is less important than affection. The green dragon in the energy state quickly swept over the most violent place that caught him off guard. Swarms of poisonous bees were affected and turned into powder on the spot. A four-soul fragment fell to the ground with a clanging sound. Seeing this, the surviving strongest warrior regrouped into a monster claw that was one size smaller, and then attacked Li Xia with a compassionate face. At the same time, a few of the fiercest ones took the opportunity to pick up the jade fragments again, and immediately tried to break through the blue barrier. Unfortunately, although the sky blue barrier is not a powerful barrier, it is not sowing that a few poisonous insects can touch. I walked by and picked up a four soul fragment for free. Li Xia was still very happy about this. But the moment he stepped forward to pick up the fragment, an inexplicable sense of crisis arose. This made him instinctively stop reaching for the purple fragment on the ground. What happened? Li Xia frowned slightly. Taking a step back, the sense of crisis quickly receded. The big laurel mask on his face became less restless. Um. This made him even more confused. In other words, what he was warned about just now was this mask that had been purified by Master by Exion and recently reborn with a weak consciousness. After thinking about it for a moment, he tried to take another step closer to the four soul fragments that fell on the ground. The sense of crisis suddenly became strong again. And this time, before Li Xia could retreat again, 
the four soul fragment on the ground that seemed to have no problem actually exploded. A large amount of black purple miasma and turbid evil power spread out, trying to engulf him. This sudden change made Li Xia's hair stand on end. Damn it, it's a trap. He quickly released a small scale defensive barrier within zero. One seconds, and was extremely lucky to block the direct aura of death. Grass. After reacting, Li Xia's heart was beating rapidly. He was frightened and extremely angry. Why doesn't he understand? He was being targeted by Neraku. The Jade Fragment just now is not the real Four Soul Fragment, but a shoddy product condensed by Neraku's demonic power and miasma. It is the crystallization filled with all kinds of evil spirits. In the original timeline, Ganya was tricked and embedded the fake Four Soul Fragments into the wound on his arm, which almost dead him. Abiki used Neraku's Bone Condensed Trident, and it went smoothly in the early stage. Later, the miasma after the trident exploded instantly corroded an arm. Then she was ed by Neraku with a move like stabbing Kagura in the heart. If he had picked up the fake four soul fragment that fell on the ground just now, without any precautions, his remaining right hand would definitely be in danger. It will be corroded by erosion in an instant. I didn't even think about plotting against you, but you made the first move. Li Xia cursed secretly. It's so poisonous. I almost got hit. Moreover, that guy Neraku actually had complete control over his movements. Suddenly, his senses became much sharper, and he smelled a familiar evil spirit in the forest. Who is it? Snort. He stopped pretending, took out the fire tip spear, and struck a big tree with a thunderbolt. Get out. A beautiful figure flashed and dodged far away. Are you really vigilant? You didn't get fooled even though you did that. Compared to Inuyasha, you are indeed more difficult to deal with. Squint and take a look. Who else could it be if it wasn't Kagura? Windmaster Kagura, did Neraku arrange for you to come here? Li Xia, who always maintained the barrier, got straight to the point. I'm just following orders and monitoring your movements here. I have no intention of fighting with you. Kagura defended bravely and looked a little ugly. Speaking of which, she was also unlucky. Originally, the fight between the poisonous insect and the giant bear to snatch the possession of a four-soul fragment was actually just a cover. The purpose is to trick the man in front of him into letting down his guard and making him think that he is lucky enough to pick up a jade fragment for nothing. As for the person who holds most of the four souls jade, there is a high probability that he will be moved and act for this fragment. As long as this person reaches out and touches the shoddy four-soul fragment condensed by filthy demonic power and poisonous miasma, he will either die or be injured. At that time, if this trap seriously injures the opponent, he, who is extremely mobile, can follow Neraku's orders to step forward and hit the target. In addition to getting rid of this dangerous human being, you can also take away the four soul fragments from the opponent. It can be said that it's two birds with one stone. Moreover, she is a hundred or ten meters away from the battlefield, so she can advance, attack, retreat or defend. This is considered a fairly safe distance. But she never expected that after just one month, this person's strength would increase sharply again. And he was completely different from before he actually built a large-scale defensive barrier covering a radius of 500 to 600 meters in a few breaths. As for the purpose? It's just to prevent any of the fiercest ones from escaping. Then, she, who was at a safe distance, was naturally affected. Trapped within the barrier. In order to avoid alerting others, she carefully hid herself. She did not immediately think about breaking through the barrier and escaping from this place. Instead, she waited for the most powerful group's performance to end and for Li Xia to be tricked. Unfortunately, the man in front of him was too alert. The strength has grown too fast. Not only did Neraku's elaborate trap fail, but he also exposed himself. I just hope this person won't be aggressive. Otherwise, she would have no choice but to fight. Kagura secretly thought. Is that guy Neraku really not dead? Li Xia nodded and then changed the subject. Then Kagura, you said, what should I do with you? Kagura, Neraku's second daughter. Normally, this woman has no interest in actively hunting anyone. Many of her aims were either arranged by Neraku, or to gain Neraku's trust, or to pursue so-called freedom. 
facing a powerful member of the opposite, you may even feel admiration. For example, this woman had a somewhat secret crush on Sesomaru. Of course, this witch is not a kind person either. After all, even Neraku, his biological father or mother, can easily betray him, so it's so easy to sell him. The main theme is a loving father and a filial son. Therefore, it is impossible to have a good impression of him. In order to pursue freedom and get rid of the tragic fate of having her wealth and life controlled by others, this woman dared to fight, which is indeed commendable. As a piece of flesh that fell from Neraku's body, and his heart is in Neraku's hands, it is understandable that he can't help himself in doing things after all. But sympathy is sympathy. Since Kagura ambushed him, Mr. Lee, today, it cannot be a good thing. I really have no intention of being your enemy. The girl with pointed ears like an elf said in a deep voice. With the folding fan in hand, be on high alert. But you did appear here today, which means you have the intention to take action against me. The reason why you haven't taken action yet is just that you just didn't have time. Right? Li Xia said calmly. When the girl heard this, her mood became more and more nervous, and her face became even more ugly. Fortunately, the person on the other side had no intention of taking action immediately. What do you want? Kagura took a deep breath and asked aloud. The corner of Li Xia's mouth curled up slightly, and he inserted the fire-tip spear into the ground first, then patted the third gourd on his waist with his right hand, and made the final seal. Rise. The next moment, the storage gourd at the waist opened. The barrier quickly shrank to a diameter of more than a hundred meters, and a white mist quickly filled the interior. Feeling the approaching mist, Kagura suddenly felt uncomfortable. What's this? She was shocked inside. Didn't Neraku keep an eye on me? Didn't he even tell you where I went and what I got? Hey, Kagura, you are really a competent cannon fodder. Li Xia's provocative words came out of his mouth. His words really made the girl's heart sink, and she felt betrayed by Neraku for the third time. The first time Neraku arranged to test Inuyasha's wind wound, she was almost dead. The problem is, Neraku didn't tell her any information about the wind injury. The second time Neraku arranged to attack Shaoling and Mithraya and others, she was almost dead again. At that time, Neraku never thought that she could come back alive, right? It was clear that he wanted Sesomaru to turn around and rescue the little girl named Ling. This time. Alas. The white mist is the holy spirit of Bailing Mountain. It has the effect of restraining monsters and purifying evil spirits. Master by Exion took action and compressed and stored a lot of them in a storage gourd with a large internal space after releasing them all. The dilution can still affect a range of several hundred meters. And within a month, the effect of the mist was quite impressive. After a month, the effects will decline rapidly. If you recycle it promptly after each use, the effect will be greatly reduced. It is impossible to use it to deal with big monsters, but combined with his barrier, it is very suitable to deal with groups of miscellaneous monsters and Neraku's miasma. White mist enveloped the shrunken barrier, and Li Xia integrated his thoughts into the mist. In an instant, everything within a hundred meters radius entered his mind without any blind spots. This is one of the little tricks that Master by Exion taught him. It is similar to how Mithraya uses grey salt to carry his own mana and harm monsters. It's just that Mithraya used grey salt as a medium to transmit mana to harm monsters, while Li Xia used holy mist as a medium. It's a different approach but the same result. Humph, there is indeed a secret hand. Li Xia snorted coldly. His eyes were fixed on the body of the giant bear on the ground. The pure white mist can purify the surrounding evil spirits, but there are always places where the evil spirits are obscure but do not dissipate immediately. Therefore, in the area covered by fog, all evil spirits can hardly hide. No, besides where Kagura was standing, there was also sowing fishy on the giant bear's body. The corpse of the giant bear was obviously just a pile of bones, but among the large number of bones. There was a small bone that turned into dozens of the most ferocious bears under the continuous purification of the mist. There is no doubt that bones are a blinding device for the strongest victors to gather together. Li Xia's mana combined with the purifying power of the mist worked together. And each poisonous insect was quickly submerged in the white light, and in just a few blinks, they were all turned into specks of ashes. 
not a single one is left. Seeing this, Kagura's pupils suddenly shrank. He was not only frightened by Neraku's cunning, but also shocked by the meticulousness of the young man in front of him. It was as if he had thoroughly understood Neraku's ways. Are you sure these two are not brothers? Okay, now we can discuss it in depth. Li Xia smiled slightly at the girl opposite. I felt relieved inside. Obviously, if he had just said sewing inappropriate to Kagura. It would be nothing on his side, but even if Kagura could escape back to Neraku, she would never get a good harvest. Wind user Kagura, you don't want to be controlled by Neraku all the time, right? Do you want to cut off the bond with Neraku and gain freedom? As soon as these words came out, the girl's expression changed wildly. I couldn't help but look around. What are you talking about? Why can't I understand? If Kagura's heart was still inside her body, her heartbeat would definitely be beating like a drum at this moment. I know that your heart core is used as a handle by Neraku. Once the heart is destroyed, you will die immediately. Therefore, through normal ODs, it is impossible for you to escape from Neraku's control. But I can help you break that bond. The premise is that you have to help Neraku do things well. Li Xia had a gentle smile on his face. But I don't know why. In Kagura's eyes, it was particularly horrifying to her. Is the person in front of her capable of breaking the bond between her and Neraku? It is undeniable that this young mage is indeed very strong. The Shikigami she summoned before were not weaker than her, but now they have become even more unfathomable. But is Neraku that easy to deal with? Okay, even if you can deal with Neraku, well. What does help Neraku do well mean? Since you have to deal with Neraku, why do you still want to help Neraku? She doesn't understand. What exactly do you want from me? Kagura asked softly, suppressing the palpitations in her heart. Anyway, she was trapped in the opponent's barrier, and it was almost impossible to escape. Now I can only follow this person's wishes. Let's survive first and then talk about other things. Neraku was hit hard before and disappeared for a month without his threat, all kinds of monsters and monsters jumped out during this period. For example, Neraku was once active in Musashi country in several nearby small countries. Those who were dormant earlier could not come out. Monsters appeared one after another. I think you have collected a lot of high-level monsters for that guy during this time, right? What kind of stuff are there? What abilities does it have? First tell me all the monsters you know that were swallowed by Neraku and the relevant information. Li Xia smiled slightly. Kagura pondered for a moment, but did not refuse this small request. The blade-armed mantis encountered in Fengxi village has very sharp blades. It can not only physical flesh and blood, but also illusory soul bodies. The heavy turtle in the mist swamp has a shell that cannot even be penetrated by Kikyo's demon-breaking arrow. She felt heavy when she thought that she had invaded the east and threatened the lives of the nearby villagers and the battlefield deserters in the temple to win over the lifeless heavy turtle from Platycodon Grandiflorum. There are also several monsters in the sealed land. They are very strong and capable. They were hunted by me and handed over to Neraku. At this moment of divine happiness, I can express everything I know and cannot express it endlessly. She has no psychological burden at all about betraying information about Neraku. Neraku betrayed her several times and never treated her like a child. Instead, he despised her from the bottom of his heart because the bandit ghost spider's longing for Kikyo remained in her body. That being the case. Snort. Then don't blame her for stabbing her in the back. After receiving Kagura's message, Li Xia's mood gradually became serious. He knew the situation of the mantis and the heavy turtle. Because of him, Mithraya failed to meet the mantid with a very special blade arm as in the original work. But in the original timeline, before the mantid was completely swallowed by the wind cave, its blade arm once scratched Mithraya's wind cave. And this is the only case where Mithraya's wind acupoint was injured after he turned 18 and became an adult. The other heavy turtle is also not simple. Although it is not as good as Plutomon, which is known as the strongest armor in the later period, it can be regarded as remarkable in the early and mid-term. One is that after Neraku disappeared and Jube no longer restrained himself, the demonic energy he exuded received some praise from Kikyo. Furthermore, Kikyo's demon-breaking arrow hit the turtle shell and bounced away. 
It can be seen that even if Chonggui is not a four-star goalkeeper on the threshold of a big yukai, he should still be a three-star superior yukai. It's more likely to be a four-star goalie. Neraku has staged a drama these days where there are no tigers in the mountains and the monkey is the king. Using retreat as an opportunity to advance, he has gradually dug out 20 or 30 monsters that had been avoiding him before and harvested them. Once they are cultivated with the art of poison, maybe he can recover quickly. After all, Neraku had used most of the Four Souls Jade to strengthen himself to the level of a five-star great monster. And they are still not the weakest among them. Under the high roof, it is undoubtedly easier to recover than to break through again. Is he even collecting those monsters sealed by human mages? Li Xia picked the key points and asked. Good. Kagura nodded firmly. In addition, seven or eight days ago, I helped him collect seven more Four Soul Fragments. The monsters holding the Four Soul Fragments were also absorbed by him. Just because there has been no news about the Four Soul Fragments for many days, so he just wants to take advantage of you. 7. Li Xia raised his eyebrows. Could it be the Seven used to resurrect the Seven in the original timeline, right? Now that I have taken away the ashes of the Savage Bone and the Snake Bone, will that guy be willing to use five fragments to resurrect the other five wastes? It feels a bit hanging. He had to find a way to make Neraku take the initiative to give away the four soul fragments in his hand. What else can we do? Wait. There it is. Let's do this, Kagura. You usually continue to help Neraku hunt various monsters, and by the way, find an opportunity to tell Neraku that the Ocelot clan and the Dog Demon clan are mortal enemies. The leader of the Ocelot clan, Oyakata, was ed by His Highness Sesomaru's father, King Tuga. Dead, but not dead. Every full moon night, there are signs of soul revival. If the Ocelot Oyakata is given a few four soul fragments and a large number of flesh and souls of the monsters, Oyakata may be able to resurrect at full health. As a big monster of the older generation, Oyakata has fought against the Tuga king who holds the Tetsuya, and his strength must be above Sesomaru. You remind Neraku and let him use Oyakata's hand to deal with us. Not only can he use the sword to people, but in the end he might be able to take back the Shurkan Jade in my hand and go one step further. Even if our relatives can't us, they can make the Ocelot leader become our enemy and indirectly help him buy enough time to recover. Li Xia grinned, showing his white teeth. The whole person looks harmless to humans and animals. But Kagura felt a little numb. He couldn't figure out why the human in front of him wanted to help Neraku, but he always felt that there was some kind of trap here. However, even if it is a trap, it is a trap for Neraku. I will. So, can I go? Kagura suppressed her inner irritability and relaxed a lot. Sure. There was a flash of blood. Li Xia, who had changed his mask, stood behind the girl with a white arm. Go back with some injuries so that Neraku can explain. This arm will be returned to you later. In response, Kagura just gritted her teeth. Why did Li Xia specifically mention the Ocelot clan? On the one hand the Ocelot family is indeed a hidden danger. Another consideration is Oyakata, the Ocelot who was resurrected abnormally, was defeated by Tenga Ten. And for Neraku to resurrect Oyakata, he has to invest one or two four soul fragments, right? Let's take our time, and if we can catch one, we'll do it. Furthermore, he also hopes to use Neraku's help to draw out this undercurrent in the dark. In the original timeline, the reason why Ali and others were safe and sound was mainly due to the power of Ali's big sister head aura. If not, Ali and others would never be spared. Now, his butterfly effect is likely to cause Ali to be injured by this poisonous snake in the gutter. He didn't want the girl to get hurt. And only a thousand days to commit a thief, how can a thousand days to guard against a thief? Rather than waiting passively, it is better to find out and get rid of them first. Kagura takes some of the fiercest fighters out to hunt various monsters. Kanna took some of Neraku's flesh and blood fragments and was active in the sealed places built by human mages. A platform halfway up the mountain outside the city. There is a temple here that has been passed down for hundreds of years. According to legend, a hundred years ago, a giant beetle-like monster appeared in this area that caused trouble in all directions. The monster was extremely powerful and invulnerable, and it once destroyed several castles and countless human villages. 
The city not far from the temple was built on the ruins of one of the castles. The purpose of this temple's existence is to suppress the sealed beetle monsters. This day, just as the fifth generation host was taking a dozen disciples to do evening classes, a plain white little Lolita holding a white mirror and an eleven or twelve year old human boy silently arrived at the back of the temple. The little Loli is none other than Kanna. The little boy is Amber. There is a cave in the back mountain here. Inside the cave entrance, there is a Xitagarba statue. In front of the cave entrance, there is a large stone with a diameter of three meters. There are several ropes wrapped with strange talismans tied to the stone, and there are many bells hanging on the ropes. When the little lowly holding the mirror walked within ten meters of the boulder, the bells hanging around began to ring silently. At the same time, in the front yard of the temple, all the wind chimes on a thirteen-story stone pagoda began to sway without wind. An unusually clear sound was made. The faces of the host who was doing evening classes and the other two older monks in the temple all changed. No, sewing has changed in the back mountain. There are monsters who want to destroy the seal. The three old monks brought their most advantageous magic weapons. Summoned several young and middle-aged monks who represented the backbone of the temple, and hurried to the back mountain a hundred meters away. But when they arrived in a hurry, the plain white little lowly had already walked up to the three-meter diameter boulder and raised a small mirror that exuded blue-white light in her hand. The front of the boulder was all illuminated by the mirror light at this moment. Stop! Amidst the exclamations of seven or eight monks, the ceiling talisman wrapped around the big stone and the talisman papers attached to it were quickly ignited. A strange blue flame burned. In just a few blinks of an eye, all the ceiling symbols were burned to ashes. Small bells also jingled to the ground. Monster, look at the good things you have done. Restrengthen the seal to prevent the gold-eating bug from escaping. The three old monks, who were nearly a hundred years old, were extremely angry. They are the old people in this temple who know best what evil thing is sealed underground. Unfortunately, before the seven or eight monks got close, the mirror light came on again and attacked them. Snort. The old host, who was fiddling with the rosary in his hand, snorted coldly. Then a blue barrier opened. The mirror light burned on the barrier of the blue light curtain, but failed to destroy it. Seeing this, Shenwu, who had always remained expressionless, slightly flashed his eyes. He seemed a little surprised by this. Old monk, very powerful. The S is quite profound. But it was at this time that eleven-year-old Amber moved. Using the agility of the demon slayer and the weapons polished from the monster's bones, he quickly ed them. The moment they saw the children, the mages were all stunned. Our human children. Be careful not to hurt the child. He is probably temporarily controlled by the monster in some way. The old host reminded. Good. Everyone else nodded. Amber's SS are still very good. In the Demon Slayer village in its heyday, it was considered the fifth combat force. No, the amber is moving like a strong wind. The blade of the sickle in his hand shone with a cold luster. Then, a few Zen staffs swept over. In a matter of seconds, amber was disarmed and subdued. And was dragged to the back. Needless to say, these monks are not good at all, and there are many who are said in physical SS. Looking at it this way, it seems that the temple side has basically controlled the situation. Which is strange. Pfft. Without warning. The chain sickle made of monster bones in Amber's hand was suddenly cut out from the hands of a monk who had robbed Amber of the weapon. And slashed to the ground a middle-aged monk who had restrained Amber but had no other defense. The sudden splash of blood made the other monks around him look confused. When they looked back and saw the situation, they were all shocked. Junior brother Yuan Guang, what are you doing? Someone shouted in shock and anger. However, what responded to him was the sound of sharp weapons entering flesh one after another. Puff. Ah, uh, ah. In just a blink of an eye, the chain scythe used countless sharp bone spurs to attack the vast majority of monks who were so close that they had no time to react. Only the old host was able to avoid being stabbed in the back by the unexpected events behind him because he was holding the barrier and standing at the front to guard against Kanna. Yuan Guang, Yu. The old monk was also filled with grief and anger. He couldn't figure out why his disciple would attack his own family. 
But when he looked into the eyes of his executioner disciple and saw that the young man's eyes were empty and lifeless, and even shed two lines of tears for no apparent reason, he immediately understood. My disciple has fallen into the trap of a monster. This made him shocked, angry, anxious and sad. Damn you monster! Damn you monster! What kind of monster is it that has such evil intentions? He actually took advantage of many weaknesses in the human heart. When he looked at Amber, who had broken free from the restraints and stood up again, a sudden chill came to his heart. Finally, he saw the weapon polished by monster bones, changing from the shape of a ferocious skeleton bone spurs back to the shape of a simple chain scythe. And saw the purple-black color flashing on the scythe and on Amber's back neck. After the brilliance, I suddenly realized sewing. Are they contaminated fragments of the four souls? The old man is quite knowledgeable. It's a pity that because of that kindness, several outstanding disciples and grandchildren have been ed. A white-haired person gives a black-haired person a gift, which is undoubtedly a huge blow. The destructive beam of Kanna's mirror struck again. The old monk gritted his teeth and looked back with a cold look you monster should be ed. However, before he could show off his power to slay demons, the big rock where the cave was located could be heard rattling incessantly. Hearing this voice, the old host turned pale and became confused. Oops. He had been delayed for too long, and before he could re-strengthen the seal, the powerful gold-eating insect underground might break free of the seal and escape. Really? Just for a second. The ground with a radius of more than twenty meters suddenly collapsed. In the area where the cave is located, large areas of the mountain collapsed and slid. Smoke and dust were everywhere, and the Xitagarba statue was buried somewhere. The entire seal is broken. At this time, Kana and Kahaku, who had regained their weapons, were already far away. The old monk, on the other hand, wanted to retreat, but his disciple rushed forward and bumped him stupidly. The young monk bumped into the barrier and bruised his head and was bleeding, as if it didn't matter. But the old monk, whose center of gravity was unstable due to the shaking of the mountain and the ground, felt like a knife was twisting his heart. It shouldn't be like this. One wrong move and the whole game is lost. Before the smoke cleared, a sharp roar came from the ruins. The next moment, a huge black shadow rushed out of the billowing smoke, and a pair of pliers clamped heavily on the old monk's blue barrier, which immediately aroused a bright and dazzling brilliance. When the smoke and dust dissipated, only a few traces of blood and a huge golden beetle nearly twenty meters long were left. The corpses of the old monk and the other monks would most likely become a meal for the giant beetle. Another sharp insect chirp came from the giant insect's ferocious mouthparts. It seems to be showing that after being sealed for more than a hundred years, it is starving and has not yet had enough to eat. At this time, Kanna appeared. Dozens of wriggling pieces of green flesh were placed in front of the giant insect. The moment it saw those disgusting flesh and blood, out of instinct, the monster called the gold-eating insect took two steps back but feeling the majestic monster power contained in those flesh and blood. As well as several four-soul fragments, it still couldn't bear it. After a short breath, it was all put into the stomach. Obviously, the big beetle does not have a high IQ, otherwise it would not devour Nariku's flesh and blood casually. Just as the big guy let out a big vent by destroying the entire temple. And then was about to fly to the human city not far down the mountain to perform a tooth ceremony, large tumor-like bumps suddenly appeared on its body. Before it realized the danger, its squinting eyes were already squeezed by the swelling swelling. In a certain movie, after Uchiha Madara was stabbed in the heart by Black Zetsu, he quickly became fat and became a ball, and finally condensed the essence into a beautiful woman. Naraku, who had eaten an unknown number of monsters, appeared with a clean body and a face that would be stunning to a country. Thanks to the fact that I have accumulated several more four soul fragments in my hand. If it weren't for the help of these four soul fragments. Not to mention eating this gold eating insect that is almost touching the threshold of the big monster, it would be the other high level monsters. It's not that easy to assimilate into the body. While talking to himself, Naraku, who was dressed as a woman, put on a brightly colored princess costume. Speaking of which, Kikio and the human mage, are you ready? For your sake, during this period of time, I have deliberately collected and devoured several monsters that were specifically designed to deal with human practitioners. There is a monster, whose appearance is no different from an ordinary hill. 
Its head grows in the mouth. It has a barrier that only witches can detect. Because of this natural barrier that is extremely invisible on the body, other humans, and the monster cannot see the existence of this monster at all. In addition, this monster also has the ability to greatly weaken the spiritual damage of the Miko. Known as the Witcher. Also known as, the Miko's Seal. There are also advanced monsters such as the Heavy Turtle and the Sword-Armed Mantis. In the past, when I was active outside, these monsters all disappeared like hide and seek. It made me think that there were no monsters worth absorbing in this area. Unexpectedly, as soon as I was forced to hibernate, all of them jumped out one by one. TSK TSK. Am I? A blessing in disguise? So, do I still have to thank Sesomaru and the little mage named Li Xia? At the same time, Mithraya is hundreds of miles away. A sharp pain in my right hand. Then came the familiar wind sound. What's wrong Moroku? Inuyasha, Coral, and Ali asked with concern. Mithraya, who had always been a bit lucky, sighed helplessly. Neraku is indeed not dead. The wind acupoint on my right hand is opened again. What? Then you. It's okay. Didn't Xia Jun prepare me mentally? Moreover, I have to thank Neraku. During the period without Phone Cave, my performance was greatly restricted. Now it's okay, Phone Cave is back. Everyone could hear that this optimistic self comfort was filled with deep bitterness. A month later, Li Xia returned to the village. At this time, Inuyasha and his party were still working hard outside. During this period, the team was lucky and collected two four soul fragments. One came from a monster, nothing to say. The other fragment was obtained from an old bandit. Speaking of which, that old bandit was an old acquaintance of Inuyasha. Fifty years ago, when Platycodon was alive, the old bandit was instigated by the bandit ghost spider and ran to attack Platycodon, but lost one eye due to Inuyasha's counterattack. Speaking of which, if Inuyasha hadn't taken action at that time, Kikyo's first blood would have been taken by this bandit. Yes, it's that ridiculous. A top-notch Miko who is difficult for monsters to approach, but the bandit leader who is good at archery approached her within a hundred meters, and then shot an arrow straight into her vest. At that time, the arrow was only one meter away from Kikyo's back. There is no way to avoid it. And Platycodon was completely unaware of this arrow at the time. Fortunately, Inuyasha appeared, stopped the sneak attack, and defeated the bandit leader. After letting the tiger go back to the mountains, this guy went to the city and blew up a fence, causing a lot of casualties. The bandit ghost spider who was celebrating in Golan suffered an unexpected revenge. He became paralyzed and was severely burned by the fire. It can be said that his body was completely damaged. After that, he was abandoned by the bandit leader in a valley outside Maple Village. Immediately, he happened to be rescued by Platycodon Grandiflorum. Then he coveted Kikyo's heart. So he simply broke the pot and merged with countless demons and monsters, and sold his soul to the monsters but what no one expected was that bandit ghost spider. Like Platycodon, is a four-soul full of great potential and extremely rare. Value This fusion, by mistake, gave birth to a fusion of ten thousand demons with extraordinary potential Neraku. From here, a series of bad things started to happen. Kikyo was seriously injured to the point of dying. Inuyasha was sealed by Kikyo with all his strength. What can we conclude through this story? Of course it is do your best to eliminate evil. The bandit leader sneaked into Kikyo and caused countless ings before that. However, Inuyasha still wanted to be a good guy and liked to let the tiger go back to the mountain. Platycodon is also very gentle and kind to humans, but she is really generous in saving bandit ghost spider. What are the results of these two? One was nailed to the sacred tree and sealed for fifty years. The other simply sang Liang Liang. There is nothing wrong with being kind, but you also have to look at the right person. Treating two bandits with all kinds of evil deeds with all kinds of tenderness, isn't this cruelty to the other villagers who are honest and good at farming? How irresponsible are you for yourself? On the surface, the blame belongs to Neraku. But to a certain extent, isn't it true that all tragedies are caused by what Inuyasha and Platycodon do and what they get? Inuyasha, who had gone through a lot, learned from the old bandit the ins and outs of many of the details of that year, 
and his teeth were almost broken at that time. Anyway, the old bandit was not forgiven and saved by Platycodon as in the original timeline. This day. On a mountain ridge, Ali was pushing his bicycle, with the rest of his friends beside him. They had been away from a village for a while. But at this moment, Inuyasha suddenly looked back with a look of surprise. Strange, why is there a faint smell of blood in the wind? Micah seemed to be aware of it, turned her little head, twitched her nose a few times, sniffed, and hurriedly let out a cry. What's wrong in Yasha, Karara? Mithraya, Coral and others asked. Before Inuyasha could explain anything, multiple black smoke suddenly rose from the village five or six miles down the mountain. It was definitely not the smoke lit while cooking. Look at the village. Chibao blinked. At this moment, everyone's expressions changed. It was fine half an hour ago. Why is it on fire? Let's go back quickly, sewing must have happened to the village. The heavy objects such as bicycles and packages were abandoned on the mountain road. Ali took off a long bow from his back and got on the long bread vehicle transformed by a ba. Coral sat on the back of the transformed big mica. Inuyasha had already ridden a white cloud, carrying Mithraya flying to the front. At this time, the village was in a mess. There were shouts of death and screams everywhere. When everyone arrived, the shouts of death and screams had basically faded away, replaced by low cries, violent shouts, and unbridled conversations. This village is really rich in supplies. I like this village. Well, this village is indeed great. How about we stay here until we finish eating the food? Ask the boss later. First gather all the young women at the entrance of the village, and those who dare to escape. All the adult men to avoid any accidents. Clear. When Miroku and Inuyasha approached the village entrance and saw the situation in the village, their expressions darkened. It's a bandit. Inuyasha even cursed secretly these s. The anger that had accumulated in his chest the past few days was ignited. After landing, he jumped up and knocked down several bandits in a matter of seconds. Who? The bandits, who had been going smoothly before, turned around and were caught off guard, started shouting and quickly gathered here. Among them, there were more than twenty people who were good at bows and arrows. They bent their bows and set arrows to shoot at Inuyasha. Unfortunately, no matter how good your archery SS are, you can't break through fire rat fur's defense. A group of bandits were shocked and they saw this. Inuyasha made a flexible leap in depth and quickly entered the group of bandits. The human weapon was unable to cut through the fire rat fur and struck Inuyasha, but the iron blade was easily broken by Inuyasha. So, after knocking down more than a dozen bandits one after another with one punch, he stepped on a middle-aged bandit who looked like a small leader and coldly snorted. I'll take care of you miscellaneous soldiers later. Call your boss out first. Inuyasha never ed these bandits from beginning to end. It seems that there is a taboo against staining human blood on one's hands. Inuyasha, don't be careless, there is a demonic spirit in these bandits. Mithraya reminded from behind. I smell it, there's a monster mixed in there. Inuyasha gritted his teeth. It was precisely because these human bandits mixed with the monsters regardless of life and death, and in turn persecuted the villagers of the human village, that made him extremely angry. At this moment, among the bandits, a young man wearing battle armor, holding a short-handled axe, and riding a tall white horse appeared surrounded by bandits. Ha! Huh. Half-demon! Boy, as a half-demon, you actually hang out with a human mage. Hum, I advise you not to mind your own business. The young man was surprised at first, and then gave a stern warning. As a high-level monster who can transform, he is not too prejudiced against half-demon. As long as you don't provoke him, he can still turn a blind eye. Hey, do you bandits hear this? Your leader is a monster. Inuyasha stared at the bandits, narrowed his eyes and said in a deep voice. However, a group of bandits kept sneering. Our boss is a monster, isn't that cool? The boss has led us to win every battle, and we are always invincible. Of course we will follow the boss. With the boss here, our team can be extremely stable. You know nothing. Yes, just because the boss is here, several armies that wanted to destroy us all failed. In the future, we will accompany the boss to conquer the city, let him become the city lord, and we will enjoy a lifetime of wealth. 
Don't you kids stay here. Sao Discord. All the bandits have become sober in the world. You guys. Only Inuyasha hasn't figured it out yet. I don't even know what troubled times are. They don't understand how rare it is to have a monster boss who can bring everyone food, clothing, wealth, women, and a sense of security. Boy, it seems you are going to have trouble with me. The young man narrowed his eyes. Without waiting for Inuyasha to answer, he immediately stepped forward on his horse and swung his great axe straight into Inuyasha's face. The axe is a demon weapon. Although it is far inferior to those fine products, it is not comparable to ordinary human swords. In addition, it was difficult to estimate the opponent's strength, so Inuyasha chose to dodge. He didn't dare to use the fire wrap fur to forcefully intercept it. After deftly dodging an axe, he decisively counterattacked with the soul-removing iron claw. Although this claw failed to attack the young man transformed into a monster, it tore the white horse under the young man's crotch to the ground five to six meters apart. Several ravines with a depth of one meter appeared, frightening many bandits. Boss Sotenmaru, are you okay? The young man who fled was very angry. Boy, you deserve to die. You have successfully angered me. On the way from mid-air to the ground, the clothes on his back fell apart, and a pair of butterfly-like wings suddenly grew out of his back. Then he turned back in mid-air and quickly approached Inuyasha, who had just raised his head to check the situation. This incident also caught Inuyasha off guard. Seeing that the monster weapon was about to hit him. At this time, Mithraya promptly threw out several emergency evil-proof talismans given by Li Xiao. After the evil-proof talisman carried Mithraya's magic power and thoughts, it collided with the big axe, and a dazzling electric light was emitted. Although it only blocked him slightly, it was enough time for Inuyasha to avoid it tactically. And Inuyasha not only dodged, but also took out a blood bag from his arms with his backhand, then tore the blood bag and let the blood stain the five fingers of his right hand. Next moment. Flying Blade Blood Claw. Dozens of sharp bloody flying blades were shot out with demonic power wrapped in sharp claws. This is his range type medium and long range attack s. The power is still very good. Now that he didn't have the iron broken fong to take advantage of. He was really at a disadvantage by relying on the soul removing iron claw for close combat against the opponent's demon weapon, the axe. It's perfect to use a small blood bag prepared in advance to cast blade blood claw. Really. The young man never expected that the human mage next to him would suddenly intervene. I didn't expect that the half-demon below had such a tricky move. He immediately raised his eyebrows. It seems that I need two shields. After being injured and knocked back by the flying blade and blood claw. He glanced at the entrance of the village not far away and glanced at a group of village women squatting on the ground waiting for their fate to be judged. When the second flying blade blood claw struck, he rushed towards the pile of women. What do you want to do? Inuyasha frowned. Motenmaru picked up the two women and threw them in the direction of Inuyasha. This throw is four to five meters high. If you don't care about it, even if you don't fall to death, the result will be tragic. When Inuyasha saw this, he didn't hesitate much and chose to pick up the two young women without hesitation. Idiot! Motenmaru's eyes lit up. Taking advantage of Inuyasha's negligence in picking up the two women, he opened his mouth and spat out a ball of yellow demonic energy. Inuyasha, be careful. Miroku shouted a warning. But at this time, Inuyasha, who was hit hard one after another, had no time to dodge. And in order to ensure the safety of the villagers, he also used his wide fire rat fur sleeves to protect the two women in his arms. Ah! Hiss! Inuyasha's right face was hit by a yellow yuki ball carrying poisonous powder. It suddenly became red and swollen. Not only that. Kotenmaru's axe struck again. Inuyasha, who was holding a human woman on his left and right and unable to free his hands, could only passively dodge and be beaten, without the ability to fight back. This feeling of being tied down made him extremely frustrated. Several more confrontations. A little bit dragged down by the human woman. The injuries on Inuyasha's body gradually increased, and finally he accidentally hit Motenmaru. Tangled in a corrosive thread spit out by the other party. Not good. Mithraya, who had dealt with the rest of the bandits who rushed to cause trouble, was shocked when he saw this. 
he immediately waved his staff and rushed towards Inuyasha. On the staff, light blue mana surges. Speaking of which, because he received the high-quality spiritual liquid, the immortal wine from the old immortal. And the bottles of elixir given by Li Xia to help strengthen his foundation and strengthen his mana, his current SS have improved compared to the same period in the original work. Quite a few. Therefore, both the speed of casting the enchantment and the effect of the enchantment have been greatly improved. Boundary. Motenmaru snorted coldly. Immediately spit out more poisonous threads. Wrap in Yasha, Miroku, and the two human women in this village with poisonous silk into thick rice dumplings. Humph, mage, let's see how long you can hold on. When the barrier you spread is shattered, the poisonous powder will quickly melt away all the residue you have left. Next, just wait. And the outside world. Ali, Coral and others arrived late. You can't blame them, Inuyasha was driving the cloud too fast, and he didn't even bother to wait for his teammates behind him. Being able to bring Mithraya with me is because I learned a lesson after suffering a big loss last time. Inuyasha, Maroka Kuen, are you okay? The two women looked at the huge poisonous cocoon at the entrance of the village and were extremely nervous. What to do? There are so many bandits. Chibao was very uneasy. Coral was agile and quickly snatched a series of sharp blades from the hands of several ordinary bandits who had gathered around him, and then chopped them on the poisonous cocoon. However, what shocked her was that after the iron swords used by the bandits were stained with the poisonous powder on the yellow poisonous cocoons, they began to decay rapidly. In just a few blinks, only half of them melted. This. When Mr. Mingjia saw this, he became even more anxious. There is poisonous powder from the moth demon on that cocoon. Such powerful poisonous powder is quite rare we have to rescue people as soon as possible. Master Inuyasha and the others won't be able to hold on for long. But the question is, how to save it? The total number of bandits was no less than 60. Previously, Inuyasha wanted to capture the thief first, but he more or less withdrew his strength when dealing with ordinary bandits, and Miroku did not make a ing move. This caused those who were originally knocked to the ground to regain their strength and get up from the ground full of energy again. And precisely because of this, the bandits became angry and turned their anger on Ali and Coral, who were catching up behind them. Seeing that the two women were women, children and pet cats, they immediately rallied to attack them. Damn it, there are too many people. Coral had to guard against Moten Maru while taking care of Ali. Therefore, after knocking over more than ten people with flying bone points, he was even attacked by a bandit with a hidden weapon and chopped off a few strands of long hair. For a time, the two girls and the big cat Micah were restrained and in danger. The bandits will show no mercy. Inside the poisonous cocoon. Inuyasha and Miroku were equally frightened and angry when they heard the noise outside. But Inuyasha was so deeply poisoned that his consciousness was a little blurred. How could he still have the energy to break through the poisonous cocoon? Not to mention cleaning up the superior monster Motenmaru who had been watching the show all day long. At this moment, the blue barrier was compressed by the gradually shrinking poisonous threads. A ball of yellow poisonous silk thread suddenly hung down and fell on the barrier light curtain, immediately causing ripples and making a strong corrosion sound. These poisonous threads are so poisonous that my barrier can no longer hold up. Mithraya groaned secretly. A thin layer of sweat formed on his forehead. After a few breaths, the barrier shrank once again. A handful of poisonous threads even corroded a slit in the barrier light curtain, then slipped in, and then naturally fell to Mithraya's back. A large piece of the black robe on Master Mithraya's back was immediately corroded away. His figure, holding the staff in both hands and trying his best to protect Inuyasha in his arms, couldn't help but tremble, and his originally straight back arched unconsciously. It hurts. Like fire. Inuyasha, are you okay? Cheer up. It was obvious that he was also injured, but after Miroku experienced the pain of his flesh being corroded by the poison, he quickly became concerned about Inuyasha, who was even more poisoned. Inuyasha didn't reply. While listening to the cries of his companions who were fighting hard outside the poisonous cocoon, he felt the dire situation of his friend Mithraya, feeling the indescribable anxiety and unwillingness in his heart. Don't come here. Shippo uses fox fire to scare the approaching bandits. But the bandits all sneered in response. 
They have already seen that whether it is the two young men from before, or the two chicks, a big cat and this little fox demon in front of them, they seem to be very taboo about ing people. He never ed them from beginning to end. They like this kind of good guy so much. In the poisonous cocoon, Inuyasha felt this, his eyes gradually turned red, and the dog's growl became more and more rapid. A red demonic flame quickly covered the whole body. On both sides of his cheeks, two ferocious purple demonic lines appeared. The injuries and poisoning on the body disappeared at a speed visible to the eye. Miroku, who tried his best to protect Inuyasha, suddenly realized sewing was wrong. Inuyasha, what's wrong with you? What's going on with this demonic aura that makes people's skin crawl all over? Before Miroku could prepare, Inuyasha jumped out of his arms and threw him heavily to the ground, causing his back to hurt and he groaned. And the next second, the huge poisonous cocoon that wrapped them was torn apart by a claw poisonous threads flew all over the sky, and then quickly dissipated completely. Um. This incident naturally attracted the attention of Sotenmaru. The young man narrowed his eyes. Kakik. After Inuyasha escapes from trouble, the first thing he does is no longer saving people, but. ING people. I saw his figure flash like a ghost, and at least ten human bandits around him were torn into pieces with his sharp claws. They are all dead and cannot die again. There is absolutely no intention of holding back this time. Inuyasha. How could that happen? This scene shocked Ali, Coral, Chibao and others. Mr. Mingxia was even more anxious. No, it's the demon blood that has revived. He knew all too well the dangers of half-demons demon blood reviving. Everyone, please stay away. Master Inuyasha's sanity may be quickly swallowed up by his bloodthirsty desire. In the field. After more than thirty bandits were torn to pieces by Inuyasha, he finally faced off against Motenmaru who had also transformed into a monster from behind the crowd. Humph, kid, who do you think you are? Do you, a mere half-demon, want to defeat me, who is a full demon? This uncle is Motenmaru. Go to hell. A large amount of highly toxic poison powder turned into a tornado and attacked Inuyasha. But what was completely different from before was that Inuyasha didn't dodge at all this time, and the poisonous powder that was still effective before could not hurt him at all now. His body surface seemed to have an invisible and powerful barrier. That is actually the demonic power that has converged into an invisible form. In order to break through this level of demon power, the quality and quantity of the attacker's demon power must be at least on the same level as in Yasha. Who is currently chasing five-star demon power with four and a half stars. Invalid. Impossible. Motenmaru's heart swelled. He shrugged his nose and smelled sewing that made him very uneasy. How come this kid smells like a demon? He didn't dare to be distracted and think about it any more, and directly spit out a stream of poisonous threads. Intending to gather them into a poisonous cocoon again and trap the kid in front of him who suddenly became a little dangerous. Pity. For Inuyasha, who was now red-eyed, it still didn't work. And Inuyasha is incredibly fast. After getting close, he tore the body of the ten-meter-tall demon moth into pieces with one claw. The superior monster was as weak and weak as a baby in front of Inuyasha at this time. This kind of fighting power shocked all those who witnessed it. Boss Sotemaru. Monster. Run quickly. The surviving bandits were so frightened that they dispersed in droves. Inuyasha turned around, and the dog's speed exploded. With just a few jumps, dozens more bandits died under his claws. Cannot stop. Simply cannot stop. Cool. So cool. The taste of ing, the taste of tearing the enemy into pieces, simply made him want to stop. Inuyasha, sit down. When he saw Inuyasha going on a rampage, ing all the bandits and trying to attack the remaining villagers. Actually he wanted to run to a hilltop on the side, where there was an aura that made Inuyasha instantly moved, he saw everything and just retreated. Far away, Ali remembered Li Xia's previous instructions. In order to calm down Inuyasha and regain his sanity, he quickly tried to use the power of the word spirit rosary. As a magic weapon strung one by one by Platycodon, the spirit beads have Platycodon's thoughts left on them. As long as Inuyasha's demonic power fails to break through the limit, Ali can make it honest for a while after activating it. No. 
Bang! Mom, it was that big brother who saved our village, why don't we receive them? After Inuyasha and his companions had gone far away, the surviving villagers gathered together. Among them, there was a little boy who couldn't figure out why the adults were so resistant to the big brother in red. He is not our benefactor, he is just a monster. Didn't you see his eyes were red and his hands were stained with blood? Remember, we humans, it's best to stay away from that kind of monster. When the mother's voice trembled slightly she explained to her child. Li Xia's sighed. After returning to the village, I said hello to Granny Fong, and then came to the bone-eating well outside the village. He was extremely satisfied when he saw that the small forest was being constructed by Bai Shi Qingzhuang during the slack time of farming and was being built into a shrine in full swing. In a few days, the shrine should be built. Speaking of which, Higarashi Shrine should have nothing to do with this shrine of mine, right? Li Xia thought like this before passing through the bone-eating well. In the modern world, Ailey's family's sacred tree and bone-eating well are located on a hillside 20 to 30 meters high. This environment is very different from where the bone-eating well and the divine tree were located during the Warring States period. The bone-eating well and the sacred tree from the Warring States period were both located on a forest plain. Not on the hillside. In addition, Maple Village is surrounded by several mountain peaks. One of them is related to ghost spiders. Fifty years ago, the bandit leader dropped the bandit ghost spider's paralyzed body that was burned by fire from the mountain ridge. The other one is related to Platycodon grandiflorum. That is the mountain behind Maple Village. Platycodon's former shrine maiden's residence was built on a sloping platform at the foot of the mountain. That wooden house was also the place where the Four Souls Jade was stored. There is also a mountain peak with a high altitude and a height of several hundred meters. The grass and trees on the mountain are now lush and green. But in the later stages of the original timeline, when Naraku, who transformed into a flying giant spider, passed through this mountain forest, the miasma emitted by him instantly corroded the entire mountain range. It even affected the entire village, making the entire Maple Village become barren. On the other hand, Aligia. Not only is it located on a hillside, it is also surrounded by vast plains. Not even a shadow of a hill can be seen. On the other side of the modern city, Li Xia looked at the beautiful scenery of the setting sun and frowned slightly. The landscapes of the two worlds are completely inconsistent. What if the future of Maple Village is the urban microcosm of the modern world, those rolling hills? Where did it go? Furthermore, how did the bone-eating well and the sacred tree on the side run from the flat land to the hillside? Is it because the island country is prone to earthquakes and the collision of tectonic plates has caused drastic changes in the landform? But this change is a bit too harsh. Back to business. After Li Xia returned to the modern world, he went straight to the home of Hojo's classmate from Class B of Meta Sequoia Junior High School. He came here just to learn about the birthplace of the Hojo family. Now that the Kuan blade of the Qian Kuan long sword is in hand, his next target is naturally the Qian blade. As for the location of the Gan blade, if he remembered correctly, it was the Hojo family over there during the Warring States period. This junior high school student named Hojo is a descendant of the Hojo clan. He has a very fond impression of Ali. One of his ancestors 500 years ago seemed to be called Hojo Akito or Sewing. Hojo Akito's partner is called Higarashi Kagome. When Li Xia checked the genealogy of the Hojo family, his eyes immediately narrowed. There is actually someone named Higarashi Kagome. Genealogy of large families is generally not messed with. Because of this, his mood became even more complicated as Higarashi Kagome on this family tree the Ali who traveled through time and space and returned to the Warring States period? No matter how you think about such an outrageous thing, there is definitely no accurate answer. So, he entered the Hojo family's library and found some information from 500 years ago. Through many materials, he determined that the Hojo family in the current time and space was indeed the first daimyo family in the Warring States period of the island country and found the ancestral land of the Hojo family. Without much delay, he returned to the opposite side of the well, preparing to go to Hojo's house to pick up some things. What the Hojo family holds is not just the demon sword stem blade. There is also an artifact called Heaven's Feather Clothes. As a result, before he could set out, he bumped into Mithraya and his party who were hurrying back to the village. Xia Jun. 
The friends are very happy. After Li Xia responded with a smile, he immediately saw sewing was wrong with Inuyasha in the crowd. Grandma Maple's Cabin Everyone sat in a circle. After opening the conversation, Li Xia quickly learned that sewing was wrong with Inuyasha. During your trip this time, you encountered a cunning monster who used humans as human shields to threaten you, causing Inuyasha to be seriously injured and even in danger of his life. The demon blood in Inuyasha sensed this danger and awakened, causing him to lose his mind and go on a ing spree. Yes, Mr. Xia. Grandpa Mingjia said that it was because he was no longer suppressed by Tai Suya that the demon blood revived. We have to help Inuyasha get back the Tetsuya. Everyone nodded. That's not right. Before Inuyasha got Tetsuya, his life was in danger, right? Why didn't he hear that Inuyasha had awakened the blood of monsters at that time? Grandpa Minka, what happened to Tetsuya's seal? Li Xia was very curious about this. In the original work, everyone did not go to the bottom of it, but simply accepted the conclusion of Mr. Mingjia. But Li Xia questioned this timeline. This in turn caused confusion among others. An astute person like Mithraya reacted immediately. Yes, Grandpa Minka. Before Inuyasha got the Tetsuya, he had been in danger of life and death many times, right? But I never heard that Inuyasha had turned into a demon. Why did he gain so much after he got the Tetsuya? Limit. The group of people all looked at the old flea. Minga sat cross-legged on Inuyasha's shoulders, with four arms crossed in front of his chest. And said solemnly that's because Master Inuyasha originally had a seal on his body, but it was destroyed by Seshomaru a few months ago. Seal. Seshomaru. What's the situation? Why is Seshomaru involved? Question marks on everyone's mind. Master Inuyasha, do you still remember the black pearl in your right eye? Ming Jia looked at his young master. Of course I remember, it has lost its demonic power and returned to my right eye. Inuyasha nodded. Actually, the black pearl sealed in your right eye has the effect of suppressing the demon blood in your body to prevent complete recovery. However, its power was exhausted when Seshomaru was taken out and used to open the space channel. Now, although it has returned to your right eye to accumulate demonic power, but based on the level of the young master's demonic power at this time. It is estimated that it will take at least dozens to hundreds of years to recover. The black pearl has the effect of suppressing the demon blood in my body. Inuyasha was stunned. The black pearl is an orb made by the great monster treasure fairy Ghost Uncle. It has the ability to connect the space between this world and the next world. If it weren't for the young master, you are too young now and have accumulated too little demon power in your body. If not, in fact, young master, you you can do a lot of things with it. Mr. Mingjia said seriously. The fire rat fur is fireproof and resistant to ordinary swords, and comes with an independent repair function. Tai Shaiya's scabbard protects against lightning. Tai Suya's attack comes with a hidden ability that assists in increasing demonic power. Because Tai Suya can absorb demonic power, when it is fully absorbed like in the original timeline. Part of the demonic power that was previously deposited in the blade and assimilated will flow back into the body of the blade holder and become the power of the blade holder. This is also as a, a proof of the true master of Tai Suya. Then there is the black pearl, which can connect the two worlds. Developed properly, it can even forcefully send your opponent to the yokai graveyard. The key is that the suppressive power contained in it can prevent Master Inuyasha from reviving his demon blood and going completely berserk to the greatest extent. The arrangements the master made before his death were already in place. But who would have thought that Sesomaru came to him, took out the black pearl by force, and exhausted the demonic power inside it? This was considered a waste of his backup plan. Fortunately, Sesomaru was slashed by Tetsuya, allowing Tetsuya to absorb some demonic power of a great monster level, strengthening the power of another seal. As long as Taisuya is in hand, Master Inuyasha's demon blood will be soothed no matter how he revives. Later, even if Master Inuyasha is in a state where the demon blood has fully recovered, Taisuya will help the master maintain his sanity until his own master can become a demon on his own. I see. Li Xia nodded. With the help of Shangue's mind-reading ability, he quietly listened to Mingjia's thoughts and learned some of General Inu's arrangements. After understanding the path arranged by this super monster for his youngest son, 
he no longer felt as envious as before. What Inyasha could do through backstage connections, he could definitely do it with his foresight. Even better. Moreover, he also got an additional piece of information, that is the Black Pearl will absorb Inuyasha's demonic power to nourish itself. Although, the stronger Inuyasha's demonic power is, the faster the Black Pearl will recover but before the orb is fully recovered. The growth of demonic power that Inuyasha enjoys spontaneously as he grows older will undoubtedly be greatly reduced. The slower Inuyasha grows, the greater the risk of demon blood reviving. Each link can be said to be interlocking. Therefore, Tai Suya becomes very important. With iron broken tooth, all hidden problems are no longer a problem. In other words, I really should help this friend retrieve Tai Suya as soon as possible. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but touch the Kuen's blade wrapped in a cloth bag that was still warm. That's all, it's just a high quality demon sword. It's not the best. And the evil spirit is so strong. It's not the person who wields the sword who controls the sword, but the sword controls the person who wields the sword. Just like Song Yanya. The path is so evil. It can be regarded as a low end version of Tsong Yanya and a high end version of fighting ghosts and gods. Now, I can't control this demonic sword at all. Instead of spending energy on developing this kind of demon sword that can bite the owner all the time. It is better to take advantage of this favor and ask the old man of Todasai to help create a more useful treasure, and by the way, he can continue to learn some forging SS. What's more, Tai Suya was given away by me, so it's up to me to redeem it. Li Xia thought secretly in his heart. It should all have a beginning and an end. Xia Jun, what is that in your left hand? Wait, your left hand. Inuyasha, who had recovered a lot, asked doubtfully. I got this left arm for temporary use from a transformed monster who is very knowledgeable about current affairs. As long as I want, it's okay to get some monster arms. So Inuyasha, and everyone, you don't have to worry about it. I feel guilty for losing my left arm. While Isya comforted everyone, she showed off her fair-skinned arms with jade-like fingers. Inuyasha blinked first, then twitched his nose, with a strange look on his face. Why does it look like a woman's arm? Moreover, it smells a bit familiar. Um. Could it be the left arm of the woman named Kagura next to Neraku? Yes, it's hers. Li Xia admitted openly. Just in case, he made a special trip back to Bai Ling Mountain and asked Master Bai Exian to check if there was any hidden hand of Neraku inside. After making sure that there was no evil hidden in it and purifying it inch by inch, he installed it for himself. Why was this arm installed? The main purpose is to try to master Kagura's wind demon power. Of course he looked down upon this woman's left arm. But Kagura is known as the messenger of wind. This woman's wind power should be more or less helpful for his subsequent mastery of wind damage and even explosive flow. Otherwise, how can he be called a wind messenger? Even if the arm is removed later, his sense and experience of the wind of evil spirit will always remain. These are undoubtedly improvements. I have the subtle transformation ability of the great Osmanthus mask. Changing my arms is as simple and natural as eating and drinking. However, Inuyasha and the others cannot enjoy my shikigami, so they cannot take this shortcut. Li Xia secretly said. It's not that he doesn't want to help his friends take some shortcuts to improve quickly. However, what he holds in his hands is the core inheritance of his family. If his companions don't pay the corresponding price, they will ask him to take advantage of the family's generosity in order to benefit. This is obviously not his style. Unless Inuyasha can come up with better benefits in exchange. It is impossible to give sewing for free. Brothers still have to settle accounts. Xia Jun, have you met Neraku during this time? Mithraya, who had regrown the wind cave, said nervously. That's not true. Li Xia shook his head. Did you just meet Kagura? That's right, Neraku was severely injured before, and he should be dormant at this time. Mithraya was relieved. When Li Xia saw this, he shook his head again. Neraku is not dormant. He has done a lot during this period. He just deliberately avoided us and the other two groups of people. No, I was plotted by Kagura and Neraku on the way back, and I almost lost my remaining right arm. However, I think Kagura was not determined to work for Neraku, 
but just wanted to be free therefore, he did not her, but just cut off one of her arms as a lesson. When Ali and others heard this, they were in awe. Can you Kagura but only cut off one of Kagura's arms? Xia Jun's mind is too open-minded. They had misunderstood Mr. Xia before. As for what I'm holding. It's another catch. Li Xia said, opening the package and revealing the blade of Kuan. As soon as the demonic sword revealed its blade from a pile of sealing talismans, it emitted an astonishing demonic aura. It directly caused violent celestial phenomena to occur outside. Circles of thick demonic clouds suddenly filled the sky above Maple Village. At the first glance, Mithraya couldn't help but take a deep breath and move away from his buttocks how can there be such a strong evil spirit. Ali and Hualu were excited at the same time. Chibao, Aba, and Yunyu all exploded. The tails of the three little guys all stood up straight. Even Grandpa Minka, who had seen the world, and Inuyasha, whose condition had improved, also showed surprise. This is. What a powerful knife. Everyone was about to say sewing when Inuyasha reached out and grabbed Kuan's blade can't wait. Inuyasha. Li Xia frowned. What the hell is this guy? Why are you thinking about seizing the knife? When he looked up, he saw that Inuyasha's eyes were yellow and dull, and he immediately understood that this half-hearted attempt was unreliable again. How could he be distracted by the half-remaining demon sword? Miroku, hold down Inuyasha. He is controlled by the knife in my hand. Li Xia reminded the surrounding companions while resuppressing Fong Kuan's blade. Everyone turned their heads and discovered sewing was wrong with their little friend. Inuyasha, wake up. Miroku made a quick decision and flew away Inuyasha, who was attacking Li Xia. After three breaths, Inuyasha slowly came back to his senses. I, what happened to me just now? He had no impression at all that he was confused by a demonic sword that he had never touched before. The others looked at each other in shock when they heard this. Looking at the package in Li Xia's hand, he felt an inexplicable chill this demon knife is so dangerous. The Qianquan sword condensed the corpses of 222 special monsters that were at least intermediate to upper level, and contained the resentment of many monsters. And every time this sword is used to new monsters, the grievances of the monsters before their death will also be absorbed by the demon sword. Thus serving as a resource to strengthen the evil spirit and resentment in the sword. In the original timeline, Harenbo helped Seshomaru create the demon fighter, but it was done in one go. However, when making the Chienkuen sword, it was divided into two pieces and made separately. This shows the evil nature of this knife. Many other deeds also prove the terrifying nature of this knife. After all, just the dry blade can cause misfortune to the person holding it. In the original plot, the blade of Kuen was in the hands of the superior monster elite Hashihiro Kwan, and could even slash with Inuyasha's Tetsuya, once absorbing Tetsuya's demonic power. Although Master by Xian can spend some time purifying all the resentment in the blade, after purification. The evil spirit and resentment are completely dissipated, and the power and quality of the demon sword will also decline significantly. This is not suitable for exchanging with Seshomaru. Therefore, he did not bother his master to eliminate the negative energy on it. Exchanging the complete Chinkuan sword for Tai Suya, my confidence is three points higher. In addition, the arrogant highness probably didn't want his cheap and stinky brother to be tortured back and forth by the demon blood resurrecting him. The certainty of successful trading can probably be mentioned further. It depends on whether Seshomaru can perfectly control this enhanced version of fighting demon. Grandpa Mingjia, I have something to ask you to come over to. Li Xia took out a four-soul fragment and handed it to this person. Where to go? What to do? Go to the treasure fairy ghost and use this fragment to help us exchange for an orb similar to the black pearl in Inuyasha's right eye. The other end. Inuyasha's half-demon blood turned into full-demon blood, and Seshomaru had also noticed this. Deep in an extremely remote forest. Seshomaru, who carried three demon swords on his waist, came here with two oil bottles. Your Highness, do your father's acquaintances actually live in such a remote forest? The little demon guy Shijin asked aloud while carrying a walking stick with a human head. At this moment, an old echo came from the dark forest. Have you finally come here? Says Homaru. Who's talking? There's no one around here. Xie Jian looked around a little nervously. 
Xiaoling, who was sitting on Imo Mo's back, also blinked her big curious eyes. It is worth mentioning that Sesomaru's previous pet Mu Mu did not have a cushion on his back but since he got Xiaoling. Mu Mu has become exclusive to the little girl, and has an extra soft cushion for easy riding. This also means that Sesomaru's cold and hard heart is gradually softening. Pu Xianwen, what do you mean by this? Did you know that I would come? Sesomaru led two young followers to an ancient tree that was a hundred meters high and had an unusually large crown. When I saw an old face emerging from the tree trunk. Ah, dry it. Xiaoling was very surprised. The evil view is extremely shocking. Master Sesomaru, who is this? A hackberry tree that is over 2,000 years old, an old friend of my father's. The noble prince responded calmly. The old face on the tree trunk also showed a smile yes, my name is Pu Xianwen. The scabbards of Tian Xinya and Tai Suya are both cut from my branches. Is that so? You are so awesome. Xie Jian took the opportunity to flatter him. But it was also his true words. I was even secretly cursing in my heart. It turns out that the scabbards of the two knives are made from the branches of the tree demon transformed by this psychic ancient tree. No wonder the scabbards have incredible power. Seeing this situation, I can somehow understand it. So, says Homaru, you are here for your father's relic, Tetsuya, right? Or? Pu Xianwen's eyes always stayed on the noble young master. But when he saw the two familiar scabbards hanging on Sesomaru's waist. Why is Tai Suya in your hand? And how can you use Tai Suya? This was undoubtedly beyond his expectations. When the old tree demon asked Sesomaru this question, Sesomaru's eyes couldn't help but shine, and the corners of his mouth could not help but curl up slightly. It seems that you do know a lot of things. As he spoke, he pulled out Tai Suya from the scabbard on his waist and pointed the blade directly at Pu Xianwen tell me everything you know. I don't think you would like to be chopped off by Tai Suya. Branchy. Pu Xianwen. He was silent for a few breaths, and when he saw that the naughty kid in front of him was a little impatient, he decisively let go. Put down the knife, we have something to talk about. It's just that the kid himself is not embarrassed at all. Didn't those two cheaters, Ming Jia and Dea Dezai, hang the natural tooth on his body because he was very powerful and not afraid of offending the kid in front of him? And then guided the kid to come and get the knife? However, it is another situation for this kid to hold Tai Shaya. He didn't want to be the target of Tai Suya's absorption. Sesomaru took back the Tetsuya. Then we got down to business. Inuyasha, my half demon brother, when he was cornered by a demon moth, the taste of his blood changed. From the smell of a half-demon to the same smell of monster blood as my father and I. You should know the reason, right? No doubt. Sesomaru, that Sundra, has been following his younger brother in Yuyasha. No matter what kind of thoughts this behavior comes from, there is more or less the meaning of elder brother like father. As for the scene where Inuyasha transformed, he must have been seen. In addition, after Inuyasha, who had awakened the demon king's bloodline, Edmo Tenmaru, and all the bandits. He inexplicably sensed a mysterious aura, which was probably accidentally revealed by His Highness Sesomaru due to his inner shock. Oh. The same monster blood? After Pu Xianwen muttered, he denied the young man's statement your blood is not the same. It's different. How do you say it? Shadian frowned slightly. Inuyasha is a half-demon between humans and demons. He cannot become a real monster. At least there is one thing that you can easily do Sesomaru, but your brother Inuyasha basically can't do it. What Inuyasha can't do? The look of doubt on your face became even stronger. Pu Xianwen did not answer any more riddles and directly gave the answer. The biggest difference between you is maintaining yourself. For example, Sesomaru, no matter what situation you are forced into during the battle, your heart is always cold. You shouldn't lose yourself, right? Ha, huh, but I won't be cornered. Shadian had a stern look on his face. Joke. With Tai Suya in hand, who else in this land can push him to a desperate situation? He is the only one who bullies others, and no one else can bully him. Why was his left arm chopped off by Inuyasha a few months ago? That was just his carelessness. No, at that time he just wanted to feel the sharpness of the iron broken teeth. Ha <laughs> ha, maybe that day will never come. 
Pu Xianwen smiled and continued to talk about business without pouring cold water on this arrogant brat. But Sesomaru and Inuyasha are different. He is only half demon. When he is forced into a desperate situation and his life is in danger, in order to protect himself, the monster blood in his body will dominate his body and undergo changes. Hearing this, Sesomaru fell into memories and thoughts. Is this why the taste of blood changed at that time? Pu Xianwen pointed out some hidden dangers of this change. Although the resuscitation of demon blood can make Inuyasha significantly stronger, the blood of the great demon he inherited from your father is still too strong for his half-demon body. His half-demon heart will be destroyed by this. The monster's blood slowly eats away at it. By then, even he himself will no longer be able to distinguish between friend and foe. It will everything around it indiscriminately. Then in the process of constant change, he completely loses himself and becomes a monster who only knows how to fight and destroy until his body is destroyed. Your father definitely didn't want him to become like that, so he left Tai Suya to protect him. And you? Even if you don't have Tai Suya, you can still stand on your own with your own abilities. There is still a lot of on-demand meaning in Park Xianwen's words. It's his business to say it or not. As for whether you can listen or not. That was Sesomaru's own business. The natural teeth are peeled off from the broken iron teeth. As the material for the scabbards of the two knives, he knew sewing about this. In addition to being a sword of destruction, is Tai Suya also a sword of protection? Without the protection of Tetsuya, Inuyasha will embark on the path of self-destruction sooner or later. Humph, only half-demon mixed with humans can be so miserable. Ling, let's go. Shadian turned around and left here with his two young followers and many worries. Southwest of Musashi country, Yamashiro, the territory of the Hojo clan. Speaking of the Hojo clan, their bloodline heritage is very long. Dating back to before 1500 AD. Decades ago, Hojo Heian came out of nowhere. He was dormant in the early stage, but later achieved great results by conquering the two countries. He successively won the two countries of Aizu and Sagami, and as the pioneer of the Sengoku Daimyo, he became the first daimyo of the island nation during the Warring States period. In other words, this man can be regarded as the founder of the Warring States period. The rise of this man laid the foundation for the Hojo clan to dominate Kanto for more than a hundred years. It is worth mentioning that he is also a powerful mage. Part-time top military general. Similar to a ruthless character who has both magic and SS. His descendants, in compliance with the decree, expanded their territory to include half of Musashi province, part of Shimoso province, and half of Suruga province. That is, the large area south of Mount Fuji. The surname Hojo has further become a dominant clan in the human world. Five years ago, Hojo Yasushi came to power in the Hojo family. This man is also quite good at using soldiers. Three generations of heroes have emerged in a row, which has made the Hojo family prosperous. Of course, everything is based on the human world. Does not involve the world of monsters. Recently, as the family head and daimyo, Yasushi Hojo is worried about a resurrected demon sword in the clan's warehouse. It turns out that since Li Xia took out the blade of Kuan from Bailing Mountain, the Hojo family invited many priests and Anmyoji to work together to seal the blade of Qian, and they became more and more dishonest. Master, because of that knife, there are traces of monsters in the city again, causing a lot of casualties. In a large room, an old man dressed as a mage opened the door curtain and went inside to report. The room was already full of people. Mostly they are dressed as wizards or witches. There are also priests and Anmyojis wearing tall hats. Priests are civil servants who preside over national Shinto. Anmyoji is also an official position dedicated to serving the imperial power. Small castles generally do not cultivate mages, witches, and priests. However, large clans and powerful forces based on the country, because of their vast territory, must face the harassment of monsters. And they will definitely cultivate their own teams of priests and Anmyoji to deal with monsters and monsters in times of war. What's more, the Hojo family is a family descended from a mage. This house is the foundation of the Hojo family. Are there monsters again? How many casualties are there this time? In the room, the middle-aged leader frowned and asked in a deep voice. 
His voice was majestic and had an aura of calm and authority. More than 40 people died, and more than 200 people were slightly or seriously injured. The visitor should report truthfully. After everyone in the field learned about the situation, a middle-aged man dressed as a mage immediately bowed his hands to the person above. Master, it seems that we have to find a way to send the Qian Blade to the Holy Mountain to eliminate the resentment and evil spirits on it. Otherwise, with the demon power that this demon sword continues to release, I am afraid it will attract more. Powerful monsters are causing trouble. Even though our Hojo family is not afraid of monsters of all kinds, we are still very troubled. After the man finished speaking, several mages around him echoed. Their abilities are limited, and even together they can't eliminate the evil spirit on the demon sword. We can only send it to Bailing Mountain, the holy place in the hearts of all mages, to try to suppress it. Anyway, for more than a hundred years, haven't things that everyone can't handle just been thrown directly into Bailing Mountain? Can't we keep the Qian Blade? This is an important thing left by Ancestor Zaoyun. The head of the family, Yasushi Hojo, scanned the area below. It's all my fault. More than a dozen members of the Hojo family looked ashamed. Of course they also want to keep the Qian Blade, but they are more self-aware. For the sake of the family's long history and the king's hegemony, he had no choice but to give up this demonic sword. Seeing everyone's dejection, Hojo Yasu sighed secretly and stopped worrying. That's all. However, it's still a bit inappropriate to just send the Qianji blade away like this. What does the head of the family mean? I want the more honest young men in the clan to take the Gon blade to the northeast of Musashi country. And try to attract as many monsters as possible who are interested in the Gon blade from our Hojo clan's territory. As long as there is chaos there, if there is chaos, we might be able to take advantage of it. Hojo Yasushi narrowed his eyes. Everyone looked at each other for a while. It's more than a hundred miles away, it's not that easy, right? That's why we have to choose a child who is determined, honest, and has no ambitions or desires. With the simple seals we put on the Qian blade, the child will not be easily controlled by the demon sword. The head of the family is still wise. Okay, do you have anyone suitable to recommend? Chiu sure, this child is quite good. The only one in his direct bloodline who has no talent for cultivation, it doesn't matter if he loses him. That child in Chosher. Can. In addition, two of you should go together at a distance to prevent other misfortunes on the road in autumn. As long as you send the people to the northeast of Musashi country and complete this mission, you can return. Hojo Yasu ordered. I hope this plan to divert trouble to the east will be effective. In the original work, whether Hojo Akito ran north with the Ama no Hagoromo, or later ran towards the Maple Village with the Inari Blade, the intention behind it was not simple. The Hojo family has never been a small family of cats and dogs. The two generations before him were mages with both magic and SS, and were part-time top military generals. There is a considerable degree of confidence. Li Xia came from the northeast and happened to pass by Hojo Autumn. When he saw the many details of the Hojo family, he couldn't help but take a deep breath no wonder in the later generations of the Dharma ending age. The practicing families are basically the continuation of the former dynasty families. It's no wonder that the Hojo family was able to obtain the heavenly Hagoromo and the stem blade and hold these two rare treasures for decades. After he arrived, he made a brief observation. Discovering that the Hojo clan has a mage as good as Mithraya who is capable of becoming a master long ago. That's a lot to catch. Just among the members of the third and fourth generations, at least twenty or thirty people have reached the level of Mithraya. The fifth generation bloodline of the Hojo clan, who is the same generation as Moroku, also has many young talents. Miko also trained a lot. Priests and Anmyoji are the main force. This does not include the many families and temples and shrines that rely on the Hojo clan. How did Hojo Akito in the original novel manage to be harmless to humans and animals? Facing behemoths in the human world like the Hojo clan, Li Xia also felt the lack of his own strength. His personal SS are relatively outstanding. With the help of several major Shikigami, he can retreat calmly from the face of big monsters. In the Hojo family, except Yasushi Hojo, who is the daimyo and part-time head, the rest of the family should be inferior to him. But facing the entire Hojo clan, his current ODs are still not enough. 
Under this overlord, there are too many two-star and three-star level mages, witches, and priests. Even too many ants can an elephant. Therefore, after discovering that Hojo Akashi was heading to the northeast with the demon sword stem blade, he did not scare the snake again, but returned quickly. And because he was traveling on a poisonous dragon, he was undoubtedly moving very fast. It's sowing that ordinary people can't compare to when they're walking on foot. What usually takes several days for ordinary people takes only a few hours. Based on the Hojo clan's idea of diverting trouble to the east and ultimately wanting to send the Qin blade into Bailing Mountain, it was not difficult for him to screen out a dozen easy roads. So, along these roads, Li Xia flew at low altitude and launched a very purposeful search. Too ostentatious. Just be swaggery. There can't be anyone else coming to trouble him because of this, right? When he screened the fourth way. Found it. Hojo Akito, according to the original plot description, is the ancestor of Hojo's classmates in Class B, the third grade of Metasequoia Junior High School in the modern world. The two look very similar. When Ali saw Hojo Akito for the first time in the original work, he almost recognized him as the classmate who pursued him many times in the modern world. Because of this, this person is really easy to identify. That's a dragon. As Hojo Akito was walking northeast along a winding dirt road in the country, he was glanced at by the poisonous dragon coming in front of him, and he fell to the ground in fright. Although he had seen monsters flying into the sky in the mountains and forests outside the city from time to time, he had never seen them face to face at such a close distance. In this world, it is not unusual for ordinary people to see monsters. Haven't you seen some monsters often pretending to be bandits and going down the mountain to borrow food? No, I'm looking for Chiosher. A mile or two behind the young man, two middle-aged monks stopped pretending to be passers-by and hurried over. Their mission is to ensure that the Aini Blade is sent to the northeastern part of Musashi country by the junior members of the ordinary clan who will not be controlled. At least not within their own territory. As long as the demonic sword leaves the territory ruled by the Hojo clan, their mission will be completed. As for whether the demon sword can be sent further north to Bailing Mountain in the East Kingdom? That depends on the abilities of the younger members of the family. But now, they are still on the border territory of the Hojo clan. Once the dry blade erupts here with the demonic energy that fascinates the monsters, it will definitely attract countless monsters to gather here. If it is not handled well, the Hojo family will suffer a lot of losses. This is not in the family's interest. However, when the poisonous dragon passed by Hojo Akito, who was lying on the ground shivering, he was grabbed by a big hand on the shoulder, and disappeared in a blur. Li Xia took action. At the same time, illusions were used. Therefore, the external performance is that he was swallowed by the poisonous dragon. How so? The two monks behind were shocked and anxious. There is nothing that can be done about such emergencies. Isn't the blade of Qian jointly sealed by the family master and everyone, so it won't release any demonic energy for the time being? Why is it still attracting dragon-type monsters to attack Chiosher? What should I do? On the back of the poisonous dragon. Li Xia and the trembling Hojo Akito looked at each other. Your name is Hojo Akito, right? Li Xia asked with a smile. You. You know me. Hojo was trembling all over while holding the package. The mysterious young man in front of him, who looked much younger than himself, actually subdued a dragon. And take him with him on the back of a flying dragon? How did you do it? With such an incredible ability, he feels much more powerful than the big shots in the clan. Hiss. It's so cold. This dragon seems to be flying more than a thousand meters in the sky, right? Things on the ground are so small. If I fall from this height, I will definitely die, right? The more the cool wind blew on him, the more afraid he felt in his heart. Li Xia, on his side, quietly looked at this harmless young man, and then said your mission is to take the demon knife in your arms to Bailing Mountain to purify and seal it, right? Yes. Hojo Akito nodded hurriedly, without any intention of denying it. There is no need to deny it. In terms of age, he looks two or three years older than Li Xia. But from a mental point of view, he was not a little bit weaker than Li Xia who suddenly appeared. Give me the demon sword in your arms, and I will take it to Bailing Mountain to deal with it. 
I am a mage, and you have seen my ODs. What do you think? This is straight to the point. Give you the Qian Blade. Hearing this, Hojo Akashi was startled for a moment, then shook his head. No, no, it's my task to personally deliver the things to Bailing Mountain. I must complete it myself. When the young man said this, his face was quite firm. Really? Don't think about it anymore. Li Xia smiled and pulled out the fire-pointed spear on his back. Seeing the tip of the gun that was almost approaching his neck, Hojo Akito's heart was beating wildly. He swallowed twice, his heart filled with bitterness. Escape. How to escape? Jump from a high altitude. By then, tigers, leopards, jackals, and even monsters in the wild might come to collect his body. The contents of the package still belong to the person in front of me. Well. The situation is stronger than the person. He obeyed. However, after handing over the Qianji blade, he still struggled unwillingly. The voice was very soft and careful. Can I come with you and take a look? What are you looking at? I want to see how you can dispel the evil spirit from this demonic sword, is that okay? What do you think? Arrive at Bailing Mountain. Li Xia pretended to put the things into the belly of the mountain and sealed them. Then he took Hojo Akito to the eastern border of Musashi country. You have to walk the rest of the way by yourself, I won't send you away. Thank you. The young man thanked him sincerely. He had witnessed everything with his own eyes and naturally had no doubt that it was fake. Go back and be careful on the way. By the way, if your family has any troublesome things that need to be sealed in the future, remember to send them to Bailing Mountain in time. With that holy mountain to suppress evil spirits, no evil spirits can cause big waves. Next, just waiting for Shinjui to be born, Tian Yui took the initiative to come to the door. Yes, I took note of it. Hojo Akashi nodded solemnly. When he returned, he told the family members that it was best to throw all the strange things left by his ancestors into Bailing Mountain. In this way, the Hojo family does not have to allocate strength to suppress those evil things and be stretched. The family can also get rid of certain difficulties and thrive better. At the same time, the demon ninja lineage is also taking action. As the former holder of the Chenkuan sword, the leader of the demon ninja seems to have felt the call of the demon sword to him. The night is getting darker. The eastern part of Musashi grassland. A young boy and a young boy were walking under the stars with a pet. It's shining. That big star was shining just now. Master Sesomaru, did you see it? Master Sesomaru, that. Behind Shadian, who was hiding his thoughts, Shijian worked hard to show his presence. Seeing that his young master paid no attention to him, he was thinking a lot in his heart. I feel like Master Sesomaru has been doing things that I can't imagine lately. Alas, he's so lonely. That girl Ling only knows how to sleep and doesn't understand my suffering at all. Looking back at Xiao Ling who was sleeping soundly on Aomo's back, she felt sad to see the old man. Carrying a crutch with a human head in one hand and holding Ah Mo's reins in the other, he was bored and unspeakably lonely. Then, without noticing that Sesomaru had stopped in front of him, he bumped into him. Ah! Brother Crystal was shocked. I broke out in cold sweat. Master Sesomaru, what's wrong? He felt that he would inevitably be dealt with this time. That smell of a human and his little pet. In addition, there is also a strange evil atmosphere. Shadian said calmly. Eh. Xie Jian shrugged his nose and indeed caught Li Xia's scent from the wind. It's him. The next moment, a dragon-shaped shadow appeared in the brilliant starry sky of the galaxy. A poisonous dragon grew bigger and bigger and fell from the sky. A strong wind blew up. The green grass on the meadow was bent over. Xiao Ling, who was sleeping deeply on Ah Mo's back, was so blown by the gust of wind that she was about to fall down. Not good. Seeing this, Xie Jian swooped down, dropped the human head and crutches, and rushed to Xiao Ling's landing point, allowing the little girl to land on his back relatively comfortably. Plop. Oh, my old waist. The old man's eyes almost bulged out when he saw Xie. Normally, he would not like to see this girl but since Master Sesomaru likes Ling so much, he has already fallen in love with her, and has fallen in love with Xiao Ling's innocence. 
it's just that he prefers competing for favor. Therefore, he never gives in. Your Highness says Homaru, long time no see. Li Xia, who was carrying the package, jumped off the poisonous dragon's back with Hui Ren Fong in hand. The poisonous dragon spontaneously turned into a golden card and got into his sleeve. Your arm. Says Homaru's eyes flashed slightly. Li Xia smiled slightly and responded. The female goblin named Kagura under Neraku was plotting against me, so I cut off her arm and borrowed it for use. Speaking of which, it was thanks to His Highness that he severely injured Neraku, which gave me time to make rapid progress. And space otherwise, if it were me before, I wouldn't be able to hurt the wind user. What do you want from me? The mountain breeze blew His Highness's long hair. The starlight set off this handsome man. Your Highness, I want to use a high-quality demon sword that can compete with the Iron Swaya to help Inuyasha get the Iron Swaya. I wonder if Your Highness can be accommodating. Of course, our deal will only count if Your Highness is satisfied. With that said, he took out the blade of Qian and the blade of Kuan. Feeling the resentment and demonic aura on the two demon swords, Sesomaru couldn't help but narrow his eyes. A very strong knife. They are also two very dishonest knives. No, these two knives are actually the same one. It is just a shape with a blade at each end of the handle. Together they are the true complete form. Before Sesomaru could raise any other doubts, Li Xia revealed the origin of the Qianquan sword. Then he handed this top quality demon sword to Hui Renfang. Your Highness, let the forger of this sword, Hui Renfang, demonstrate its power. Damn humans! Hui Renfang, who was captured alive, was very angry. When he got the Qianquan sword, his eyes instantly turned blood red. Hui Renfang has a ferocious uncle's face and wears a necklace of skulls. As a swordsmith, he wanted to forge powerful swords in an attempt to surpass his master, Toto Sai. That's right, this guy is a direct disciple of Toto Sai. In other words, he is Li Xia's senior brother. It's a pity that this guy has evil intentions. In order to make a powerful sword, he did not hesitate to a large number of innocent children to practice sword making. Use the purest resentment of those children to enhance the resentment and evil spirit of the demon sword, so that the demon sword has evil spirits. A hundred years ago, he was expelled from the master's school by Toto Sai. But although this guy has no morals, he is very talented. In the original work, in the early and middle stages, he used the ghost fong of Wu Xingue to forge the fighting ghost god that could compete with Tai Suya and as early as decades ago. He was entrusted by others to create the blade of the universe. Therefore, he is very familiar with the capabilities of the blade of the universe. No, the sword light swept across. Li Xia was split into two on the spot. Humph, damn humans, they actually bullied me. Hui Renfang, who was completely controlled by the demon sword, sneered. He turned to Sesomaru. Sesomaru, will you be next? His eyes were filled with bloodlust. How? How could it be possible? That good brother was actually. Ed? Xiaoling, who was still a little dazed at first, witnessed this scene with her own eyes and was awakened from all her sleep. Last time they met for the first time, the eldest brother who was attacked by that ugly man gave her delicious candies. Candies are delicious. Big brother must be a good person. But how come good people end up like this? The little girl was very sad. Xie Jian, who was lying on the ground and squinted his eyes and witnessed everything, curled his lips calmly Ling, what nonsense are you talking about? It's just an illusion to fool children. That kid Li Xia is still alive and well. In his eyes, what was split into two was just the afterimage of Li Xia left in place. What is lying on the ground is the effect of illusion. In this regard, Sesomaru at the front was even more unmoved. Xie Jian, stop talking nonsense and take Ling as far away as possible. While giving the order, he glanced at a large rock not far to the side with his peripheral vision. Does teleportation work with illusions? A very good ability. Xia Jian secretly praised in his heart. Even he was in a daze just now. On the other hand, that idiot from Grey Blade Workshop was not only easily controlled by a demonic sword, but he couldn't even see through this illusion. No wonder he could only create a half-baked weapon. So, why not let the two knives collide and try it? While he was thinking this with great interest, 
he moved his hand slowly, and already used his right hand to pull out another demon sword from Hui Ren Fong from his waist. Onikiri. The moment the ferocious looking Hui Ren Fong saw the demon sword in his own hand, a trace of clarity briefly returned to his eyes. His obsession with forging the best sword actually allowed him to briefly defeat the control of the demon sword in his hand. But before he could throw away the Chinkuan sword, he was controlled by the sword in his hand again. Sesomaru, you don't want to use the demon sword I made for you, Anakiri, to compete with my most proud work, the Chinkuan Najinata, do you? Hey hey hey, can't you? Do you think that a high-quality demon sword can beat my top-notch Chinkuan Najinata? There are many strange colors on the face of Hui Ren Fong. Sesomaru snorted lightly, without adding a single word of nonsense. With a flash of his body, he went straight towards Hui Ren Fong, who was dozens of meters away. The demon sword in his hand. That's right, his target was not the grey blade of the intermediate monster, but the rather evil sword in the opponent's hand. The demon power is attached to the demon sword Onikiri, and the sword energy is like a set of armor. There was a clang, and the two knives collided. Hui Ren Fong, who suffered a huge impact, flew backwards, and then fell to the ground. On the other hand, the Chinkuan sword in his hand not only was not damaged, but actually gained a lot of demonic power. The real problem was the demon sword Onikiri in Sesomaru's hand. Some of the demon power on the sword was taken away by that sword. Shadian's eyes narrowed. Very surprised. Can just the collision of blades take away the opponent's demonic power? How does it feel that the power of grabbing is more domineering than the iron broken teeth left by his father? Whether the Chienkuan long sword is as powerful as Tai Suya's sword, he will have to try it in his hands to know however. At least in terms of capturing the opponent's demon power, Tai Suya is not as domineering as the Chankuan long sword. Because Tai Suya needs to cut or even the target, the blade needs to be bathed in the opponent's blood in order to capture the opponent's power. Says Omaru, when it comes to comparing demon swords, the Chienkuan Najinata is my most outstanding work while the Anakiri can only be regarded as an above-average quality product. The Onikiri cannot win against the Chinkuan Najinata. Moreover, the Chinkuan Najinata told me that it likes give it more of your demonic power. This time, Hui Ren Fong took the initiative to step forward with his sword. Basically completely lost rationality. He didn't even have a conventional understanding of what kind of existence he was facing. Sesomaru also refused to dodge and chose to have another head-on collision of blades. A thick black electric arc exploded between the blades. After the two jumped away, Sesomaru felt that his demon sword Onikiri had indeed had some demonic power taken away from him. The weapon in his hand became weaker and weaker. Looking back at the Chinkuan long sword, two demonic powers of diametrically opposite nature, one yin and one yang, overlap. Making the cherry purple demonic flames burning on the blade increase instead of decreasing, becoming more and more powerful. Snort. Sesomaru waved his hand and slashed out a sword energy. Ha ha ha, ah ha ha ha. Sesomaru, your power, the Chinkuan Najinata has been accepted without mercy. So today, by the way, I will let you experience the true power of my most outstanding sword. Hui Ren Fong's eyes flashed with blood. His own demonic power and the demonic power on the sword turned into streaks, and then like hundreds of rivers returning to the sea, they all converged on the blade. When it reaches a peak, the sword strikes out, and the sword energy immediately turns into a torrent and sweeps away. The light illuminated the land. The blue sword energy that Sesomaru slashed tentatively was instantly drowned by the black and purple sword light. Miles away, just the remaining strong wind could blow away patches of trees. This destructive power made Sesomaru's eyes light up as he dodged the blow. At first, he didn't feel anything, but after he thought of sewing, he looked behind him in shock. Ling. However, the original woods there have disappeared. The ground was SCD away several feet as hard as scraping the ground. Even a hill of tens of meters behind the woods was destroyed quite simply. All that was left was billowing smoke and a mess. Fortunately, near the trajectory of Hui Renfang's attack, a light curtain protected Shaoling, Xie Jian, and Amo. In the barrier light curtain, Li Xia grinned. Seeing this, Sesomaru secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Looking back at Hui Ren Fong, he seemed to be looking at a dead person. Onikiri, with two gaps on the blade, 
was thrown to the ground without any attachment, and he immediately pulled out the Tetsuya with his left hand. Brother Xia, our master Sesomaru okay? Seeing the huge damage caused by the Chinkuan sword, Shaolin was a little nervous. Blinking his cute big eyes, his eyes were filled with the figure of Sha Dian. Hearing this, Li Xia touched the little girl's head and comforted her. Don't worry, that's his highness Sesomaru. Aside. Xie Jian, who was holding a human-headed crutch, also only had eyes for his own highness Sesomaru. And he is full of confidence in his highness. Ling, his highness Sesomaru can easily take down a small character like Grey Blade Boutique without taking it too seriously. Just now, his highness was just testing the demonic sword called Chienkuen Longsword. Of course, that's what he said, but in fact, he was inevitably a little anxious inside. After all, the destructive power of the Chienkuen Long Sword was just tested. It's really fierce. What a dangerous knife. Not only did it control the swordsmith who forged it, it also blocked His Highness's sword pressure, and absorbed His Highness's sword energy in demon power attached to the Anakiri sword blade. Such a dangerous sword cannot be controlled by ordinary monsters. On the other hand, Your Highness, after completing the test, you should be able to easily subdue the evil spirit on the knife, right? The evil mind's brain is racing. I am happy for my young master. The one in my family was looking for a knife everywhere at first, but he couldn't find it. Nowadays, all good knives are delivered to your door. After Tai Suya and the Chinkuan sword collided. At the beginning, the majestic Tai Suya and the demon power on the sword will also be taken away by the Chinkuan sword. However, the holder of Hui Ren Fang cannot do it. Regardless of this guy's own demonic power or his level of swordsmanship and swordsmanship, they are all too average. The more demonic power Sesomaru took away from him, the heavier the sword in his hand felt. But Hui Ren Fang didn't feel anything about this at all. Sesomaru, it's useless. No matter what sword you change, it can't be better than my Chinkuan Naginata. I won't be polite to you because of the demonic power in your iron broken teeth. The demonic flames burning on Chenkuan Changao's body became more and more brilliant. The Hui Ren Fang was also shrouded in heavy demonic power. Seeing that this evil demon knife became more and more dangerous, Shadian faced the blade without changing his expression. Not only did it not reduce its strength, it actually increased its own output. How can I bear the demonic power of Sesomaru so easily? I will give you as much as you want. The majestic red demonic power turned into a pillar of smoke and rose into the sky. The demonic clouds that stirred the sky for several miles gathered rapidly and quickly formed a huge spiral funnel with lightning and thunder. The brilliant starry sky has long been covered by dark demonic clouds. Such demonic power. Facing the impact of the demonic energy of the ING palace, Hui Ren Fang's pupils widened and his face was full of horror. It's not like he has never seen a big monster before. But this was the first time he had seen a great demon with this level of demonic power. The next moment, Chen Kun Changdao was fine, but he was crushed by the huge demonic power to be precise, he was crushed to death by the heavy and raging demonic power. In just a blink of an eye, it evaporated into a few wisps of smoke. The sword of Chen Kun was left standing upside down on the ground. Says Homaru, how about this long sword? After the battle, Li Xia stepped forward and asked with a smile. Sesomaru did not answer directly, but asked aloud you should have found this demon sword by yourself, and it has nothing to do with Inuyasha, right? Li Xia put away her smile and nodded after being silent for a moment. Then, why are you in such a hurry to get back Taisuya? Sesomaru asked again. Li Xia took a deep breath and then sighed softly. The Tetsuyasha should be able to suppress the demon blood in Inuyasha's body and prevent him from going berserk. Why? Your Highness, don't you have anyone to protect? Li Xia asked instead without answering. Someone to protect? I, Sesomaru, have no one to protect. With that said, he dropped the broken iron teeth and scabbard that turned into a rusty knife, and pulled out the left arm that originally belonged to Li Xia. Why does he, Sesomaru, need a guardian? Do not make jokes. Shi Jian, Ling, let's go. When the Chinkuan sword was in the hands of His Highness, it fell silent without splashing at all. Extremely honest. Your Highness says Omaru, do you want Kagura's left arm? Li Xia asked kindly. 
he also intends to fulfill the bond of the original work. It's a pity that the timeline has been rewritten, and Sesomaru doesn't have the same favorable impression of Kagura as he did in the original plot. From the moment Wu Xi and Goe bit his teeth, the relationship between them has been very tense. Furthermore, with the pride of ING the palace, how could he accept a woman's arm? If you hadn't heard the care and kindness in Li Xia's words, you might even have thought it was a humiliation. Keep it for yourself. Sesomaru said, split the Chienkuan sword in two and put it on his waist, then turned around and left without any intention of staying. Xiaoling puffed out her cheeks and held candy in her mouth, with a satisfied smile on her face, waving her little hand towards Li Xiao. Brother Xia, goodbye. Goodbye. After the elder, two younger ones and a pet walked away, Li Xia picked up his left arm and embedded a clean four-soul fragment into the arm to preserve it fresh. After placing it properly in the box prepared in advance, he sighed softly. He is really an arrogant brother who is sharp-tongued and has a soft heart. Although he obviously cares about Inuyasha, he always has a fierce and cold demeanor. Maybe, this person has wanted a brother or sister since he was a child. Pull out the iron broken teeth, inject demonic power, and a majestic machete appears. But the magical thing is that this demon sword, which was originally extremely heavy and difficult to pick up even if Inuyasha tried his best with both arms, was now as light as a feather. Seeing this, Li Xia's eyes lit up. Sure enough, I have already raised the knife. That day, the reason why he was willing to give his left arm to Shadian. Isn't it an attempt to maintain a knife? It would be good for Inuyasha, a half-dabbler, with two and a half stars of demonic power to be able to maintain the demonized machete form for Tetsuya. However, it would be unrealistic to maintain a sword with a little bit of his own demonic power for more than 10 or 20 years. Sesomaru was different. A big monster with five star and half demon power. With the majestic demonic power of this noble Inuyasha, the effect and efficiency of raising a sword must be hundreds to thousands of times that of Inuyasha. If Inuyasha had to spend 20 years raising his sword, he would be able to restore the iron broken tooth to its original state. Then Sesomaru only takes a few days or ten days. At this time, more than a month had passed since Sesomaru raised his sword. Therefore, the inferior tooth material inside the Tetsuyasha belongs to Inuyasha, and has long been cultivated by Sesomaru's demonic power. This is also the direct reason why Taisuya became light again. Of course, if Tetsuya is in the awakened state of Inuyasha's demon blood, and then bathes in the heart blood of dragon bone spirit, the effect will only be better. I hope Inuyasha learns from his mistakes and won't need Sesomaru to raise his sword again. The stars are bright and beautiful. This is a beautiful starry sky that people living in the city of the future can hardly see. In this era, there are all kinds of strange monsters on the surface of the earth. What about the stars? Is there a life planet similar to the earth deep in the starry sky? In addition, monsters with physical blood as the main body may not be able to climb the starry sky, but what about those soul-type monsters? They are not bound by the body. Don't they have a little curiosity about the starry sky? Why never leave the land and explore higher places? For ghosts that can also be active during the day, and ghosts that are completely invulnerable to fire, the sun shouldn't be any threat to them, right? Instead of limiting yourself to the palm-sized surface of the earth, it's better to explore the more majestic sun. Each question made Li Xia, who was sitting on the shoulder of the mountain ghost and moving quickly across the mountains and ridges dozens of meters at a time, fell into deep thought. He didn't come back to his senses for a long time. Until the mountain ghost slapped all kinds of spirits in a deep mountain forest. It was a den for mountain spirit monsters. Although they were all miscellaneous monsters, there were quite a lot of them. After being frightened, they flew out of the woods in groups and fled. This reminded Li Xia of the scene in the original timeline where Sesomaru swung his iron teeth to open a mountain for the first time with a human arm. I don't know, what level can I achieve now using Taisuya? Do whatever comes to your mind. Li Xia used Kagura's left hand to pull out the iron broken teeth from his waist. Demon power was sent into it, and the machete appeared immediately. It was at this moment that he noticed sewing was wrong. He has used iron breaking fong more than once or twice. He can still tell what kind of changes this machete has. On the one hand, the surface of Tai Suya's blade is covered with a layer of golden sword energy. 
Although this sword energy is far less intense than when Sesomaru controlled it, it is two or three times stronger than when Inuyasha mastered it before. There is no doubt that the iron broken teeth have become sharper. Another change is that at this moment, Tai Suya seems to be surrounded by winds invisible to the eye. Kagura's wind demon power actually has an extra boosting effect on Tetsuya. Should I say that he deserves to be a wind user? Li Xia's eyelids twitched as he clearly felt the difference in the demon knife in his hand. He has not yet fully grasped the demonic power in Kagura's left arm. But it is precisely because of this that the potential value of Kagura's wind power is shown. Kagura, known as the messenger of wind. In other words, it is the spirit of the wind. It has a natural affinity for any wind. This woman's arms contain part of the demonic power of the wind. In other words, it must also have the relevant wind attribute affinity. At the moment, he was urging the demonic power of the wind, and the change of direction was equivalent to blessing Tai Suya with the wind of Kagura. Tai Suya waved down. For golden blades with light purple air flow turned into horizontal tornadoes and rushed out. The mountains and forests ahead were immediately devastated. Trees were broken, torn, broken, and torn again, and a thick layer of ground was SED off the forest area with a span of two to three hundred meters. On the land, earth and rocks were flying, and smoke and dust were everywhere. In the end, even a hillside two to three hundred meters behind suffered a heavy blow. A tunnel dug by the tornado sword energy appears. The 100 meter long mountain was almost penetrated by one blow. Mountain spirits and wild monsters caused countless casualties. This. Li Xia was shocked. This is definitely not his power. Kagura's wind power is just a support. The one who truly became stronger was Sesomaru, who spared no effort in demonic power and spent the rest of the month's energy to warm up the iron broken teeth. Moreover, Wind Wound, Tai Suya's primary S, has been strengthened by Kagura's Wind Demon Power. Not only has it become easier to master, but it has also changed the shape of the attack. It has a bit of a mysterious explosion posture. I didn't expect that Kagura's left arm has such a wonderful function. Originally, I just wanted to use this left arm to use the dance of the wind blade and the dance of the dragon and snake and analyze the principles of these two moves through full use, so as to help me create other handy moves. The most is to help me for a more mellow one, use Chufengzi. But the demon power of the wind actually helps to strengthen the wind damage, and even helps me analyze the blast flow. Li Xia was extremely excited. In the original work, Inuyasha relied entirely on feeling and luck in the early stage to hit wind damage and blast burst. In the middle stage, he relied entirely on Tetsuya's response. In the later stage, Tetsuya was able to him casually after he had eaten and drank enough. And you can chop as much as you like, anyway, all kinds of demonic powers are enough. It has little to do with whether Inuyasha's own demon power has improved much. As a human being, he is different. It was impossible for him to seize Tai Suiyang, and he was not willing to just use it as a sword stand. What he pursues is immortality and even eternal life. Various abilities can only be regarded as guarantees for pursuing dreams. You can't abandon the basics and chase the last. Practice makes perfect, or mastering it through thorough study is the way to go. Now, he temporarily holds Tetsuya and possesses some of Kagura's demonic powers. It also has high-quality spiritual fluid for him to quickly replenish the losses incurred while practicing the moves. Ensuring that the training effect is ten times or even dozens of times that of ordinary people. Therefore, as long as he concentrates on training, it won't take long for him to fully master the wind injury and even blast flow. And he doesn't use iron broken teeth to deal with wind wounds. It's a huge profit. Dragon Nest The battlefield where the two super monsters, Dog General and Dragon Bone Spirit, once had a decisive battle. It is also the sealing place of dragon bone spirit. Look up. What caught the eye was a large loach with a body length of 3 to 400 meters. Although there was not a single dragon scale on its body, the thick gray-blue cuticle was dragon skin that was harder than steel. In the center of the dragon's head, a strange human face with closed eyes is clearly engraved on the forehead. There are very symmetrical dark blue demonic patterns printed on both sides of the face, and there is a pair of sharp dragon horns on the top of the head. I always feel that that human face is superfluous. 
even if this fierce giant is in a sealed state, he still gives people a full sense of oppression. The momentum is extremely extraordinary. On the dragon's chest, a dog's paw was nailed quite conuously. That was the sealing wedge left by General Inu. As expected of a dragon bone spirit, of this size, at this time, only the remains of General Dog can be comparable, right? Li Xia clicked his tongue and said loudly. According to legend, the dragon bone essence is the psychic transformation of the giant dragon after its death. It is not known whether it is true or not. Naturally, he came here not just to pay homage to the once legendary demon king. Neraku is currently collecting powerful monsters to devour, not only to restore his strength, but he may also want to go further. According to the information Kagura gave before, in order to regain his strength, Neraku made dangerous moves and destroyed various seals set by human mages and witches everywhere. As for the monsters that can be sealed by a mage or a witch without being directly destroyed, they must have some strength and ability to some extent. More than a month has passed, and although Neraku has not returned to his prime, he should have recovered. The reappearance of Mithraya's wind cave is proof. Taking the initiative to plot against him is also proof of a change of direction. After all, with Neraku's cautiousness and insidiousness, how could he jump out and scare the snake without a certain degree of self-protection? At this time, if you find the place where the dragon bone spirit is sealed for that guy, and then use the power of several four soul fragments to successfully eat the dragon bone spirit. Um. I feel like Neraku will most likely be quite terrifying by then. This dragon bone spirit was first severely injured by the dog general, and then sealed for more than 200 years. Its strength and demonic power are not even one tenth of what it was when it was in its full state. But a skinny camel is bigger than a horse after all. Looking at the giant dragon embedded in the cliff, Li Xia took a deep breath and did not dare to be careless. For fifty years, Neraku has not come here to eat the dragon bone spirit. Perhaps his level of demon power has fallen a lot and he cannot defeat the awakened dragon bone spirit with residual blood. The bigger reason is that he lacks the power of the four souls jade. It's hard to say now. Neraku has absorbed countless rounds of witchcraft as the victor. And after more than half of the four souls jade has fully strengthened his soul and demon body, he has continuously split his body to give birth to clones. Perhaps he has been separated secretly. The clone Wushuang came out and was absorbed back again. Plus the help of that dangerous little lowly Kanda. That mirror is for the soul, after all. The key is that that guy has collected at least seven more four soul fragments in his hands. In this case, Neraku may not be able to eat dragon bone essence at the lower level. Therefore, he couldn't wait for Inuyasha to renew his growth. They raced against time to get here first. Mountain Ghost, drag this big loach and let's go to Bailing Mountain. On the shoulders of the big man, Li Xia ordered. He asked Sesomaru to trade for this 78 meter tall mountain ghost with huge strength, and strengthen it to a level of four and a half stars of demonic power. One of the purposes was to use the power of the mountain ghost to move the body of dragon bone spirit to the inside of Bailing Mountain to seal it. Now, he can't deal with this dragon bone spirit yet. But it doesn't mean that he didn't block Neraku's way of eating dragon bone essence. Want to eat? Let's go to Bailing Mountain. Gangba Dad, Neraku Kuen. Since this day. Li Xia and the mountain ghosts lurk day and night. March steadily northward. I don't know how many humans and monsters were disturbed along the way. He even made a name for himself in the world of monsters. The next night. Around 10 p.m. My little mage, please stay. In front, an old man and his seven disciples stood in front of the mountain ghost who was walking over the mountains and ridges as if they were walking on flat ground. Blocking Li Xia's path. On the back of the poisonous dragon, Li Xia, who was taking a nap with his eyes closed, suddenly opened his eyes. Who are you? He knew that his actions would probably cause a big fuss, and he was actually mentally prepared for being intercepted halfway. However, the first ones to jump out and stop him were not the monsters in the wild, but several human mages, which was a little bit beyond his expectation. My name is Yunya, and I have been leading my disciples outside to slay demons and eliminate those monsters that cause trouble. My friend, is this mountain ghost your contracted Shikigami? Is it under your complete control? The old monk held a staff in one hand and bowed with the other. 
one side introduced himself, and the other side asked questions. Li Xia admitted this openly. There are actually many inheritances that can contract monsters. The black Miko Tsubaki has it. However, Tsubaki's OD is to sell her soul to the monster, so that the monster can possess some of the spiritual characteristics of the Miko. And monsters that can be contracted in this way can often bridge a large gap in strength. A shrine maiden or a mage with great potential in the four souls can even win the favor of a big monster and enter into a contract with a weak body. And Li Xia's inheritance focuses more on enslaving monsters and controlling their souls and bodies. This kind of contract has higher requirements on one's own SS. For example, when he contracted the Great Osmanthus Mask, he took advantage of the fact that his physical body and human face were weak. In his full human body, even if he has intermediate soul sealing talismans, shrines, contract altars, and other auxiliary objects, the contract can be made, but it can easily be backfired. Of course, if the object of the contract voluntarily pledges allegiance, that is another matter. This is the case with the Goshenmu mask. Sure enough. No wonder the monster dragons and mountain ghosts can't feel the evil energy, just pure evil energy. Monk Yunya nodded. The few disciples around the old monk all looked envious. It's amazing. To be able to tame such two powerful monsters must be a profound s. Besides, he looks younger than us. They also want to have such a legacy. If they can contract a few monsters to act as thugs, it will not be easy to eliminate monsters in the future. Unfortunately, this kind of inheritance is so rare that only large shrines with a long history or overlord level clans can possess it. At the same time, they were also in awe of Li Xia. They have practiced with their master for many years, so they can naturally see what Li Xia's contract OD is. Because of this, my heart was extremely shocked. Everyone is obviously about the same age, or to be more precise, they seem to be two or three years older. However, it is clear that their strength is far inferior to that of the other party, and the gap is not as big as usual. It can be seen from this that the young mage on the back of the poisonous dragon in front of him is extremely talented. Guys, why are you blocking my way? Li Xia signaled the mountain ghost to stop to avoid accidental injury caused by his big feet. He still has some impressions of Monk Yunya. He is a good monk. Among human practitioners, he is one of the most capable mages. The master and the disciples hate monsters very much. Basically, they will any monster they see doing evil. But he also pays attention to principles and principles when doing things. And has his own bottom line especially after Sesomaru and Shaoling were influenced, he became enlightened and became much gentler. I remember in the original book, after learning that the children in the village were missing, these people led their disciples to search the surrounding mountains and forests overnight. You know, human vision is far inferior to various mountain spirits and wild monsters at night. But these people risked their lives in order to recover those children. It must be that people who are said in art are bold. Li Xia has a good impression of such human elites. I wonder where the little friend moved the body of that huge dragon monster. I think it is not completely dead. If you want to completely it and save it, you have to unite with many respected mages to work together. Monk Yunya is quite honest. However, are you serious about threatening to save the dragon bone spirit? The body of the dragon bone spirit has been lying in the dragon valley, which is steep and remote and difficult for ordinary people to reach, for more than 200 years. Since humans rarely take the initiative to explore the wilderness, they don't know much about this guy's condition. But those monsters that can climb over walls, even fly, definitely want to get some benefits from this big guy however. The monsters in the monster world have never succeeded, including some big monsters. And this. Is enough to explain many problems. Wait, this guy in the original timeline dared to challenge Sesomaru, forcing Sesomaru to vent his demonic aura. In addition, in front of Inuyasha, who transformed into a human on the night of the new moon, he proposed to destroy Tetsuya. How can you describe it with the word brave? I do want to deal with this big monster level dragon monster, but just mages like you and me, even if we attack together, it's not enough if we don't have a hundred answers. Li Xia spoke the truth very seriously. What is the origin of this monster? Yunya asked with raised eyebrows. The best ones in the demon world. They can destroy the Musashi kingdom with just a little bit of commotion. 
Li Xia made a simple analogy. Hearing this, Yunya fell silent. He said he couldn't afford to offend a demon king of this level. Then what are you doing? Take this big long worm to Bailing Mountain to seal it. Bailing Mountain is the holy mountain of my human race, and it should be able to slowly purify and eliminate the demonic power in its body. How about it? Are you interested in coming with me? Let's go to Bailing Mountain for a walk together. Li Xia invited with a smile. Having these people join in can help him deal with some troubles to some extent. There is no way, Dragon Bone Spirit's background is too great. He was afraid that a big monster would jump out and seek his bad luck. One more person means more effort. Invite us together. Master and Disciple Yunya's eyes all lit up, quite moved. Especially the seven young monks, who suddenly realized that they could ride on a flying dragon and overlook the earth, burst into giggles with excitement. Fly into the sky and stand side by side with the stars and the moon. They have never had any experience with it. Little friend, is it really okay? Please. Another two nights of walking step by step. Bailing Mountain finally arrived. When countless eyes, bright or dark, witnessed with their own eyes the mountain ghost turning a big windmill outside Bailing Mountain. Throwing the dragon corpse into the holy mountain, and smashed it on the foggy mountain of Bailing Mountain that scene was so shocking. How many caring people's chin? I don't know how many restless hearts it has soothed. Li Xia completed the sealing work in Bailing Mountain alone. Master and Apprentice Yunya serve as witnesses. If an outsider touches the seal on the surface, he will be aware of it immediately. After that, the eight masters and disciples once again embarked on a journey to conquer demons and stabilize one side. Watching several people go away, Li Xia sighed secretly. In this era, human beings can live relatively easily. It is indeed the result of countless people with noble character and caring for the world who are carrying heavy burdens in the dark. Suezi is. Sweetheart White is. Platycodon is. The same goes for Master and Disciple Yunya. Master, try to help me suppress the dragon bone demon in a moment. Li Xia, who returned to Bailing Mountain, met with Sweetheart Bai. When the old monk heard this, his eyes were profound. Do you want to remove all the seals on that demonic dragon? No. I just need some brainchild of it. Li Xia grinned. What is the origin of this dragon demon? Will it offend those hidden beings in the demon world? Sweetheart Bai asked again. Obviously, this old man knows about monsters and immortals. Worried that the dragon bone spirit would be involved with those beings and cause big trouble. Master, don't worry. This dragon bone spirit is not a kind person and does not have much background. The one who sealed it was another super demon king. And that was already 200 years ago. The one who sealed it was the demon king has already passed away, so there won't be any big problem. Li Xia briefly told the past of General Dog and Dragon Bone Spirit. The former super demon king of the Western Kingdom, King Duya. His old enemy Dragon Bone Spirit. Is the former because the latter was seriously injured and died many years ago? I see. In this case, we can take action against him. Sweetheart by nodded. The one called King Duya is really an incredible monster. It turned out that Li Xiaoyan recounted some of his other achievements. Dog General. Back then, he first chopped down the flying demon moth, then defeated the ocelot leader Oyakata, then had battles with the four fighters and the death god, and then sealed the dragon bone essence. Among them, the flying demon moth relies on the ability of the complete era tree to absorb dead souls on a large scale and the inheritance rituals passed down from generation to generation by the ethnic group. And has almost unlimited demonic power. It can be called the individual demon with the most powerful demon power in the entire timeline. After meeting the dog general, he failed miserably. The heart was sealed together with the perfect tree of time. Ocelot Oyakata has super high defense, even Tai Suya's sword energy and Duguishin's sword energy can't break through the defense the barrier OD is also good, even in the state of a mummy with residual blood. It can open the powerful red barrier world and just one look can make Mithraya, a mage with strong magic power, so frightened that his whole body becomes stiff and unable to move for a long time. Encountered the dog general and suffered a disastrous defeat. Among the above big monsters, the strongest one is the dragon bone spirit. 
this guy is also rough-skinned and thick-bodied. In his heyday, his strength could even rival that of Duya King, who had three swords in hand. The two sides had their last confrontation more than two hundred years ago. Although King Duya won, it was a tragic victory. It was a victory gained at the cost of suffering fatal injuries. There is no doubt about the strength of the dog general. The strength of dragon bone essence should not be underestimated. I wonder how much demon power this big guy still has. Li Xia thought seriously and expectantly. Wearing two imperial sacred wood masks, he came to the ferocious face above the dragon bone spirit's head with his iron broken teeth. The next moment, golden sword energy covered the heavy blows of the tooth knife. He wanted to try to see if this face was his original face in the dragon body. The body surface of the dragon bone essence is covered with skin that is harder than steel. This face seems to be the weakest point. However, with one strike, Tai Suya's blade shook and was actually bounced away. This face is so tough. With such hardness, it doesn't feel like it was installed later. If it was installed later, the face shouldn't be so hard. As a result, the face replacement plan will not work. No wonder no big monster has ever thought about taking the body of a dragon bone spirit in more than 200 years. I'm afraid it's not that I don't want to, but it's just that I have more ambition than strength. Even Tai Suiyang can't cut, those big monsters who are not top-notch, could their fangs and claws be sharper than iron teeth? Li Xia's mind was spinning and he was thoughtful. The soul strength of the dragon bone essence is definitely extremely high. Even if it is very weak now, it is definitely not sewing that the great Osmanthus mask can touch. Realizing this, he could only adopt a backup plan. He took out the artifact the Spear of the Dragon King. The demon sword cannot break through the defense, and the magical weapon that can restrain all evil spirits may not be unable to do so. Spear thrust out. Pfft. However, even if it was a spear that stabbed deeply into the ferocious face of Dragon Bone Demon's forehead, it only penetrated an inch of flesh. It didn't cause much damage to this face. This Dragon Bone Spirit's face is obviously more than an inch thick. This wave seemed to have caused a breach of defense, but in fact it didn't even leave a blood mark. Oh, it's so hard. Li Xia was amazed when he saw this. Even though he was prepared, he couldn't help but raise his eyebrows. However, as long as you can SC down inch by inch and then break the surface, it will be considered a huge gain. When he SCS off the hardest part of the surface bit by bit, the plump flesh and blood underneath will be exposed. At that time, the poisonous dragon will get in and devour it. Being able to do this is truly an artifact that can restrain demonic power. As for removing the dog paw seal on dragon bone demon's chest. He couldn't remove it. Too dangerous. Although Master by Xian is powerful, his body is just a decaying mummy after all. He cannot move flexibly, let alone use some spells that living people can use. Compared to when he was alive, his overall strength is undoubtedly at a discount. It's just that my master's condition is a little better than the clay body of the bloody Kikyo. On the other hand, he himself has not yet mastered Bakuryu Blast. Once sewing goes wrong and the dragon bone spirit escapes, what he will face later will not be as simple as a Neraku who has not yet fully grown up. By then, he might not even dare to take a step out of Bailing Mountain. Perhaps everyone does not realize that if the dragon bone spirit in the original timeline did not tangle with the protagonist group after the seal was released, but instead recovered from his injuries and then returned to seek revenge, what kind of terrifying situation would it be like? To put it bluntly, the OD that Mr. Todosai gave to Inuyasha to make Tetsuyasha lighter was simply a stupid trick that treated the symptoms rather than the root cause. As Inu Admiral's old enemy, the dragon bone spirits have fought against each other many times. Have they really never experienced Inu Admiral's explosive flow? Obviously not. The Tetsuya is a sword forged from a fong of General Inu. As the secret of the Tetsuya is blast flow, there is no reason that the wielder of the sword cannot do it. What's more, at the end of the original work, Sesomaru was able to use the replica Tetsuya to hit Blast Ryupo. The eldest son here knows the technique of blasting flow. In other words, except for Todosai and Ling Yushenji, there is basically no one in this world who understands Tetsuya better than Sesomaru and Dragon Bone Demon. In other words, when Dragon Bone Demon was fighting against King Duya, he not only experienced the power of Blast Ryubo with his body, 
but he even ignored this secret. It's possible to take a bath in Bakurabura. And this is probably because when the dragon bone spirit ravaged in Yasha, he always said that Tetsugeya was a dull knife and a waste knife. The old man Todosai asked Inuyasha to raise the sword with the blood of dragon bone spirit, which was like dancing on a tightrope. One mistake and Inuyasha would die. Sesomaru and the entire dog clan will be liquidated. Those former retainers of General Inu will most likely be targeted as well. Fortunately, dragon bone spirit had just woken up, and his brain was not working very well, so he had to waste his remaining blood. Otherwise, there is no need for Neraku to take action to solve the protagonist group. It is no exaggeration to say that after the dragon bone spirit has fully recovered, it is no exaggeration to take down one of them with one slap. Are you going to wash this dragon monster's face like this? Li Xia, who was busy in full swing, heard the old voice of Sweetheart Bai in his ears. The tone was full of weirdness. Master, let's not be in a hurry, let's take our time. Be more steady and you will feel at ease. How thick-skinned is Dragon Bone Spirit? With the help of the magical power of the Iji Spear, he worked hard for a long time, and he was really shocked when he scd the melon layer by layer. Nearly one meter thick skin. This was a thickness he never expected. As expected of a Dragon Bone Spirit. So thick-skinned. When he looked back and saw that the tip of the halberd was no longer sharp, he felt indescribably distressed. After all, this artifact only came from the hands of a four-star divine power named Yaluzi Water God. Although the divine power on it restrains the demonic power, divine power, like immortal power, is divided into levels. The four-star water god is comparable to a low-level immortal. Physical wear on the tip is inevitable. After all, even Tetsuya needs to be maintained regularly by Mr. Todosai. The spear of is naturally no exception. Fortunately, there is flesh and blood under the skin. Li Xia licked her dry lips, and her eyes became brighter. From here on, using the machete-shaped iron teeth, you can effectively cut the flesh and blood inside the dragon bone essence bit by bit from the outside to the inside. As long as the high-level seal left by General Dog is not touched, dragon bone demon is just a corpse on the chopping block. The key point of a monster is not entirely the head. The key point of all monsters is the monster heart. This is true for Kagura, this is true for Neraku, and the same is true for the Dragon Bone Spirit. And the soul of the Dragon Bone Spirit is imprisoned in the monster power by that huge claw. In the heart of the source. Let's take out this guy's brain first. Without the head, even if the soul is revived, it will not be able to recover in a short time. Just do what comes to mind. Li Xia was not sloppy. For three whole days, he cut the fish-flavored pork shreds under his face. The shredded meat was fed bit by bit to the big Osmanthus mask and the poisonous dragon. Therefore, after quickly digesting, quickly fine-tuning, and quickly reorganizing these higher-quality flesh and blood, the three-star half-demon power of the great Osmanthus mask has steadily improved its bloodline, and its body shape has grown visibly to the eye. 33 meters, 34 meters, 35 meters. Also powerful is the Poisonous Dragon's demon power. In just three days, Poisonous Dragon completed at least ten years of accumulation under normal circumstances, and in one fell swoop reached the same level as the fusion of two royal divine wood masks. During this period, the dragon's flesh was cut with a dull knife, and there was no soul fluctuation at all. Although I don't know how General Quan sealed the soul of Dragon Bone Spirit into his heart, it did bring convenience to Li Xiao. No matter how he emptied the dragon's brain and body, the dragon's silent heart did not beat, and its body did not respond in any way. This big long worm looked like it was really dead. It is worth mentioning that although the internal flesh and blood of the dragon bone essence is far less hard than the skin, it is definitely not soft either. For the big Osmanthus mask and poisonous dragon, it is very chewy. In addition, if it hadn't taken a certain amount of time to decompose and reorganize the flesh and blood of the dragon bone essence swallowed by the great Osmanthus mask and the poisonous dragon, the whole process could actually be sped up several times. Of course. With the poisonous dragon fully upgraded. The great Osmanthus mask has also been baptized by the dragon bone essence bloodline, improving the effects of various abilities. I believe it won't take long to completely eat most of it except the dragon's heart, steel skin, and steel keel. 
Ten days later. An aura belonging to the five-star monster rose from the poisonous dragon's body. At this moment, the green scales on the poisonous dragon's back became more and more shiny. The bristles are soft and full of strength. The claws are sharper, and the dragon's teeth are sharper. Even the dragon's horns have grown a lot. The muscles on the abdomen have an extra layer of cuticle that is not low in hardness. To be precise, almost the entire body is covered with a layer of cuticle that is as hard as steel. It's just a different thickness. In the area protected by dragon scales, the cuticle is just slightly thinner. In addition, the large Osmanthus mask has been greatly hardened. He had previously speculated that the ferocious face on the dragon bone demon's forehead was not born with the dragon. But was installed later this possibility, which he had personally overturned, was now confirmed by twists and turns. The poisonous dragon raised his head and wanted to roar comfortably and happily. Quiet. Li Xia shouted to stop the poisonous dragon. Now is not the time to be exposed. He was also planning to give Neraku a big surprise. Ouch, ow, ow, ow. When the little loach heard this, it immediately shrank happily to two feet in length and started to play around its owner, like a little milk dog. It turns out that after being purified once by Master by Xian, the Daeguishu mask is now a newly conceived soul. Coupled with the spiritual connection between the Shikigami contract and the contractor, the little thing regarded Li Xia as a parent. Retract into mask form. Li Xia touched the little poisonous dragon's little head and ordered. The next moment, a blue-green brilliance flashed, and a dragon mask that was more contoured and completely different from the human face floated in front of him. When he put it on, he immediately felt the extremely majestic demon power pouring into his body. The phenomenon of dragon transformation also inevitably occurred on his body. High speed. At first, Li Xia didn't feel anything. But soon, he felt the pain in his body. This feeling is very close to the heaviness of wearing two Goshenma masks at the same time earlier. When this happens, it is caused by the suppression of one's own mana by the demonic power of the dragon. Originally, it was the mana in his body that dominated this demonic power. It is precisely because of the channeling of magic that he can control the power of monsters well. However, the power of the dragon demon was too strong and beyond his control. Nothing for a short time. Just a little physical burden. But as time goes by, the physical body will not collapse, but there is no guarantee that it will not leave any hidden injuries. Or, directly demonize into a monster. This is not what he wants. At least not now. My SS are still too weak. Li Xia frowned slightly. If he could be stronger, have deeper SS, and be able to restrain more demonic power entering his body, he might even be able to gain around six star strength with the help of such external force. Master, can we eat more poisonous dragons? Arriving at the palace where Master Baishin lived, Li Xia asked for advice. Don't you have the answer in your heart? The old monk opened his eyes very calmly. That's all, I really shouldn't be too greedy. When I improve myself, it won't be too late to let the poisonous dragon absorb the remaining dragon bone essence, flesh and blood. Li Xia exhaled a breath and then saluted. Master, please strengthen the seal. The entire keel essence, which was three to four hundred meters long, is now less than half. A lot of flesh and blood near the heart had been taken away. A dead heart pierced by large claws was revealed. Above the heart, except for the skin and keel, the rest of the flesh and blood has been almost eaten away. Normally, this big loach wouldn't be able to make waves. But don't be afraid of ten thousand, just be afraid of the eventuality. There is no need to elaborate too much on how powerful the seal of White Heart is. At least, it is more than enough to suppress a dragon bone spirit with residual health. What's more, this sealed place is still the internal home ground in Bailing Mountain. Even if the big monster smells the fishy smell and comes to take a share of this fat mass, it will never be possible to set foot on the holy mountain and destroy the seal. In one word, stable. No, I feel like this is not enough. Li Xia thought of sewing and decided to add a layer of insurance to this seal. After all, monsters cannot enter Bailing Mountain. But that doesn't mean humans can't get in either. If a group of humans were fooled by Neraku and wanted to destroy the seal here, it's hard to say they would be able to prevent it. 
Once the soldiers are divided into two groups, they will contain master by Xian while wreaking havoc. There is still a chance of success. Thinking of this, he decided to find a housekeeper and doorman for Bai Lingshan. Whenever someone wants to cause damage and spoil his good deeds, the doorman and housekeeper can stop him in time. He has four candidates for the guard Barbarian Bone, Snake Bone. There are three choices for the butler the first and second generations of the Hojo family, and the half-demon Izumo. After thinking about it for a while, let's find a guard first. To the west of Bailing Mountain, there is a city built on the mountain. The lord of this city has a rare wild dragon spear in his collection. The owner of this big spear is the weapon held by the boss of the seven-man team, a mercenary organization that was active in various parties and gained a great reputation more than ten years ago. And he took away the savage dragon spear from the city lord's many collections. After achieving the goal of ing a thousand human generals and a thousand monsters, the savage dragon spear can transform into a weapon comparable to fighting ghosts and gods. During the Bailing Mountain period of the original work, Inuyasha and the iron broken teeth in Inuyasha's hands were once suppressed, and the wind injury had no effect. It's a weapon with good potential. If it were recast with better materials, its potential would be even higher. Four days later. While he was recasting the Savage Dragon's Great Spear, he was fully controlling Kagura's wind demonic power, and was studying Tai Suiyang at the same time. On the other side, Yen Zhu helped him bake the clay body of the leader of the seven-man team, Barbarian Bones. Wake up, Savage Bones. Li Xia, who was practicing sword SS and studying Tai Suiyang, used Li Tao's sickle to break open the surface of the tomb soil and awaken the young man in the cocoon inside. I am. The soul that has initially awakened is still filled with confusion. Mangu, as the leader of the seven-man team, is the youngest among them. When he died, he was only seventeen years old. He is accustomed to wielding the big wild dragon spear, and his force value is quite good. In terms of SS, he can suppress the half-demon Inuyasha with iron broken teeth. He has a very simple personality and attaches great importance to friendship. In the original work, he knew Neraku's purpose and tried his best to stop Inuyasha. He is a very trustworthy person. Choosing to resurrect barbarian bones was based on his strength, and the brotherhood shown by this guy in the original timeline. How does it feel to be resurrected? Li Xia asked with a smile. Yenju's craftsmanship is much better than his, and the characters he creates are more realistic. Did you resurrect me? The young man pinched his knuckles and after getting used to the clay body, he immediately looked at Li Xia and Yenju. His expression became uncertain for a while. Yes. What did you do to my body? Mangu asked again. His body is quite strange. It no longer feels like flesh and blood. And he could clearly feel the intimacy and familiarity of this body, but he felt that it was not his real body. So weird. And Li Xia didn't hide it, and told the general situation of the clay body truthfully. This body of yours was created by us using your ashes mixed with high-quality grave soil to facilitate the carrying of your soul. Although from now on, your movements will be very limited with this fake body, and it will be difficult to use it again. It has been improved but the clay body also has the benefits of the clay body. For example, even if you are missing an arm or a leg, we can help you recover quickly. Mix some grave soil from your remaining ashes and re -knead it. For another example, I mixed the flame pearl with a large amount of diamond powder into the fine tomb soil. Speaking of this, even the wealthy Li Xia felt a little sad. Natural diamond, which has been naturally bred for thousands of years, is a spiritual material. According to Inuyasha's world, it has four souls and can be used to create various spiritual weapons or gems like the black pearl in Inuyasha's right eye. In order to gather enough diamond powder to physically strengthen Mangu's clay body, he went back to the modern world and took away more than half of the small diamonds in the Li family's storage. The current barbarian bones can be called diamond barbarian bones. The main reason why he chose natural diamond so generously is that Mangu was just an ordinary person during his lifetime. Ordinary humans are different from shrine maidens whose souls have their own spiritual power, such as Kikyo. After the Miko Kikyo was resurrected in a clay body, she was able to recover most of the Miko's spiritual power through a sufficient amount of the dead girl's soul and part of her own remnant soul. Not so with barbarian bones. 
the clay body of ordinary humans does not have the ability to grow. Once it is formed, it directly limits its upper limit. Such as the countless clay puppets made by Li Tao. Therefore, the foundation of the clay body must be enhanced during the kneading process. Strengthening with the hardest diamond powder is one way. In the original plot, the army of clay puppets fired by Yen Zhu are all finished products with various hardening materials added. Human weapons are cut on them and they are completely invulnerable. They are invulnerable, and once destroyed, they can still it will release poisonous corrosive gas. It is more than one level stronger than the clay puppet that Li Tao pulled out in the early stage. As for Riteo, why doesn't he use various additives for platycodon? One is that witches are different from military commanders. What witches pursue is cleanliness. Mixing the bones and residue of monsters will pollute the spiritual power of the resurrected Miko, which is not worth the loss. Another reason is that with Li Tao's little strength, what kind of powerful monster's ashes can he get? If Li Tao had that kind of strength, he wouldn't be defeated by Kikyo in one move. Secondary reason for choosing natural diamond considering that natural diamond powder is a spiritual material and can conduct demonic power. The diamond powder blessed by demon power is similar to nanoparticles and can be transformed between fluid and solid, which makes the operability great. In fact, he also considered using artificial diamonds. However, although synthetic diamonds are equally hard and wear resistant, because the synthesis time is too short. They do not yet have the spirit of the four souls, and therefore do not have the good property of carrying demonic power for the time being. This also makes natural diamonds and artificial diamonds have completely different values. And in order to increase the potential of his thug, he used the more precious natural diamond to lavishly use it. As long as man goo can help him later, then the investment will be worth it. Try it, your fists will have powerful destructive power and will be almost indestructible. Your palms will be like the sharpest blades, easily through any flesh and blood, and can even cut through steel. Li Xia smiled. His words made Man Gu blink. After pondering for a moment, he grabbed a fine military commander's sword on the side, and then very boldly used his hand knife to strike the blade of the shining military commander's sword hard. There was a crisp click, but the young man's hand was not damaged at all. The long knife made of fine iron was broken in the middle. Half of the blade was inserted into the rocky ground, quietly describing the sharpness of this fine military commander's sword. However, barbarians' hands were even more powerful than iron. This. Mangu was shocked. He had felt sewing strange about his body before, but he didn't expect that his body would become so strong now. Try strength, touch, etc. Again. Li Xia continued to remind. On the edge of the side cliff, a huge rock three to four meters high that required at least ten adults to surround it was easily picked up by open arms. In addition, the sense of touch has become much sharper than when he was alive. Even the sense of smell has been improved. Why is this happening? What's going on with this body? Mangu's expression became even more complicated. If he had this body while he was alive, wouldn't he be able to overthrow those idiots who plot against him? It's very simple, because in addition to your own ashes, your body also contains materials made from dragon bones. It is the dragon's bones that give you stronger power. Even if the dragon's level is placed on the monsters the world is considered top-notch. Barbarian bones, cherish this power. Li Xia became quite serious when he said this. The ashes made from the bones of the dragon bone essence are not ordinary goods. Not only did it strengthen Mangu's clay body, but it also gave Mangu a small amount of demonic power that could be used. Speaking of which, using various high-grade materials to mix and bake the finished product is not suitable for witches who pursue purity and holiness, so as not to pollute the spiritual power. However, it seems very suitable to be used on a reckless man like Mangu. The physical strength that the reckless men could not pursue during their lifetime can be further improved after death. This can be regarded as a new approach. This is the charm of Li Tao's ghost SS. Unfortunately, Li Tao's own strength was too weak. Neither can one obtain truly high-quality monster bones, nor can one control a clay puppet that is too powerful. And all kinds of natural precious gems are not sewing Li Tao can collect on a large scale. Otherwise, that old witch might be able to set off a massive disaster of the undead. This fake body of mine is indeed very powerful. 
Man Gu is very satisfied with his current fake body. But because of this, he became more and more concerned about the hidden dangers are there any natural enemies in my situation? Yes. The disadvantage of this clay body of yours is that it must be filled with the dead boy's soul from time to time to replenish vitality for your own increasingly weak soul. Only in this way can the body's movements be maintained. In other words, all clay fake bodies are very afraid of the ability to pull the soul out of you. For example, death soul insect. To be more precise, it's the mutated red dead soul insect. The way to solve this hidden danger is to cultivate mutated dead soul insects on your own to prepare for emergencies. As he spoke, he pointed at the three red mutated dead soul insects surrounding and protecting Yenju. So, you have a way to counter me? The boy raised his eyebrows. Li Xia smiled and said nothing. In his heart he secretly said. It's because you've lost your brain that you don't have any countermeasures. The red mutated dead soul insect is one of them. And as the person who resurrected barbarian bones, he also has the authority to force barbarian bones into puppets. Barbarian bones is different from Kikyo, a superstandard existence with extremely powerful soul power. This guy, whose soul power is not strong, can't resist his orders at all. It's just that he won't use force unless absolutely necessary. Although using force can directly enslave the barbarian bones. But he knew that the enslaved barbarian bone was just a puppet and could not perform even one-tenth of the level of his life. Giving the other party a certain amount of freedom is different, it is tantamount to exercising on your own. If barbarian bones had any ambitions and ambitions, he would be more motivated to fight. Coupled with this flame bead and the clay body that has been specially strengthened according to his needs, the result is definitely eleven greater than two. Why resurrect me? Do you need me to do anything for you? In the early stage, help me guard a seal and don't let anyone else get close except me. Although it's a little lonely and boring to stay in one place, as long as you do this well, I can not only give you a relative the freedom can also help you resurrect your brother snake bones. What? You can also resurrect snake bones. Mangu was surprised and happy. Now, he felt happy about being resurrected, but also felt unwilling to be buried with his brothers, and felt guilty towards those brothers. If the person in front of him can resurrect snake bones or even resurrect other people, he doesn't mind doing things for him. Anyway, he was a mercenary during his lifetime. They do dirty things to people. Who is not doing things for? Not just the snake bones, if you perform well, I wouldn't mind resurrecting your entire seven-man team. Li Xia drew the cake sincerely. Why didn't he resurrect the snake bones as another fighting force? It's just to win barbarian bones heart. Mobilize man Gus enthusiasm for doing things. It's not good to resurrect too many people at once. That would be too low a price. Sure enough, after hearing this, man Gu couldn't suppress the joy on his face. Can he be unhappy if all his friends can be resurrected? Everyone just wait, I will definitely try to bring you all back to life. So, the young man took a deep breath, and then expressed his wishes and attitude quite simply yes. As long as you can resurrect them, what if I work hard for you? When the young man said this, his tone was very firm. Li Xia nodded with satisfaction. This tough guy is still very aware of current affairs. The routine of using a big stick in one hand and a sweet date in one hand is indeed very effective. By the way, this is for you. If you want to avenge what happened back then, use this. As he spoke, he took out the savage dragon spear and threw it to his first thug. My wild dragon. Mangu's eyes lit up. He took the spear and stroked it affectionately. This weapon is like his woman. He couldn't put it down. Why has the wild dragon become heavier? He just danced briefly twice and immediately noticed sewing strange. You know, with his clay body, he is several times stronger than before, and his wrist strength has doubled. However, after picking up the barbarian dragon spear, not only did it not feel lighter, but it actually seemed to be more than twice as heavy. This really confused him. Li Xia saw this and smiled lightly. Because I used dragon teeth to help you reforge this big spear. Therefore, this spear is not simple now. That's it. Thank you. Mangu felt a mysterious power flowing on the big spear and had already made some guesses. More than these. 
Later, with my help, you can also open many seals inside Bailing Mountain one by one, and release the monsters sealed in the mountain for your wild dragon spear to. Didn't you promise to the savage dragon spear before your death that you would a thousand human generals and a thousand monsters? So that the savage dragon could transform into a demon weapon and gain demonic power? ING those star level monsters that are not too bad to help the barbarian dragon spear collect monster power to complete the transformation is definitely better than ING ordinary monsters to complete the transformation. When the barbarian dragon accumulates enough resentment, it transforms into a superior demon weapon, and even gives birth to a unique spirituality. At that time, I can help you purify the resentment and retain the core spirituality. In this case, it may hope to become a super weapon that will become stronger with each war. Li Xia threw out another sweet date. The large spear of the wild dragon has been reforged and has been penetrated into the dragon's fangs, making it stronger and sharper. If a more powerful monster is used to build the base of the savage dragon spear than in the original work, the weapon after transformation can completely surpass the fighting ghosts and gods. In other words, barbarian bones can reach the level of strength of fighting ghost god Sesomaru. Even if he is not a top expert, he is still able to suppress the level of Inuyasha. Explosive flow cannot be broken, but wind damage and other things can be extinguished easily. Having such a number one thug under his command will make many things much easier. You actually know that I made a wish to the wild dragon? How can this be? This is a secret between him and barbarian dragon spear that is unknown to outsiders. How did the person in front of me know that? When Li Xia saw this, he just smiled lightly. No explanation was given. Here, it seems that he has added a bit of mystery to Mangu's heart. After explaining the matter of Bailing Mountain to Mangu, Li Xia ran to find Sesomaru again. Your Highness, I still feel a little sorry for asking you to give up Tai Suiyang. In this case, let's go to Yao Lao Poison Immortal. Maybe, there might be some other kind of surprise in Tian Xingya. Let Sesomaru completely let go of his obsession with Tetsutsuga, thus awakening the Blastuga in his body. It's not like you can't try this kind of thing. If it can help Sesomaru awaken Bakuya in advance. As soon as that top-notch tooth knife comes out, the current Neraku is a dish on the chopping board. The palace as you please. Because Xiao Qiang's undead body was completely restrained in front of Blast Tooth. Without Neraku, he would be without the biggest threat hanging over his head and when the time comes, he will still have Sesomaru, a reliable and powerful foreign aid, to take care of him. In this way, threats from all parties can be ignored. Even if he holds the entire Four Souls Jade, he is still a virtuous person. After hearing this, Sesomaru's eyes flashed. You mean, there is sewing hidden behind Tian Xingya? This noble young master obviously heard what Li Xia meant. I don't know whether the existence of the natural teeth is due to the backup left by your father. But a few months ago, when Inuyasha and I were practicing at Yao Lao Poison's place, a remnant of your father's soul appeared in the iron broken teeth. So I boldly guessed that there might be sewing hidden inside the natural teeth. Otherwise, your father is somewhat biased. Li Xia smiled. At this moment, Sesomaru's breathing became a little rapid. Take me to see the old immortal. His heart, which had always been calm, had violent ripples for the first time. North. There is a land covered with ice and snow. Two figures, one large and one small, appeared here. The big one, wearing a white baboon sweater, was Naraku. The younger one is a little Lolita who is completely white, so naturally she is totally lost. After the former saw a huge pit with a diameter of tens of meters exposed on the ground, he slightly raised the corner of his mouth. Finally found the trace. Not long after, a group of the strongest fighters flew back, bringing more accurate information. Taking advantage of the wind and snow to stop and the footprints in the ground were still obvious, Naraku followed the guidance of the little pets and locked onto a mountain more than ten miles away. The mountain is also covered with snow. Although it is much smaller, it is only over a hundred meters tall. But among the seven or eight surrounding mountains, it doesn't seem out of place at all. However, in fact, this mountain is actually transformed into a monster. The monster is named Yuishan Man. During the snowy season, this monster will fall into a deep sleep and transform into a mountain. The current one is over 100 meters in size and can be considered an adult at the level of a superior monster. You wait outside. 
Neraku ordered Kanna and stepped into a cave at the foot of the mountain. At the entrance of the cave, sharp stone cones are staggered in rows. These are actually the teeth of Yuashan people. Right now, they are all just petrified. In other words, this cave is actually the big mouth of the Yuashan people. Entering the depths of the cave, Neraku quickly found a blue orb. Is this the Fuyobi that can perfectly eliminate the demonic energy in your body? After getting the treasure, he ed the sleeping Yuashan man with his backhand. Monsters and steal treasures. At the same time, it also s demons and silences people. He didn't know if this guy who had slept to death would look around for the lost demon wall when he woke up. In order to avoid unnecessary trouble, it would be best to him easily. He didn't like to leave any more clues to the enemy. Eat a hard time and gain wisdom. At the same time. The cave where the witch Tsuezi fell. A beautiful figure appeared here carrying an arrow basket, holding a long bow, and wearing a clean and tidy witch costume. This figure stared at the battlefield ruins for a long time before finally taking action. I don't know what she did to Kwezi's body. There were faint stars flickering on the hollow chest of the witch Tsuezi. Things are somewhat beyond my control. I hope I don't need to use this backhand in the future. After Qianying left, the cave quickly returned to silence. There was only a faint holy light on Suezi's chest, telling him that sewing was happening here. However, what this beautiful figure doesn't know is. Not two days after she left. A young man dressed as a priest came here. Is this the legendary Miko who created the Shurkan Jade? How beautiful! He didn't have any blasphemous feelings toward Suezi. Some, it is deep admiration. Lucky soul, harmonious soul, wild soul, strange soul. It is an incredible idea to think of using the four souls to make the jade of the four souls. Unfortunately, I have never seen the real jade of the four souls otherwise, with my ability, I will definitely I can create imitation jade that is comparable to real jade, thus realizing my wish. While talking to himself, the young man took out several purple and slightly black imitation jade stones from his arms. Then, he consciously looked at Suezi's empty chest. Why is it glowing there? He looked carefully, and after some further investigation, his eyes narrowed involuntarily. Could someone be collecting Suezi's unwillingness and obsession? What does that man want to do? Wait a minute, if I can add Suezi's remnant soul to my imitation jade. The more he thought about it, the brighter his eyes became. The other side. The place where Yao Lao Poison Fairy lives in seclusion. Why are you here again? What good wine did you bring? The old immortal who was poured out of the wine vat looked drunk. Li Xia first presented a batch of good wines from the modern world, especially the rice wine and two kinds of fruit wine that the old immortal liked very much. And then introduced old man, the eldest son of General Inu, his highness says Homaru, I wonder if you always recognize him. Do not know. What did you bring him for? The old immortal raised his eyebrows without leaving any trace. He took a handful of the wine and washed his face with the water vapor from the waterfall in the valley, which made him sober up. Old man, His Highness Sesomaru wants to borrow your old Senshu wine vat to see if there is any backup force like Tetsuya among the tents now. I specially led the way. You just have to figure it out. Are you born with teeth? It's a very dangerous knife. The old immortal muttered to himself with narrowed eyes. Unfortunately, these words were heard by Sesomaru, who had his ears pricked up at the side. A very dangerous knife. What danger can there be about a natural tooth that cannot at all? Sesomaru was full of doubts. Lao Xian didn't know what his old friend's son was thinking. His own thoughts are a little messy now. What's going on with this Sesomaru? Why did he fall in love with a human girl like his father, King Duya? What King Dia likes is young human women in their teens this one is even more ruthless, so let's start from a young Lolita. Could it be that he wanted to take her with him and take care of her as a child bride? The dog family really knows how to play. Put Tian Xingya into the wine vat on the left. For you, just jump into the wine vat on the right. As for whether that guy Doya Wang left anything behind, you will know after giving it a try. The old immortal stretched his arms by more than ten meters and moved two mouthfuls from the hundreds of wine jars under the waterfall. This change caused Xiaoling to exclaim, her eyes filled with bright little stars. Wow, Grandpa, you are so awesome. 
That's right, the little girl is quite discerning. The old fairy is very satisfied with this little lowly. For such a cute and sensible child bride, the son of an old friend still has some discernment. Here, Sesomaru took off the natural tooth from his waist and put it into a large wine vat, then he jumped deep into another wine vat. Outside world. The old immortal looked at Li Xia. You kid will really cause trouble for me. Li Xia took a wine bowl, filled it for himself, and then took a delicious sip. After smacking his mouth a few times, he said. Old man, with his highness Sesomaru's qualifications, even if he does not reach the peak height of Uncle Tugao, he can still rank among the top or even top ranks in the monster world. The key is that his highness Sesomaru is still very young. The future is promising. You just do it casually, and you can make such a master owe you a favor. This kind of good thing is not troublesome. Although Li Xia's words were not asking for credit, they were still repaying his favor in a mutually beneficial manner. As the saying goes, only when you owe favors can you have a relationship. Only then can we have a better understanding and friendship. Oh. Your boy's taste. Isn't bad at all. The old immortal secretly improved his evaluation of the humans in front of him. It was obvious that this boy owed him a favor, but he was told in a few words that he was here to return the favor. It means helping him solicit customers. This kind of rhetoric and thinking is not simple. And he was indeed optimistic about Sesomaru's talent. Otherwise, how could it be possible to get his approval and smoothly enter the world of wine and water? Not just any cat or dog can be looked upon by Yao Lao Du Xian Gao to help him with things. The water world in a wine vat. After a burst of magical smoke. A handsome middle-aged man appeared in front of Sesomaru with a small white dog. Father and son finally meet. Father. Father. At this moment, Sesomaru's lips were slightly trembling. Although he was mentally prepared in advance, the moment he saw his father, he almost broke his guard. Did he really meet his father who was being chased by him? Sesomaru. The middle-aged man seemed surprised to see his son. At his feet, the little white dog first nuzzled his old master, and then ran happily toward Sesomaru on the opposite side. The little white dog also showed full intimacy to its young new master. Father, why did you get together with a human woman? Why are you willing to risk your life for a human woman? This was the constant pain in his heart. You know, he is targeting his father and working hard to catch up. But his father died because of a human woman. And back then, he had actually asked the same question as his father when he was seriously injured. But his father just played riddles with him. It was said in a vague way, but he couldn't understand it anyway. Li Xia witnessed all this through the connection of Xinjiu. After thinking for a short time, he looked at Shaolin aside. Ling, do you want to go see His Highness Sesomaru's father? Yeah. Can I go? Okay. Li Xia nodded firmly. It was precisely because of this girl that he had the opportunity to go in and pay homage to the legendary figure. If he goes in alone now, the father and son may reject him very much. But if you bring Sesomaru's future wife in to meet your father-in-law. Hey hey hey. There is no reason for Shadian to resist this kind of thing. The most he can do is be arrogant. The dog general will definitely be very happy and pleased, and he will definitely look at his eldest son differently. This happiness might give him an extra reward. Let's go, Ling. Plop. While Sesomaru looked stunned, and the Inu admiral stared at him for a moment, then his eyes lit up, Xiao Ling sank first. Master Sesomaru. After the little girl came in, she was a little nervous. But after seeing his young master, he immediately relaxed a lot. Then, he instinctively moved closer to Sesomaru. Ling, why did you come in? After seeing Li Xia follow closely, he understood the reason. Opposite. Inu Admiral's eyes became brighter and brighter. After making eye contact with his eldest son, he chuckled and said, Sesomaru, didn't you find the answer? Father, Ling is different. When Sesomaru said this, his expression did not change and his heart did not beat. I think Xiao Ling is unique. I see. The dog general looked very pleased. The appearance of Xiao Ling greatly eased the relationship between father and son. Sesomaru was no longer as aggressive as he had been in the beginning. 
There is no need for the canine general to have a headache. Little girl, what's your name? My name is Ling. Are you following Sesomaru now? What do you think of Sesomaru? Master Sesomaru is the best young master in the world. Xiaoling responded with an innocent smile. The middle-aged man nodded, and then asked. Do you like him? Like. Xiaoling nodded her head with certainty. Ling likes Master Sesomaru the most. The little girl's cuteness made the dog general feel good immediately. Especially after the little girl learned that her eldest son had saved the life of this little human girl with his natural teeth. She was even more relieved her son had grown up and had a compassionate heart. Very good. Uncle Duya King, apart from saving Shaoling, His Highness Sesomaru also secretly did many things to help Inuyasha. You see, His Highness even lost his left arm for this. Seeing that the middle-aged man was in a good mood, Li Xia tried to intervene. Human. Are you? My name is Li Xia, I am Inuyasha's teammate, and I can also be regarded as a friend of His Highness Sesomaru. Sesomaru frowned slightly when he heard this. How could he be friends with a human? Joke. Oh, that's all. Seeing that this guy Xia helped me get the Qianquan longblade that I had a good time with before, and this time he brought me to Yao Lao Dushan to see my father's remnant soul, I won't argue with him. So the slightly frowned brows quickly relaxed again. After General Dog saw this, he had an extra level of trust and appreciation for Li Xiao. Could it be that this young man is helping to mediate the relationship between his eldest son and his half-demon son? Correct. Zonatsu, did you just say that Sesomaru was helping in Yuyasha? Yes, Uncle Duya King. Do the two brothers help each other and help each other? Okay, okay, okay. As expected, his eldest son did not disappoint him. As expected of his own cub. Measures are sufficient. Zonatsu, can you tell me what Sesomaru did for Inuyasha? The Inutai general looked very interested in this. In response, Sesomaru snorted and directly denied how can I help Inuyasha. Humph. But he did not stop Li Xia from continuing to talk nonsense. When someone saw this, he blinked and then said decisively and truthfully. Uncle King Duya, in this era there is a monster fusion that is closely related to Inuyasha. His name is Neraku. He is very powerful and very dangerous. Not only did he ruin Inuyasha's marriage fifty years ago, but he also did more I calculated against Inuyasha for the first time. Tai Suya was destroyed by that guy. After His Highness Sesomaru learned that Inuyasha had been injured by Neraku and Neraku's clones. He immediately hit the door and severely injured the opponent with a desperate fight, which was considered to have helped Inuyasha vent his anger. The most important thing is that after His Highness Sesomaru learned that Tetsuya could help Inuyasha suppress the rampage of demon blood in his body. He took the initiative to put down his obsession with Tetsuya. At least I don't have the obsession I had earlier. Not long ago, His Highness Sesomaru helped Inuyasha raise the reforged Tetsuya, and handed the Tetsuya into my hands. He hoped that I would take this demon sword back and give it to Inuyasha as a protective sword. Look. Li Xia said, taking off the iron broken teeth from his waist. Uncle King Duya, what I am telling you now is only what I know. There may be many things I don't know. For example, His Highness may have secretly followed Inuyasha and the others many times during the period of reforging Tetsuyasha and raising the sword to prevent Inuyasha from having any accidents. As soon as he finished speaking, Sesomaru was already stunned. How did Xia guess that he was secretly following Inuyasha? Wrong. Am I that considerate of that half-hearted Inuyasha? How come I don't know? When General Kwan heard this, his heart was greatly touched. Sesomaru, you. You have grown up. I have the responsibility of being an older brother. But it was precisely because of this that he had some self-doubt and a little guilt for the first time did he favor his younger son too much? Are the requirements and tests for the eldest son too harsh? I told you, I'm not trying to help Inuyasha. I just can't stand Neraku. Sesomaru snorted and denied. Yes, yes, you just can't stand the one named Neraku. Ahem, then, you must maintain this strong heart in the future. The middle-aged man had a smile on his face. When Sesomaru heard this, he didn't know what to say to refute his father. 
Behind him, Xiaoling stuck out her little head and looked at her young master's father curiously. By the way, Ling, are you willing to stay with Sesomaru? General Inu asked suddenly. Xiaoling blinked her big beautiful eyes, and then grabbed Sesomaru's sleeve. Ling, don't leave Master Sesomaru. For some reason, this particularly harmonious scene between the big and small made Inu Das hang particularly painful in his heart. Especially after noticing that his son was missing his left arm, he felt even more guilty. Who cut off this arm? He knew it all too well. As the saying goes, the elder brother is like the father, and the eldest son has done an excellent job on the contrary, he, the father, is not friendly to the eldest son at all. That's all. Although Inuyasha has not yet fully mastered the Tetsuya, Sesomaru should make some amends for himself. Sesomaru, take Tensna to Todosai first, and ask him to hand over the Hadzangetsu to you. Wait until you have mastered the Maido in the form of a new moon, and then go to your mother. She knows how to help. You perfected the way of the underworld. Underworld Sanyuepa. Sesomaru fell into memories. Although he had never seen his father use this technique when fighting with others before. But, he heard about it from his mother. This move seems to have been acquired by Inuyasha not long before he was born. And he once joined forces with Karinmaru, the great demon king of the Eastern Kingdom, to solve the threat of the demon star that occurs once in 500 years. It turns out that the natural tooth contains this demonic power. He actually never noticed it. It turns out that my father is not partial. Still keep such a powerful S for yourself. The underworld's waning moon breaker can send the enemy's body to the underworld and never come back. I originally stole this move from a guy named Death Ghost. After you develop this technique and become famous in the demon world, the Death God Ghost will definitely come back to look for you. And at that time, your mastery of the underworld Zangatsusha is probably not perfect enough. At that point, you have two options. One is to unite Tai Suya to fight against the Death God Ghost. Stimulating the Tianxingye to complete itself the other option is to first destroy the Death God Ghost's physical body, and then use the Tianxingye to his soul. You only need to use Tianxingye to his soul, and you can also obtain the complete form of this move. From then on, even without Tai Suya's response, he could cut out the underworld in the form of a full moon and send the enemy into the underworld. As for whether to give this move to Inuyasha, Look at the eldest son's own attitude. Even if Tai Suya is not in his ultimate form, he can still threaten the top-level demon. Besides if Tai Suya can the gods and ghosts once more and seize the demonic power of the underworld Zanyuepu again, there will be no need for Tianxingye to make sacrifices at all. In this way, the two knives can have the same ability at the same time. Two brothers, two knives, if the situation can develop to that point, it would be the best. Of course, in order to meet the needs of both knives at the same time, the brothers must cooperate sincerely. O oh God of death, for the sake of my two sons, I have no choice but to hurt you again. As for the explosive teeth, it would be best to wait until Inuyasha grows up, or Sesomaru encounters a powerful enemy and suffers a big loss, falling into a situation where he is almost certain to die. When the time comes, Todosai will come forward at the right time to assist Sesomaru in awakening the top demon sword. Otherwise, if the big brother is too strong, how can Inuyasha grow? If Sesomaru still had some thoughts about Tetsuya, how could Inuyasha resist? And if Sesomaru had not experienced severe defeat and humiliation, how could he have cultivated the heart of a true strong man? Bon voyage, actually not good. A tragic defeat is needed to be remembered for a long time, and it is best to be unforgettable. Son, father, I am also doing this for your own good. You feel a little aggrieved for a while. Inu Dajiang's mind was turned upside down. Many thoughts flashed through my mind. Finally, there's the barrier of iron broken tooth. That barrier was actually set up by me to prevent Tai Suya from falling into the hands of other big monsters. Says Omaru, Humans and half-demon can't threaten you if they get Tetsuyasha, and the same goes for your brother in Yasha. But if other monsters accidentally get Taisuya, even you will be in certain danger. Please forgive my father for his preference for Inuyasha. The last sentence may be the key point. As for Sesomaru, after learning about his father's flexible arrangement, a stone hanging in his heart was finally put down. There was a sense of relief and relief. Father, 
he has himself in his heart. There really is no favoritism. Edge. Lysia sighed silently when he saw that the dog general showed no tendency to explode his teeth. Although he helped Sesomaru say a lot of good things and made a good first impression, this legendary demon king always had some scruples and worries about his eldest son. However, it was not appropriate for him to point it out, otherwise he would really seem to be nosy. The current warm scene of father's harmony is indeed not suitable for becoming stiff. That's all, let's ask some other things that are more or less related to you. Uncle Duya King, can I ask some questions? Xiaoxia, if you have any questions, just ask. The handsome middle-aged man with a long ponytail gave him a hearty smile. Li Xia pondered for a few breaths and asked the doubts he had always had in his heart. Uncle, when did you create the natural tooth? Since you had the natural tooth in your hand, why didn't you use this life-saving knife to save yourself after you were seriously injured by the dragon bone spirit? Hearing this, Sesomaru also felt confused. Yes. I can use the natural teeth to save others, so why doesn't my father use the natural teeth to save lives? Xiaoxia, you are very perceptive. However, not everyone can use natural teeth. General Inu smiled bitterly. Although I can use this knife to save others, I can't let others use this knife to save themselves. What's the meaning? Li Xia and Sesomaru blinked. The dog general sighed. The natural tooth needs the holder to have a compassionate heart to control it perfectly. Only when the holder strongly wants to protect a person can the natural tooth show its edge. In addition, the holder must also have a big monster the foundation of standard. Speaking of this, the middle-aged man turned his attention to his eldest son Sesomaru. Back then, after I sealed the dragon bone spirit, I didn't immediately go to rescue Izaoi and the unborn Inuyasha mother and son. Instead, I met you first and asked you if there was anyone you wanted to protect. Your answer is. No. At that time, my eldest son had neither a heart of compassion nor a strong need to protect someone. He only had demonic power at the level of a great monster. How could he control the natural teeth? Plus he doesn't have much time left. After all, at that time, he was completely suppressing the irreparable fatal injury to the monster's heart and making various arrangements. He has no time to train a second successor who can wield the natural tooth. No, after rescuing his AOI's mother and son, even Song Yunya dared to bite him. The key is that the ancient evil spirit inside Song Yunya successfully succeeded. Squeezing out the little demonic power he had left, he fired a prison dragon break. It can be said to be adding insult to injury. Although he tried his best to regain consciousness, he was already exhausted. He died on the spot. His body and Tai Suya were also sealed into a black pearl made by Bao Xian Gui by Ming Jia actually they were thrown away in the monster cemetery. Later, the black pearl was sealed into Inuyasha's right eye by Minga. Sesomaru, if you had the compassionate heart you have today and someone you want to protect, you would be able to wield the Tenga. Of course I can live again. Unfortunately, there are not so many ifs in this world. General Dog's words suddenly made Li Xia realize. I see. Inateshu himself was seriously injured and on the verge of death. After death, he would definitely not be able to use his natural teeth to save himself. There is no such saucy operation in this world. In other words, he needs someone else to wield his natural teeth to the messengers of the underworld for him, so that his body and soul can be rejuvenated. However, Sesomaru failed to pass the test of his old father. The prerequisites for waving the natural teeth to save people were not met. As for Sesomaru's mother? There may be a way, but General Inu can't make it back to the Western Kingdom. After rescuing his AOI's mother and son, this person disappeared. And this time around, even if Inu Shogun can save his own life, his AOI and Inuyasha will probably not survive. Because natural teeth have many limitations on how to save people. If humans burned the mother and son to ashes, and then gave the legendary demon King Ten natural teeth, he would not be able to save his wife and young son. Therefore, General Inu chose to drag his dying body without any hesitation to save the second room and the half-demon's youngest son. Father, when you asked me if there was anyone I wanted to protect, were you actually testing whether I could wield the natural teeth? Sesomaru froze on the spot. I opened my mouth and suddenly felt very bitter. Sesomaru, is there anyone you want to protect? 
This was the first thing his father asked him that night more than two hundred years ago, with his back turned to him. The one who protects. I, says Omaru, don't need this kind of person. This was his answer at the time. And the answer was quite straightforward. Looking back at this moment perhaps it was this sentence that ruined my father's last hope. It was like he sent his father away without knowing anything. No wonder what his father left for him. Was a natural tooth. Father. Says Omaru, who had thought through many things, finally felt relieved. I no longer have any resentment towards my father. Blaming his father for giving Tetsuyasha to Inuyasha. But what right did he have to blame his father for being partial? His father had given him enough trust, so he approached him when he was about to die and asked him to test the size of his says Omaru. As a result, he simply ate everyone without saying he didn't need to protect anyone. In fact, what he said at that time meant that he didn't care about anything and didn't even want to protect family ties. My father must have been very disappointed with me back then, right? How could he possibly hand over Tai Suya to himself who was so stunned that he didn't even care about family ties? Oh, the clown is actually me. Seeing that his son was tending to get into another bull's head, General Inu quickly stopped and said. Says Omaru, those things are in the past those who are alive must look forward, and you don't need to blame yourself for anything. I suffered heavy injuries from the hard battle with the dragon bone spirit, and was robbed because of it. This is my father's business, and I can't blame you. Li Xia also noticed that the atmosphere between father and son was not right, and also chose to change the topic. Uncle Duya King, is the dragon bone demon that strong? You have three top-notch demon knives in your hands. You are so powerful. How could you be seriously injured by a mere dragon bone demon? Oops. A mere keel spirit? Little one, do you know what you're talking about? The dragon bone essence is not weak. As my old enemy, he has fought with me more than once or twice. Until now, neither of us can do anything to the other. In the last battle that year, after he severely damaged my monster heart, I could only retaliate in kind by severely damaging his monster heart and sealing it. Could it be that the seal was destroyed and he recovered? General Inu asked seriously. That's not true. I moved him to the human race's holy land of Bailing Mountain to strengthen the seal. As long as Bailing Mountain doesn't collapse, he will never wake up in this life. Bailing Mountain. The holy land of the human race. The middle-aged man is very puzzled by this. It appeared a few decades after your death, Uncle Duya King. It was established by a human holy monk and can purify most evil spirits and suppress all kinds of evil spirits. Li Xia briefly described the situation of Sweetheart Bai, which made both father and son look moved. Unexpectedly, such an incredible practitioner would appear among human beings again. By the way, uncle, can you tell me what are the specific strengths of the dragon bone demon? Why can't you, who holds three domineering swords, do nothing against him? He was really curious why was Inuyasha in the original timeline able to a super monster like dragon bone demon in seconds with just one move of explosive blast. The dog general heard this and nodded. He doesn't mind telling his eldest son and his eldest son's friend and younger son's partner about the dragon bone spirit. There are three things that make dragon bone spirit difficult to deal with. One is that his monster body is extremely strong. That huge body that was far harder than steel made him not care about ordinary injuries at all. As we all know, the body of dragon monsters is much tougher and stronger than other monsters, and dragon bone spirit is the best among them. His body is so strong that he can even ignore the hell dragon break released by Tsong Yenya that I once held. It can be said that that guy is the strongest among all the opponents I have fought against. General Dog said seriously. Li Xia nodded slowly, knowing this. This is the case with poisonous dragons. Basically, he can be proud of his peers. However, I didn't expect Dragon Bone Spirit to be able to easily defeat the prison Dragon Pa. So he raised the question, if the Hell Dragon Pa can be carried with force, why can't it stop in Yasha's Baku Ryu Pa? You know, the power of the prison Dragon Pa is far superior to that of the explosive Ryu Pa. The middle-aged dog general gave the second piece of information about Dragon Bone Spirit. The second difficult thing about Dragon Bone Demon is that he possesses demonic power that is comparable to mine. Even if I use Explosive Blast to reflect the demonic power bullets he releases, causing a double blow, 
he can still suppress the blasts with his strong demonic power. Flow out. Blast is useless. Li Xia raised his eyebrows. The look in his eyes was a little uncertain. When I fought with him many times back then, it was true that Bakarobo failed to make any achievements. But if it is the dragon bone spirit that has been sealed for more than 200 years and has not recovered much from its injuries, then that is not necessarily the case. General Dog probably understood what Li Xia meant, so he added this. That's it. Li Xia was thoughtful. As for the third difficult thing about Dragon Bone Demon, it is that his demonic power SS can offset one of my trump cards. The trump card? Sesomaru and Li Xia were both interested. The former even asked directly. Could it be Ming Dao Zanyue Pe? The underworld Zangetsu Pe is certainly quite domineering and can open the passage to the underworld and send the enemy into the underworld. It is a rare space S. However, Pure Demon Power SS such as Dragon Bone Spirit's Demon Power Bullet and Tai Suya's Wind Damage can offset the underworld Zanyue Pe. As long as the energy bombs released block the space hold torn by Mingdao Zanyue Pe. Yes, Wind Damage can offset the underworld's waning moon. This is also one of the main reasons why he was able to seize the underworld Zangetsu Haku from the big monster Death Ghost. This was one of the reasons why he felt comfortable giving this move to Sesomaru. The dragon bone spirit has strong demon power and a strong body, and it has cracked all the SS on my side. The key is that at that time, Tai Suya was stripped of the SS such as the underworld Zanyua break, and he was at his weakest. Tian Tianya had not yet developed new capabilities. In this case, I am entangled by that guy, and the three defective demon knives alone are not enough to defeat him. Therefore, I can only show my true body in fight with him. The K9 general sighed. Li Xia suddenly realized. He finally understood why the legendary demon king suddenly pulled his hips. It turns out that the natural tooth was made by Inuyasha's mother, Princess Izaoi, shortly after she became pregnant with Inuyasha. It was the part that was peeled off by Inuyasha from the iron broken tooth before Inuyasha gave birth. In other words, Tai Suya was cleaned. It happened to be that during that time, Various SS such as the underworld Zangetsu Baku were stripped away, leaving only the two dry moves of Wind Wound and Explosive Ryu Baku. It is a seriously incomplete form. In later generations, why was the Ghost of Enlightenment able to bite through the early iron teeth? What the Ghost Tooth bites is not the strongest iron shattered tooth at all, but just a blank iron shattered tooth embryo. Why was Tsong Yunya restrained by Tai Suya's demonic power Tian Shenjia's demonic power? To put it bluntly, it was actually suppressed by the complete iron broken teeth. He was completely defeated by Tai Suya in his prime state. The Tian Tianya is an undeveloped sword. The dragon bone spirit, which can't even handle Tai Suya in its complete form, is Tsong Yunya also worthy of it. The freshly baked natural teeth are even more unworthy. After some cleaning, even Tsong Yun's teeth are not as good as white teeth and broken teeth, so naturally they are not worthy either. If so, how can the Inu Admiral use his true form to fight? It can only be said that the timing of Dragon Bone Spirit's appearance was too coincidental. It happened to be the time when General Inu had three swords in his hands and seemed to be the most powerful, but in fact was the weakest. Otherwise, even if the Dragon Bone Spirit cannot be Ed, the Dog General himself can escape unscathed. The question comes again, how could things happen by such a coincidence? Uncle Duya King, are you being targeted? Li Xia's words attracted both father and son to look at him. I didn't think much about it before, I just thought it was an accident. Now that I think about it carefully, it is indeed a coincidence. On the one hand, how did Dragon Bone Spirit locate his whereabouts? That guy is not good at tracking. On the other hand, Izaoi is about to give birth. At this time, it is impossible for him to be willing to conflict with any big monsters, let alone take the initiative to stir up trouble or fight with other big monsters. He is not so reckless that he has lost his mind. Therefore, even if you encounter an old enemy on the way, you won't get too entangled. We'll find a way to get rid of the other party. And it's not like the dragon bone demon and I have never fought in the past few hundred years. Although we are old enemies, it is difficult to tell the winner every time, so the two sides will not fight each other. However, at that time, the dragon bone demon that guy seemed to have a mental illness, 
and he went out of his way to fight me to the end. Suddenly there is a distinction between superiority and inferiority as well as life and death. The time chosen was the day when Izaoi was due to give birth. It was the time after Tai Suya was weakened by himself. It was not long after I had achieved my second level breakthrough. What a coincidence! If so many coincidences come together, it is definitely not a coincidence. There must be a big hand plotting against him behind his back. General Inu's eyes turned cold when he thought of this. Sesomaru also realized this, and his expression gradually became serious. Father, have you thought of who it is? And why is the other person targeting you? How much hatred and resentment must there be to make such deliberate arrangements for his father? I was able to reach the heights I did back then, and I caused a lot of ings along the way. Oyakata, Flying Demon Moth, Four Fighters, Death Ghost, Resentful Snake, Kirin Maru, Tenjin's Nest Day, Dragon Bone Spirit, etc. Although Oyakata was ed by me, his clan is still there, so there's no guarantee that he doesn't have any grudges. Although the previous Flying Demon Moth who came from the mainland is dead, his son and many of his tribesmen are still alive and may be involved. The four gods of fighting asked me to break up their bodies and split them into four independent individuals with my knife, but they escaped because of this. I destroyed half of the death ghost's face and half of its head, and took away part of its demonic power. However, that level of injury was not fatal to a large demon ghost with a special life form. In addition, the guy escaped quickly enough, so his life was probably not in danger. The Resentful Snake is an avatar of the great Resentful Snake God from outside the world who comes to this land every 500 years through the Demon Spirit Star. Which represents disaster and decay. I once joined forces with Karinmaru to prevent the avatar of the great Resentful Snake God from coming to the world to harvest monsters from all sides. The life of the clan. But if he wants to target me, he needs to cross the realm of heaven or pass through the demon spirit star that happens once every 500 years. As for Kirin Pill, although I cut off a corner of my head, it was just a result of fair competition between us. With that guy's pride, he should be disdainful of playing dirty tricks behind his back. The god of birth, the god of longevity. The difference between me and him is that the materials for making natural teeth were won from him. But no matter what, the birthday is a majestic god, there is no way it can't afford to lose. Let me briefly list my enemies and the souls ed by my sword. All right. You wouldn't know it if you didn't look at it, but you would be shocked when you look at it. It turns out that I have so many enemies. Those guys and their clans and bloodlines probably want him to suffer disaster, right? There are many big monsters and powerful tribes who want to deal with me, and there are also many who have the ability to deal with me. To say who they are, oh, it's so nerve-wracking. The K-9 general sighed. After all, that doesn't count the ones he really can't remember. Li Xia's mouth twitched when he heard this. Some he knew about, but some he had never heard of. My rank is too low and I can't reach it. Uncle Duya King, if someone really plotted against you back then, I think we can focus on two people. Tell me. The dog general's eyes lit up. He actually had some Suyans in his mind, and he had the idea of testing his eldest son and the human young man in front of him. Li Xia thought for a while and pointed to the natural tooth on Sesomaru's waist. Anything that can be related to Tian Tianya is worthy of Suyin. The father and son on the side heard this and each had their own thoughts. After thinking for a while, General Quan raised his eyebrows hesitantly and said Xiao Xia. Do you mean that the ghost of death or the birthday revealed my information to the dragon bone spirit behind the scenes? Li Xia nodded I don't know the situation on the day of birth, but the important material for my uncle to make the natural tooth came from him after all. And he is in charge of the lifespan of countless creatures on this land. You made it if you give birth to a tooth, wouldn't you be competing with him for the authority of the god? A rare material in the hands of a god must be extremely precious. Did General Inu really not offend the other party by obtaining this kind of material? Just because he didn't end up personally, doesn't mean that he can't betray General Dog's action route and some personal information. Furthermore, Tian Tianya can threaten any soul body. This is also a threat that cannot be ignored for the gods whose souls are immortal. Tian Shenjia, a knife that specializes in ING souls, is too dangerous. In the original timeline, 
the Chu Ling born from the Four Souls Jade was ed by Tian Shenjia. And the Chu Ling bred by the Four Souls Jade is not weak. He even has the confidence to despise Neraku in the later stage. But once Chu Ling, who has no physical body to rely on, encounters Tian Tianya, it's just a matter of one or two blows. Just ask, the big monsters with souls in this world, the many big monsters in the underworld, and the gods in the heaven. Are they willing to let such a demon sword that can souls hang above their heads? In particular, gods can already achieve immortality in their souls. The appearance of natural teeth is too dazzling. With three swords in hand, this legendary demon king can completely destroy a person's body first and then his soul. You don't have to give that chance of reincarnation. This is tantamount to complete obliteration. Any big shot with a sense of crisis would be wary of General Dog, right? Certainly. He didn't know the specific situation in heaven. This is just a bold guess. If heaven is full of heavenly swords made of this strange material, then pretend he didn't say this. As for the death ghost? In my opinion, he is the most serious. Uncle, you ruined half of his face and took away his famous stunt. The god of death must hate you to the core. This is the motivation for you. He is a great demon at the top level of the great demon level. Even though Tai Suya took away part of his demonic power due to his battle with you and his strength is no longer at its peak, he is still in a very troublesome category among the great demons. It is not difficult for him to just keep an eye on your movements and then use the information to lure the dragon bone spirit into fighting you. Furthermore, uncle, you said before that after your highness says Homaru has practiced the underworld Zangatsupa, beware of the ghosts of death coming to cause trouble. That guy can't beat you. He can always find some opportunities with your eldest son, his highness says Homaru, to seek more pleasure in revenge. If this is the case, the other party is obviously not an aboveboard person. Most likely he is a scheming person. For this kind of person, I don't think it's unfair to call him a suspect. Li Xia made a simple analysis based on some things that happened on the original timeline. The finger points directly at the ghost of death. There is no way, the death god ghost who appears in the later stage knows Tian Tianya too well. And if he warned Sesomaru in advance, it would be less likely to cause any further unpleasantness between the two brothers. Sesomaru listened quietly and thought carefully, feeling that this was really what happened. General Inu also cast a surprised look. Because he also judged that the ghost of death was messing with him. Only the sinister guy likes this routine. Sesomaru, whether it was the death ghost that plotted against me or not, you are right to be more careful here. If you and your brother Inuyasha can deal with that death ghost together, if you can work together to him for me, revenge. Come to think of it, I should be able to rest in peace. The middle-aged man sighed. Naturally, he caught the topic brought up by Li Xia and eased the relationship between the two sons. At the same time, his favorable impression of Li Xia increased a lot. What should I use as a greeting and thank you gift? The more he looked at Sesomaru, the more pleased he became. The more he looked at Shaoling, the more satisfied he became. The more I look at Li Xia, the more I feel. If this young man can be won over as a retainer of Sesomaru or Inuyasha, with this young man around, the conflict between the two brothers will be greatly alleviated. The remnant soul of General Inu had this thought again without knowing that another remnant of his thoughts was in the same place and had once considered this. Eh. Xiaoxia, how come you have some of Sesomaru's demon power in your left arm? Previously, the middle-aged man had not focused all his energy on Li Xia, and did not check the young man's physical condition in detail. In addition, he was in a state of remnant soul, and his perception was less than one thousandth of what it was when he was alive. Only then did he not notice the specialness of Li Xia's left arm. Now I am going to give some good things as a thank you, such as selecting the inheritance of top generals and top mages that are most suitable for young people's physique. After a little more careful investigation, I immediately discovered sewing strange about Li Xia's left arm. Turn out to be. Before someone brought Sesomaru to Yao Lao Duxian's hidden valley, he had already replaced his own human arm. And this left arm, which had been cultivated by Sesomaru's demon blood and demon power, had already undergone a miraculous transformation. In the midst of a bit of turbulence, Bu Jingyun continued the sense of sight of the previous Kailan arm. And it's different from Kagura's left arm. 
Kagura's half-demon arm would be somewhat repulsive to his human body. It's always unpleasant to use. But the arm nourished by Sesomaru's demon power was his own left arm anyway. After Sesomaru used perfect demon power to cultivate it to the point where it no longer conflicts with his own great demon blood. He has become a unicorn arm that does not conflict with his human blood. The only flaw is probably that this arm lost the nourishment of Shadian's demonic power and stopped at a bottleneck. Then, I'll help you improve it a little bit more. As he spoke, faint golden light spots poured in. Li Xia looked happy. As a large number of golden light spots penetrated the body, especially the left arm. Li Xia clearly felt the increase in arm strength. A vigorous demonic power filled the entire left arm. Not only that, but his entire physical body was also strengthened. Because his left arm had already adapted to Sesomaru's demon blood and demon power, and the golden light spot had the same source as Sesomaru's demon power so at this time. Using Sesomaru's remaining energy in demon blood in his left arm as a medium, the dog the power given by the general began to sort out the meridians, flesh, bones, etc. of his whole body without any sense of disobedience. Originally, his human body had received its own magic power, the dual demonic power of the big laurel tree mask and the poisonous dragon. The soft demonic power of the two sacred tree masks, and the baptism of holy Buddha power from master by Xian, and it was already quite powerful. It is unique among humans. He was able to easily wield the original savage dragon spear, recast the savage dragon spear within three days. And then lift the savage dragon spear with one arm and throw it to the savage dragon spear whose weight had increased several times. This is the best proof. Here, he got Anumajai to use the purest energy essence to help him strengthen his foundation and improve his left arm condition. After all the light spots disappear. He clenched his fist, and judging from the changes in wrist strength alone, he estimated that he would soon catch up with Inuyasha's level in his half-demon form. From the three and a half star wrist strength that was slightly inferior to Coral before, it has reached four star level in one fell swoop. Coral has also improved in these three months. Moreover, the strength of the left arm is one level higher than that of the right arm, with a gap of at least five or six times. In other words, the unicorn arm on his left hand should be very close to the five star level. This kind of physical strength is simply unbelievable to humans. And that's not all. Because his chi and blood are more vigorous, his vital force has greatly increased. His senses have become sharper, and his responsiveness has greatly improved. His bones are stronger, his body is more resilient, and his defense has been greatly enhanced. He felt that his body had become lighter, the frequency of moving his legs had greatly improved, and his speed had increased sharply. In addition, he also has an extra Kirin arm, which means he has an extra part of the demon power of Inu Admiral and Sesomaru and it no longer lacks the explosive power of melee combat. Gathering the brother's wool is indeed a shortcut to rapid growth. Li Xia secretly said. If we say that before, he could compete with superior monsters with his physical strength. With its own magical power, it can compete with the four-star monsters on the threshold of big monsters. With the external power of the Shikigami, he can even deal with ordinary five-star monsters. So now he even without the help of the three major Shikigami, he still has the confidence to challenge the great monsters of this era. Even if he had a head-to-head -head fight with a five-star monster, he would still be defeated in a moment. After this, General Quan gave Li Xia two very good inheritances of top generals and mage inheritances. The inheritance that can be collected by this great demon king will naturally not be too simple. In particular, some of the melee game SS in the inheritance of military commanders can be inspiring to the big monsters in human form. There are many things to note. As for the mage inheritance, the grade is undoubtedly not up to master by Xion's level. But after reading it, he also gained sewing. So I decided to take it back and share it with my master and master Mithreo. By the way, it is a part of Lysia's heritage. Especially the several spells recorded on it can really enrich his ODs. For example, extract the soul of a certain monster and seal it into a tailor-made manual artifact. You can get a powerful psychic artifact. It's somewhat similar to a contract Shikigami. In the original timeline, there was a mage who was looking for trouble with Platycodon Grandiflorum and summoned a green dragon with the coiling dragon magic artifact. 
Although this green dragon was ed by Platycodon, it does not negate the potential value of this OD. Another example is when eminent monks copy scriptures onto cloth or paper, so that the cloth and paper have the magical ability to ward off evil spirits and cast down demons. The more profound the master's s, the greater the power of this script. The scrolls can not only be used to temporarily suppress evil spirits, but can also be used as portable armor that can be activated at any time. As long as the sutra is with you, evil spirits will not dare to approach. Then there is a OD of cultivating magical instruments to collect faith. The collected power of faith can be guided into the magic weapon, making the magic weapon extraordinary, and greatly improving the magic weapon's restraint effect on evil spirits. This is a bit like the water god of the big lake in the fishing village refining the spear. The divine power accumulated on the used spear is actually the incense given by the village fishermen from generation to generation. Ever since the elves in the great lake transformed into water gods to protect them, they have accumulated a lot of divine power over the hundreds of years. Each other takes what they need, otherwise where would there be so many kind-hearted land gods? The more pious the faith collected, the cleaner the incense will be without impurities. After injecting the magic weapon into it, the faster the magic weapon will improve. The inheritance provided by General Inu actually involves many aspects. But there are only three kinds of things that Li Xia really likes at a glance. Psychic weapon as an alternative Shikigami, I can only say that the more the merrier. The key is, he is familiar with figurines. Even if he is a little bit lacking in this kind of technical work, Yan Zhu is definitely a master level figure connoisseur. Sutra scroll is a life saving prop, placed in the sandwich layer of the undershirt, it is equivalent to a layer of soft armor close to the body. Although it can't prevent humans from backstabbing, it can defend against monsters' sneak attacks very well. If Master by Xion writes the scriptures himself, the effect will definitely be great. Ordinary big monsters can't even hope to hit him with one blow. When evil spirits approach, the Sutra Scrolls will spontaneously activate to protect him. Isn't this more reliable than a body armor? Weapon of Faith its function is comparable to that of an artifact. Although it does not have the ability to control wind and rain like a divine weapon, it can effectively restrain the power of monsters of the same level. All three abilities can effectively improve his ability to protect himself. Coupled with the substantial transformation of his physical body and the addition of an extra unicorn arm, Li Xia has gained a lot. If there is gain, of course there will be sacrifice. For example, he took out the Qianquan sword and eased the bad relationship between the brothers. You must know that whether the Tetsuyasha is in the hands of Inuyasha or Sesomaru, it will ultimately be in the hands of the two brothers of the Inuyasha clan. What about him? Instead, a very high-quality demon sword was inserted into it. He didn't do it in vain. In addition, Sesomaru did not know about the valley where the old immortal lived in seclusion at the beginning, let alone the functions of the many wine vats. He was a bit of an information dealer. What's more, he made it possible for father and son to meet again. To say that he reaped the benefits without doing anything is because he is thick-skinned. But these benefits obtained after paying a lot of money are early investments and you can get the rewards you deserve. He didn't feel like he was taking advantage of the brothers. Isn't it? Taking advantage of Xiaoling's face and reaping so many benefits, he naturally wouldn't stay too much, lest he ruin the great atmosphere of father-son talk and family reunion. He still has some good eyesight. And at this time, he still didn't understand why. Why did the dragon bone spirit in the original timeline stretch his hips like that when facing Inuyasha? After a little combing through the context, for important factors can be drawn. The most important thing is undoubtedly the fact that dragon bone spirit had a bloody fight with Inu Admiral. The heart, which is the core of the monster, was seriously injured. The injury was no better than Inu Admiral. Even if he won't die, his vitality will be severely damaged. The huge dog paw nailed to the dragon bone spirit's chest silently told this situation. Secondly, by the time the dragon bone spirit was sealed, all of its majestic demonic power had been exhausted. While in the sealed state, no matter the injury or the consumption of the year, naturally there is no way to recover independently in a short period of time. As we all know, the principle of blasting flow is to use Tai Suya's wind-scarred sword energy to rewind the opponent's demonic attack, thereby causing double damage to the enemy. But. There is a premise here. 
That is, the double demonic power that bounces back can overwhelm the target's remaining demonic power. During the period when the domineering sword of the world Song Yanya was causing trouble, Sesomaru forcibly defeated Inuyasha's Bakuryu Pa with his Azure Dragon Pa. The elder brother has already given the best answer. Furthermore, does the sealing for more than 200 years really do no harm to the soul and body? The final factor is that the dragon bone spirit underestimates the enemy. You underestimate the half-demon Inuyasha. It can be clearly seen from the original plot that when facing Inuyasha in the resurrected state of demon blood, dragon bone spirit was a lot more serious but when facing Inuyasha in the half-demon state, he treated Inuyasha with all kinds of contempt and ridicule. He didn't take Inuyasha's half-demon state seriously at all. He always just regarded Inuyasha as a dilettante who could be ravaged for fun. As a result, when the dragon bone spirit faced the explosive flow, he was shocked. Incredible. And then he died without a burial place. Inuyasha was able to defeat the dragon bone spirit, and it was all a piece of cake. General Dog was almost out of gas at that time. This is also the main reason why the claw seal left by this legendary figure was easily corroded by a mere Naraku clone using the miasma that was not very strong in the early stage. Compared with the seal on the heart of the flying demon moth, the seal on the flying demon moth's claws is not so fragile. It would take iron broken tooth to forcefully destroy it over there. They are both obviously claw seals, why is the difference so big? All kinds of details all show the terrible state of General Inu at that time. And if the dog general is so miserable, how can the half-weight dragon bone spirit be any better? If the dragon bone spirit after its recovery chooses to face up to its bad state. Instead of treating Inuyasha as a half-demon and half-demon brat who can be ravaged for fun, it will be Goiba who avoids the sharp edges. He will focus on recovering his own injuries and demonic power. Then, Inushogun's victory that year will be a complete defeat, right? By then, the real legend will no longer be the dog general, but the surviving dragon bone spirit. It's a pity that I didn't grasp this thing. He survived the dog general to death, but his head was picked up by nobody. He helped Inuyasha in the original timeline achieve the highlight of surpassing his biological father, King Dauga. A dragonbone spirit who suffered a heart injury, suffered a lot of consumption, and whose proud body of steel probably had problems and has not yet recovered. The key is that this guy always underestimates his opponent. Who will die if you don't die? After saying goodbye to Sesomaru, Li Xia went straight to Bailing Mountain. I returned to Maple Village the next day. After gathering with his friends, they learned from Miroku and the others that Inuyasha had resurrected his demonic blood and went berserk two days ago. This time, what pushed Inuyasha into a desperate situation was a flower demon born after the flower became a spirit. The other party's name is Flower King. The King of Flowers is a monster who uses sadness as a source of growth. The main means of attack are illusions. Once the sadness in the opponent's heart is aroused by this guy, it is tantamount to being tricked. You will quickly fall into the endless pain of the past. Inuyasha's grief over losing Kikyo is self-evident. Mithraya was reminded of the sadness he felt when he was a child when he witnessed his father being swallowed up by the wind cave he fell into a fantasy and lost his fighting power. And because of the chain reaction, it triggered the deepest fear of the wind point on the right hand, and the will was once on the verge of collapse. After all, no one could withstand the infinite repetition of a move called Tsukuyumi by a certain Kage. Coral was reminded of the sadness of losing friends and family. Compared to Mithraya, this strong girl only had a lot more sadness inside. Then there is the little fox demon Chi Bao, who is reminded of the grief of the Thunder Beast brothers when they ed their father. Falling into a fantasy of endless sadness. Even the civet cat little monster Aba was not lucky. Thinking of the various situations in which he was driven by Mithraya without paying his salary and asking for overtime work in various ways, he felt bitter and distraught. Followed by Ali. She was the only one who wasn't completely tricked. Or to be more precise, even though he was attacked, he still carried the sadness of losing his father when he was a child. He used the evil breaking arrow with the evil talisman to forcefully repel the flower emperor and give everyone a breather. Opportunity. After that, Ali relied on the large-scale defensive barrier that had gained some momentum, which not only cleared a pure land for everyone without demonic flowers under their feet, but also blocked the flower king's subsequent attack, 
giving everyone precious time to adjust their mentality. If Ali hadn't grown up, the others would have been in trouble this time. Later, the Flower King thought of using the corresponding floral scent that is, the scent of the royal godwood flowers to strengthen a certain sadness in Ali's heart. Instantly disrupting the little girl's mind and breaking the large-scale barrier. Got here. Ali could only use a small defensive barrier to protect the smaller Chibawa Naba, trying to find a way to protect himself. Until the demon blood in Inuyasha's body felt the great danger, it quickly revived. And ran away. This turned the situation around. At this time, Inuyasha didn't feel any sadness in his heart instead, there was only the urge to tear the enemy into pieces. An unreasonable bloodthirst, and the fanaticism and pursuit of the pleasure of tearing the enemy into pieces. Then, the situation of mutual restraint between the two sides changed, and the Flower King suffered a tragedy. Ali hit him with a last-minute shot and took him away. That's probably what happened. No, you are too unlucky, aren't you? We were almost wiped out again. Li Xia was surprised as he handed the iron broken teeth back to Inuyasha. This is because he strengthened Mithraya, Coral, and Ali. Especially Ali, compared to the same period and even later in the original work, his combat power performance is completely different with only one hand of demon breaking arrows. If it were a few people whose strength had generally dropped by a level in the original timeline, could they deal with the King of Flowers? We were careless and failed to notice the strange things in the villagers. The seemingly simple villagers took us to the Flower Emperor's home field of flowers. There, we stepped on each other's flower clones, easily song then discovered the sadness in his heart. Mithraya said with some annoyance. In fact, they had already noticed a trace of evil in the villagers. At first, they just thought it was released by the monster they ed on the other side of the village. Unexpectedly, the monster at the entrance of the village was just a trap set by the Flower King's old soldiers. Making outsiders think that as long as the monster was eliminated, the entire village would return to normal. And Inuyasha and his party did think so. After all, the monster that caused trouble to the village had just been ed at the entrance of the village. How could the village not return to its original state? Result Everyone in the team entered the village with great enthusiasm and touched the sea of flowers on both sides of the road. One by one, they didn't expect that the villagers had actually become the puppets of the Flower King. Therefore, without exception, all of them were hit. It is not difficult to see from this that the flower demon who calls himself the Flower King is quite cunning. However, these little friends are a little too naive. Now that the monster has been eliminated, can we take it lightly? Even if there is no Flower King, a Neraku might pop up. The Flower King's assassination OD was a bit simple, so everyone survived but what about Neraku? What should Neraku do if he doesn't follow martial ethics and sneaks up on everyone? That's all, it'll be fine. Li Xia shook his head. He couldn't say much. He doesn't like hindsight. Xia Jun, Tai Suya has become so light. What's going on? Inuyasha, who was playing with his favorite knife, was overjoyed. At this time, Li Xia also smiled. This is the iron broken tooth that your brother has warmed with his own demon power. Inuyasha, your eldest brother Sesomaru should have an unspeakable brotherly love for you, but he is not good at expressing it. Immediately, he told about Sesomaru's secret observation and protection of Inuyasha. This time, Shadian was willing to give up Taisuyasha to Inuyasha, which further confirmed this. It turns out that His Highness Sesomaru still has a gentle side. Miroku rubbed his chin and marveled. Inuyasha suppressed the joyful expression on his face and turned to thoughtful. By the way, have you collected the four soul fragments this time? Li Xia asked aloud. Everyone shook their heads. Seeing this, he secretly sighed, sure enough. Compared with the high efficiency of Gon Emperor Neraku in collecting four soul fragments, Inuyasha and the others are really not enough to watch while traveling while fighting monsters. He knew from Kagura that Neraku had obtained seven fragments in a month even while he was recovering from his injuries. It shows how energetic he is. On the other hand, my teammates here do not have the main job of flirting and the deputy job of touring as in the original timeline. Although a few of them only upgraded their deputy jobs to main jobs, their efficiency is still very low. After a month and a half, only a pitiful jade fragment was collected. I usually beat the autumn wind, 
but only when I remembered did I go to accolade the Jade of Four Souls. My heart is big enough to place my hopes on this group of people. Is there no news from Grandpa Mingjiao? No. The bone-eating well and the sacred tree next to the ancient well are located. It is now surrounded by a monastery. In the dead of night, Li Xia asked the mountain ghost to vomit out the coffin boards in his belly. Then the power of the sacred tree mask was used to bury these coffins under the temple. Then, he returned directly to the modern world. Now that Tetsuyasha is back in Inuyasha's hands, this partner as a swordsman should be able to return to a level where he can face most big monsters in terms of overall strength. Furthermore, he also shared his military commander heritage with Coral. Shared the excellent mage inheritance with Mithrayo. Next, everyone just needs to strengthen their SS in the village, and once they become familiar with the new abilities, they can go out to fight monsters and upgrade at the same time. At that time, the improvement of strength will be a matter of course. It is worth mentioning that. Because Tetsuya had been bathed in the demon blood of the dragon bone spirit after all, it was fish-flavored shredded meat cut one by one. And had been nourished by Sesomaru's demonic power, and the Inu Admiral's remnant soul had been strengthened with the last bit of power. The combination of various factors made the demon sword the same as in the original timeline, and the blade was naturally entangled with the wind barrier of wind injury. And it is obviously more than one and a half points better than the original work at the same time. In other words, even if Inuyasha couldn't smell the gap between the two demonic energies, he could still cut out sharp wind wounds. The current Tai Suya has the demon power of Inu Admiral as its basic base, as well as the immortal poison power of Yao Lao Poison. The demon power of the Hundred Ghost Bat Clan to break the barrier, the demon power of Sesomaru, and the demon power of Dragon Bone Spirit. As long as you use it properly, it really shouldn't be too easy to deal with ordinary monsters. Even if the opponent is a big monster, you should be very confident that you can defeat it. Therefore, take advantage of this time. Li Xia chose to return to the modern world. It was time for him to take care of some chores. Peninsula, Li family. The place of ancestral land. A barrier separates the inside from the outside. Outside the barrier, the younger generation didn't know why. Within the barrier, eleven clan elders, including Li Xia, and a dozen ancestors gathered together. Why did the eight major clan elders become eleven? This is naturally inseparable from the bottles of elixir he left for the family earlier. Those elixirs were distributed by the older generation to twelve tribesmen who were stuck in the bottleneck or those with outstanding talents. In the end, three middle-aged people were able to take a step further, from the stage of refining gas to the stage of refining gas and transforming into gods. Old level. The three people who took that step had their SS greatly increased and their strength doubled. But I also felt more clearly the unfriendly environment of the world. The higher the level of cultivation, the more likely it is that the external environment is trying to dilute the magic power in the body of the practitioner. This is also the main reason why it is difficult for practitioners to increase their power in the age of Dharma ending. Don't talk about absorbing spiritual energy factors from the outside world into the body and improving one's SS. Today's outside world. The aura factor is not only thin, but also very sluggish, lazy, and deadly silent, as if dead. Unlike the warring states period opposite the bone-eating well, the mysterious free factors between heaven and earth are extremely active, smart and full of vitality. Therefore, it is very good that there is no forced siphoning phenomenon from the outside world, and it does not deprive the practitioner of the little magic power he has finally accumulated in his body. The current era, I heard, is not the most difficult. The war-torn industrial era more than a hundred years ago was the worst for practitioners. In those more than a hundred years, even many powerful special bloodlines throughout the past and present were completely silent. Obliterated by time. At that time, not to mention the practitioners at the stage of refining qi and transforming into gods. Even the masters in the later stages of refining qi and transforming into gods were rare to encounter. Moreover, in order to protect themselves, the major cultivating families have exhausted their own resources. In some aristocratic families, Shikigami who had been contracted with the family for hundreds of years died one after another. Some aristocratic families have squandered all the resources they have accumulated for thousands of years. There are also some who tried their best to block the hot weapon giants that emerged in the industrial era, but they quickly fell into decline because of this. 
There are also those who have caught the wave of benefits arising from the rise of hot weapons, and those who are latecomers will prevail. For example, the Smith family in the beautiful country. After destroying an ancient family and seizing the family's bloodline and orthodoxy, it has rapidly transformed into a giant in the past few decades. The deteriorating environment of the outside world has caused the decline of all the spiritual families in the world. And this is the main reason why hot weapons were once so vicious. Fortunately, in the past hundred years, the environment has been slowly improving. No, among the older generation, clan elders who are in the stage of refining energy and becoming gods appear one after another. Xiaoxia, is there sewing important you summoned us for? The head of the family, who was in his forties, asked gently. This nephew of his has injected new vitality into the family, which is much more than his contribution as the head of the family. Besides, after he died, he also wanted his nephew to resurrect him and enjoy family happiness for decades more. Like the middle-aged head of the family, the rest of the tribe looked at the youngest figure in the hall with the same smiles. And Li Xia didn't beat around the bush. He directly expressed his intention to destroy the Smith family. The Smith family has humiliated me too much and has done evil things to me and my Li family. I feel uneasy about not destroying this family that has noticed sowing strange about my Li family. The reason why this family hasn't taken action against us yet is entirely because I caused a man-made plane crash when I escaped that day, and I got through it by faking my death. But paper can't cover up the fire after all. Sooner or later, they will notice my existence again. By then, we are likely to become passive. After all, the thermal weapons on our peninsula are far from rivals of the thermal weapons over there. He briefly stated the grievances between them. And when the conflict of interests between the two parties reaches the level of the family, when this dispute may completely evolve into an endless game. The elders of the Lee family and the ancestors who sat up from the coffin all have expressions on their faces. Dignified. Xiaoxia is right, we can't give up the overwhelming benefits. Each of you has also enjoyed the benefits of high-quality spiritual liquid. Are you willing to give up the fat in your mouth? An ancestor supported Li Xia on the spot. The best of hardcore. After hearing this, the head of the family in a group of clan elders frowned and thought for a moment, then shook their heads. Give up the fat in your mouth. Oh, unless you step on their corpses to rob them. There is no reason to spit out what is eaten in the Li family's mouth. My Li family is destined to rise. How can we give up this opportunity? Grandpa, don't worry, whoever dares to ignore Xiaoxia's feelings will be ed by me first. The fourth elder, who was over seventy years old, conscientiously chose to support his own grandfather. It can be regarded as a vote for Li Xiao. Now, we are in the dark, and the Smith family is in the light. It's just the right time to strike first. Yes, yes, before they use hot weapons on a large scale to deal with us, let's give him some firepower first. After the other clan elders looked at each other for a while, you and I agreed unanimously. It set the tone for ING the Smith family. No one remains neutral. At this time, for those who dare to be ambiguous, the older generation can let them know who has the final say in the Lee family with a simple look. Fortunately, there are no such idiots in this hall. Okay, then thank you all uncles, grandfathers, great-grandfathers, and great-great-grandfathers. Li Xia is very satisfied with everyone's concerted efforts. It is said that father and son go into battle. When they arrived at the Li family, all five generations came together. I can't you, old rice. Of course, in order to improve his own combat power, Li Xia first took out a hundred dead soul insects captured from the Inuyasha Warring States period. These small pets that can transform reality into reality and are difficult to trace can greatly improve the strength of your great-grandfather and great-grandfather. With their help, our losses can be greatly reduced. Later, several superior monsters sealed in Bailing Mountain were taken out. A big snake with three heads. There are thunderbirds flying in the sky. There are ghosts dormant in the earth. These can be considered my investments in the family. I hope the family will prosper. He looked down upon these monsters. But the eyes of the elders of the Lee family were shining. What a powerful evil spirit. Is it the legendary ancient monster? After subduing these monsters, we are more confident. Turning to look at Li Xia, he looked at it like a treasure. What a good boy. 
the following few days. Based on their own fighting styles, everyone in the Lee family chose a more complete and more suitable technique inheritance one by one, or made the most suitable Shikigami contract. More than a dozen ancestors each control a few to a dozen dead soul insects. The head of the family and several clan elders each contracted a group of bats with the blood of the hundred ghost bats flowing in their bodies. And because they are all low-level spirit-level little bats, there is no need for high-quality superior contract altars and shrines, just use ordinary ones. The three clan elders who first invested in Li Xia were lucky enough to each contract a superior monster sealed within Bailing Mountain. In fact, there are even stronger monsters that reach the threshold of great monsters, but unfortunately, several clan elders are not strong enough to control them. The other clan elders also gained sewing. This caused the materials used to build high-quality contract altars and shrines that had been collected from cultivating families in various countries and the market at a high cost some time ago to be almost exhausted again. But because of this, the comprehensive strength of the top management of the Lee family has expanded dramatically, and they have been promoted several times. The other side. Li Xia was not idle either. The resting places of the ancestors of the Li family were visited by him again. According to family records, he selected three great-grandfathers who had average SS and therefore completely switched to the military general route commonly known as physical training. Then he used the OD of transforming barbarian bones, using part of the bones of the dragon bone essence and artificial diamonds as additives, to create an enhanced version of the clay figure. Because this time there is no need to consider the conductivity of demonic power or mana, only a hard and strong body is required, so a large number of artificial diamonds are used. Artificial diamonds are more cost-effective than natural diamonds. This allowed him to meet the needs of three ancestors at once. These three were very active when they were young. According to legend, they are all brave enough to surpass all others. Their Taoist SS are not high. They are only in the stage of refining qi but their physical SS combined with their invulnerable clay dummies can effectively withstand armor-piercing bullets and even artillery shells, let alone ordinary bullets. As a result, the Lee family's shortcomings have been reduced. Set off. On the coast, Li Xia summoned a poisonous dragon. Then, without waiting for anyone to react, he jumped up and stood at the leading position. Below. Everyone in the Lee family felt a sense of unreality when they saw with their own eyes the huge dragon that was 100 meters long in front of them and felt the majestic demonic power that could cause celestial phenomena and make their hearts palpitate. They were all shocked. The visual impact is always more real than the verbal description. Looking at the handsome dragon lying on the ground obediently, looking at the young man's figure on the dragon's head. This scene, in everyone's mind, is like a century frozen in time. After all eyes were focused on the calm young figure, emotions such as shock, excitement, excitement, joy. And a touch of fear continued to fill everyone's hearts that kind of complex feeling, repeated thousands of times, could not be felt for a long time. Calm. It is undeniable that the Lee family has brought many conveniences to this child. But even without the help of the Lee family, this child's future is still unlimited. So maybe it is not the child who has benefited from the Lee family, but the good luck of the Lee family that has benefited from this child, right? What's wrong, uncles, grandfathers, great-grandfathers, and great-grandfathers? It's time for us to set off. Li Xia's lips raised a faint smile and said. That's no big deal, is it? When everyone heard this, it was like waking up from a dream. In the end, it was Gaozu who was the most senior and took the lead in jumping onto the back of the poisonous dragon. Xiaoxia, are you so powerful? In the deep sea. The poisonous dragon, which is 100 meters long, is like a swimming fish, moving swiftly and swiftly through the bottom of the water. Choosing to approach underwater was naturally to catch the Smith family off guard. On the back of the poisonous dragon, there is a blue light shield that is exactly the same as the color of the sea water. It was a hidden barrier. The existence of the barrier separates the inside and outside. However, all kinds of sight outside the barrier will be deceived by the distorted illusion, and they will not be able to detect any abnormalities. No matter modern means such as sonar or thermal induction, they will be ineffective. The line of sight within the barrier will not be affected in any way when looking outside the barrier. This time, because the senior officials of the Lee family wanted to practice military training, they also brought the leaders of the younger generation with them. 
I plan to use blood and fire to emphasize to these juniors some of the survival rules that the practicing family pays attention to. Those who are barely qualified will continue to be given the status of direct descendants and trained along the elite route. Collateral descendants with outstanding performance will also be given the qualification of direct descendants. As for the unqualified ones, they will definitely be stripped of their status as a direct lineage and relegated to the lowest level of collateral lineage to be imprisoned in the family clan. This kind of people can just be used as tools for reproducing future generations. It would be nice to live a prosperous life and die in good health, right? Of course, bringing along the middle and young generations also means that the younger generation of the clan can have more contact, get closer, and become more familiar with Li Xiao. The future belongs to young people. We can't just let these old antiques communicate with that kid in everything, right? They hope to select a few that Li Xia likes through a round of screening. Even if only one catches the eye. That is also the Li family's luck. At this moment, everyone was either closing their eyes, adjusting their breath and recharging their energy, or stroking the magic weapons, talismans and other equipment in their hands. There were more than 80 people in the group. Like a sharp sword, it penetrates directly into the evergreen state where the Smith family, one of the seven major spiritual families in North America, originated and has its base. The state's forest coverage rate reaches more than 54%, it is adjacent to the Pacific Ocean, and the climate conditions are not bad. It is said that apple production ranks first in the beautiful country. Three days later. Everyone was on a sightseeing boat offshore and met with the secular tribesmen arranged by the Lee family. In the stillness of the night, several secular members of the Lee family were stunned when they saw figures jumping out of the water one after another and onto the deck one after another. I just feel my mouth is dry. Second brother, are the rooms ready? The head of the Lee family asked a middle-aged man in charge of the mundane affairs here. To be assigned such an important task, the middle-aged man's status in the world is obviously not low. And it sounds like he is a blood brother of the family head. It has been prepared for a long time. Clan elders, please come here. The sightseeing boat will then dock with 20 or 30 fishing boats. In this way, more than 80 people from the Lee family could disembark in pieces and disembark silently. This can avoid some troubles to a great extent. Although this group of people does not have green cards, they will not need them for subsequent actions. Time flies, and another two days pass. That night, more than 80 members of the Lee family, led by the dead soul insect, regrouped near a small town without any accidents. This town is one of the important outlying strongholds of the Smith family. It is the main bloodline gathering place left by an important elder in the Smith family. After everyone in the Lee family checked that their numbers were correct. The head of the Lee family pointed to the town ahead and issued a mission to the younger generation without any wavering in his voice. Tomorrow night, at four o'clock after midnight, the first team will have one hour to clean up all the Smith family bloodlines in this town over the age of three. Those under the age of three will be sent to the orphanage in Seattle afterwards. Leave it to the person in charge of the Lee family to raise him the best among them are those with outstanding qualifications who can be trained to be dead soldiers. Three years old is the time when a child can remember or not. Naturally, the children taken under his command should not be filled with hatred. The second team, the third team, and the fourth team, three five-person teams, are responsible for the remaining outlying town strongholds. After you clean up the Smith family's active forces, you must block the entrances and exits of the town. Only allowed in, not allowed out. If there is a fish that escapes from the core of the Smith family, we will it as soon as possible. Tomorrow during the day will be everyone's final preparation time. After giving some instructions to the juniors, the head of the family nodded slightly to the four ancestors. These weaker ones at the same level will serve as the guardians of the four youth teams. Just in case the juniors have too big an accident. It's an insurance policy. Immediately, a group of people with other tasks walked into the deserted fields. On the way, they saw many manors built in twos and threes with large spans. On hundreds of square kilometers of land, such manners are dotted like dots. Team 5, 6, and 7, your mission is to cooperate with several clan elders, with the help of the investigation of the Hayaki bats and the mobility of a dozen intermediate shikigami that is. A dozen intermediate monsters, after midnight and before 4 o'clock, the cleaning of more than 100 square kilometers of the ring area will be completed. 
Deep in the forest, between two large mountains and a dozen hills, is where the Smith family's clan is located. It is not difficult to see from this a truly powerful and wealthy family never buys a birdcage-like house. What people play is a manor, a mountain, a lake, and a forest. Do we need to leave manpower to blockade it here? No need. We only have about 40 people left. If we divide our manpower further, we will be a little stretched to attack the Smith clan in the depths. The main force of 15 people cannot be reduced any further. The 30 people who still have potential to be tapped have high hopes, hoping that this night of blood can lead to a breakthrough for them. One night of topographical survey. In particular, everyone stood on the back of the poisonous dragon, overlooking the earth from a high altitude covered by black clouds. Observing from a distance, and in the evening of the next day, they caught a few peripheral branches to read the soul memory. Everyone has a more or less understanding of the Smith family's layout in the clan area. This battle can be fought. Although the Smith family started with powerful thermal weapons, they did not completely rely on thermal weapons to block their home. The scheduled time comes. Action. As the commander-in-chief here, the head of the Lee family immediately led the main force to penetrate into the heart of the Smith family. The hundred ghost bats quickly explored the depths along the outskirts of the forest covering hundreds of square kilometers. Because they are very scattered and the little bats are natural creatures, they are not noticeable. Under the cover of a barrier, more than forty people took a bus and drove quickly along the forest road into the depths of the forest. Li Xia provides many related inheritances, and there is always one suitable for the elderly who have reached the standard of S. Among them, the hidden barrier is so unreasonable. The modern surveillance equipment that the Smith family spent a lot of money to install in the dense forest have all become decorations. Arrive. Passing through more than 10 kilometers of dense forest, passing through hills and lakes. On the top of a hill, a group of ancient castles came into view. Atmospheric and magnificent. Every cornerstone and brick is engraved with the traces of time. Old men, it's up to you. The head of the Lee family looked at a pile of old antiques. The old people nodded in unison. Easy to say. The next moment, the white dead soul insects became transparent and got out of the hidden barrier between the car and the outside. After the dead soul insects become transparent, they belong to the soul body. People without mana or demonic power cannot see it. When these dead soul insects approached the secret sentries outside the castle, the ordinary guards were completely unaware. And because the soul body can easily pass through various physical obstacles with flaws. Walls, fences, barbed wire, etc. Have become decorations again. Then, before the many hidden sentries with guns and ammunition in the periphery were alerted, they were touched by the dead soul insects, entangled and tied up. With another gentle breath, the souls were forcibly pulled out of the body. Don't give the secret sentries a chance to give warning at all. After the secret whistle is processed, it is the turn of the bright whistle. This step. Also very smooth. Those who are capable and capable will never end up in this position. But just as the Lee family and his entourage were preparing to enter the castle with a large number of shikigami, a loud shout came out. Enemy attack. That was a dead cultivator trained by the Smith family. And they are the elite among them. He was responsible for patrolling a certain area at night but found that the sentry assigned by the family had neglected his duty and fell asleep. There are more than one or two. Little did he know that sewing big was going on. The castle complex is huge. Like a town in a fairy tale. The most central location is where the core members of the Smith family live. Start the signal shielding device immediately and adjust the power to the maximum. On the bus, the head of the Lee family began to mobilize his own manpower. The next moment, invisible signal isolation belts were quickly formed on several prearranged hills and where the bus was located. At the same time, the lines buried underground were also cut off by monsters who had arranged to sneak into the ground in advance. Certainly. This crude OD can only block ordinary communication ODs. Some special communication channels can still deliver messages to the outside world. But. The Lee family does not need to intercept all signals. It is enough to intercept the vast majority of pairs. Just by a little more time. Everyone has it, attack with all your strength immediately, no need to survive. Don't be afraid of death. 
Even if you die, you can be resurrected by Xiaoxia and enjoy another life of wealth. These words were like a shot in the arm, boosting the morale of all the participants in the Li family. That's right. They have Li Xia. Everyone looked at this unfathomable junior of theirs, their eyes filled with hot light. Let me take the lead first. Li Xia smiled slightly. A purple gold card was thrown out by him and inserted into the ground outside the car. Immediately afterwards, right where the purple gold card disappeared, a big hand broke out of the ground. Its 30 or 40 meter long arm first reached out, and then pressed heavily on the ground. With just a push, the nearly 100 meter tall, mountain-sized mountain ghost quickly rose from the ground and appeared in front of everyone. Then. What kind of creature is that? Why is it so big? The terrifying sense of oppression spread, causing the knees of countless creatures to weaken and their legs to tremble. Ouch! The powerful demonic energy swept away, like a level 12 storm. The big trees, like grass without rockers, bent their backs one after another. For a time, rocks were flying on the ground, the sky was covered with dark clouds and there was lightning and thunder. Changes in the sky indicate that a storm is coming. Yao, monster energy, it's monster energy. Can it cause such changes in the sky? Could this be the big monster recorded in the classics? They should just be the remnants of the era before the end of the law. This era cannot breed such a powerful individual life. Wait, how did it get here silently? And this scene, let alone the Smith family in the castle complex, was stunned. Even the Lee family members outside the castle were shocked. Although they had greatly overestimated their lucky stars, they never expected that they still greatly underestimated. How many tricks does Xiaoxia have yet to reveal? Without waiting for anyone to think about it, the mountain ghost moved at a speed that was extremely inconsistent with its size. And penetrated several five- and six-story high wall defenses in a row, and entered the interior of the castle complex. During this period, flames arose in the castle. These tongues of fire spit out firepower like a rain curtain. The Smith family's defense mechanism responded quite quickly. Facing this kind of battle, any other ordinary flesh and blood body would probably be torn to pieces at this moment. Or maybe it was swallowed up into dust by a rocket launcher shell. But the mountain ghost, whose body was surrounded by several invisible whirlpools of demonic energy, completely ignored those bullets and shells with astonishing penetrating power and powerful impact. After opening the gap in the castle complex, I took a bath in the rain in a leisurely manner. This was quite shocking in the eyes of members of the Smith family. Such a high density of guns and artillery has no effect at all. The demonic aura on it is too strong. It is so strong that bullets cannot penetrate the invisible force field wall, and it is so strong that missiles will be changed in their trajectory. Ordinary thermal weapons cannot threaten it at all. Even if it is some powerful missiles, the aftermath of the explosion can pass through the demonic tornado, but the impact will be greatly reduced and become weak. The damage caused by shrapnel is almost negligible. The key is that when encountering special missiles that are dangerous enough, Shan Gui, who has a certain sense of crisis because of Wuxingui's Singui's growth qualifications, will take the initiative to avoid it. And it is the kind of evasion that is very fast and extremely dexterous. I am not afraid of big living targets, but I am afraid that they are big and can be as slippery as a loach. So what should I do now? Wash the ground with nuclear warheads. Hee <laughs> hee, he has been pressed to such a close distance. If he attacks with a nuclear bomb at this time, he will surely lose his life. They didn't know whether the big monster on the other side was dead or not. They were bound to die anyway. This is one of the drawbacks of powerful thermal weapons. Ordinary missiles are indeed difficult to threaten the mountain ghosts who actively release their demonic power to form tornadoes. Even if there are special missiles that can penetrate the demonic tornadoes, they cannot continue to tear apart the dozens of little ghosts on the mountain ghosts with their own bodies. A force field formed by the power of the soul. After tentatively feeling the firepower of this geothermal weapon, and confirming that the force field formed by the devil's mainly genu was strong enough, Li Xia was convinced. Although the mountain ghost's demon power is consumed quickly, it is enough to destroy the Smith family. It seems that there is basically no need for me to do it myself. Touching the flame-pointed gun, he actually hoped that the Smith family would have some useful information. 
His three major shikigami will be pushed horizontally from the sky, the ground, and under the earth respectively. And the Li family members will check and fill in the gaps to prevent any fish from slipping through the net. The mountain ghost is responsible for the ground. Cooperating with the mountain ghost's actions are dozens of worldly resentful spirits behind the mountain ghost. The Li family recruited all the little ghosts who could not be comforted by the demon-worshipping child spirits to avoid harming one party. Boom. Puff puff. Another tower with a fort was blown up by a slap from the mountain ghost. The sputtering masonry is like bullets and cannonballs, washing the ground in a small area. After a brief period of wailing, the area suddenly became silent. The strange thing is that the power of the mountain ghost is too big and too violent. This is the advantage that comes with having a giant physique. After all, the 50-meter-tall Ultraman can only be considered a little brother in front of Mountain Ghost. Bang! 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 The Mountain Ghost moved forward steadily step by step. There is no stopping you along the way. During this period, several heavily armored tanks tried to launch attacks from the ground, hoping to injure the Mountain Ghost's feet or calves to slow down the big man's offensive. But no matter how hard the steel is, it will turn into a piece of dough if you step on it. Even if some physical damage is caused, the wound can be healed quickly after the demonic power covers it. How to fight this? There is no way to fight it with ordinary physical means. The mountain ghost waved his arm, and his sharp claws swiped through the claws that resembled soul-dispersing iron claws. In an instant, countless forts and towers exploded, and countless rains of blood fell. With one foot stepped on, an area of about two basketball courts would suffer. The so-called torrent of steel is also completely inadequate in the face of huge strength and sharp claws that can easily cut through gold and jade. The huge figure only took more than ten shots, and the small group of castles turned into ruins. Unstoppable. It can't be stopped at all. What kind of monster is this? What is its origin? Are all the monsters before the end of the Dharma such a terrifying existence? Countless eyes of the Smith family faced the nearly 100-meter behemoth. Just their four eyes facing each other made the soldiers and family members unable to resist at all. Many dead soldiers no longer regard death as home. And the closer you look at the mountain ghost, the more suffocating the feeling of oppression becomes. Let the senior management think of a solution. Call. A strong wind blew. Just a brush. A large number of lucky people who were not trampled to death were unfortunately swept away by the evil wind. These people immediately became weak and weak after being blown by the evil wind. They unknowingly inhaled the demonic wind filled with miasma. The small amount was not fatal, but if they inhaled a little more, their flesh and blood bodies were actually festering from the inside. In less than ten breaths, anyone who has inhaled a little more of the miasma demonic wind will turn into puddles of thick water, leaving only black bones. This is the innate miasma power possessed by most giant ghosts of the ghost clan. The most famous one has to be the rock ghost used by Neriku in the middle and late stages. The belly is filled with filthy miasma that can dissolve flesh and blood. The richness can even quickly contaminate the four soul fragments. Although the demonic miasma released by the mountain ghost is not as overbearing as the miasma of Neriku and the rock ghost, it is enough to deal with the Smith family. At this time, a scarlet penetrating beam shot out from the center of the castle group. The power is not small. Full of mana fluctuations. Advanced talisman. Outside the castle, Li Xia narrowed his eyes slightly and secretly said it was a pity. If he is stimulated, he will be able to exert greater power. It would be great to inspire some practitioners with two-star magic power to exert 30% of the power of high-level talismans. 30% of the power would definitely not hurt the mountain ghost. Sure enough, the beam looked fierce, but when it met the claws of the mountain ghost, it instantly dissipated completely. After a few breaths. In front of the mountain ghost. A dark green light curtain quickly rose, covering a large area of the castle. The Smith family cheered. But Li Xia just looked at it from a distance and then withdrew his gaze. Does it even have the inheritance of a large-scale defensive barrier? It's a pity that a barrier of that level can't stop the mountain ghost who is just a step away from the big monster level. I saw the mountain ghost's four fingers spread out, and its sharp claws cut down like a blade. 
the green barrier was torn apart immediately. The old patriarch's powerful barrier was broken so easily. Countless people screamed in surprise. Chi Chi's heart tightened. My old master is the most powerful among us. Even he can't stop the giant ghosts from the outside. What should we do? One by one, they were frightened and frightened. The soles of my feet are getting cold. What to do? The once giant cultivator family was now in chaos. Among them, an old man with a beard looked at the barrier he had created by borrowing the power of several jade fragments, and it turned out to be so vulnerable. In addition to being unbelievable, I was even more terrified. My Smith family has always been gentle and low-key, and values peace. How could we provoke such a dangerous ancient demon? Wait, could it be? Looking down at the eight lavender fragments embedded in his right arm, the old man suddenly realized. He must have come here for the four soul fragments. Obviously, because the mountain ghost's attack came so fast and fiercely, less than a minute passed and all the outer sentinels and hidden sentries were basically removed. Whether this attack was a man-made attack or a monster attack, no accurate information has been conveyed to the top family officials. That's right, only over fifty seconds have passed since the mountain ghost appeared on the scene. Less than a minute. But the damage caused almost knocked down half of the castle complex. Seeing this, Will Smith, the old head of the family, issued a seemingly very reasonable order based on wrong judgment. Quickly organized the manpower and let a side team break out from the east where the giant ghost is not affected. Start the helicopter and try your best to strategically transfer the direct clan members from high altitude. Then some tribesmen took the underground secret passage. Be quick. Organize a team of mage to resist in full. That's too late. The appearance of the giant ghost at night caught them off guard. Organizing effective resistance simply cannot be done in a minute or two. Only one of the direct clan members can escape. And he undoubtedly got on a private helicopter. Mountain ghosts come out of the ground. Flying to the sky is undoubtedly the safest. Moreover, modern practitioners generally lack the ability to fly. Even among the elders of the clan who are in the stage of refining energy in becoming gods, few are good at controlling the air. The old head of the Smith family undoubtedly misjudged many things. The members of the Smith family who received his instructions were divided into five shares. A wave of resistance continued to scratch the mountain ghost, buying time for a large number of tribesmen to escape. The other turned into a headless fly and ran around among the family castles, hiding here and there in the hope of escaping. The other three strands escaped from the sky, the ground, and the underground respectively. You're really decisive. Outside the castle. Li Xia, who quietly looked at the situation here, smiled slightly. Immediately afterwards, countless monsters fell from the sky. That was the mountain ghost using the illusion ability of the female ghost from Goe Tu City. He fabricated a bunch of powerful monsters that didn't exist at all, but scared the nerves of everyone in the Smith family. All kinds of missiles and the spells of the direct clan members of the opposite family bombarded him, and then they were all useless. Three elders of the Smith family even used three high-level talismans to attack these false products created by illusions, wasting precious power. When the group of descendants who wanted to escape in a helicopter were almost exhausted. A poisonous dragon hidden in the black clouds in mid-air swooped down, accompanied by a thunderbird and several real flying bird monsters, facing each other. Helicopters from several hundred meters launched the attack. What's that? On the helicopter, they witnessed a 100 meter long poisonous dragon stepping on the dark clouds and attacking. All the direct members of the Smith family screamed in horror. The head of the old family is even more haunted. He can fly, sure, but can he be faster than a helicopter and that giant dragon? Heaven is going to me. He summoned several of his little pets and tried to struggle. After a flash of fire, the helicopter that flew out of the castle complex and lacked ground fire cover was immediately blown up and disintegrated into parts that filled the sky. The three-headed monster contracted by the old family owner and passed down from generation to generation in the Smith family was so weak that it couldn't even block a casual slap from the poisonous dragon and exploded into a large red rain curtain. And this picture is not an exception. Dozens of helicopters were shot down one after another. 
especially those brats who directly used their mind power to dismantle or even bend the fan blades of the aircraft and fell hundreds of meters back to the ground. Very few people were spared. As for the underground? The monsters that can burrow underground and the roots of the sacred tree have been waiting for you for a long time. After a while, a large-scale landslide suddenly broke out more than 300 meters outside the castle complex, but ended in an instant. The last direction on the ground was pursued and intercepted by superior monsters and many imps summoned by dozens of people from the Lee family. The little ghosts who mainly focus on Xinyo, after leaving the mountain ghost side, play the most obvious role here. Because any one of these brats can overturn a truck with just a simple act of telekinesis. It is also easy to uproot a large tree, lift it to a height of tens of meters and then drop it heavily. The key is that they are soul bodies, invisible and invisible. It is extremely difficult to be discovered by hiding in the dark. With their organized and disciplined attacks after receiving militarized management and training, it was impossible to prevent them. Working together, they can even tear open a large crack in the ground that is 20 to 30 meters wide and 10 meters deep. There is no chance for the Smith family to escape and ascend to heaven. The smoke has not cleared yet. The castle complex has not yet completely fallen silent. The battle is actually over. The night passed. All that was left was a mess on the scene. The Smith family actually has a lot of background. Not to mention a large number of thermal weapons, there are also a lot of monsters raised, more than ten in total. If you use this kind of body to deal with the Li family who have not been strengthened by Li Xia, you can also crush them with blood. But there are not so many ifs in this world. A few months ago, because of Li Xia, the Li family successfully contracted the demon child spirit and the little ghost girl Mayu. Ghosts, especially the souls of children, were originally unable to stay in the living world for a long time but due to the worship of demon child spirits, this restriction was broken. The demon-loving child spirit can also spontaneously search for the evil ghosts who are stuck in the world due to their obsessions. In order to prevent these naughty little devils from being unhappy and causing damage the practitioners originally had to eliminate such evil spirits or wait for them to be summoned by hell. In order to correctly guide this power as the heritage of the family, the elders of the Lee family subdued these little ghosts and evil spirits very carefully. Over the past few months, the team has grown rapidly. There is no way, the most indispensable thing in the modern world is population. During the Warring States period, productivity limited the size of the population. But in modern times, productivity has been liberated and the population has exploded. Therefore, the most indispensable thing is population. After several months of searching all over the map, the number of imps taken into custody by the Lee family gradually approached 100. This is also the upper limit of the number of imps that each demon-worshipping child spirit can comfort at the same time. A single imp can be completely dealt with by several practitioners working together. However, if dozens or hundreds of little ghosts like Mayu form a fighting force, the telepathic offensive displayed by the power of a hundred ghosts cannot be underestimated. This battle shows how difficult this force is. Thermal weapons and the like have all become decorations. In addition to the little ghost army brought by the demon-worshipping child spirit, the hundred ghost bat army as sentinels and scouts also made great achievements. It was all thanks to them to check for leaks and fill in the gaps, and not let go of any fish that slipped through the net. As lurkers, the Death Soul Insect Legion is also harvesting vast areas. The rest of the superior monsters, such as the Thunderbird and the Three-Headed Snake, belong to the special attack group. They can fly to the sky and hide on the ground, playing an excellent role in assault and blockade. In addition, the three ancestors with clay bodies hardened by diamonds ignored the hail of bullets. Spell bombing, and barrier obstacles, and charged into the Smith family's cultivators with unusual violence. Completely destroy the last effective resistance. Today, the Lee family has made rapid progress in just a few months, growing rapidly to a level that can challenge or even defeat established giant level forces. To this. Even though Li Xia was modest, he did not take the first credit. But the higher ups knew it. Everyone in the family has finished cleaning up the battlefield. No further delay immediately. Hello. It is best for no one in the beautiful country to know that this matter was done by their Li family. The tree is big and attracts the wind. Just let the ancient demon reappear in the world and take the blame. 
the mountain ghosts destroyed everything, leaving behind the illusion that the ancient demon led various demons and ghosts to wreak havoc here. Of course, sorting out the harvest is a must. This is the inheritance of an ancient Taoist tradition that disappeared in China. How could this inheritance be in the hands of the Smith family? More than 90 years ago, when I was very young, I heard about the sudden collapse of this ancient Taoist tradition. At that time, it was really I feel incredible could it be that the Smith family did that? It's possible. After all, at that time, China had just shaken off the dark clouds of the dynasty, and various factions were fighting fiercely for power, and everyone had no time to worry about themselves. It was normal for one of them to be pried open by the giants of the beautiful country using hot weapons. Yes, China has outstanding people and outstanding figures. It has the largest number of spiritual veins and springs that have been preserved from the Dharma ending age, and the number of practitioners is also the largest. As long as there is no internal fighting and no oppression of ordinary people to death, the outside world will it is difficult for other forces to have a chance. The one who can defeat the Chinese people will always be the Chinese people themselves. Those who can bully the people of China will always be their own people. If you don't use your wits, how can you give outsiders a chance to take advantage? Moreover, when the Queen Mother was in power, she firmly implemented the concept of seclusion of the previous generations of rulers when she saw the small foreign car. She said strangely, this horse is so fast, it must eat a lot, and then it is forbidden for private citizens to import all kinds of western things. Incidentally, strict orders were issued to all Taoists to close their mountains and not to contact the outside world. After a set of combined punches, not only the major dynasties were out of touch with the times, but even the dynasties of China were out of touch with the times. Fortunately, the various sects woke up in time, overthrew the decadent dynasty, and worked hard to catch up. Then overtaken again. This makes mainland China still the same China. However, among them, there are inevitably those orthodoxies that do not know how to adapt and thus decline, and even less those orthodoxies that are taken advantage of by others. There are Chinese Taoist traditions here. And there are more than one family. Not only from China, there are scattered ancient traditions from Southeast Asia, West Asia, even island countries in Africa. This shows how overbearing hot weapon was during the lowest period of the cultivator era. After all the harvested items were sorted out in a list, everyone set off on their way back. There were no accidents in the peripheral cleanup work. Harvests are more sporadic. Xiaoxia, look at this list, is there anything you want? The owner of the Li family, who looked excited, handed over dozens of pieces of paper. Li Xia took it and took a quick look at it. He felt that it was too much and too complicated, so he handed it to the clan uncle again. Head of the family, after all the items are sorted into a book, and then all the clan elders jointly evaluate it to a relatively detailed and standard level, you can give me a new list to look at. These things now are too fragmentary, I think it's really nerve-wracking. He gave a piece of trust to the Lee family. I believe the Lee family will not let him down. The head of the house understood the meaning and nodded with a smile. At this time, the fifth elder took out eight purple fragments with a hint of black brilliance and handed them over. Xiao Xia, my thunderbird has found these few fragments. It seems to have a strong possessive desire for these purple fragments. But I suppressed its restlessness. Look at what this is. Hearing this, everyone looked over curiously. Some old people actually have some guesses in their minds. Is this the four soul fragments? Are there really four soul fragments in the modern world? Was my previous guess correct? Although Li Xia remained calm on the face, he was shocked inside. He had always thought the origin of the four soul fragment embedded on the forehead of the human face was strange. It is believed that the fragment was not one of the scattered pieces of the Shir Khan jade that Ali shot during the Warring States period of Inuyasha, but originated from the modern world itself. Now, this speculation has been confirmed. Because the four soul jade he has here, if you add a few in Neraku's hand, one in Kahaku's body, two in Ganya's feet, one in Agat Maru's hand, one in Kikyo's hand, and Baoxian one of the ghosts. Almost complete. Of the eight pieces obtained from the Smith family, Chun Chun was the extra. This Smith family really surprises me. To be able to collect so many jade fragments, I don't know how many unlucky guys who once held the jade fragments were ed. Fortunately, this is the end of the Dharma era, 
and the mobile power bank of the four soul fragments is greatly restricted. Originally, one fragment could provide any creature with a blessing effect of a thousand demonic powers. However, due to the severe constraints of the external world environment, it could only provide an increase of 30 or 50 points of demonic power. And because these fragments have been squeezed one after another over hundreds of years, the capacity may have continued to decline, and now there is not much left. Otherwise, Will, the old head of the Smith family who has been strengthened by eight fragments, should be able to barely fight against the mountain ghost's attack. So, when I take these fragments back to the other side of the bone-eating well, after a period of time, they will be restored to their original state and become additional four-soul fragments in the true sense. Think of this. His eyes unconsciously shifted to the remaining six giants in the beautiful country. No way, the temptation is too strong. This is the second jade of four souls. Don't be anxious, don't be anxious, I can't sell out the Lee family just because of a few fragments. The Lee family has not yet been exposed and is very stable but once it continues to attack the other six families despite the storm, the possibility of the Lee family being exposed is 100%. Then it will inevitably become the target of public criticism. By then, the destruction of nuclear warheads is definitely no joke. Furthermore, the situation of the other six families is still unknown. And those people have not taken direct actions to me whether to strike first is to gain advantage, after all, we still need to have some principles. Just find a time by yourself to come to your door and take away the possible jade fragments. With the decision made, Li Xia no longer hesitated. These energy depleted four soul fragments are of great use to me. Is it okay if I take them? His words made the clan elders look at each other in shock. Xiaoxia, tell me, is this the legendary four soul fragment that can bring people back to life? However, when the spiritual energy factor in the age of ending law is inert, the power of one or two four soul fragments cannot bring people back to life. At most, they can hold a person's last breath. Li Xia did not hide it, but expressed his judgment. The jade fragments I got were really too weak. Etc. Great grandfather, great grandfather, have you heard of the Four Souls Jade? Of course I've heard of it. According to legend, when the age of ending Dharma came hundreds of years ago, the powerful immortals who were stranded in the world realized the approaching crisis. So they joined forces to extract the souls of all the famous monsters and top practitioners and condense them into a orb. It is the so called Jade of Four Souls. Those dozen hidden immortals tried to survive by relying on the power of the Four Souls Jade. Just think about it and you'll understand. In the face of the general trend of heaven and earth, every living thing is just an ant. Since we can't prevent the spiritual energy factors in the outside world from falling into inertia and rapidly becoming thinner. And we can't prevent the arrival of the age of ending law, we can only find other ways to survive this cold winter. The Jade of Four Souls is very suitable as a power bank. And in that shocking change, countless heroes fell because of it, and they all became part of the Four Souls Jade. It's hard to imagine the tragedy at that time. It can be called a dark turmoil. Later, those immortals had disagreements over the distribution of interests. And they fought so hard that the Four Souls Jade was shattered and turned into countless fragments scattered all over the world. Those who got the fragments all gained incredible power. I want to come, this first generation of the Smith family should be one of the first people to obtain the Jade Fragments, and only then can they rise rapidly with the help of the Era of Hot Weapons. Speaking of it, the decline of the top orthodoxy in China is probably related to that sudden change. The reason why the imperial power of White Mountain and Black Water was able to rise and take over the land of China has something to do with this. The old man's voice reached Li Xia's ears, making him tremble Gaozu. You always said that these four soul fragments are the souls of the last great monsters and top monks from the end of the Dharma era in this world. Well, that's exactly what my great grandfather told me when I was little. Okay, since these jade fragments that have been basically squeezed out are of use to you, just take them. Anyway, we have a better way to survive. The clan elders smiled. These four soul fragments cannot prolong life, they can only hang their lives. For them who can be resurrected through clay bodies, their value is not that great. At the same time, this thing is a hot potato, and there is no guarantee that it will not be targeted by some forces that can sense the general location of the fragments. The Lee family can just keep silent and make a fortune. 
there's no need to try and take shortcuts by relying on the power of jade fragments. It is enough for them to have Li Xia's shortcut. In this case, why should the family take unknown risks? That's fine. He also thought about the fact that he had somehow revealed that he was carrying four soul fragments a few months ago. I still feel a little scared when I think about it. At that time, if a master of the Smith family would rather the wrong person than let him go, immediately him to snatch the four soul fragments. And be completely shameless and not care about the attitude of the Lee family, then he would already be a cold corpse. There is no need for the Lee family to bear this kind of risk. Continue by water. The Li family returned to their clan with rich loot. After seeing the person off, Li Xia returned to the Inuyasha warring states period. He hadn't seen his friends for some days, and he missed Ali. Just as he was about to ask his classmates in person to confirm their relationship, the little girl trotted towards him from outside the shrine. Seeing the beauty taking such initiative, he has no reason to refuse, right? Slower. At the reminder, he had already opened his arms and was ready to be hit by the softness. Anyone who has been hit knows the feeling. He loved it. However, the scroll of scripture wrapped inside his underwear became increasingly hot for no reason. This was copied when he was on the road these days. Although it is far inferior to the scriptures copied by eminent monks like Master by Xian when doing homework, it still has magical power. What happened? Before he could think about it, the girl had already bumped into him, her arms full of warmth. But it also knocked him staggering, and his body was temporarily unstable. Her hands even touched his waist dishonestly. Ali. Li Xia's heart was shaken. Sewing's wrong. Today, Ali always feels like there is sewing wrong. Too proactive. The hot scriptures on his body made him even more uneasy. But if Ali was transformed into a monster, why couldn't he feel the slightest trace of monster energy? With his current keen sense of spirituality, no matter how hard he tried to restrain himself, the evil monster could not be exposed in such a close contact. He still has this bit of confidence. As for the non-monster wall, he knew about the existence of this thing, and he also tried to find this gem, but he didn't have the information channels from the Yuishan people. If you give him a few more seconds to react, he might be able to think of this. But now, I don't have the time or concentration. The beauty in her arms exhaled like a orchid, and her little cherry mouth was almost close to her. Even the old comrades can't stand this posture. But Li Xia finally took the initiative to avoid the kiss of death. The entire process above happens in one second. The conflict in his heart also caused him to hesitate for a second. Just for a second. But precisely because of this second, a small alloy box from his waist disappeared. The beauty took it off while his body was unstable and his thoughts were confused. Quick. Too fast. Everything ends in a flash of lightning. So fast that he didn't even have time to react. So fast and so silky smooth. Ali, what did you do with the iron box where I stored the four souls jade? Give me the locked box quickly. I will open the combination lock and take out the four souls fragments inside for you to purify. Li Xia has a gentle voice and an easygoing tone. His face was filled with a doting smile for the beautiful lady. He didn't seem to care at all that the girl had knocked him staggering and taken away the small alloy iron box from his waist. However, the arms that were originally open quickly retracted. Moreover, the left unicorn arm naturally reached towards the iron box that Ali had taken away. And the right hand was completely retracted, shrinking in front of the chest and ready to be ejected at any time. It's more or less self-protective. Don't look at the smile on his face right now. In my heart, I'm really thinking about Ma Mai Pi. The alarm bells in my heart are ringing loudly. Besides, he was shocked and angry. He still didn't understand that he was being tricked by some tricky monster. The girl in front of him, who looked like she was just one step away from becoming his girlfriend, was simply a Shibe. Shibe Goods First of all, it was impossible for Ali to take anything from him. It's impossible to make a joke like this. Secondly, the scriptures he copied himself will not deceive him. The scriptures are extremely reliable. Although Ali's appearance, dress, aura, etc. have not changed. But as a witch who was born with spiritual power, it was unlikely that the little girl could activate the scriptures on him. 
Those who can activate the scroll of scriptures in the sandwich of his inner shirt are mostly evil people or those with more advanced Taoism. If it is a demon, it must be a relatively evil and powerful demon. Little monsters like Chibao Ba are not enough to stimulate the scriptures to spontaneously protect him. Third, he asked the mountain ghost to use the mind-reading ability of the mind-conscious ghost to steal the opponent's inner thoughts. But the ability that had always been invincible before now actually failed. But the real Ali can be read by mountain ghosts. It's not normal to be unable to be read. How could he not be frightened and angry when he thought about what he had just experienced? However, in order to get the small iron box of gold more easily, or to be more precise, to take back the four soul fragments inside he resisted the urge to run away. And tried his best to pretend to be I'm stupid, I don't have anything yet what discovery looks like. The monster opposite played him a trick. He was about to cry, but he also wanted to play the opponent to see if he could win the game. It's a pity that they don't plan to act with him anymore. Huh, Xia Kuen, you are indeed the most troublesome one. It's much more troublesome than Inuyasha and his group. It's even comparable to the trouble Kikio brought me. As the girl spoke, she quickly backed away. As fast as it had come in the first two seconds, it was flying back exponentially faster now. In just a blink of an eye, they opened the distance between them and retreated to the entrance of the compound more than 20 meters away. This also led to the fact that even though Li Xia tried his best to speed up the attack with his left hand, he still couldn't catch even a piece of the opponent's clothes. In an instant, he was so happy that he had obtained several four soul fragments with greater potential and wanted to share this joy with his companions that he could no longer hold back. The smile on his face melted completely. Instead, there was an ashen complexion and gnashing of teeth as gloomy as water. You are. Pull up pants Naraku. Who will tell him how Naraku turned into a woman and stole the house? What about Inuyasha? Where are Ali, Mithraya, and Coral? Why do everyone let Naraku be active near the village? Hearing this, the girl opposite smiled sweetly Xia Jun, you are so hostile to me. Because of this hostility, it only took a moment to think that I did all this, right? But I remember, I didn't I haven't provoked you in any way, have I? This reminded him of Ali. He had obviously never provoked Ali before, but that little girl always wanted to get rid of him. This kind of unwarranted hostility made him extremely unhappy. It was because of this dissatisfaction that he no longer hid himself. With the spread of powerful demonic power and corrosive miasma, he instantly transformed into a handsome young city lord. At the same time, the locked alloy iron box was quickly corroded by the black and purple demonic power. The box was about to be destroyed and the many fragments of the four souls inside fell out. Witnessing this scene, Li Xia's eyes were tearing apart, but his mentality was really a bit explosive. Ed. He is really that Naraku. A woman disguised herself as a boss to me. He also transformed into his almost unguarded soon-to-be girlfriend Xiao Ali. Damn it. How great is it that you, Miao Miao, have turned into Inuyasha, and I can even punch you. Ah. After tossing and turning on his own, the four soul fragments he worked so hard to collect. Which even included several four soul fragments from the modern world, were all taken away by Neriku in such a roundabout way. Do not make jokes. There was no time to think too much, he had to take back all the four soul fragments as soon as possible. With a wave of his left hand, Shangue's purple gold card flew out. After being inserted into the ground, circles of light spread out immediately after. A big hand burning with red demon power burst out of the ground and attacked Neriku directly, intending to crush it into pulp. With a wave of his right hand, the golden card representing the great Osmanthus mask flew into the air. A fierce dragon roared past by, and a poisonous dragon that was 100 meters long appeared then. Two dragon claws that shone with cold light and burned with emerald green demonic energy quickly grabbed Neriku, trying to tear it into pieces. Li Xia himself put on two divine wooden masks overlapping each other. The whole body burned with white mana flames and purple demon power flames. And they all look pretty good. Facing Neriku, he instinctively chose the Mikitsuki mask, which has a stronger life-saving ability, instead of the Oisiki mask, which has a stronger hand-to-hand -hand combat ability. Immediately, he stepped on a hot wheel and waved a fire-tipped gun in his hand. Teleport. Jumped to the direction behind Neriku. 
As soon as the thunder light appeared, a huge thunder light demon bullet quickly bombarded Nariku who was racing against time to avoid the edge. Teleport twice in a row, to both sides of Nariku. The three high-level offensive talismans that the elders of the Lee family gave him a long time ago inspired him to the fullest in a moment. The advanced dragon fire talisman can summon a fire dragon with amazing lethality at the threshold level of the big monster to attack the target. The advanced thunder sacrifice talisman can summon an attacking thunder out of thin air to destroy evil spirits. Advanced evil suppressing talismans can suppress monsters. The suppressive effect depends on the level of the opponent. These high-grade talismans, even for the Lee family with a long history, each one is a strategic material and a family treasure. Local giants like the Smith family, who have risen halfway, have only accolated four cards in 200 years. And because the user's S is insufficient, he cannot exert the true power of the high-level talisman, and even the outer defense of the mountain ghost cannot be broken. However, Li Xia did not dare to be stingy at this moment and directly used three cards. And because he is a four-star practitioner at the advanced stage of qi transformation, using his magic power, which is close to that of a talisman maker, to activate high-level talismans will undoubtedly produce better results. No, the three talismans exerted at least 80% to 90% of their power. This is almost comparable to three ordinary monsters attacking together at the same time. Roar. The fire dragon roared several tens of meters away and attacked Nariku from the left. It burned so hard that the space shook and the air sizzled. Crackling. Thunder several meters thick fell from the sky, like a punishment from heaven. Buzz. The ripples of the circle spread from the right side, and the evil energy released by Nariku as he flew back and transformed quickly melted and dissipated. Li Xia even caught a flash of horror from the corner of his eyes. Die. It can be said that he chose to open up as soon as he came up. The turbulence of the offensive was unprecedented. This also forced Nariku to be in a hurry for a while. No, although Nariku's movement speed has become extremely fast for some reason. His body shape has become particularly agile and agile he has become a completely different fighting style from the mage Nariku, more like a melee warrior. The mountain ghost's groundbreaking blow was all in vain. It was dodged by its timely jump. But because of this, Nariku was unable to open a further distance, or in other words, he had no time to jump out of the offensive from all directions. When the poisonous dragon's two claws fell, Nariku had no choice but to break open his body and reveal two huge pincers to deal with it. As a result, these huge pair of pliers, known for their strength and ing power, were torn directly from his body. Seeing that the dragon's claws still had some strength left, he had no choice but to swing the newly protruded mantis blade. With this slash, he barely managed to repel the poisonous dragon's claws. The two demonic powers collided, immediately creating a strong shock wave. Big Monster Pet Nariku, who clearly felt the intensity of the poisonous dragon's demonic power, was shocked. I can't figure out how this human mage named Li Xia was able to subdue such a powerful monster in a short period of time. But his troubles didn't end there. Li Xia swung the fire tip gun's thunder gun and shot out the lightning magic bullets. If you get hit by this thing, you won't feel well. Having no choice but to do so, a turtle shell immediately appeared on Nai Lu's back. He used the turtle shell with strong defense to absorb the blow, preventing his flesh and blood body from being severely damaged. I saw large swaths of lightning and electric sparks sputtering, and the scene was so spectacular. On the left side, the scorching dragon shot out from the advanced dragon fire talisman. Nariku, who was short-handed, could only sacrifice one of his three precious tails to try to resist it. As a result, it was burned down all of a sudden, which shocked him. Another full-force blow comparable to the level of a big monster. What's going on with this little human mage? Above, the thick sky thunder summoned by the high-level thunder sacrificial talisman also destroyed the other two more precious tails he tried to block. Three ferocious tails with huge mouths and fangs were destroyed at the same time. And on the right side, the energy fluctuation spread by the high-level evil suppressing talisman instantly dissipated the evil spirit and drove away all the corrosive miasma he had released. Leaving him completely exposed to the terrifying energy wave. Damn! Why are you so strong? At this moment, Nariku's pupils shrank sharply to the size of a pinhole. 
If he didn't have a powerful barrier, wouldn't he suffer a big loss? Most of the fragments of the four souls that reached my mouth would have to be thrown away, right? A pink barrier appears. All the aftermath failed to make it any further. Boundary. Or pink. Li Xia only felt a toothache. If I had Iron Fong in hand, I could definitely break the pink barrier by force. However, Tetsuya is no longer in his hands, he had given it to Inuyasha before. Iron broken teeth, iron broken teeth. He shouldn't have given Tetsuyasha to Inuyasha so early. It shouldn't be. He was just one last blow away from destroying Naraku's 10,000 demonic body. Naturally, the fragments of the four souls that were just lost were all taken back. But now. Naraku, you can't escape. Li Xia said in a deep voice. Escape. Xia Jun, what stupid things are you talking about? At this time, Naraku was full of ambition and smiled extremely contentedly. I saw him slowly opening the right hand he had just clenched. What he was holding in his palm was a large handful of fragments of the four souls. At this moment, it was absorbed into the palm piece by piece. You are the one who should run away, right? Ha ha ha. Ah ha ha ha. Ah. Uh. Really? Watching Naraku absorb most of the four soul fragments, he wanted to use the power of the four soul jade to strengthen himself. Not only did Li Xia no longer have a headache, but she secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Bailing Mountain. Where the sweetheart is. The old man suddenly opened his eyes, with a strange look in his eyes. Okay, but he'll write more about that stuff so it won't be inconsistent. But the Shere Khan no Tama in the modern world must be written about. Maple Village. This side of the bone-eating well shrine. Naraku, who had liberated the body of ten thousand monsters and transformed into a giant body of tens of meters. With all kinds of limbs and flesh spreading and squirming everywhere, saw Li Xia quickly change from angry to calm, to a playful look on his face. I felt a lot. I don't understand. He has now been strengthened by most of the four soul fragments. Shouldn't this little human mage be afraid and uneasy? You can't, you still want to fight yourself, right? Such overestimation. You know, for today's action, he calculated well against Inuyasha and others. On the one hand, using a little known little pet like a little spider as a sentinel. He overheard the conversation between Inuyasha and others, and learned a lot more specific information about the man in front of him. On the other hand, in order to keep the evil Iron Fong that can break his powerful barrier away from this village and avoid unnecessary trouble and in order to more smoothly deceive the little mage in front of him, he was willing to take the risk and used a few fragments that he had collected a while ago as bait to lure away the impatient Inuyasha, the jealous Ali and others, and lure those annoying guys away. Somewhere else. I believe that Kagura will not fall off the chain in a short time. It doesn't matter if Kagura fails. Just buy him enough time. That's right, he just wants to use his little to make a big difference. Use those fragments to make a big bet and see if you can win the game here. As long as a sufficient amount of four soul fragments can be snatched from Li Xia, even losing a few pieces in Kagura's hands is acceptable. After all, it can be said that this is his last chance to win a large number of four soul fragments. Kikyo wouldn't give him any more time. Although that dangerous woman can't be found for the time being because he obtained the demon wall, she can no longer swallow the monsters sealed in various temples as easily as before. A large number of previously sealed monsters were gradually transferred into Bailing Mountain by major temples and shrines during this period. He can't get into that damn place. Other living high-level monsters with some reputation have shrunk again after feeling the crisis, and it is difficult to find them again and he will not sit still and wait for death no matter what. He wanted to prove to that woman, Kikyo, the price of daring to underestimate him. Therefore, one must take the initiative. So, he thought of the only way to become stronger quickly, which was to seize more four soul fragments from Li Xia's little mage. It was precisely because of this that he pretended to be Ali today, starting from the one and only weakness of the young man in front of him, and set up a sneak attack. He finally saw it. This boy's heart is not ruthless enough. Even if he hesitates, he will never do anything to the girl he admires, Ali. And he only needed a breath of hesitation from the little mage. No, he really made the right bet. The hesitation of less than a second gave him the opportunity to succeed. 
You're done. Ha ha ha. Speaking of which, in order to deal with this operation, he even asked Kana to use Kana's mirror to control the entire village as an alternative. But now it seems that it is no longer useful. After getting all the four soul fragments from this person, he wanted to ask. Who else? Humph, Mr. Xia, there is no need to bluff anymore if you want to use a dragon that is not as powerful as me. A mountain ghost that is even worse, and the previous magician ODs to deal with me, then let you disappointed. Those ODs were far from enough to hurt him. Nariku sneered. Li Xia nodded with great approval and seriousness. I know. I'm going to say, I probably know you better than you know yourself. Do you believe it or not? What's the meaning? Nariku frowned, and a very bad premonition suddenly arose in his heart. This time, before Li Xia, who was smiling, could respond, his right arm suddenly bloomed from the inside out with a touch of milky white sacred brilliance. This holy light is quite overbearing and seems to be able to purify all unclean things. This is the aura of the sacred barrier in Bailing Mountain. Nariku, who was wearing a touch of eye shadow, looked incredulous as if in slow motion. Those four soul fragments have been tampered with. Is there a big problem? Of course there is a problem. You can't just be allowed to manipulate the fragments of the four souls while you, master by Xian, are not allowed to inject the sacred power of purification into them, right? What's more, Platycodon has a precedent in the original work of injecting own light into the fragments. How could Li Xia not think of imitating the cat and trying to imitate the tiger, and also be the last backup on those four soul fragments? The purifying power of Platycodon is indeed powerful. But compared to Master by Exion's divine purification power that expels all filth on a large scale, it is still a little short of size. Platycodon can also inject its own light into a fragment. But Master by Exion can take care of every fragment. As a gathering of evil spirits, every hair of Neraku represents uncleanness under such circumstances, he dares to absorb all the four soul fragments. I have to say that this guy is really brave. Right now, Nariku is having a rough fight with Bai Xiong. There is no need to doubt which one is strong and which one is weak. At least not for Nariku right now. Ah! Divine purifying light burst out from dozens of four soul fragments. The smaller half of Nariku's body was immediately evaporated, leaving no residue behind. The mantis blade was gone in an instant. What giant scorpion pliers disappeared in an instant? The hard shell of a turtle, a pure piece of candy wrapper, melts instantly. Those squirming pieces of flesh were naturally unlikely to survive. Any place that is illuminated by the light is melting rapidly like ice and snow under the scorching sun. Even if he tried his best to release an extremely evil spirit and miasma, it was still purified in the blink of an eye. The outer pink powerful barrier disintegrated three points faster. This is the domineering power of purification possessed by Master by Exion. It can be regarded as a microcosm of the sacred barrier of Bailing Mountain. No. Nariku roared with anger and unwillingness. A layer of insect beetles covered the body. At the same time, a figure was thrown out of his broken body as he struggled desperately with bloodshot eyes. Throwing it at the many fragments that exuded the light of divine purification. These fragments that were originally suspended in the air were enveloped by this figure and were immediately taken away from the area where Nariku was. Li Xia, who saw the figure, was originally ready to hit Nariku hard again but at this time, he had to endure it a little. Grandma Fong. No wonder, no wonder no one is in charge of the barrier at this shrine. It turns out that the person in charge of the barrier was captured somehow. Grandma Fong is not an evil spirit, but a pure witch. Master by Xian's purifying light is naturally ineffective. This also resulted in the divine purification power not being able to Nariku thoroughly enough. Although he was seriously injured, it was not fatal. Mountain ghosts and poisonous dragons also did not dare to approach because of the sacred light of purification and missed the best chance to hit Nariku. There is no way to take advantage of his illness to him. Survived. Nariku was frightened for a while, then ecstatic. Li Xia secretly said it was a pity. But he had no intention of giving up. When the holy light of purification converges, he immediately teleports to prepare for a fatal blow. 
He also has a storage gourd, which contains the clean cloud gas from Bailing Mountain, which may be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Go. Call. Seeing that the white mist was about to cover Nariku, who had damaged most of his body and temporarily lost his ability to move. Seeing this, Li Xia was overjoyed their sewing going on. But at this moment, outside the mostly destroyed shrine, dozens of figures riding monsters rushed in and blocked Nariku. The people sitting on those miscellaneous monsters are the villagers of Maple Village. What happened? Glancing around, I saw the figure of a plain white little Lolita outside the hospital, and I was suddenly enlightened. It turns out that these villagers were controlled by Kanna who took away part of their souls. Don't even think about running away. Li Xia clasped his hands together, and the mana fluctuation spread. A barrier appears to protect oneself firmly. At the same time, dozens of coffins emerged from the underground of the shrine. After the coffin board was opened, dozens of clay mages and witches opened their eyes. Why wake us up? What an evil guy. These people were the same group of dead who had been helped by Li Xia after the Ghost City incident and came back to life to fulfill some of their wishes. In order to thank Li Xia, they agreed to become his fighting force at a critical moment. Don't let that monster on the ground get away. Stop him. During the command, the replacement of the sacred tree mask and the big Osmanthus mask was completed neatly. A magical costume form with more refined scales and more powerful aura. Appears. In terms of destructive power, the five-star Osmanthus mask is also needed. The next moment, mana and demonic power were like a flood that opened a flood gate, pouring crazily into the body of the fire-tipped gun. Causing this weapon that had always been a bit stretched to burn with unprecedented energy and arrogance. The tip of the spear was pointed directly at Nariku, who had not yet breathed a sigh of relief. To make a gesture, throw it hard. Aren't you even going to let these villagers go? Li Xia. Okay, then let these villagers be buried with me. Nailuo, who was lying on the ground, said with a fierce expression. Li Xia hesitated for a moment. But when I thought about the rare opportunity, this hesitation disappeared. Even if the energy explosion would accidentally injure many villagers, he would not hesitate. It is true that Nariku took advantage of him, but Nariku was also seriously injured by his backhand. This opportunity is so rare. If you miss this village, you will definitely not have this shop. Furthermore, he has revealed almost all his trump cards. Once the other party gets away this time, there is no guarantee that sowing evil will happen later. Besides, he was really scared. He almost suffered a big fall today, and he didn't want to have this disturbing feeling again. So, Nariku, please go die. Buzz. The ground shook, and the golden sword light was like thunder. In the distance, Inuyasha hurriedly returned to Maple Village and arrived at the shrine of the bone-eating well. But the wind wound that Inuyasha inflicted with the pink iron blade was not directed at Nariku who was protected by several villagers on the ground rather. It was directed at Nariku who was at war with a group of villagers and exuded a terrifying demonic aura. He came. Inuyasha. What the hell are you doing? Li Xia was furious. The golden sword light came too fast, and the iron broken tooth turned pink at that moment. It was obviously a form specifically designed to break barriers. Facing this form of wind injury, he didn't dare to risk his life that his barrier could block it. Damn it! Retreat. Avoid. At this moment, Nariku has completed a simple body reorganization. Seeing that the situation was not going well, a demonic wind blew up and Kanna ran away with it. Just as Li Xia was about to pursue him, a group of villagers controlled by Kanna rushed forward desperately and got stuck at each node. These puppet usually have no effect at this time, they are extremely useful. Then, the wind injury struck again. And this wind wound is also the kind that is designed to break the barrier. Again. Inuyasha. Li Xia's forehead was so angry that veins popped out. The eyes are a little red. How could he not know that Inuyasha wanted to save people and protect the villagers? And without knowing his state in advance, I thought he was the monster causing destruction. But, we really can't let Nariku go. He could feel that Nariku had not lost all the four soul fragments. Of the eight brought from the modern world that had not been tampered with by Master by Xian, three of them were taken by that guy. 
he had to get it back. Otherwise there will be big trouble. But Inuyasha, who usually always misses the mark but is so powerful at this time, plays the wind wound very thiefly. Cooperating with Kanna, he intercepted him accurately without hurting any villager. And after he put on the big Osmanthus mask with high attack and defense, he lost his teleportation ability with excellent mobility. Damn it! Inuyasha, I have to thank you for your kindness. Thanks to you naive guys, otherwise, I would have lost everything this time. Naraku chuckled. The figure of a red mutated dead soul insect appeared on his body, and he opened his mouth and sucked it in. All the mages and witches with clay bodies around them had lost their dead souls to move around. The gap opens. This also made Li Xiao more anxious. Although Naraku was forced to use another trump card against Kikio, he was not happy at all. Sure enough, Naraku smiled even more wildly. Inuyasha. He he he, your kindness will you sooner or later. However, sometimes you really can't be happy too early. Whoosh. A sound broke through the air. The purple demon breaking arrow shot out from behind Inuyasha. Target Naraku whose smile froze. That dead girl. Puff. The purple Miko's demon breaking arrow, perhaps due to months of continuous training, was particularly accurate this time and directly shot through the barrier that Naraku had once again propped up and his reorganized body. The few fragments that had just gone along fell out. Obviously, Ali's arrow was heading for these fragments. However, after all, Ali's spiritual power is not as good as when he first came to this world. She has been severely weakened twice in a row. If it was the original Ali, Naruo probably wouldn't be able to withstand the arrow this time. Come again. Girls are very strong. If one arrow fails, add another. Kanna. The mirror of Kanna immediately cracked after forcibly absorbing Ali's arrow. The souls of the villagers took the opportunity to escape from the mirror and returned to their respective bodies. Also escaping with him were some of Ali's former powers. That was a part of the soul and spiritual power that was taken away a long time ago. Although the demon-destroying arrow accomplished some great things, it failed to achieve all its merits in one fell swoop. The next moment, Li Xia was so shocked that he did not choose to pursue, but waited and watched. The wind injury attacked Naraku instead. With only one head left, Naraku's teeth were almost broken. Hateful. He had no idea what was wrong. Logically speaking, Kagura cannot be so useless, and it is impossible to only buy so much time. Walk. The miscellaneous monsters surged out from the woods, and he released a large amount of the most powerful energy and miasma, which was enough to block the wind wound. The purple-black demonic wind filled with evil energy flew higher and higher, making it difficult for wind suffering to reach for a while. But how could Inuyasha give up? You tease us like this, Naraku, I can't forgive you. A cloud rose from beneath his feet. He wanted to pursue him directly. Then I saw a dozen villagers falling from the air, and I had to run to save them. Naraku. The demonic clouds dispersed and the sky was clear. But there is a lingering haze lingering in everyone's mind. Inuyasha, what's going on? When I left, didn't we agree that during this period, you will all master your new SS in the village and don't go out easily? Why did Naraku appear in the village and even control everyone? Villagers, but you are missing. Lysia asked calmly while blowing the freshly brewed hot tea. If these people stayed in the village as agreed, how could Naraku control the entire villagers of Maple Village? The Tai Suya that can break the pink barrier is enough to defeat Naraku. Therefore, even though he looks calm on the outside, he is actually very angry inside. He wanted to punch in Yasha. It's the four soul fragments. The night before yesterday, Ali suddenly sensed the appearance of several four soul fragments outside the village. But when they reached the edge of the village, the jade fragments stopped approaching again. We guessed that it was Naraku coming. So he tentatively chased after him, slightly away from the village. After some struggle, it was determined that it was just Naraku's wooden puppet. Originally, when we chased to a village twenty or thirty miles away, we were almost successful, but we were blocked by a fog. We're just a little short of defeating Naraku's wooden puppet and grabbing a few four soul fragments. We are all very unwilling. Having said this, Mithraya paused. There was some shame on his face. 
not willing to give in. So you chased into the fog. Li Xia raised his eyebrows. He probably understood that most of these people had been tricked. First, Naraku used multiple four soul fragments to arouse his interest, and then he was kept attracted by the hope of just a little bit. In the end, only one of them needed to be lured into the foggy area, and the others had to follow closely. And there must be sewing fishy in that fog. Wait, could it be Naraku's secret illusion technique again? Very simple routine. But these people were eaten to death. Yes, we gave chase. We fell into Naraku's trap. Among the people, Mithraya, who was in the best condition, was so ashamed that he couldn't stand it. This time, he made up for the painful memories that he should have experienced a long time ago. Tormented by the illusion, he almost collapsed. Has the illusion changed this time? Did you all become disoriented in an instant? Could it be that Naraku ate some illusion-related monster some time ago? After learning the general situation, Li Xia was thoughtful. This reminded him of a certain fox demon in the original work who almost broke Fei Lai Gu into pieces. That superior monster not only had claws sharp enough to crush flying bones, but also had the ability to create special barriers and illusions. Not easy to deal with. If it is absorbed by Naraku and all aspects are strengthened, it will indeed become more difficult. Then what? He asked about what happened next. Mithraya sighed softly. Alas, there are not only Naraku's wooden puppets in the mist, but also his clone Kagura and two undead. One of the undead is good at using poison, and attacked Ali, Chibao, and Aba with poisonous mist, causing Ali to until now, the state is not very good. Because Chibao and Haha were monsters, they adapted faster and were in better condition. Of course, it's also wilted. Ali was poisoned. Li Xia's expression changed, and he came to the girl's side and carefully checked the little girl's physical condition. This inspection indeed revealed sewing. There is indeed some toxin left in Ali's body. No wonder when faced with Naraku, who was in the same bad state earlier, this stronger girl did not choose to continue the pursuit. I'm afraid it's not that I don't want to, but that my body has reached its limit. The second demon breaking arrow was shot out entirely with great willpower. In addition to Inuyasha and Coral, who is wearing a demon slayer gas mask, the rest of the friends, including Miroku, Shippo, and Hachi, also show signs of poisoning. No, Inuyasha was actually poisoned as well. But this guy has good physical fitness and has the poison resistance given by the old immortal immortal poison. I am afraid that poisons that are not on the level of Sesomaru poison flower claws will not be able to hurt him at all. In addition, for the rest of the people, the poison resistance provided by the old immortal's fairy wine also played a huge role this time. Otherwise, Ali and others may not have simply been poisoned and their status declined, but they may have died suddenly. My earlier idle move, now it seems, undoubtedly played a huge role. Ali. And you. Li Xia bit her lip lightly. At this moment, he suppressed all the accusations that came to his mouth. How could he have the heart to undermine the morale of these friends again? After taking a deep breath, he asked again what happened to the guy who put the poison. Did you him? Also, what kind of poison was this? Why did you inhale it without knowing it? It is still very dangerous to allow people to inhale the toxins in their bodies without even realizing it. It aroused his more vigilance. The poison of the human dead was colorless and odorless, mixed in the white mist, making it difficult to detect. Coral took advantage of its careless approach and edit, and only then did it know that the other party was actually an undead resurrected by the four soul fragments. It was someone a poisoner in the land, notorious. This time, if Coral hadn't found the people who were separated in the mist in time, they might have suffered another big loss. Illusion combined with poisonous fog. Very dirty means. But very useful. Speaking of which, thanks to the immortal wine you asked us to take a few months ago, Mr. Xia, we all have strong poison resistance. Otherwise, the consequences would be disastrous. Mithraya was frightened for a while. So does the rest. All the people in a village were poisoned to death, except them. The biggest difference between them and those villagers is probably that their poison resistance is high enough. In response, Li Xia nodded, as long as everything is fine. What happens next? Calculated according to time, this was only one night. 
Can the remaining Tigura and another undead stop in Yasha for a day and a night? Originally, things were going in a good direction, but a human military commander named Setsuna Mengmuru appeared. Mithraya smiled bitterly. Setsuna Tengen. Li Xia's mouth twitched. Could he be an admirer of Inuyasha's mother? General Inu's former love rival. Is that the human general who dragged down the Inu general who was left with his last breath? How did Naraku resurrect that person? Wait. Could it be because of Taisuya? Yes. Sesomaru's use of Tetsuya to show off his power undoubtedly gave Neraku a wake-up call, and he then thought of using Inu Admiral's former enemy to deal with himself. It's not hard to think of. Anyone with some brains, after realizing Inuyasha's father's strength level, would probably think of using his strength to make a move. Then use General Inu's old enemies to deal with the two brothers Inuyasha and Sesomaru. Realizing this, Li Xia couldn't help but feel a pinch in her heart. Fortunately, I took the lead in hiding the dragon bone essence in Bailing Mountain. Didn't give Neraku even the slightest chance. So close. There is a saying Neraku without the four soul fragments would definitely not dare to devour the dragon bone spirit but the guy with the four soul fragments may not be able to forcefully swallow the severely injured and half disabled dragon bone spirit. Just like the way the black Miko Tsubaki swallowed the giant ghost of the multi-treasure tower in the original timeline. Xia Jun, do you know this person? Mithraya and others were a little suyas. I don't know, you continue. Li Xia waved his hand and took a sip of hot tea. When everyone saw this, it was hard to ask any questions. Mithraya then vomited his bitterness. That man's martial arts SS are very powerful and are not affected by the surrounding fog the key is that for some reason, he and Inuyasha have a deep hatred. After clarifying Inuyasha's name, he immediately launched a tireless and ferocious attack on Inuyasha. Forcibly entangled Inuyasha in the fog that blocked his vision. After Coral took the rest of us out of the foggy area, we went deep again and wanted to help Inuyasha to rescue us, but we were blocked by Kagura. In order to protect Coral, Micah suffered some injuries and is temporarily unfit for manned flight. And Aba was in very bad condition after being poisoned, and we didn't dare to let him fly back to the village with people. What if the plane crashes midway? So this delay lasted for most of the day. It wasn't until night fell that Inuyasha got rid of the disadvantage in vision and defeated the Setsuna Tengen. We were able to embark on the return journey again. But at this time, only Inuyasha and the team can fly on the clouds. Considering that Ali had a high fever at the time, the physical conditions of the others were also not suitable for blowing the night wind at high altitudes. So everyone took various medicines brought by Ali and rested for the night. Then after the sun rose in the early morning, they embarked on the return journey. At this time, Ali wiped out three four-soul fragments from his arms. Then together with the rest of the jade fragments that had completed a round of purification, they were all handed over to Li Xiao. The four-soul fragments are too hot to touch. Always brings misfortune to those around you. This time there will be some casualties. Li Xia took a handful of four soul fragments that not only did not decrease, but had three more pieces added to them, he couldn't laugh or cry. Should I say that it's a good thing that these people didn't return to Maple Village too early? Otherwise, if everyone is injured, wouldn't it be possible for Neraku to them all? It's a small fog trap. If Neraku's true body hadn't been squatting on the side of the village, would it have been wiped out directly? Once these people fall into Neraku's hands and use them as hostages to force him to submit, and ask him to exchange all the four soul fragments in his hands, will he exchange them? Furthermore, Kagura was obviously paddling at the time, and even deliberately let these friends leave, otherwise the combination of Coral and Micah would not be able to withstand that woman. Grandma Fong, what's going on here? Li Xia turned his head and looked at the haggard-looking old man. This person was originally invited by him to maintain the protective barrier at the shrine. The coverage area of this barrier is dozens of meters of the entire shrine. After all, he had just experienced the time when Ali was plotted against by the Black Witch Chun not long ago, and the whole process was still vivid in his mind. How could he not be prepared at all? Also, the five six meter long and wide room where the bone eating well is located has been personally set up by him with a limited protective barrier that can operate on its own within a month without the need for outsiders to take care of it. 
the dozens of coffins buried under the shrine, or to be precise, the wizards and witches sleeping inside, are the wedges of this barrier. As long as he didn't touch the boundary of the room personally, all the mages and witches would be awakened. It can be said that it is a very safe hidden trick. However, Nailyo never thought of touching the barrier around the house, so he never disturbed the sleeping wizards and witches underground. This also prevented him from getting early warning from many hidden opponents at the first time. When he opened the door and walked out of the room protected by the barrier, Naraku, who had been staying near the shrine pretending to be Ali, took action. And he was extremely decisive, extremely quick, and completely risking his life, and he plunged into the arms of Mr. Lee. Because of the scrolls, he was able to protect himself. It's a blessing in misfortune. Alas, Naraku controlled a few villagers and used the villagers' mouths to trick me into walking out of the shrine gate. I was caught by him without any resistance. Granny Foam smiled bitterly. She never thought that Naraku could be so invisible. There was no demonic aura coming out from behind her, so how could she resist? If Granny Maple knew that her sister, the Miko Kikio, was captured alive by Neriku so easily in the original timeline, maybe she wouldn't be so surprised. Is it a villager again? Why are you so helpless and frustrated? When you are a bad person, why can you do whatever you want and be so unscrupulous? To be a good person, but have to be controlled by others? Hateful. Taking out the scripture in his arms, Li Xia gritted his teeth and secretly felt panic and fear when he saw that most of the content on it had disappeared. Naraku's combination of punches really gave him nowhere to vent his anger. It was aimed at everyone seven inches. Xia Jun, please don't wave your weapons at the villagers again. They are innocent. Granny Fong looked extremely serious and said seriously. This time, I can treat it as an accident. Inuyasha and others also looked complicated at this time. They remembered the scene where Li Xia planned to bury Naraku with many innocent villagers. This friend of mine is also willing to do whatever it takes to achieve his goal. But to say that this little friend is wrong is not entirely correct. After all, the villagers at that time were all controlled by Kanna. It's the walking dead. Is really nerve-wracking. Grandma Fong, I'm very confused, why didn't you suffer any harm in Naraku's body? Naraku was not completely wiped out by the sacred light of purification this time, and you deserve the most credit. Li Xia said calmly. And this thing? Inuyasha and the others blinked, feeling incredible. Xia Jun, what do you mean? The old man frowned. You were actually awake when you were old, right? Otherwise, how would you know that he was going to attack the villagers? Otherwise, why would all the luminous fragments be blocked by this old man with his body? Naraku didn't let Kanna take away this soul beforehand. When Ali's demon-breaking arrow forced Kanna to release the soul in Kanna's mirror, Li Xia saw clearly that there was no granny foam. So, if this person is in an unconscious state, how can he fine-tune his body shape in mid-air? Is it such a coincidence? Therefore, it was the old man who instinctively chose to help Naraku cover up as much light as possible. This gave Naraku more energy. And since you are awake, why don't you expose the fragments of the four souls that exude the light of divine purification, instead of pressing them tightly with your body? I couldn't hear the joy, anger, sorrow or joy in Li Xia's voice. But everyone felt a very bad feeling for no reason. The other side. Granny Fong thought of what Naraku called her, and her breath couldn't help but stagnate. A foam was the name that only Neraku had ever called her. Inuyasha never had either. Thinking back to that time, she had indeed used her body to suppress the four soul fragments that were emitting bright light, and she suddenly didn't know what to say. Xia Jun, Granny Fong definitely has no ill intentions. Inuyasha said in relief. He also chose to use wind damage to stop it at that time, wasn't it just to save the villagers? This time, Li Xia didn't show any good looks. Inuyasha, are you stupid or am I stupid? Did you want to me when you swung the knife? How come? Then why do you use pink iron broken teeth? To simply stop him, all it takes is an ordinary wind wound. Where is the need to use the pink form specially designed to destroy the barrier? Don't think of him as blind. He saw all the details. The mountain ghost used his mind-reading ability one after another and gave him the answer he didn't want to hear. Ah this. 
Inuyasha was speechless. Can he say that he didn't recognize the person the first time? Who believes it? Oh, you are all good people, but I am the only bad one, right? You are the good guys, and I will take the blame. You are amazing. You are noble. Li Xia was smiling on her face, but the anger in her heart was rising no matter how hard she suppressed it. The kind of cerebral hemorrhage. He worked hard to defeat monsters, but these guys who thought they were noble were always holding him back without even realizing it. Then from now on, if you want to get back these four soul fragments, you must deal with me just like you dealt with Naraku. I won't play with you guys anymore. Different road non-phase plan. Xia. Xia Jun. Everyone suddenly changed their color. But after Li Xia took a deep look at Ali and Hu Hu, he flew directly to the sky and rode away on the dragon. Xia Jun, come back. Ali and Coral shouted anxiously. The two little girls were almost crying. How could this happen? Yun Mu even endured her injuries and transformed and chased after him. Unfortunately, it's too late. In the corner, a little spider that witnessed everything was also numb. Is there such a good thing? Ali, don't worry here, that is the rhythm of true love Naruto chasing Sasuke. Ahem. No, that's not right. All the four soul fragments are in the hands of Li Xiao. If I want to get those jade fragments, I need to face him directly. But the little mage who has escaped the shackles of his companions will only be more troublesome. After all, he has experienced Li Xia's strength and can definitely challenge him. Even if the opponent can't break through his powerful barrier, what can he do to the opponent? The mage's ODs combined with several major Shikigami are more difficult to defeat than any big monster below the top level he faces. Therefore, this may seem like losing the help of Inuyasha and others, but in fact it should be more like the sea is wide and the fish can leap, and the sky is high and the birds can fly. Inuyasha and the others are easier to deal with, but this Li Xiao. If Neraku has seen the storyline of three heroes fighting Lu Bu. You can probably understand without Lu Bei holding back the two generals Guan and Zhang, they can completely defeat Lu Bu. It is only a matter of time before they defeat Lu Bu. Compared with Lu Bei, who is a dragster and mixes in the melee, it can be easier and more overwhelming. In the novel between the three heroes and Lu Bu, Lu Bei was undoubtedly the one who did him a disservice. Trouble. That guy doesn't have to take care of anyone anymore. Why do you feel like you're more difficult to deal with than him? How did things come to this? Neraku huddled in the dark and licked his wounds. The excitement and excitement he had just turned into a lack of interest, and the overjoyment he had just now turned into entanglement and distress. How could he have contributed to such bad consequences? Miscalculation. Xia, come back. Ali dragged his tired body and tried his best to chase the figure in midair in the fields. Trying hard to keep him. That petite figure is particularly pitiful. Unfortunately, the poisonous dragon and Li Xia, who was on the poisonous dragon's back, quickly disappeared at the intersection of the sky and the mountains in the distance without looking back. Summer. The girl didn't notice a small stone on the road. She stepped on it and sprained her foot. After falling to the ground, the pain caused cold sweat to break out on his forehead. Ali. Inuyasha couldn't bear it anymore and wanted to help him, but he was thrown away. He knew Inuyasha's affection for her, but she couldn't accept that she was liked just because she was Kikyo's substitute. She is Higurashi, an independent person, not a substitute for anyone. She is an independent woman with dignity. And at this moment, she also couldn't accept that Inuyasha used those nasty little means to force Xia Jun away to achieve his goal, even if there might be some misunderstanding in it. But her classmate, her only fellow villager in this strange world, Xia Jun, who had always taken good care of her, cared for her, and brought her a complete sense of security. Was pissed off. Seeing this, Inuyasha felt pain in his heart for no reason. He really didn't realize that it was a transformed form of Li Xiao. After seeing that the other party was holding a barrier different from that of the mage and witch, and was preparing to attack the villagers, he thought it was some dangerous monster. So, without thinking too much, he used the pink iron broken teeth that were specially designed to break the barrier. At least that's what happened with the first shot. If he knew it was Li Xia, he would never swing his iron teeth at Li Xia. Ali, are you okay? 
Coral stepped forward and checked the condition of her companions. Pulling off his stockings, he saw that Ali's left ankle had become swollen. Fortunately, it's just a common sprained foot. Coral breathed a sigh of relief. Just when the two girls felt very disappointed, as if they had lost sewing, a gourd fell with a clang in front of them. Everyone looked up at the sky and noticed nothing. They all looked at the gourd again and recognized it immediately. This is the storage gourd on Mr. Xia's waist. Ali took it and used the magic power as a guide. He opened the gourd and looked at it. His nose felt a little sore. There are two volumes of scriptures inside that can be kept close to yourselves and contain certain magical powers. According to the message on a small note, she learned that Li Xia had prepared it for her and Coral in advance. It can be regarded as a small life-saving weapon. The note also reminded her to be careful in this world where monsters are rampant and not to be impulsive and reckless she must learn to take care of herself. I am afraid that she will not be able to fulfill the agreement with Grandpa Higarashi and Mother Higarashi to stay with her more often in the future. In addition to these, there is also information related to ZZ Mountain Spirit Bao. That Bao is the Miko's artifact and will be of great help to her. Then there is a bone provided by a monster named Dragon Bone Spirit. This bone is derived from the big monster's bone which is one of the small gifts given to the coral. After being integrated into Phalai Bone, it should have a very good strengthening effect on the coral's strength. Finally, there were some words that told her to practice archery more, so that she didn't have to worry about anything. But, the more you don't worry, the more you worry. Xia, I will definitely get you back, definitely. Aside. Coral, who received the dragon bone essence bones and a scroll of personal scriptures, didn't say much, just pursed his lips silently. Li Xia's side. He first went to Bailing Mountain and met Master by Exion. Why are you so frowning? Did you encounter sewing troublesome? The old man asked. Hey, I had a quarrel with my former partners. Li Xia forced a smile. He looked at it with a wry smile. Sweetheart Bai asked curiously. Li Xia told the old man the general process. His master didn't say anything in the end, just sighed softly. He didn't express anything else, but he felt a little more disgusted with the monster named Naraku. What a cunning and diable guy. What are your plans next? Are you going to collect the four soul fragments alone? No. Gathering the four soul jade is not only not a good thing for me, but also a huge hidden danger. By then, even if you, master, help purify and suppress the Chu Ling inside, I will not dare to do it again. I use the power of the Four Souls Jade to improve some training materials. Now, he just wants to gain more time to practice so that he can lay a solid foundation and take further steps. He is still young and can wait for three to five years without any problem. Well, it's good that you have an idea. I also noticed that there is extremely profound evil hidden in these Four Soul Fragments, and even my light cannot completely remove it. That should be the Chu Ling you are talking about. If you want to use the power of the Four Souls Jade without being affected by it, you need to improve your SS. When you step into a new realm, you should be able to purify even the black fragments of the Four Souls on your own. When you reach my current level and master the Sacred Light of Purification. Even if you are holding a completely black jade of Four Souls, as long as you don't put it into your body, you won't be affected at all. The old man's voice is easygoing and he always has a hint of relevant things to say. I know Master, I will pay attention to my daily homework. I humbly listen to Master Bai Zin's teachings. Take this, and be careful when going out. The old man said, and a scroll came to Li Xia. Thank you, Master. This is exactly the scripture that Master Bai Xian has been writing with his mind and remote control pen these days. As long as the writing on it does not disappear completely, it will be difficult for evil things to cause substantial harm to him. One is that the scriptures will automatically protect the Lord. Furthermore, there is the instinctive fear of monsters and evil spirits, such items that have their own purifying power. In terms of effectiveness and preciousness, it is dozens or hundreds of times more powerful than what Li Xia copied himself. Master, thank you for your hard work. This is his sincere gratitude. Go ahead and do what you think is right. The white mist rose, and the old man disappeared into the holy white mist again. Li Xia turned around, his nose sore inexplicably. 
no living person could understand why he had a quarrel with several of his companions. But this master saw it very clearly. For the rest of the time, Li Xia no longer pays attention to anything in the outside world. He devoted himself to the retreat and practiced hard with the help of a high-quality spiritual spring in Bailing Mountain. He came from the Li family this time and brought many precious spiritual materials collected and cultivated by the Li family, including many active medicinal herbs. As long as he ensures that the selected spiritual materials meet the required age. Then if he cultivates them with multiple four soul fragments for a while, he will soon be able to obtain high-quality spiritual materials. The best spiritual spring water, supplemented with high-quality spiritual materials, can be mixed according to the recipe to prepare the most top-notch spiritual liquid for cultivation. The Jade of the Four Souls is a self-charging super power bank. As long as the external environment is not too tight, the power of the Four Soul Fragments can be continuously replenished. This way, a special energy cycle is formed. The Four Soul Fragments absorb the free energy in the world environment to replenish themselves and accumulate sufficient energy. Those medicinal herbs rapidly increase their potency by absorbing the power of the four soul fragments. And considering that this is within the sacred barrier of Bailing Mountain, this step has been omitted in order to purify it more securely. The whole process is equivalent to the four soul fragments serve as a transfer station. Accelerating the efficiency of the spiritual herbs in absorbing the mysterious energy between the world hundreds and thousands of times. This is also the main reason why he relies so much on and attaches great importance to the large number of four soul fragments. Man-made high-quality natural materials and treasures. In addition to converting the medicinal power into S and accumulating it. In addition to using the power of medicine to quickly light up the acupoints on his left arm and various parts of his body, thereby increasing his own foundation. Li Xia also specifically sought out Man Gu and asked Man Gu to spar with him. With such a good sparring partner right in front of him, he had no reason not to use it. This also means that his improvement is not just an increase in mana, nor is it simply a deepening of SS. But also a steady increase in all aspects such as fighting SS, physical mobility, and physical coordination. The speed of improvement that is visible to the eye makes the originally talented barbarian envious. His envious eyes were red. How come you are so lucky? The wild dragon's large spear, which had not yet transformed into a demon sword, swung at him, and his attack inexplicably intensified by three points. Li Xia saw this and responded with a smile. When I become a great god who can truly control life and death, maybe I can help you regain your flesh and blood? Are you so kind? Mangu said he didn't believe it. Look at the gun. Putting aside the big scourge of Neraku, he suddenly felt that life was so wonderful and comfortable. Before, I was too obsessed with ING Neraku, too obsessed with the feelings of Inuyasha and others. A week later. The entire acupoints on his left arm were lit up by him. All I can say is thank you, His Highness says Homaru. The arm that Shadian had trained for him was not very useful. It seemed that all the veins had been connected. He just needs to accumulate enough mana, and then everything will fall into place. No need to worry too much at all. And what if there is no foundation laid by Shadian? I'm afraid it will take at least two or three months of hard work and polishing. Right. If you want to use this human left arm of mine smoothly, you will have to cultivate it for a while. After all, if you don't cultivate it, how can you carry the monster power of a big monster level? This drink and one peck is really wonderful. Indirectly it saved him a lot of hard work. Now, he has four and a half stars of S in his body, and is only the last step of soul transformation before training the spirit to return to the void. This step is somewhat similar to a mortal practicing immortal magic and transforming into an immortal. It is very similar to how Peach Immortal and Peach Fruit Master and Disciple help mortals transform into immortal souls. But there are also many differences. With my current level of magic power, I can definitely strive for more things. Li Xia murmured. First, the poisonous dragon dug out the dragon bone spirit's body and feasted on it. Demonic power has increased. Immediately afterwards, Li Xia was taken to a temple called Wanyuan Temple. Menganji Temple. The monastery where the eminent monk Shen Quan practiced. According to legend, this master once sealed a powerful monster that caused trouble. 
Li Xia came here just for one of the things that the other party had sealed when he was young. And he was lucky, his target was not harmed by Neraku's previous actions. Wow. The wooden door was open from the outside. A young novice stepped in and brought a cup of tea to the two people in the room, the old and the young. At this moment, the old monk suddenly turned his head and looked in a certain direction, and his pupils couldn't help but shrink. That is the direction of the mountain behind the temple. Master Shen Quan, what's wrong with you? The young novice monk who had put down the tea was not very good at nourishing his qi, so he couldn't control his temper and asked directly. Across the tea table, Li Xia picked up the fragrant tea on the table, put it to his mouth, blew it and listened quietly. Li Xia is currently wearing a cassock, carrying a demon-conquering pestle and a scroll of scriptures, and a staff beside him. There are faint dragon patterns wandering in some exposed parts of his body. It looks like a blue dragon. After hearing this, Monk Shenquan frowned slightly at first, then relaxed and shook his head. Hmm. Maybe I'm being paranoid. I just seem to hear the name of the flaming hoof. Flame hoof? What is that? The little novice monk blinked. It's the demon horse that I sealed in the back mountain temple. The old monk glanced at Li Xia who was taking a peck at the tea, but he didn't care much. Flaming hoof is as strong as its name suggests. It is a horse demon with flames on its feet. Able to travel 3,000 miles a day, his legs are extremely strong. Can you travel 3,000 miles a day? It's quite impressive. Li Xia secretly praised it. You know, even if a monster flies, physical strength must be considered, and it also consumes monster power. When Aba was flying with people, he had to land and rest for a while every section of the journey. This is why it is difficult for miscellaneous monsters to fly across the sea. The sea in the Warring States period was only more dangerous than the land. Various water monsters can even scare away most of the higher level monsters on land. Unless you find the right direction. Cross the strait in one breath, otherwise, the monsters on this land will not easily risk flying to the wider continent with greater and more competitive pressure. Here, the top big monsters flying Monster Moth and Karinmaru have sewing to say. And Yen who can travel 3,000 miles a day, which is already very impressive. Across the tea table, Monk Shenquan called another disciple and continued. When this monster horse was alive, it was actually a magical horse that was rare to see in a hundred years. After it was burned to death in a fire, its resentment lingered, and resentful spirits appeared in the world. When I was young, there was a widely circulated legend. Rumor has it that whoever rides on the flaming hooves can dominate the world. The old monk also blew some tea. After taking a small sip, he recounted some past events. Although I don't know who spread this statement, it was extremely popular at the time both monsters and powerful humans were moved by it. Because of this, countless humans and monsters surrounded Flame Hoof the dispute lasted for a long time, making the world restless and warring everywhere. After many battles, a monster called the Purgatory Ghost survived, and the Flaming Hoof allowed him to drive around from then on. The guy called the Purgatory Ghost is not a peaceful master. After getting the flame hoof, he became even more violent and caused more damage to human villages than before. Because that guy was causing chaos everywhere, the nearby villages were miserable. At that time, some villagers happened to find me, hoping that I could subdue the hell ghosts and flaming hoofs that were doing evil everywhere. Having said this, the old monk paused again. While reminiscing about the green days of the past, he took a leisurely sip of tea. A big battle broke out between the Purgatory Ghost and Flame Hoof. The battle lasted for three days and three nights. After that, it took another three days and three nights to seal the Flaming Hoof. Li Xia was stunned for a while after hearing this. Three days three days, Master, are you serious? Are you sure you can survive six days without food or water? Even he would feel hungry if he didn't eat for a day. I didn't drink water for three days, and when I saw water, I wanted to jump in and take a bath. Six days and six nights of intense fighting. Uh, I don't dare to think about it, I don't dare to think about it. That's definitely not sewing a normal person can endure. The purgatory ghost and the flame hoof were sealed in two places by me, and the flame hoof was pressed under the shrine on the mountain behind the temple. My little friend came here this time, but for those flaming hooves. While Monk Shinquan was speaking, 
all his eyes fell on Li Xia, completely ignoring his two disciples. Master Shen Quan, please set a price. I want to buy Yan Ho with food. Li Xia, who had been silent before, drank the warm tea in the cup and spoke with a smile. Using food to buy Yan Ho. Master Shen Quan, who was nearly seventy years old, raised his eyebrows. Extremely surprised by this statement. Don't worry, Master, I can ensure that I use it for my own use and won't let it cause harm to anyone. As for why food is used in exchange. One is to reduce some of the burden on Wanyuan Temple. After all, the operation of the temple also requires expenses, and this batch of materials should help Wanyuan Temple recruit more outstanding disciples to pass on the incense. Forgive me, but the qualifications of these two junior brothers. It's hard to describe in one word. Moreover, not only did these two people not help much in the original work. They also acted as a burden and severely defrauded monk Shen Quan, allowing the old monk to take the lunchbox and go offline. Although I clearly have the guidance and teachings of eminent monks and have been practicing for more than ten years, I have no Buddhist power or magic power at all. This talent and brain are equally difficult to describe. Monk Shen Quan is also very ambitious in hoping that these two will inherit the incense of Manganji Temple. Without the restraints of Flame Hoof, the Master can spare more energy and time to teach his disciples and cultivate more outstanding successors for Buddhism. This is of greater significance to humans in today's era where demons are rampant, isn't it? So instead of spending all your efforts to suppress the Flaming Hoof, it's better to leave it to me to subdue it to avoid future troubles. What do you think, Master? Li Xia's words were very sincere. He didn't rob her hard when he came up, and he didn't mean to have for nothing instead, everyone traded fairly within the rules, and everyone got what they needed, and everyone was happy. This really gives face to the kind-hearted old monk in front of me. At the same time, it can be regarded as a feedback to Master Bai Xin's teachings. Are you really capable of conquering Yan Ho? Yan Ho's strength is not weak. It is different from the ghost in hell. The demonic power of the purgatory ghost is not too strong. When I was young, my magic power was superior to his. Therefore, after being suppressed by me for decades, he became a lot weaker. As for the horse demon Yen Tu, his demon power is on par with me when I was young, or even slightly better than mine. This means that even if I try to save it day by day for decades, the effect is not very good. Not only does its resentment not dissipate, but it becomes more condensed. I even doubted that if I had faced Flame Hoof, who has not become weaker but has become three points stronger now, when I was young, would I still have a chance of winning? Monk Shen Quan said seriously. Anyway, as he is old now, he doesn't have much chance of winning. Little friendly Xia, it's not that I don't want to release Flame Hoof for you to conquer just for the sake of fame, but do you really have the ability to conquer it? If he could get rid of the two major troubles, Flame Hoof and Purgatory Ghost, he would really like it. He also seeks peace and relaxation. He has tried his best over the years. In order to eliminate Yan Ho's resentment and transcend it for decades, he rarely slept peacefully. He was just afraid that Yan Ho would break the seal and come out to settle accounts with him. Master, what do you think of my little pet Shikigami? Li Xia took off his cassock and exposed half of his body. An extraordinary green dragon was swimming above it, its eyes full of majesty. It's the poisonous dragon. This is the Shikigami you contracted after surrendering. Such a strong sense of oppression. The old monk's expression changed. The pressure conveyed by just the eyes is probably several times stronger than Yen Hoof back then. Dragon. 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 After the two young novices looked at the poisonous dragon, they both stuttered and couldn't speak clearly. When the poisonous dragon crawled out of Li Xia's body and showed a little breath. The powerful aura was released the pressure that had been restrained to an unknown extent immediately made the two young monks instinctively hug each other and tremble. Qing Fang, Shi Fang, calm down. Master Shen Quan scolded. Seeing the disgraceful performance of his two disciples, he sighed secretly in his heart these two children are indeed not suitable to inherit the foundation of Mangan Temple. Both talent and character are too weak. Especially the character of mind. Like a child who never grows up. Although he is two or three years older than the young man in front of him, he cannot even reach one tenth or even one hundredth of his age. When will I be able to stand alone? 
Once he passes away and Manganji Temple falls into the hands of these two children, is he afraid that his own sign will be destroyed immediately? When the afterglow of Manganji Temple dissipates, will it be time for the Great Temple to decline? And this kind of decline is a serious irresponsibility for the surrounding villages. That's all, that's all. Little friend, if you can subdue Flame Hoof, why not take it away? Come with me. The old monk stood up and left the room, leading the way with firm steps, pointing directly to the mountain behind. Rear. Li Xia really didn't expect that the cowardly performance of the two young novice monks would serve as an excellent assist to help him persuade Master Xinquan. The group came to the back mountain. Li Xia then set up a large scale hidden barrier. Later, Monk Xinquan unlocked the seal in the temple. Next moment. The mountain cracked, and raging flames emerged from the ground, instantly enveloping the dozens of meters high hill in front of everyone. When the two young novice monks saw this, they all exclaimed. At the same time, an angry roar came up from the ground. Immediately afterwards, flames exploded and swept across the entire mountain a pillar of fire rose into the sky with lightning. And large areas of the mountain cracked, shattered, and flew in the wind. Among the two young monks, the younger one was so frightened that he hooked his arms around the elder's neck and even clamped his legs around the elder's waist. All the ugliness comes out. He doesn't look like a practitioner at all. Midair. The flames gathered together, and there was a halo surrounding them. When the raging fire dimmed a little, a handsome flaming horse appeared. It is Hoof of Flame. The skin of this demon horse is pure white, with flames stepping on each hoof, its tail is scarlet, and its eyes are blazing red. He looked up to the sky and screamed, and demonic clouds gathered in a radius of two miles. And accompanied by lightning and thunder. When Yen Tu saw the Xinquan monk below, their eyes met, and a fierce light immediately surged in his eyes. At the same time, there was also a hint of fear. Little friend, it's up to you. Master Shen Quan, who was holding the demon subduing pestle, said with an unusually solemn expression. Yan Ho's momentum has indeed become stronger. It's just a little bit stronger than when he sealed it. I am old now, and although my magic power has not declined much, my physical strength, energy, reflexes, etc. are really not as good as before. Therefore, it is unlikely that the infected hoof will be cured. I just hope that little friendly Xia didn't joke with him. Fortunately, Li Xia's strength is quite strong. First, a blue barrier appeared covering an area of more than 200 meters, covering four people and one horse. Immediately, part of the power of the barrier took effect, wrapping up the two little novice monks who were frequently showing ugly behavior and sending them out. Then he faced the flaming hoof in midair, which was constantly breathing out hot flames from its mouth. Poisonous dragon, take it down. A green dragon emerged from the body and suddenly turned into a hundred meter giant dragon. This move not only startled monk Xinquan facing the poisonous dragon's flaming hooves, the horse's eyes widened and blinked again and again, making him unable to understand. However, its speed and agility are almost limitless. Let the poisonous dragon take the lead and miss the target. So fast. When Li Xia saw this, his eyes lit up. Not only was he not annoyed, but he was happy. The stronger the flame hoof is, the more valuable it is to conquer. The barrier shrinks. Quickly compress the activity space of the inflamed hoof. He opened and hid the barrier in advance to save some effort. Flame hoof realized sewing was wrong, neighed, opened his mouth and spit out red flames. However, this level of flames cannot burn through Li Xia's barrier. Be honest. After he quickly compressed the barrier to a diameter of 50 or 60 meters, there was almost no room for Yan Ho to move. Seeing this, the demon horse also became violent. The mouth was suddenly filled with dazzling white light. His whole body was wrapped by lightning bolts. How did you become so strong? Feeling the gathered energy in demonic energy, Monk Xinxuan's hands trembled slightly due to the sudden heart palpitations. In those days, inflammation of the hoof was definitely not so difficult. Next moment. A white beam of light accompanied by blazing thunder erupted from the mouth of the demon horse above and went straight ten meters away from where the two stood. Strangeness. Why didn't flame hoofs attack come towards them? Master Shen Quan was stunned on the spot. It's an illusion. 
its perception was interfered with by my illusion. Li Xia explained with a smile. But despite this, the white beam of light spitted out by the flaming horse still blasted out a large crater with a diameter of more than 10 meters and a depth of 3 to 4 meters after touching the ground and exploding. The two young novices outside the barrier were seen hugging each other again. There are waves all over the body. The bones are crispy. The old monk in the barrier also took a deep breath and tightened the string of rosary beads in his hand, and then calmed down the restlessness in his heart. So strong. If Enho had not been properly dealt with during his lifetime, Manganji Temple would probably have suffered a fire disaster after his death. Fortunately, little friendly Xia came in time. Not bad, not bad. In terms of physical fitness, his hearing is quite keen and his eyesight is quite good. Another example is the most commendable speed, which can move at ultra-high speeds of hundreds or even close to 200 meters per second in a short period of time. Normally, it is three times the speed of an ordinary horse running at full speed. And his body is extremely dexterous, so he can easily dodge bows and arrows, but I don't know if he can dodge bullets. In terms of endurance, he can travel 3,000 miles a day. In terms of demon power, it is about three and a half stars. In addition, he has the regular ability to breathe fire, and the flames on his body seem to be able to roll into any shape according to his will. He also has the explosive S of thunder. The destructive power of this move is extremely rare even among high-level monsters. Taking all aspects into consideration. This is a powerful horse demon with outstanding abilities, both offensive and defensive abilities. Unprepared, he is a very tough opponent. After the tacit cooperation, it is definitely a very rare mount. In addition to not being too cute, this flaming BMW looks very much like the giant mica that has been strengthened in several versions. The only point of contention is loyalty. After all, this horse is still thinking about the ghost in hell. In this case, we can only ask the hell ghost to die. So that he can tame this BMW more easily. Eh. This guy actually has the ability to release miasma. The poison released by the poisonous dragon in this space actually failed to poison the flaming hoof. This is also a very rare situation among high-level monsters. Doesn't it mean that this demon horse is actually gifted in terms of poison resistance? The more he looked at Yen Ho, the more satisfied Li Xia became. Poisonous dragon, that's it. Following his instructions, the green dragon circled in a circle and quickly compressed inside. In just a few blinks, Yan Ho, which was spitting out angry flames, was pressed to the ground and suppressed under the dragon's claws. However, even at this time, Yen Tu's red eyes still showed a look of unruliness. Seeing this, Li Xia smiled. He just liked the way the horse stared at him and was unhappy with him, but couldn't him no matter what. Intermediate Spirit Sealing Talisman, Shrine, Contract Altar After completing a set of procedures, Yen Tu turned into a restless red card. In this way, he has four cards contracted with Shikigami. The first one is the Big Osmanthus Mask card, which was initially golden and then gradually transformed into green and gold. The second one is the Ashenma Mask card, which has also changed in color and is now completely white gold. The third card is the Purple Gold Mountain Ghost card. The fourth one is the Red Flame Hoof card right now. Master Shen Quan, thank you for your help, otherwise it would be difficult for me to find such a high quality mount. Thank you also for your silent contribution to the surrounding villages back then and even in these years. For being able to suppress this demonic horse with deep resentment for decades without any distractions, thank you for your hard work, Master. After that, I also hope that the Master will cultivate more outstanding disciples and carve out a peaceful pure land for this land. Li Xia wished sincerely. While talking, he took out the storage gourd and placed three pieces of rice packed in vacuum bags in front of the Master. Really give food? The old man blinked. Moreover, there are so many. Four to five thousand kilograms of rice is enough to expand the size of the temple in a short time. If you're lucky and save some food, you might be able to adopt an orphan with acceptable qualifications. Thank you very much, little friend. It should. Ching Fong, Shi Fong, come and collect the grains. You too, move all the grains to the warehouse and don't scatter any grains. Do you understand? Okay, Master Xin Quan. On the side, Li Xia's mouth twitched. 
I really want to say that he can take all the food directly to the warehouse. But seeing the old monk's intriguing eyes, he didn't say anything more. Next. The two of them rode the poisonous dragon together to the place where the purgatory ghosts were sealed. It was the bottom of a canyon. Next to it is a cliff dozens of feet high. The purgatory ghost was sealed under a large stone covered with white talismans. It is worth mentioning that the long-handled Naginata of the Purgatory Demon is still a high-quality demon sword. Although a powerful spirituality was not born, it contained a demonic power that could not be ignored. I don't know how much blood of monsters and humans has been stained, and the resentment on it is very strong. There was a flash of fire. The talismans on the boulder were burned instantly. Without the assistance of the suppressing talisman, the big stone as a wedge cracked and cracked rapidly. The seal was then broken. A big green hand poked out from the ground. Seeing that this hand was about to press down on the ground, it would then help the body rise up from the ground. At this time, another huge crimson hand reached over, and like grabbing a chicken, it pulled out the cyan arm connected to the purgatory ghost below. Like pulling out a carrot. Then, the purgatory ghost saw a mountain ghost squatting on the ground that was six or seven stories high. Eye to eye. After checking his eyes, he immediately understood that he was someone he couldn't afford to offend. Thanks. The purgatory ghost is still very polite and considerate. You're welcome. The mountain ghost accepted the other party's gratitude unceremoniously. And in order to respond to the other party's thanks, he flicked his right arm in the direction of his open mouth, and sewing came to his mouth. Immediately afterwards, the mountain ghost's neck stretched forward, and his teeth began to bite. A few rattling sounds. Gudong. The taste can only be said to be average. It is far less fragrant than the ghost of Wu Exian, and it is not as smooth as the female ghost in Gui Tu City. Didn't he thank you for helping me? Why did he die in this way? It's so unseemly. On the cliff, Monk Shen Quan clasped his hands and observed three seconds of silence for the ghosts in purgatory. Li Xia shrugged. He thanked me so sincerely. Isn't it too much for me to ask for a thank you gift from him? Yen Ho heard this and snorted. Then he looked at his new master affectionately. This master is quite powerful. Following such a strong man is not a disgrace to his reputation. What's more, this owner has a similar life-saving grace to it. That's all. After snorting again, he bent his limbs and asked the host to take a seat. Okay, Master Shen Quan, then I'll be busy with other things. On Yen Ho's back, Li Xia gave a salute. The flaming horse underneath him looked up to the sky and neighed, then flew high into the air. On the same spot, the old monk returned the gift. When I looked up again, I could only see a small red dot in the sky. At this point, he was ready to go back. But suddenly, he thought of sewing and turned back to look for Li Xia. At this time, one person and one horse had disappeared into the cloudy sky. Ah this. He looked at the steep cliff below. Make sure you are on a cliff. Then look at the mountain road in the distance, which is at least 50 or 60 miles away. Suddenly I felt like crying without tears. Why did I want to seal the purgatory ghost in such an inaccessible mountain den? Well. He let out a long sigh. A handful of old bones. How can it withstand the torment? Just then, a familiar voice came from above. Master Shen Quan, do you need a way? Eyes facing each other. At this moment, the old monk was filled with complicated feelings. He suddenly felt an inexplicable feeling towards the young man in front of him. I gave monk Shen Quan a ride. After finishing, Li Xia did not return to Bailing Mountain. He rode on flame hoof and flew all the way to the northwest. During this period, he took out a piece of paper. That was his planned action in advance. There's a lot involved. There are humans, monsters, undead, and various items. The first line on the paper is Yen Hu. Now with Flame Hoof, his action efficiency can be doubled. More than two hours later, one person and one horse entered a blessed land of green mountains and green waters. Based on his senses, Li Xia found a familiar figure wandering outside the mountain. You haven't lost the ability to move yet. It seems that you have not been made trouble by your master, Black Miko. Tsubaki. My master passed away a few months ago.
Currently, the two junior sisters who are in charge of the shrine are my two junior sisters, one is called Mutin and the other is called Hongye. Their SS are still shallow and there is nothing to worry about. But Mr. Xia, I wonder if I can let him shall I lure them away first? Chun, who was resurrected as a clay body, asked. Hearing this, Li Xia glanced at this vicious woman in surprise. Are you afraid that I will hurt them? Or am I worried that I won't be able to deal with it after the duo about giant ghost is released, which will affect them both? All of them. Anyway, I have lost everything, so I might as well leave some hope to the living. I failed my master back then, and only after I died did I understand some things. Chun pursed his lips. Seeing this, Li Xia nodded. Go ahead, I don't want to affect innocent people either. Based on the behavior of two ordinary little Micus, Hongye and Mutin, who were twelve or thirteen years old, they really could not see through the black Miko's current undead state. After being fooled, he immediately took many of the magic weapons that the old priest had used and went down the mountain to slay demons. It saves a lot of trouble. When the two little girls walked further away, Li Xia appeared at the mountain gate. Taking one step forward, the dozens of talismans that formed the primary barrier from the bird's eye view of the mountain gate spontaneously burned and turned into ashes in the blink of an eye. Sure enough, he has some SS. Even if the heritage of this ancient shrine cannot be said to be top-notch, it still has merits. Use talismans to build a barrier. This trick has been used by the Lee family, and Mithraya also has a similar OD used in the original work against the wild wolf. But whether it's from the Mithraya family or the Lee family, the inheritance of related SS is extremely incomplete. Lack of high-end goods. For example, the Lee family can only build an intermediate defensive barrier after exhausting its foundation, and it is not long-lasting. The Mithraya family can only build a low-level hidden barrier. The key is that the person in charge of the barrier cannot move casually, otherwise the barrier will collapse on its own. The only thing worthy of praise is probably that the Mithraya family's barrier technique can be used together with other witches and mages to strengthen the effect of the barrier. The disciple of the black Miko Tsubaki might have the relevant talisman inheritance that is enough to construct a powerful barrier. After all, it can seal giant ghosts of the Dayukai level, and with the addition of the black Miko Tsubaki, it is possible to lay out a large-scale defensive barrier of intermediate blue level. No matter how you look at it, you don't think that the many inheritances of this shrine can be any worse. Without the need for the owner of this place to lead the way, Li Xia saw a tall tower in the woods at the back of the mountain from a distance. This is exactly the other purpose of coming here the Duobao Pagoda. His whole body was burning with azure mana. As we marched towards the Tower of Treasure step by step, Wherever we passed, many of the arrangements in the shrine that were originally designed to target monsters were erased one after another. It wasn't until they reached the tower that they were slightly blocked by the sealing talisman on the gate of Duobao Tower. Very good peripheral seal. It is far more powerful than the wedge seal of Monk Shinquan. Open. His right hand touched it. The talismans on the door burned out one after another. If it were a monster to pry the seal, it would require at least a high-level monster or even a four-star threshold and great monster to cause effective damage. It's a pity that Li Xia is a human and a mage. To him, this kind of sealing talisman is nothing. Yan Ho stared outside. He walked along the stairs leading underground, burning the talisman on the wall as he walked. Are you so serious? It seems that the Duobao Pagoda giant ghost is not an ordinary five-star monster. Right. In the original work, he was able to withstand wind wounds with his bare hands, and almost ignored Ali's demon-breaking arrows. Even if Ali himself is in a period of weak spiritual power, he cannot be underestimated. Among the monsters of this period, there were not many who could physically catch Ali's demon-breaking arrow. Talk about it. Didn't he come here specifically to let the mountain ghost absorb the power of the giant ghost from the Duobao Pagoda, so that he could have some confidence to get close to a certain witch? He was still worried that when he faced an arrogant and ruthless Miko, she would use force against him. At least at this time, the powerful Miko who had not yet completed her self-salvation and spiritual sublimation was not easy to get along with. And as he possesses the most fragments of four souls, he really needs to ask the witch for some important information. The underground passage is very deep. At the end is a rather large basement. In this basement, there is a stone platform with a large stone standing on it. 
This big stone was wrapped with several circles of sealing talismans connected by strings. When Li Xia saw this, his eyes lit up. Is it a core seal? This saves me a lot of trouble. Ordinary suppressive seals use big rocks and sealing talismans to suppress monsters underground. This is what monk Shen Quan used to seal the purgatory ghosts. Even more clever is to build a shrine or a high tower, and at the same time use sealing talismans to suppress the things that need to be sealed underneath. Monk Shen Quan used this OD to treat Yan Ho. In addition, there are even more powerful ones. That is the core seal in front of you. It is to seal the things that need to be sealed in the stone instead of pressing it under the stone. The master of the black Miko Tsubaki used this very clever sealing technique. As expected, the giant ghost of the Duobao Pagoda was sealed in the big stone on the stone platform in front of him. As for the entire Duobao Pagoda outside, I'm afraid it's just a backup that allows the shrine's mages or witches to respond promptly. There is a saying. This sealing technique has extremely high requirements on the caster. Even with his current S, it would be difficult to do it. The advantage of sealing monsters in this way is that on the one hand it is extremely effective and on the other hand it is convenient for relocation. If you need to move the seal to another place, just remove the stones full of sealing talismans. After Li Xia added a number of sealing talismans made by Master by Xian to the big stone on the stone platform, which could greatly enhance the sealing effect, Li Xia rolled up his sleeves, moved the stone, and quickly left the basement. Although he was very confident that he could use the power of the Four Souls Jade to directly help the mountain ghost absorb the giant ghost in the tower. But he was not afraid of 10,000, just in case. Therefore, he decided to move back to Bailing Mountain for long-term consideration. There, he had someone to back him up, and it was absolutely impossible for him to fail. It is even less possible for the giant ghost to escape and cause harm to the world. Let Chun bring the rest of the inheritance back to me. Taking things from one's own family shouldn't be considered stealing, right? In the end, he did not forget to restore all the damaged arrangements and restore them as much as possible. The most important thing is to help this shrine set up an abridged version of the sacred barrier similar to Bailing Mountain. As long as he doesn't die, this barrier will remain in effect. The barrier will spontaneously gather the holy power between heaven and earth, effectively making monsters feel disgusted and stay away from this area. He had just mastered this S a few days ago, and using it here would be a return favor. Hongye and Peony, two little girls, have two little S. But guarding a huge orthodoxy. This somewhat means that every man is innocent but harbors a jade. Walk. Li Xia placed the two meter high boulder on Yen Tu's back. He is sitting on a poisonous dragon flying in the sky. Newcomers should be treated like this. The spirit in the big Osmanthus mask exudes a strong atmosphere of joy. Half a day later, the group arrived at Bailing Mountain. At this time, Li Xia took out a crystal and fed it to Yan Hu. Yan Ho looked at the crystal in front of him and snorted. Ma's eyes were full of confusion. As if asking what is this? Don't worry and absorb it, this is good stuff. Li Xia touched the soft mane of the flaming horse. Condensing the origin of one's own demonic power into crystals is not an unthinkable thing for a big demon who has four soul fragments as a reference. Neraku did this in the original timeline, but as a bad embryo, Neraku mixed his own demonic power with the evil miasma to create a fake, which severely tricked the demon wolf clan in Ganya. I almost broke the steel teeth. If it weren't for Ali's help, the wolf cub would definitely be in trouble. In this time and space, Li Xia asked the well-fed Daeguishu mask poisonous dragon to imitate the fragments of the four souls. He condensed part of his own demonic power into three crystals that can enhance the demonic power of monsters. Two of them have been absorbed by the Yashinma mask, which has greatly increased the demonic power of the Yashinma mask. After the two royal divine wood masks completely digest the demonic power that comes from the dragon bone spirit, the foundation will be even thicker. The third one now is a meeting gift given by the old man to the newcomer in the team. Combining the two-pronged approach with the Shikigami contract, Li Xia didn't believe it. He couldn't win a mere horse with flaming hoofs. Sure enough, after Yen Tu ate this demon power crystal that looked like a fragment of the four souls, his demon energy increased greatly. Soothing for the whole body. Does it feel good? 
Li Xia smiled and continued to stroke the horse's neck. This time, Yen Tu snorted and took the initiative to put his forehead on his hand and rub it. And through the mountain ghost's mind reading, it was determined that the BMW became closer to him. Work hard, this era will belong to us sooner or later. Li Xia turned over and rode on the flaming hoof, and could clearly feel the horse's joy. What he doesn't know yet is. The dragon bone spirit's demonic bloodline power is much more suitable for flame hooves than it is for the godly tree mask. It would be impossible to achieve a conversion rate of around 90% with other non-dragon monsters. But flame hoof can. In addition, this demon power originating from the dragon even caused the demon blood in Yen Tu to transform in some benign direction. Yan Ho raised his front hooves high and looked up to the sky, neighing. The clear voice echoed in the rolling fog of Bailing Mountain for a long time. Dragon Bone Spirit, Dragon Bone Spirit, you are such a great dragon. The other end. When the black Miko Chun, together with her two junior sisters Mutin and Homya, completed the task of bringing down demons and slaying demons on the mountain, they returned to their own school with high spirits. See the fairy-like mountains. Everyone was stunned. Two days later, the black Miko Chun arrived at Bailing Mountain with many scriptures, magic weapons, handwritten notes and other inherited items from her master's sect, and completed the handover of the items. Li Xia once again ordered. Go and teach your two junior sisters for a while. If you are two rookies, one careless move may destroy your family tradition. When Chun heard this, his pupils suddenly widened. Aren't you torturing me? I almost cursed the little girl you love to death. She thought that the boy in front of her would let her her two junior sisters. For example, curse peonies and red leaves with your own hands. Heh, I'm not that bad-tempered yet. You. Not happy. The black witch took a deep breath and knelt on the ground, her body trembling slightly. Thanks, thanks. Thank you very much. Although her soul is destined to go to hell, there is nothing she can do about it. Her hands were so dirty that she couldn't wash them off no matter how hard she washed them. But she still wanted to preserve the beauty that Master had left in her heart. After three months, go to hell by yourself. There is no need to come to me. Li Xia was too lazy to talk to this woman anymore. He waved his hand and told him to get out of here. Lest he suddenly change his mind. After Chun left. The two young men came deeper into the clean mist of Bailing Mountain. Mountain ghost, come out. Li Xia called. As the words fell, a figure as huge as a mountain emerged from the ground. At this time, the mountain ghost was larger and more powerful than a few days ago. Are we going to take the final step? On the side, Man Gu, who knew sewing, asked. Before Chun arrived, he had already easily defeated the burgundy giant ghost in the Duobao Tower with the help of Master by Xian and the Four Souls Jade. Many preliminary small steps have even been completed. At this time, it is planned to carry out the final step. He casually took out a burgundy card and summoned a very anxious giant ghost with only a ferocious ghost head left in it. Then he threw it directly to the mountain ghost who had been improving rapidly recently. Absorbed the rest of it. The mountain ghost got the order and picked up the giant ghost's head. Ugh. As the last scream of the giant ghost in the Tower of Treasures disappeared, this giant ghost in the original work. Which was so powerful and capable that even the master of the black Miko Tsubaki had to treat it with caution, has completely become a thing of the past. In fact, this guy was very dishonest when the lockdown was first lifted. Even if he is completely suppressed by the sacred barrier of Bailing Mountain, he still has very little strength left and is still very violent. During the two days when I was forced into a contract, I always wanted to retaliate. But it was precisely because of this that Li Xia became furious. Combined with the barbaric bones, it was disassembled into more than ten parts such as limbs, head, and torso. Immediately, with the blessing of the four soul fragments, the mountain ghost absorbed about ten parts of the limbs and torso. This also allowed the big man of his own, Yao Li, to break through to five stars like a rocket, and continue to improve upwards. At this moment, with the help of the power of the Four Souls Jade, it perfectly absorbed the remaining head of the Duobao giant ghost. It's like swallowing a whole giant ghost. Not long after, the aura of the mountain ghost who had completed digestion was rising steadily, soaring rapidly, 
and successfully passed a certain invisible aura threshold. That was an aura on the same level as Neraku, who had been strengthened by a large number of four soul fragments and had not been severely injured twice. Feeling the dangerous aura emanating from the mountain ghost up close, Li Xia nodded with satisfaction. Not bad. Four and a half stars jumped to five and a half stars. The demonic power increased nearly ten times. And this is just a change in demon power. The transformation in other aspects is equally astonishing. For example hard skin. A physique with strong physical resistance magic resistance that can catch wind wounds and demon breaking arrows with bare hands. Even if Sesomaru uses the iron broken teeth of the mountain cannon, it is unlikely to destroy the mountain ghost's current body. It seems that you have trained another great monster. On the side, Barbarian Bone watched all this quietly, his brows twitching wildly, and he was secretly frightened. He could no longer see through the human boy who had resurrected him. Are you sure this is sowing humans can do? Aren't you afraid of losing your temper and cultivating a peerless monster who will cause endless disasters? Still a long way to go. Compared with the truly top big monsters, dealing with mountain ghosts is just a little more troublesome. It won't come back to bite you, right? Mangu reminded in a deep voice. Will not. Li Xia narrowed his eyes and smiled. On the mountain ghost, he smashed forty or fifty high-quality intermediate spirit sealing talismans and two high-level spirit sealing talismans strengthened by four soul fragments. Which were like chains. Coupled with the shrine and altar, it is the first level of restraint. Of course, the soul sealing talisman and altar are not only chains, but also a bridge for him to communicate with the mountain ghost. Secondly, it is a holy talisman inside the body of the mountain ghost. It was a high-level talisman drawn by Master by Xian himself. It can always purify the distracting thoughts in the mountain ghost's heart and strengthen its loyalty. This is the second level of restriction. Then there is a holy fragment embedded in the heart. It condenses part of the purifying power of Bailing Mountain's sacred barrier. Once the mountain ghost makes any move, Li Xia can detonate it. It can instantly purify mountain ghosts and destroy them. As long as the mountain ghost doesn't take a big step further into another realm, this secret move rooted in the heart of the mountain ghost will be a death talisman. With the three major insurances, Neraku would have to obey even if he was attacked. At least that's the case for this period. Mangu, do you want to measure your strength? If I accidentally this big guy, you won't be upset, right? Don't worry, you act boldly. A battle between giant elephants and ants begins. As expected, Mangu was completely defeated. It's not that Barbarian Bones isn't strong. In fact, Barbarian Bones is quite powerful. In terms of attack, there is a giant dragon spear, and in terms of defense, there is a reinforced King Kong body that is as hard as diamond. After the defense reaches a certain level, it can be completely converted into attack power. This S is enough to fight ordinary five-star monsters. But Mangu's moves were all predicted by the mountain ghost using his mind-reading SS. And attacks that miss the target, no matter how sharp they are, are all in vain. On the other hand, Shan Gui, everything is just right. And he can definitely use his tactics in battle and use his physical advantages to expand the results. If Barbarian Bones hadn't had the body of King Kong, and if Mountain Ghost hadn't always retained 99% of its huge power. I'm afraid the consequences for this extremely unruly human strongman would have been even more tragic. How did he predict all my ODs? Mangu's face looked very ugly. I saw sewing special about the Mountain Ghost. Okay, it's time to transform your wild dragon spear into a psychic. One pointed at the Bailing Mountain ceiling place that was supposed to be Neraku's growth resources. He signaled Barbarian Bones to open the seals and release the many monsters that were suppressed below one by one. There are not 10,000 monsters here, but 8,000. In the original timeline, there were only a lot more monsters who escaped from Bailing Mountain when it collapsed. Neraku is also taking action. Following the breath of the four soul fragments, the first thing he found was Bayoxian Marsh. Boxiangui uncle. Humph, are you a monster who covets precious jade? Baoxian Marsh is located on the top of a mountain more than 2,000 meters high. There is a huge platform on the top of the mountain, and the center area is a large swamp. Hosenki and his son Nidame live here. 
The real body of Boxiangui is a huge clan. As a great demon who has lived for a long time, he has very strong demonic power. He is a very powerful great demon and has a very good relationship with the Inu admiral back then. This is also the monster in charge of stones. Can create and cultivate special gems, such as creating gems for other monsters to lead to the monster cemetery the black pearl in Inuyasha's right eye was cultivated by this person. In Inuyasha's world, even an ordinary stone has four souls the wild soul, the harmonious soul, the lucky soul, and the strange soul, and has its own soul. Boxiangui is the kind of big monster that can listen to the voices of stones. As a kind of jade, the four souls jade is naturally no exception. A few days ago, he got two four soul fragments and heard Bao Yu's voice. After knowing the will of the four soul fragments not to be reunited again, he prepared to use up all the gems like black pearls in his life. And then when his time came, he took the four soul fragments to the underworld, which is difficult for living people to find. The monster cemetery at the junction of the earth and the earth. But I didn't expect it. Before the special gem in hand was used up, the evil monster coveting the four soul fragments came to the door first. In this case, I can only teach you a lesson. He has cultivated his moral character for thousands of years and does not like to fight with others, but it does not mean that he does not know how to fight. The next moment, Boxiangui's whole body was covered with a layer of hard and thick diamonds, and a large number of diamond spearheads quickly condensed in his mouth. Before Neraku could say harsh words, the draw gun break broke out. The large diamond spearhead is as big as an iron broken tooth. It is like a cannonball or a spearhead. It swishes through the void and shoots out, allowing for long-range attacks. The small particles of diamond fragments are like pear blossom needles in a rainstorm, which are medium-range and short-range means of area destruction. In a word full coverage. The key is that this is the hardest diamond spearhead. It's a diamond spearhead. After the hardness reaches a certain level, it can be used offensively or defensively. And the diamond polished spearhead is indestructible. No, Neraku, who looked confident, had just opened the pink barrier and it was gone. In front of the diamond spearhead, it looks like paper. He was stabbed full of holes in an instant. The smile on Neraku's face quickly turned into horror and horror. Nanny. My boundary. My physical body. So vulnerable. This guy Boxiangui is actually so powerful. In just the blink of an eye, the physical capital he had managed to accumulate over the past few days was beaten to pieces again. The strengthening of the physical body by the four soul fragments is useless in front of the diamond spearhead. The beetles of the gold-eating insects and the large number of turtle shells are completely useless. The intelligence mentioned that the old guy hasn't done much with anyone for hundreds of years. How can he be so strong? Neraku was filled with hatred. Although this setback was not enough to severely damage him, the worst he could do was to re-splice his broken flesh and blood but the splicing also required consuming demon power and time. Even if he still has a few four soul fragments in his hand, this wave of damage is enough to make him drink a pot. Walk. It is better to stop losses in time. The purple-black evil wind swept around and the figure quickly disappeared. Boxiangui, I remember you. I will come back. What a disgusting feeling. Father, that evil monster has escaped. The second generation treasure immortal ghost said with a solemn expression. Well, it should be the rumored half-demon named Neraku. Boxiangui nodded, tightened the two four soul fragments in his hands, and then turned to look at his son. Our abilities can easily defeat him, but our abilities cannot him. So Erdai, after I die, you have to be careful about that evil half-demon. You are still in the cultivation stage, and your strength has not yet reached the level of a great monster but you have my bloodline and have a long lifespan. So you will become a great monster sooner or later. Therefore, staying dormant is the long-lasting path of our lineage. Of course, dormancy is not just about hiding. Sometimes, you have to learn to make friends with other big monsters who look kind, have a decent reputation, and are extremely powerful. If they want to ask you to create some kind of gem, don't refuse them outright. You can help them once or twice, and it's best to let them owe you a small or medium favor. Boxiangwa's words are serious and thoughtful. Looking at his son, he was somewhat worried. Remember, never think about those false names. Look, 
how many of those big monsters with names back then died well? Oyakata, Dog Admiral, Dragon Bone Demon. They are all burdened by power and fame. On the contrary, in our lineage, your father and I have lived for more than two thousand years, and now we are about to die. Even after death, you can remain pure for a while in the monster cemetery. This is the best result, isn't it? I understand, father. The second generation treasure immortal ghost nodded solemnly. Well, then I can go to the monster cemetery with peace of mind. Two days later. All the black pearl-like gems in his hand were consumed by the first generation. The last one opened a space passage to the transition zone between the underworld and the present world. I hope that the pearl that Ming Jia came to ask me to take away with a four soul fragment earlier will not disturb my sleep or cause me any unnecessary trouble. Between murmurs. His figure quickly disappeared into the depths of the passage. Talk about it. Why did he hold two four soul fragments at this time? The main reason was that Ming Jia had been entrusted by Li Xia to bring a four soul fragment and also took away a black pearl. This is the advantage of someone having foresight. Before the treasure fairies and ghosts use up their own black pearls and gems and go to the monster cemetery, get one in hand. This black pearl fell into the hands of Inuyasha and others after Mingjia returned to Maple Village. A few days later, Naraku, who simply nursed back his injuries, followed the information obtained by Zhu Xingsheng and went to in another direction. He decided not to provoke the demon for the time being until he had the ability to deal with the demon's diamond gun. Persimmons need to be picked soft and pinched. This time, he didn't believe he could meet the old monster again. A purple-black demonic cloud came to the valley of Yao Lao Poison Immortal under the guidance of the most powerful Sheng. A few minutes later, Naraku's body was beaten to pieces and could not be repaired at all, so he ran away in panic with his tail between his legs. His breath plummeted a lot. Some were purified by the immortal power. Some of them were rubbed against the ground by Yao Lao poison for several rounds and were consumed. Hateful. How could the immortal living in seclusion here be an extremely rare high-level immortal? Can't he just be a low-level immortal like Urkuxian? Naraku was furious inside. This time, he was so aggrieved that he didn't even dare to say a harsh word to support the scene. Under the shock and anger, there was even more fear. After all, if the old immortal didn't mean to him, if he hadn't cleverly thrown a four-soul fragment to cut off his tail to survive. And the opponent happened to not chase him out if not, he felt that he might have to more bad luck than good. Inuyasha and Li Xia's group of people are actually involved with such a high-level immortal behind their backs. How careless. Inexplicably, he became more and more wary of Inuyasha's background resources. With his eyesight and eyesight, it was not difficult to guess that Inuyasha's father, Inyadesh, left a rich network of capital for the half-demon's youngest son during his lifetime. It is true that the aura of fairy poison on Tai Suya is too strong. His memory was fresh. It was exactly the same as what Lao Xian had just used to deal with him. Inuyasha is like this, but what about Sesomaru, the noble son of the dog clan? The more Naraku thought about it, the more his toothache ached. At the same time, he became even more obsessed with the monster body of Shadian. If he could replace Sesomaru, wouldn't the demon world of the island country let him run wild? Sesomaru, who has lost his Tetsuya, has no demonic power at all, and has no outlet for his perfect demonic power. Moreover, Sesomaru is also held back by a human dragster named Shaoling, so I have every chance. Once the immortal poison in the body has been eliminated and the body has been repaired, we can go find that His Highness. Absorbing him is much better than getting a few scattered four soul fragments. Naraku's original growth rhythm and environment became a mess after being disrupted and destroyed by someone. Now he is almost a headless fly. However, even so, he still made a wooden puppet, and then used his mind to control it and went to a temple somewhere. Here, because Platycodon took in exiled soldiers and women who lost their husbands or children due to the war, it provided shelter for everyone in this wilderness. And then quietly developed a small village with a population of nearly a hundred people at the foot of the mountain. Quite incredible. But Platycodon really did it. He even found a little girl who was born with the talents of a witch among the exiled people. The profession of witch is different from that of a mage, because almost every human being has the potential to become a mage. The threshold for becoming a mage is actually very low. 
Of course, the mage industry also pays attention to qualifications, and those with good qualifications can generally achieve good results. On the other hand, witches need innate qualifications. And she must be an extremely pure woman. A witch's qualifications mainly depend on her innate spiritual power. Such as Tsuezi, Platikodon, Ali, Tongzi, etc. Who possess powerful spiritual power that makes monsters fearful from birth. When Nariku's wooden puppet met Xiao Tongzi, who was five or six years old, he felt a huge threat, and he immediately wanted to him. Then, he was ed instantly by Xiao Tongzi. The stronger the innate spiritual power of a witch, the higher her qualifications will undoubtedly be, and her subsequent practice will be more effective with less effort. Somewhat similar to the innate soul power emphasized in a certain fantasy sewer book. A highly talented Miko like Hitomi is at least innate with full soul power. Back to business. On this day. When Kikio finished some trivial matters and was about to leave the village for a visit. In the woods, a wind with a familiar scent blew rustlingly, blowing beside her. The girl in which costume glanced at the forest, thought for a moment, and then walked in. After arriving at the foot of a big tree, he stopped and looked up at the treetops. Nariku, what do you want from me? On the treetops, there is a wooden puppet wearing a white baboon sweater and completely hiding his face under a dinosaur hat. Your senses are still so sharp, Kikio. Oh, it's impossible for me not to notice you, right? Not only today, but in the past few days, you have come over more than three or five times to inquire about my situation. Speaking of this, Kikio smiled. The smile is very playful. Nariku, it seems that you always care about me very much. He 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 he. Humph, what's so funny? There was a hint of coldness in the wooden puppet's voice. Nariku, as long as you still have the mark of the ghost spider in your heart, no matter what, you can't escape from my grasp. Platikodon arrogantly stimulates the people behind the scenes. The smile on his face was full of mockery. This really made Nariku, who was watching and listening to everything here through the wooden puppet, as if he was experiencing it himself. Was so angry this disgusting woman. All right Nariku, how are you collecting the four soul jade? How long has it been? Haven't you collected them all yet? Platikodon's words were like a sharp knife. Nariku's body was in pain after being stabbed behind the scenes. Seriously, which pot should not be opened? Just pick out his pain points and stomp on them, right? Jikio, take care of yourself. He had to teach this woman a lesson. Nariku, as long as you still have the mark of the ghost spider in your heart, no matter what, you can't escape from my grasp. In the depths of a bottomless dark cave, Nariku used the ability of the Fuya wall to hide his aura, and Kikio's mocking laughter always echoed in his ears. Whenever this voice sounded in his heart, it was difficult for him to remain calm. Humph, I can that kind of woman any time. Nariku muttered to himself, his tone extremely determined. Aside. Looking at the face of a young city lord in the pink barrier, looking at the countless pieces of flesh and blood around this face that are difficult to reassemble. Looking at the nervousness of his boss who comes up to him from time to time. Kanna always has an expressionless face. Happiness is a lively and thoughtful mind. This boss seems to be going down. Speaking of which, what's going on with this guy? Why did the body become so miserable? And the key thing is that it can't be repaired by itself, even if it borrows the power of multiple for soul fragments. This is really strange. Why does it feel more miserable than the last time Sesomaru blew him up? You know, in the past, Nariku's broken body could be quickly reorganized even if he didn't use the power of the four soul fragments. This guy. What happened after he separated me and Kanaji to do other things? He couldn't have gone off to provoke some powerful character, right? Kagura was thinking silently. There was new movement on Nariku's end. Humph, the heart of a bandit ghost spider. Because I still have a lowly human heart in my body, and because in that human heart there is still a strong possessive desire for Platycodon Grandiflorum, so I always can't you do it. Damn it! That dirty bandit, even though he couldn't move at that time, he had obscene thoughts about Platycodon. It was the growing strength of that idea that attracted countless monsters and monsters. In order to obtain a body that can move freely, the ghost spider sold his body and soul to the monsters. And so Nariku was born. 
Humph. That stupid human heart, that heart that yearns for Kikio, actually always stays in my body, Naraku. Are you kidding me? How could I, Naraku, fall in love with a human woman? Boring. And Kikio, you really underestimate me, Naraku. I, Naraku, am not just a ghost spider. Part of Naraku's demonic power was fed to a group of fiercest players. The most powerful of the group chose a mutated red dead soul insect. When this force penetrated into the body of the red dead soul insect that had been cultivated for a long time in advance. The original size of more than 10 meters expanded to 50 or 60 meters in just a few blinks of an eye. It quickly turned into a huge beast. Go ahead and that woman. From here on, Naraku, who has a strong self-esteem, officially embarks on the road of no return to prove to someone that he does not love her. The temple on the mountain and the village below the mountain where Platykodon was located were soon shrouded in darkness from the sky. It was nothing at first. But after waiting for a while, many fleeing soldiers below looked up one after another with uneasiness. What is that black cloud? I've been stopping at this temple since just now. How unlucky. Everyone was talking to each other, and there was a little panic in the noise. Kikio among the crowd naturally noticed the dark clouds above her head. After looking carefully for a while, his pupils shrank sharply. That is. Sister Platycodon Grandiflorum, I saw a lot of white light balls in the sky, but why can't anyone see them? A little girl with the qualifications of Amiko grabbed her sister's cold hand and asked timidly. Abi, that's a dead soul. After a living being dies, there will be more or less residual souls left in the world. We call them dead souls, or ghosts. Kikio explained patiently. Then, she noticed there was sewing hidden in the black clouds in the sky that could forcibly absorb dead souls. The other party acted at this time, and countless dead souls wandering on the earth turned into light balls and flew into the air. Is it eating dead souls? But why here? Could it be that Naraku is angry because of shame? The girl guessed. But he guessed it accurately. No, if we leave it alone, the dead souls in this area will soon be eaten up by the opponent. By then, where can I get the dead souls of the girl that this clay body needs for daily operations? And that's not the worst part. The worst thing is once the dead souls in this area are eaten by the opponent, the living people will be the first to bear the brunt. If the other party was Naraku's work and was aimed at her, how could he not be interested in living people? Thinking of this, Kikio couldn't sit still anymore. He quickly went back to the house and took out the long bow and arrow basket. Miss Kikio, what's wrong with you? The wandering soldiers around were very puzzled. Excuse me, I need to borrow a horse. As he spoke, he got on his horse. The movements are quite full. She didn't have time to explain this word for word. After he got on the horse, he immediately rode away. There is no trace of sloppiness. She must move the battlefield to a deserted wilderness without any human traces, and reduce unnecessary casualties as much as possible. Riding all the way, accompanied by the protection of several white dead soul insects, Platycodon finally confirmed that the other party was coming for her. You really plan to eat all the dead souls in this area? This was definitely directed at her. I won't let you succeed. Several pure white dead soul insects around him flew into the sky to contain and try to stop him. Unfortunately, the gap between them is too big. The mutated dead soul insect arranged by Naraku has a body length of 50 or 60 meters, and its body is as thick as a car. It looks like a flying train. The white death soul insect, which is normally only 2 or 3 meters long, is like a little chicken in front of an eagle in front of such a big man. Not worth mentioning at all. Anyone who dares to get close to them will be destroyed. But even so, those pure white cuties who favor Platycodon still follow her without hesitation. Even if you know you will be shattered to pieces. Please. Kikio suppressed the guilt in her heart. Finally, she rode her horse and arrived at a relatively open area. It is a cliff with relatively few trees and other cover. In this place, there is no way out, there are soldiers chasing behind, and the huge mutated evil insect chasing after you can you at any time. She also knew that she had to give it a try. So, he quickly dismounted, bent his bow and knocked an arrow. 
The moment the red mutated dead soul insect emerged from above the woods, he shot out a decisive arrow. The next moment, purple spiritual light enveloped the arrow, like a shooting star. It is the arrow that breaks the devil. But Platycodon secretly said no. Because of the arrow she just fired, several dead girl's souls were instantly taken away from her body, resulting in slight deviations in strength and direction. Although it is only a small deviation, the result is a huge difference. No, the demon-breaking arrow really missed the red-mutated dead soul insect. And this arrow also startled the giant dead soul insect. Without thinking, he quickly raised his body and flew higher into the air, making it impossible for arrows to reach him. Immediately, he opened his big mouth and tried his best to absorb all the dead souls in a certain area below. Platycodon bears the brunt. The dead girl's soul acculated in her body immediately turned into white balls of light and poured out like water from a dam that had opened its gates. Oops. Once too much of the dead soul is removed from her body, she will lose her normal ability to move. At that time, it really all depends on the evil insects in the sky whether they want to be ed or beheaded. There has to be some distance. It's best to lure down the mutated evil dead soul insects. After trying twice in a row but ending up in failure, even the always confident and calm Kikio felt a sense of panic. This feeling seems to have only occurred and my sister phone was injured in one eye by the remains of a monster. Period. Her clay body had a lot of dead souls taken away by the mutated dead soul insects above. Moreover, more than half of the pure white death soul insects who originally followed her died trying to buy her time. A few of them were still hanging far behind because they failed to keep up with the chase. It was too late to help her. Walk. She got on the horse again, hoping that the horse could follow the edge of the cliff and shake off the big guy above who was extremely restrained and extremely dangerous to her. However, the horse beneath him does not have flaming hooves, it is just an ordinary horse. Several more rounds of white light balls came out of the body, and there were not many dead souls left in the body. The mutated dead soul insect took two sips and found that it could hardly absorb the delicious dead soul. It suddenly became bolder and immediately opened its mouth and pounced on it. He wanted to both the man and the horse. It is not a clone of Neraku, nor is it a part of Neraku, but the power of the four soul fragments mixed with some of the most ferocious poisonous insects in hell that have grown up. It will not be affected by the earth barrier on Kikio. If this bite is successful, Platycodon will go offline directly. Feeling the crisis approaching quickly behind her, the girl was in a state of confusion. But before she could react, the horse was so frightened that it suddenly stepped on the air with its front foot. To be precise, he stepped on the edge of the cliff, crushed a cracked clod of soil, and his body tilted accordingly. Immediately afterwards, a man and a horse fell down the cliff together. The horse neighed in fear in the air and kicked its legs at a loss. Platycodon Grandiflorum bit her lip tightly, and a cry that spanned thousands of mountains and rivers came out of her heart. Inuyasha. If it were fifty years ago, Inuyasha, you would definitely be by my side, right? A fiery red figure turned into a stream of light and entered the girl's sight. That figure was surrounded by blazing flames. Is it Inuyasha? The fire on the other party's body was so dazzling. Before the visual trance returned to normal, in just a blink of an eye, the fiery red figure appeared beside her, grabbing her waist from top to bottom. Immediately, a horse's long cry sounded in his ears again. But this time the sound was more than a hundred times louder and more powerful than the previous war horse's neighing. This long cry is full of boundless domineering and unruly. It is Yanho. Are you okay? Miss Kikio. The one who expressed concern was a young man. This man straightened the girl who had lost almost all her dead souls and was unable to move her body from his arms, leaving one hand free. He glanced lightly at the red mutated dead soul insect above that refused to give up. Immediately, he threw out a golden green card with his free hand. In a flash of light, a blue dragon with a body length of more than a hundred meters and an extremely powerful demonic aura soared into the sky. Hold head high. The green dragon roared. The mutated dead soul insect was trembling all over. It wanted to resist, but this time, it became the one that was absolutely crushed. In just three or two blows, the poisonous dragon tore it into pieces. Completely one-sided ravage. 
The giant mutated dead soul insect that restrained the clay body Platycodon to such an extent that it almost ate her was no different from those miscellaneous monsters in front of today's poisonous dragons. This is the dominant level of oppression possessed by the big monster. It was only then that Kikio recovered from the inexplicable surprise, fear, and confusion. Are you? Li Xia. It's me. What's wrong, Miss Kikio? Li Xia smiled gently. Distance. The cave where Neraku is located. An angry curse came from the depths. What's wrong with Neraku? It seems like he's really dying. It's time for me to find a way out for myself. Outside the cave. Kagura frowned slightly, thinking deeply. She couldn't understand her old father more and more. However, before she could think about it, countless tentacles shot out of the cave, and then wrapped around her legs and ankles with great precision, and then dragged her into the cave. And Nero, what are you going to do? Kagura was so shocked that she was sweating profusely and her teeth were chattering. Neraku lifted up his increasingly restless second daughter, brought it to him, and then said in a voice without any emotion. Kagura, don't forget, you are my clone. What you have done these days? Are you trying to get back into my body? Earlier, this restless stupid woman allowed Inuyasha, Ali and others to return to Maple Village. Did she think he didn't notice at all? When he thought about how he almost fell under Ali's two demon-breaking arrows, he felt scared for a while. He was even more annoyed when he thought that the four soul fragments he used to resurrect Poison Master and Setsuna Mengon fell into the hands of that hateful human brat. Now, that human kid actually staged a heroic rescue act because of his random arrangements. Damn it! This is simply unreasonable. If Kagura had delayed him for a while longer that day, he wouldn't be in such a mess. If Kagura had not deliberately lost the three four soul fragments, his situation would undoubtedly be much better. You know, having three more fragments and losing three fragments have very different meanings to him now. Wait, wait. I, I, I. I won't make any decisions anymore. Face to face with Neraku at almost zero distance, Kagura was filled with fear. Trembling all over. All distracting thoughts were suppressed deep in my heart. Remember, there won't be a second time. If it weren't for his dislike of ghost spiders, he really wouldn't mind absorbing the capable Kagura back into his body. Li Xia. Li Xia. It ruins my good deeds. Where Platycodon and Li Xia are. The former quickly changed from secret surprise to deep disappointment. Turns out, it's not in Yasha. The girl's heart felt inexplicably painful. And Li Xia, who once again hugged Platycodon's slender waist, also guessed sewing about this. But he saw through it without saying anything, and he didn't intend to deliberately bring up some unhappy people or things to continue to sting. Miss Kikio, do you need me to help you collect the dead souls of some girls to help you regain your body's mobility? Your little pets seem to have lost a lot this time. When talking about those pure white dead soul insects, a dark color flashed in the girl's eyes. In order to protect her, nearly ten little pets rushed forward one after another, and then they were all ed by the huge red mutated dead soul insect. With the size of the little guys, she knew she couldn't win, but she had no intention of giving up on her. The unswerving devotion of the many pure white dead soul insects to her was incomparable to the loyalty of another figure that was like a thorn in her heart. With her little ones by her side, she feels very safe. If it were another lonely figure who seemed to have the same problem as her. Alas, the other party couldn't give her any sense of security at all. Then I'll trouble you. She had almost lost all her pure white death soul insects, and she really needed to regain her body's ability to move freely as soon as possible. He sighed in his heart thank you Neraku for the great assist. It was a coincidence that he was able to come to the rescue in time this time. It turned out that he had been struggling for two days to find traces of Platycodon Grandiflorum. They all stay diurnal and emerge at night. By observing the distribution and movements of many dead soul insects on the ground, and observing their movement trajectories at night. We can roughly judge the areas where Platycodon, which is also active at night, may appear. After all, if Kikio's clay body wants to move freely, it needs to replenish the dead girl's soul every few days. And she usually chooses to do this kind of thing at night. At least it won't scare others easily. Li Xia found sewing nearby last night, but he was not in a hurry to see Platycodon Grandiflorum at night. 
he rested for the rest of the night and took a nap in his sleeping bag during the day. It was at this time that he noticed sowing strange in the outside world. When he rode on the flame hoof and flew into the air, he saw the mutated giant death soul insect arranged by Neriku from a distance. And then he noticed Kikio who was chased by the giant death soul insect all the way to the edge of the cliff. Seeing that Kikio was in a critical situation, of course he couldn't just sit back and ignore it. So, he asked Yen Ho to take him there quickly to save people. But they were several miles apart, and even though Yen Hu was very fast, it would still take some time. So the scene of Platycodon in distress still happened. At that time, Li Xia's heart was lifted. Fortunately, the warhorse that the girl was riding made a mistake at the right moment and fell down the cliff, narrowly avoiding the giant death soul insect's powerful bite. The big loach didn't bite me. At the same time, he also seized the last few seconds and arrived in time. Then an old-fashioned hero rescued the beauty was staged. By the way, Li Xia, why are you here? Because someone appeared so coincidental, the Miko in his arms became somewhat serious. When Li Xia heard this, he was very direct. I'm here specifically to find you, Miss Kikio. What are you looking for me for? Let's see if I can get some information about monsters from you. It didn't take the two of them long to arrive at Yenju. When the two women met, they had inexplicable emotional fluctuations. This girl Yenju. Looks like me in the past. Their eyes met, and she read a hint of envy in the expression of the little girl opposite. It was very similar to the envy she had for ordinary women during her lifetime. As a Miko, she was always alienated by humans her age. The traditional concept of the shrine she accepted is that she cannot have selfish little love and needs to maintain great love for all people. In other words, she couldn't fall in love with any man or get emotional, otherwise it would be a disgrace to the Miko profession. However, whenever she saw ordinary women using rouge and gouache to dress themselves up beautifully, and then go out on a date with the person of their choice or fall in love with their husbands, she couldn't help but feel envious. The feeling of being accompanied by her other half made her yearn for it so much. She wants to be an ordinary woman and live an ordinary life. So, when Inuyasha broke into her world, she was like a moth to a flame. However, it turned out to be the opposite. And from this aspect, she has to thank Neriku after all, it was Neriku who made her understand that Inuyasha is just a young man who has not yet grown up. It's suitable to be taken care of by others, but it's not suitable to be the kind of man who can be relied on. In fact, Inuyasha in the original work has always been silently taken care of by Ali. Inuyasha can't stand any provocation, and his trust in those close to him is actually not high. Even for her, his trust is limited. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been provoked by Neriku's little trick and would have rushed into the village to steal the Shurkan Tama. When Neriku attacked her secretly, his hands were obviously stained with her blood in Yasha, who has a keen sense of smell. Did not have the slightest awareness or suyin when facing her, and concluded that she, Kikio, was not worthy of trust. How ironic is this? On the other hand, she was so stupid and defenseless that Neriku, disguised as Inuyasha, easily approached and succeeded with a sneak attack. In the previous moment, she had actually sensed danger, but she subconsciously believed Inuyasha, thinking how could Inuyasha hurt her. And after that, even if she saw Inuyasha returning to the village to cause havoc, and even if she confirmed Inuyasha's betrayal, she still couldn't him, and in the end she just used the sealing arrow to seal him. Gave Inuyasha a glimmer of hope. I'm just like the little guys who followed me before and could do it for me without hesitation, I can have a clear conscience. But, what about Inuyasha? He compared his death soul bug with Inuyasha. That's it, it's time to let it go. Let's put all our thoughts on how to get rid of Neriku and the Shurkan no Tama. I'm already dead anyway. After this encounter, the resentful spirits that originally represented anger in Kikio's body miraculously calmed down a lot. As for Yenju, after hiding the inferiority and unwillingness in his heart, he trotted to Li Xia. Brother Xia, you are here. Well, I'm here to see you. But there's sewing I need to trouble you with. Li Xia turned over and dismounted. He didn't notice the eye contact between the two women just now. He first took Platycodon off the horse and put it under the big tree on the side. Then he walked up to Yen Zhu and asked, How have you been during this time? 
it's good to have Xiao Hong and the others with us. The feeling of being cared for and needed made the girl smile involuntarily. The whole person looked slim and graceful. Brother Xia, if there is anything you need my help with, just ask. As an undead, the big brother in front of her can truly accept her, recognize her, and appreciate her. Li Xia was not pretentious, and pointed at the listless witch who was leaning against the big tree the group of dead soul insects that ms. Platycodon subdued were all sacrificed, and the dead souls in her body were almost drained by the enemy. I need your help. She collected some dead girl's souls to replenish them in order to restore her bodice ability to move. Actually. Just in case and to cope with unexpected needs, he had strengthened the dead soul insects around Yanju, causing most of them to transform into red mutated dead soul insects. Although the size is far less than the big man Naraku created. But the dead soul bugs on the little girl's side have been greatly enhanced in their ability to find, preserve, and restrain dead souls. Therefore, as long as those few red dead soul insects are not lazy, they should have accumulated a large number of additional dead souls of girls. At this moment, you only need to take out a small part, which is enough to replenish the empty shell of Platycodon Grandiflorum. Of course, Li Xia would not be so stupid as to directly ask for the dead soul. It would be more appropriate to borrow the dead soul insect to use it. Subsequently, as Li Xia expected, Yen Zhu generously presented Platycodon Grandiflorum with a large number of dead souls. Not only did they not have any grudges when they were young girls, but Li Xia spent two days with her to discuss advanced ghost arts and found many high quality dead souls of Miko for her, and they became somewhat fond of each other. From the beginning to the end, Kikio felt very uncomfortable. The feeling of being taken care of made her particularly uncomfortable. When she regained her mobility, she didn't dare to stay here any longer. That feeling of discomfort made her very worried. After bidding farewell to Yen Zhu and embarking on a new journey, he asked full of doubts Li Xia, what on earth did you say to that little girl? She actually obeyed your words. Obey what you say. No, 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 Miss Kikio, I'm afraid you are mistaken. There is mutual respect between me and Xiao Yanju. Li Xia, who was on horseback with her back leaning against Platycodon Grandiflorum, looked serious. How can there be a future between humans and the undead? How could they come together? If the two can be perfectly combined, he will fight for the legendary witch next to him no matter what, whether it is for himself or for his descendants. He did not hesitate to suffer all the glares and insults from the world. There is no way, any man would be moved when he met such an outstanding woman. If you don't dare to have those extravagant thoughts, it's because your brain or body is not normal. If you don't believe me, why don't you just pick up a boy of the same age and ask? Mutual respect. Kikio, who was sitting in front, didn't get too entangled and asked about the business where should we go next. There is really no way to repay the life-saving grace. This man once again threatened to repay the favor and made some small requests, which she really couldn't refuse. Let me think. Li Xia, who was sitting in the back with the witch on his back, pondered for a moment, clarified some thoughts. And fine-tuned some future plans, then slowly said Miss Platycodon, did you travel around the world fifty years ago? The practice of a witch? Some. Then do you have any psychic demon tree that you conceal? Dryads? A lot of them have been sealed. Why, are you interested in those dryads? I want to make some masks. By the way, are there any willow spirits among them? Although Platycodon is now more than fifty years later. But for this person, the memory in his soul does not really mean that more than fifty years have passed, but only two or three years at most. The fifty years that Inuyasha was sealed didn't count. Therefore, the memory is most likely relatively clear. Kikio thought for a while and quickly nodded yeah. Really? To be precise, I did not seal the willow tree demon myself, but another senior shrine maiden took action before me. I only passed by there later and saw that the tree was sealed with great force and lost most of its vitality. Now I am afraid that it has already the dead willow tree demon. So, what capabilities does it have? I remember that it seems to be able to dissolve humans or monsters. It mainly feeds on other creatures and often attacks monsters or humans passing by. Shall we go find the tree demon now? Certainly. It would be best if the willow tree was a life-melting tree. 
By then, by subduing it, he will have sharp means to break most of the barriers. From now on, whether it is to Neraku, or to dig out Suezi's bones and bake the ashes into figures, etc. It will be much smoother. And even if it's not a life-melting tree, someone who can turn a tree into a spirit and have platycodon seal it must have sewing special and must have a potential worth exploring. Think of Pu Xianwen, Yushinmu, Dague tree, human face fruit tree and so on. A bare hilltop with no green grass. A dead tree surrounded by sealing talismans came into view. It was a huge willow tree that looked dead. It is the life-melting tree. It seems like I'm pretty lucky. Do you want to resurrect this tree demon? Seeing Li Xia take out a large number of four soul fragments, the girl's eyelids jumped. I like its capabilities. Li Xia nodded, not shying away. The life-melting tree was cut off, partly so that I could use it later, and partly to prevent Neraku from possessing it. After all, according to the rhythm of the original timeline, Neraku's transformation path is destined to peel off the human heart of the ghost spider and the monster heart of the fusion of 10,000 monsters. In the original plot, the ghost spider's human heart is hidden in the collapsed Bailing Mountain. It can be said that the most dangerous place belongs to the safest place. No one expected Neraku to have such a.s. When Neraku peeled off the ghost spider's human heart and separated it from the monster body, he immediately lost all restraints and became a complete monster, and could attack Kikyo at will. I will no longer be affected by the ghost spider's nostalgia and become soft-hearted and unable to do anything. Moreover, the ghost spider's human heart is the link that connects all monsters. As long as this heart is not destroyed, no matter how serious the injury is, no matter how the body is destroyed, Neraku can regroup. For example, no matter how it is pierced by the diamond gun, it can be reorganized again. For another example, no matter how badly it is smashed by flying bones or corroded by the poison of the poison immortal, it will be able to recover sooner or later. That's right. This ability of infinite reorganization and infinite self-healing is what the human heart brings to Neraku. The bond that connects all monsters has never been the power of monsters. But the human heart of Ghost Spider. If this heart can be knocked out, Neraku will lose this infinite self-healing ability, and the monster body will disintegrate into countless individuals. Why don't Sesomaru and other great demons have that kind of perverted immortality? It's because of the human heart. Let's talk about the other monster heart, which is actually Akaduji. This heart belongs to the source of demon power. If this monster heart is not destroyed, Neraku's monster power will be endless, and the activity of his body will be ridiculously high. Both hearts are very important to Neraku, and he cannot afford to lose either one. If the monster's heart is said to be immortal, the human heart can be regarded as an immortal property. Only when two hearts complement each other can Neraku be immortal. The life melting tree can just break the powerful protective barrier held by the two hearts. With my wisdom, I am not a genius who can see ten steps after taking one step. But it can still be done if you take one step and see two steps. Looking at the big picture. No matter how Neraku grows, he will definitely find a way to split the human heart and the monster heart of the ghost spider. Li Xia thought to himself. If he prepares such a move in advance, no matter how far Neraku can go, he is equivalent to standing in the second half of the long river of time and sniping. There is a scam called Carp Leaps Over the Dragon Gate. The real bosses are all waiting behind the dragon gate for the fish who will try their best to jump over the dragon gate. The pots are all set. The water is boiling. Li Xia is here. After putting on two masks of the sacred tree, one crying and one laughing, he came to the withered life-melting tree. He first injected a four-soul fragment into the dry tree body, letting the power of the jade fragment help revive it in the next few hours and help it regain its vitality. This will facilitate his subsequent engraving work. Then he pulled out the four-soul fragment and let it fall silent. Just in case he was attacked by this guy when he was carving sewing for the life-melting tree. This must be guarded against. After all, in the original work, when the tree demon faced the human mage who wanted to seal it again. He pretended to be harmless when the mage got close to its shooting range, he spat directly and smeared the mage's head and face. And this guy's saliva is super corrosive and can melt people instantly. Very destructive. Wait until the shape of a ring is carved out. 
Only then did he ask Platy Kodan to help him destroy the seal that another Miko had placed on the life-melting tree. Allowing the tree demon to revive on its own and grow a tree full of buds until the buds stretched into new green leaves. Is it necessary to make it so troublesome? Kikio, who witnessed the whole process, was very puzzled. Li Xia didn't say much, but immediately made a strong contract after the life-melting tree revived. Soon, the entire demon tree was uprooted, centered around the ring, and finally condensed into a wooden ring with a ferocious smile on its surface. The ring was suspended in the air, exuding strong fluctuations of three-star demon power. This is still a state that has just recovered after being sealed for many years. The life-melting tree in its heyday was definitely more powerful than it is now. And the reason why he was able to compress the entire tree demon into a ring? It lies in the combination of various ODs such as core seal and the sealing technique that talisman masters, blacksmiths, and mages dabble in. It was a little inspiration he received when he consulted Master by Xian a few days ago about the core seal of the giant ghost in the Duobao Pagoda. Life melting tree, don't let me down. Seeing that the contract was completed, Li Xia stretched out his right hand to take off the wooden ring. But before his fingertips touched the surface of the ring, an evil energy jumped out from it, causing his right hand to quickly retract as if it was electrocuted. Obviously, the life melting tree was still resisting him. Li Xia narrowed his eyes slightly. Immediately afterwards, his left hand burned with energy flames intertwined with mana and demon power and grabbed it. This time, the wooden ring also resisted. But. It only took a few tweaks and then it became quiet. Or more accurately, surrendered. Just like the fighting ghosts and gods in the original work and the Chienkuen longsword in this timeline expressed their surrender to Sesomaru. To this. Li Xia was stunned for a moment, then understood. Sure enough, regardless of the strength of the demon power, it is the most popular. It looks like banknotes and has infinite charm. After putting on the wooden ring on the index finger of his left hand, he not only felt a slight increase in demonic power, but also used his own demonic power and mana to bless the life-melting tree ring. Or it can shoot out a large number of wicker tentacles to restrain the enemy, dissolve the opponent's barrier, etc. I tried it with my own barrier. Immediately his eyes lit up. The small-scale defensive barrier light curtain he propped up was like a thin water curtain, which was easily opened by the wicker tentacles. The whole process seemed to be without any hindrance. Not bad. The more Li Xia looked at the just-sized wooden ring in his hand, the more satisfied he became. In addition, he obtained a special ring Kylan arm, which increased his threat to any opponent by three points. He could only admire the bravery of anyone who dared to use the barrier to hold his left hand. The mission of finding the life-melting tree is completed. It's time for the two of them to embark on their return journey. It's rare to have this leisure time. How about we find a small boat and go down the river? After putting away the flaming hoof, Li Xia looked at Kikio and asked. You are such a strange person. It only takes three or two hours to travel, but it takes several days to get there. Of course, that's what he said, but the girl didn't reject Li Xia's proposal. Anyway, most of the four soul fragments are in the man in front of him. As long as Neraku works harder, they can almost collect them all. In terms of time, it's not far behind these few days. So, the boy and girl walked together. And it didn't take long to find a village nearby that stood by the water. And because this trip was going without return, Li Xia used a small bag of grain in exchange for a small canoe. And since he had never touched a canoe, he naturally didn't know how to hold a pole. Platycodon had no choice but to stand on the stern of the boat and support the pole. Someone on the bow was quite content. Originally, if I dumped it here, the atmosphere would be almost the same. If Li Xia still remembers a few poems written by his family member Li Taibai, he might be able to show off his talent with one or two. However, he had already returned all the Tang poems and song lyrics to the Chinese teacher in his previous life. Except for a slight impression of the poem Moonlight in front of the bed, I really don't remember the other poems at all. By the way, what's the next sentence of Ming Yueguang in front of the bed? That's all, let's not forget about this embarrassment. He quickly picked up a leaf that was about to float by from the water, and then covered his face with shame. Then he hummed a little tune. An island song called Suddenly. 
even without accompaniment, he felt that he sang well enough. I want copy or add water to the lyrics. This side of the cave. Naraku, who arranged for the most ferocious poisonous insect from hell to keep an eye on him and use Kana's mirror to peek around, clenched his teeth, making someone's teeth itch with hatred. Is he jealous? How could he, Naraku, be envious, jealous, and jealous over sewing like this? Do not make jokes. Jikio, I will definitely you, I will definitely. Lysia and Nailuo are at odds. I knew that you were spying on me, so I deliberately gave up the speed of Yen Hu and openly showed you what I wanted to see. And it has added content. The other one had no idea that he had been discovered, so he couldn't help his peeping heart. He endured the sting and pain in his heart and had to peek at the scenes through the Kana mirror for several times. I. And stubbornly called it the surveillance of the Four Souls Jade. The purpose is to understand the opponent better and strive to know ourselves and the enemy. However, in fact, he was not collecting intelligence from the perspective of a bystander at all. Because the more he looked at it, the more uncomfortable he felt. The ghost spider heart in my heart seemed to be about to go berserk. Every time Kagura brought back a monster corpse, she could clearly sense that her boss's temper was getting more and more irritable. Of course, it's not just Li Xia and Nai Lu who are in intrigue. Sewing is also happening on Inuyasha's side. That was when everyone was dealing with a poisonous scorpion with four soul fragments, and Xiao Yunyu was injured by the scorpion's poisonous barb. Everyone did not take this minor injury seriously at first, until Micah showed signs of lethargy, which attracted Coral's attention. What's wrong with you, Micah? She stretched out her hand and touched the little friend lying on her legs, and she suddenly let out a light sigh it's so hot. Like having a high fever. It should be the scorpion poison from before. Miroku speculated while eating delicious instant noodles. Actually, this is not a problem of scorpion poison at all, but a powerful monster will that uses poison as a medium to erode the kitten's mind along the wound. Micah is relying on her own body to fight hard. However, this process it's so hidden that no one around you notices it. Naturally, they won't understand the seriousness behind it. Grandpa Mingjia jumped over after seeing that Yunmu didn't look well and had a very uncomfortable look on her face. Micah, let me help you suck out the poison. Grandpa Mingjia is the best at this. But at this moment, little Micah suddenly opened her big eyes. But the little guy's eyes were no longer cute, but filled with blood. After waving his claws to shake off Mr. Mingjia, he quickly jumped off Coral's lap and jumped into the dense forest not far away. Micah. Coral was taken aback. He hurriedly chased after him. I didn't even have time to carry the flying bones. Mithraya, who was eating instant noodles, glanced at the woods and felt no evil aura, so he felt relieved. Turning to look at Inuyasha Inuyasha, why don't we go over and take a look? Inuyasha, who was also grabbing the instant noodles brought by Ali, shook his head without any hesitation. Didn't we check Micah's injury before? It's just a little toxin, it's nothing. With the monster's resilience and the little guy's poison resistance, he will recover soon. No fuss required. This is his experience. Only Ali was a little worried and chased after Chibao and Grandpa Mingjia. Then, they waited and waited, but neither Inuyasha nor Miroku waited for the two girls to come back. What they were waiting for was a swarm of moths. It was an evil demon moth with a strange human face on its wings. There is a dangerous aura hidden among these demonic moths. Inuyasha, be careful. While Miroku and Inuyasha were on high alert. A large amount of dust floated down, covering a large area around it. Moth powder? Disgusting stuff. Inuyasha, who has a keen sense of smell, quickly covered his mouth and nose with fire rat fur. It was obvious that he was quite repelled by sewing with a pungent smell. Ah bah, the civet cat on the side, just inhaled a little bit, and suddenly felt a little dizzy hey, what's wrong with me? Mithraya noticed sewing was wrong and reminded him. Xiaoba, hold your breath quickly, otherwise you will faint. Ah Ba was startled when he heard this. While holding his breath in a hurry, he also covered his face with his hands well. How long do you have to hold it in? That goes without saying, of course, after I solve them. Inuyasha tightened the five fingers of his right hand, and the soul-dispersing iron claw was already swung out. 
the golden claw light flashed, and countless small moths were torn into pieces. After these little guys fell to the ground, they turned into purple light spots and disappeared, as if they had never appeared. However, no matter how Inuyasha waved his claws, the overwhelming swarm of moths never decreased. It's endless. Realizing the limitations of the soul-removing iron claw, he was ready to pull out the iron fong and use wind wound to harvest it. But at this time, Mithraya stood up. Let me do it. The man behind the scenes has not shown up yet, and Tai Suya, the most powerful person on our side, is not suitable to be exposed for the time being. It would be best for him to use the immortal treasure gourd to test it out. As for the more exposed wind cave. If you can't use it, don't use it. So, Mithraya neatly pulled out the cork of the treasure gourd at his waist. The next moment, a strong suction force came from the mouth of the gourd, and a large number of moths with flapping wings were forcibly sucked in. In just a few breaths, the overwhelming swarm of moths thinned out. Seeing this, Inuyasha praised. Well done, Moroku. He wanted to see which controlled a group of moths to attack them. And this abnormality naturally alarmed the rightful owner among the moths. Immediately a cold light swept over the mage. After all, if he really wants to let the fairy gourd collect endlessly from his little moths. No matter how much demonic power he consumes to transform a new group of demonic moths, it won't be enough. Snort. Without waiting for Mithraya to react, the ground suddenly broke through and sprouted several roots. These roots were like living tentacles, wrapping around Mithraya's right leg extremely flexibly, and then violently threw him back. The incident happened so suddenly that neither Inuyasha nor Miroku expected it. One had no time to react, and the other had no time to rescue. The root of the sacred tree. Mithraya, who was flying upside down in mid-air, was thinking quickly. Why does the sacred tree next to it look like a living monster? And why is it attacking us? Inuyasha was even more confused and puzzled. If Mingjia were here, he would definitely give a standard explanation. After all, he was one of the few witnesses in the first half of that battle. It was from that battle that Inu Admiral made his name, and it has been out of control ever since. After reaching a certain level, Godly Tree is also known as Era Tree. The coming clan holds a complete tree of time in their hands. If someone has the innate aura of a king, all other sacred trees will be affected by him or even surrender directly. Just controlling a few roots of the sacred tree to attack. It's just childish. On the field. Mithraya was thrown heavily into the air, with nowhere to rely on in mid-air, so he had to find a way to use the new technique he had mastered in the past few days to protect himself. I saw a powerful magical power suddenly emerging from this young mage's body. After this magical flame burned on the tree roots wrapped around the ankles, the tree roots with signs of demonization withered one after another, and finally turned into fly ash and fell. Are you okay? Miroku. Inuyasha used his sharp claws to tear off the vine roots wrapped around him, and quickly rejoined his companions. Sorry, the fairy treasure gourd is lost. Miroku whispered and signaled Inuyasha not to glance at the treasure gourd. Although his S is much stronger than that of the same period in the original timeline. It is only slightly higher than his magic power in the later period that is, about three and a half stars, so he cannot be as good as Monk Shinquan. Using rosary beads to open a barrier in seconds is not as easy as the black Miko Tsubaki, nor can it be done by Li Xia, who is able to hold up a defensive barrier with one hand within zero. One seconds and other powerful means. Just now, he really had no choice. In order to escape in time, he had to loosen the cork of the treasure gourd and the treasure gourd itself in desperation, allowing his hands to regain freedom and cast a spell to save himself. Fortunately, after loosening the cork with his left hand, the cork retracted automatically and just blocked the mouth of the treasure gourd. This did not cause another accident. Don't worry, I'm here. Inuyasha drew out the iron fong, and very decisively directed a wind wound at the moths to greet them. This blow instantly caused nearly half of the moth swarm to disappear. But at this moment, cold laughter came from the center of the moths. Who? Inuyasha and Miroku followed the sound. Countless moths were seen scattering, revealing a figure of a young man wearing armor and a cloak. It is the offspring of the super great demon flying demon moth Agatmaru. 
They are the remnants of the Continental Monster Army that remained on this land after General Inu sealed the Flying Monster Moth many years ago. Who are you? Inuyasha asked again. In fact, if you were put in the shoes of a young man named Lee, he would not talk nonsense at all. He would definitely wash the visitor's face with wind injury without saying anything, and then talk about the rest of the matter after making a fool of the other person's face. If the other party can block the wind injury, then he is qualified to discuss the matter as an equal but if he can't block it. Just pretend. And there are definitely not many moments when the opponent shows up and shows off to give you a chance. What's more, the other party has made it clear that the person who came here is evil. If you hesitate for even a second, someone will give you a slap in the face. Pity. Inuyasha is a decent person after all. Don't like this sneak attack beat. Are you Inuyasha? Agat Maru asked with a condescending smile. Inuyasha snorted coldly and remained completely vigilant. Seeing this, Agat Maru said no more and directly drew his sword. The moment the swords collided, a brilliant purple light burst out, and an energy shock wave spread out, causing Mithraya to stumble back several steps. What a heavy sword pressure! Inuyasha, who was the first to bear the brunt, secretly thought. If he had experienced Sesomaru's fight against ghosts and gods in the original timeline, he wouldn't be too surprised but because of Lysia's appearance, he indirectly missed the relevant training. This was the first time I saw the sword pressure that could suppress him, and I was immediately startled. The other end. After Agat Wan felt the sharp sword energy of Tai Suya, his eyes became brighter and brighter. It's really good. It is indeed the destructive tooth of an old dog. Keep your mouth clean. Inuyasha exerted force with both arms, causing Tetsuya to suddenly erupt with a sword light that was several times more powerful. The golden sword flashed like a sword, tearing away the heavy sword pressure pressed by the young man on the opposite side and forcing the opponent back. Immediately afterwards, a wind injury was about to be struck. But after Inuyasha discovered that the direction the young man was flying back was toward Hachi the civic cat, he immediately endured it forcefully, damn it. Mithraya, who reacted quickly, noticed this situation and determined that if he and Xiaoba were located in the core area of the battlefield, they would not only be unable to help, but would only become a drag on his friends. Thinking of this, he immediately picked up Ah Ba and the coral's flying bones not far away and ran away. Ah Ba is not heavy. Before it transforms into a bread flying vehicle, it can be easily picked up. However, the weight of Phalai bone is hard to describe. The moment Mithraya tried to carry it away, he staggered and almost lost his balance. Why is it so heavy? It must be at least a hundred kilograms. Has Coral been using this thing to fight? Fortunately, I didn't provoke the seemingly gentle girl. If he touched the tigress but, would he be beaten into a pig's head? Fortunately, we are smart enough. Inuyasha was having a hard time fighting. Just because the moths never gave up releasing moth powder to this area. It was impossible for Inuyasha not to breathe while fighting, so he inhaled more or less. This made his body gradually become sluggish and his senses became less sensitive. Which directly caused it to become more and more difficult for him to swing the iron broken teeth to resist the close-fitting sword pressure of Onyx Maru. Inuyasha, it's such a waste for you to use a top-notch sword to protect the humans and miscellaneous monsters in the area. Just leave it to me and I will make the best use of it. Agat Maru's moves are more ruthless than the last, and each move is more stable than the last. Seize the slightest flaw that Inuyasha lacks in a life and death duel with a melee master, and quickly expand your results. He is the son of the great monster of the mainland, Flying Monster Moth. The inheritance is complete. Rich combat experience. Although the half-demon in front of him also has the appearance of inheritance, he lacks some time to accolade, so his moves still appear to be immature and rough. If this half-demon was given some time to grow, it might become a problem. But he was a fool to let the son of his enemy grow. I won't give you another chance to grow, Inuyasha. Watch the sword. Miroku quickly moved out of the battle circle and immediately saw Inuyasha's disadvantage. Is this a close-quarters fight that doesn't give Inuyasha a chance to use wind damage? And with the help of those moths, that area is like a swamp. Realizing that sewing was wrong with the situation, Mithraya no longer considered himself and directly opened his wind acupoint. Even if the moth carries poisonous powder, 
he must fight for a fairer fighting environment for Inuyasha. Hu hu. The wind cave is like a bottomless black hole, absorbing everything in front of it. The moths that were throwing poisonous powder were immediately cleaned up. Inuyasha was overjoyed. As long as there are no little moths in the sky causing trouble, he doesn't think he will lose. Agate Pilled naturally also noticed the mage who opened the wind cave. Very good ability. However, even without the moths, can a half-hearted person like Inuyasha defeat him? The wind acupoint exerted its strength, and almost all the poisonous moths flying in the sky were taken away by Mithraya. But Mithraya felt even more uncomfortable. Although the poison of small moths is far less than the most powerful toxins, it cannot withstand the overwhelming number of poisonous moths. After absorbing thousands of poisonous moths, even though he had a high poison resistance, his whole body felt extremely cold. To be precise, it's hot and cold, and a powerful hallucinogenic obsession. Inuyasha, I can only leave the rest to you. He has tried his best. After muttering to himself, he suddenly knelt down on his knees, kissed the ground with his face and fell to the ground. Don't worry Mithraya, your efforts will not be in vain. Inuyasha, who had a sharp ear and eyesight, gritted his teeth and murmured in response. The moth powder no longer interfered with his vision and sluggished his senses. It no longer had the hallucinogenic effect. Now that he had recovered to some extent, he was full of confidence. Just when Anamaru was close to him again, he used a sword technique given to him by his father. Draw the sword, and Yen will return. It's a pretty quick cut. But what Inuyasha never expected was that the guy on the other side also used this trick. How can it be? Same move. And because he was much slower than the opponent, he was defeated inexplicably. On the chest. The fire rat fur was cut open, and a trace of blood bloomed. Ha, huh, if you don't turn your elders' things into your own, do you dare to take them out and use them? In addition. Didn't your father tell you that there are quite a few monsters who have seen this trick? Anamara chased after him, and Inuyasha could only fend off and retreat it steadily. After finally regaining his breath, he launched another strong attack, only to be met with a group of moths. This is the little moth that Agate Pill spits out from its mouth. It is the same as the previous group of small moths. Because it was too close, there was no time to escape. Inuyasha didn't check for a moment, but the little guys crawled on his face, and his sight was completely blocked. And because he inhaled the moth powder again, his body became heavy again. It's terrible, even my eyes are a little blurry. At this moment, Anamaru's full strength blow arrived. The two sides passed each other, and Tai Suya got out of his hands. Put it upside down on the ground. In the blink of an eye, it turned into an ordinary rusty useless knife. My iron broken tooth was actually bounced off. Inuyasha, who was slightly confused, suddenly woke up with a start. But it was too late. It's over, Inuyasha. A long sword had pierced the fire rat fur and stabbed into his waist. The waist was severely injured. Damn it, my body. Is so heavy. Aha. Inuyasha's back hit the ground hard. His eyelids struggled hard, but finally he closed them and passed out. The outcome has been decided. Anamaru took back the sword that his father had given him. The wind blew his long light blue hair that reached almost to his heels, and it was impossible to see his expression. So weak, Inuyasha. Compared to the other one, you really don't deserve to have this top-notch fawn of destruction. He had been to Sesomaru's side beforehand, but failed to get any favors from him. In order to cover his retreat, two of his men were ed instantly by Sesomaru. He was resurrected later. I didn't expect that it would be so easy if Inuyasha was his opponent. Walking leisurely to the side of Tai Suya that was stuck upside down on the ground, Agatemur decided to put all the old and new grudges to rest today. Humph, Inuyasha, how sharp are the teeth of destruction? Let me try it on you. As he said that, he reached out and grabbed Tai Suya's knife handle. ZZ. The powerful golden electric light flashed causing the entire arm of the young man who had just touched the handle of the knife to tremble, and green smoke to appear in his palm. Enchantment. The young man's smile a second ago disappeared visibly to the eye. Instead, there was a lingering gloom. Inuyasha tried his best but failed to do any harm to him. But he was almost seriously injured by Tai Suya's barrier. 
who can tell him what the powerful barrier on Tai Suya is about? Did that old dog set this knife up so that it could only be used by his half-demon son? What a thoughtful idea. Thinking of this, Agat Maru's teeth almost broke. He also hopes to use this tooth of destruction to destroy the dog's paw seal left by the old dog on his father's inheritance. A dark and deep cave. After being reminded by the strongest victory and switching to the Kana mirror in time to watch a good show, Naraku's eyes lit up at this moment. What kind of hero is this? He took down Inuyasha so easily. This helped him a lot. Can I borrow his power first? At worst, it will be absorbed in the end. The more he thought along this line of thought, the brighter Naraku's eyes became. Onyx Maru sighed. An angry sword pierced Inuyasha's long white hair, wanting to chop off the head of the son of his enemy immediately. Ten breaths, thirty breaths, a hundred breaths. The young man stared at the half-demon on the ground, fighting fiercely in his heart. In the end, ambition triumphed. That's all, a little impatience will mess up a big plan. In order to obtain the inheritance left by his father and to inherit the power of the flying demon moth from generation to generation, he had to let go of the half-demon in front of him. He had to find another way to guide this half-demon to take Tetsuya to his father's sealed place, and then destroy the seal with the help of Inuyasha. Let you live a little longer. But just at this moment, a group of the most powerful ones appeared and condensed into one figure. Your Highness Onimaru, there is no need for this. The conditions for using Tetsuya are not that troublesome. It does not require Inuyasha. In fact, you only need to replace it with this human arm. A human bandit arm embedded with four soul fragments appeared in front of Agatemaru. Human arm. Agatemaru nodded and slashed the person with a sword. He didn't pay attention to the human arms and four soul fragments on the ground, but looked at the fainted human mage not far away. Immediately afterwards, he cut off his own left arm with one sword, and then cut off Mithraya's left arm with another sword. This sword woke up Mithraya with bloodshot eyes on the spot. And screamed. Noisy. Agat Maru swung his sword and Edmithraya. Then he used this human arm to try to grab Tai Suya again. This time, he was indeed not rejected by Tai Suya's barrier. It sure works. The young man was overjoyed. Ha ha. Then he looked at Inuyasha. Just lift the knife and cut it off. However, at this time, a powerful sword pressure came and forced him back. The visitor had the same long white hair as Inuyasha, but it was more elegant. Says Homaru. If you hit your younger brother, will an older brother appear? Then it's up to you to try the power of the Fong of Destruction. Agat Maru grinned and sneered. Wind injury. Says Homaru looked at Inuyasha who was unconscious on the ground and frowned. A half-demon is a half-demon. With the Chinkuan sword in hand, the demonic power of Fong Zhizhi was absorbed in the blink of an eye. Not even half of Shadian's clothes were touched. The sight of Agate Pill made my heart tighten. Sesomaru, just wait for me. He knew Sesomaru's strength. Continuing to pester is not only unsatisfactory, but may also lead to the loss of the newly obtained iron broken teeth. He would not do such a loss making business. Brothers, one is too weak to be vulnerable, and the other is too strong to be unreasonable. The stronger one seems to take care of the other weak one. Onyx Maru cursed secretly. Forget it, that's it for today. The left arm that was just connected is just a human arm after all, and I'm not used to this arm now. It would be unwise to start a battle with a big dog demon like Sesomaru. Thinking of this, he stopped lingering. After throwing a group of poisonous moths towards the figure of the dog clan to interfere, he quickly disappeared into the depths of the dense forest. Sesomaru, I will soon inherit the power of my father and my ancestors. When the time comes, remember to come to celebrate. Ha ha ha. Hmm, bugs in the ditch. Father was able to defeat the previous demon moth, and he will definitely be able to defeat the new generation of demon moth. Seeing Agat Maru escape, the noble master took back the Chinkuan sword. He had been in contact with the other party before. But Anamaru was far from his opponent. After being repelled by him and even ing two of his subordinate demon girls, he escaped quite quickly. Originally, 
he had no intention of letting this guy go but he did not expect that the two demon girls he had ed before would suddenly come back to life. And took the opportunity to seize Xiaoling and Xie Jian to threaten him. Although, the two banshees ran away afterwards, but luckily. Ling was fine. Well, Ling is fine. He learned from his father's remnant soul that Tian Tianya could only save the same person once. Once sewing happens to Xiaoling again, he doesn't know if he will lose his mind because of it. After finally losing Ling and Xi Jian to the forest where Pu Xianwen was, he followed the slight smell of the demon moth to find them. As soon as the result came, he saw Anamaru trying to his defeated and comatose brother in Yasha with Tetsuya. Alas, this half baked. As for the ant mage not far away who was casually ed by Agatmaru? If you die, you will die. But he will not come to the rescue. Can't you resist the poison of a mere poisonous moth? Also, you can't even bear this little injury. Inuyasha, don't tell me, you only have this level. Sesomaru walked step by step to the side of Inuyasha who was unconscious on the ground, his expression a little ugly. Earlier, didn't you ask someone to ask me how much I weigh? So now, how much do you think you have? You're such a liar, wake up and prove to me that you are the real master of Taisuya. Otherwise, even if he goes against his father's will, says Homaru. He will never show any humility. The demon power surged, and he waved away the poisonous powder in the air around him he then picked up his chief brother, held him up with the demon power, and then punched him hard. Target Profile How long will you continue to sleep? Coral and Ollie were entangled by two banshees. These two were the maids that the previous generation Fei Yao Mo left to his son Agat Maru. One is called Glass. Glass has long purple hair, a small blue flower on each side of his forehead, and a white magatama between his eyebrows. It is this magatama that gives this woman the ability to quickly recover from fatal injuries after being ed instantly. The so-called resurrection relies on this white magatama filled with the demonic power of the flying demon moth. This woman also has the ability to summon poisonous scorpions and forcibly control other monsters. The huge poisonous scorpion that injured Micah in the previous battle was the work of this witch. A two-pronged approach, both with the intention of instigating rebellion and controlling Micah. And also with the intention of testing everyone's falsehoods and finding out the intelligence of a few people. And she is good at wielding two swords, and she is currently fighting with Coral in the jungle. Although the overall combat power was at the level of Sesomaru's instant, he was able to contain the Coral without flying bones with ease. During this period, Coral was suppressed until she lost her temper. At the most dangerous moment, if the scroll of scriptures given by Li Xia before leaving did not glow and drive away the poisonous scorpions summoned by the woman, Coral would have been in bad luck. Human exorcist, stop struggling dying under the claws of your former little pet is the most perfect ending. Glass smiled playfully. The little pet in her mouth was the big mica that she forcibly enslaved. The woman responded with an angry roar from the mica beneath her. The big cat has lost its previous reason at this moment, and is even blinded by the memory of its former little master. The coral in front of it seems to be a dangerous enemy. Therefore, the corals are in danger by cooperating with the glass on their backs. Micah. Coral looked at the figure on her friend's back and gritted her teeth with hatred. She couldn't bear to hurt Micah and she lacked mobility compared to the enemy, and she didn't have any weapons to fight against the enemy, which made it increasingly difficult for her to parry. Now she was stalling for time solely by relying on the scroll of scripture someone left for her. Or to be more precise, he was buying time for Ali to deal with his opponent. After all, Ali's opponents should not be underestimated either. It was a witch named Lu Li. This woman has short blue hair with two small bun-like buns. She also has a magatama on her forehead, but it is blue. This magatama also contains the demonic power of a flying demon moth. It allows the holder to quickly recover from injuries and resurrect with full health after death. In other words, if Inhumane destroys the woman's body after being defeated, she can be resurrected again. In addition, it has the ability to fly freely and the ability to copy the opponent's moves. In the original timeline, Mithraya's right hand wind point was copied. Then he also died in a copied wind cave. The least noteworthy thing is probably his S with a spear. His spear SS cannot be said to be bad, but he was Ed in half a move. As for where the other half move went, 
Of course it was the glass that was used to this girl instantly. Sesomaru once had the sisters under Agat Maru with one move without drawing his sword. There was absolutely no chance for the two girls to improve their reputation. Miko, I feel that your ability is a bit special. Can you let me make a copy? Lioli, who took advantage of the complex environment of the dense forest to take cover, looked at Ali, who was trying to lock her with a bow and arrow in an open space, his eyes full of teasing. You have powerful spiritual power, but you lack dexterity in sharp SS. This talent is really wasted on you. Think about it, how about leaving it to me to develop? She was really excited. If the little girl's spiritual power and potential talent were put into her hands, she would definitely be able to flourish. To be honest, if this spiritual power and talent were placed on other human practitioners on the mainland, or on the nearby woman who was a demon slayer, the sisters would have no choice but to retreat at this moment. Unfortunately, the little human girl below is too crude in the use of power, like a newcomer who has just entered the world of spiritual practice. This gives them the opportunity to be greedy and use their little to make a big difference. But Ali never replied. Concentrate on capturing the other person's figure. She was so aggrieved that she almost bit her lip, but she still tried hard to calm down her inner unwillingness and strive for the slightest possibility. If you sweat more at ordinary times, you will bleed less when you face a powerful enemy. Be more prepared at ordinary times, and you can face it calmly when you really face a formidable enemy. It is said that when you use the book, you will regret it less. In fact, daily exercise is the same for us practitioners. Higurashi-san, collecting the four soul fragments is not a child's play. It is very dangerous for you to rely on your friends to deal with the enemy. If one day, your friends cannot help you, what should you do? Therefore, we must not be afraid of hardship. You must insist on exercising on time and in the right amount on weekdays. Don't deceive others and yourself. These were some of the words Li Xia had said earlier when he asked her to train more in the Demon Slayer village, and they came to her mind repeatedly at this moment. It was obvious that someone had very high demands on her and was very strict. But at that time, she felt that her classmates were making too much fuss. Now, when she faced an experienced enemy alone, she realized how inappropriate it was that she had been helping Inuyasha and others to swim while touring the mountains and rivers. Ali, in this world where monsters are rampant, you have to be careful and don't be impulsive and reckless. I'm afraid I won't be able to fulfill the agreement with Grandpa Higurashi and Mother Higurashi in the future to always be by your side to protect you. I won't be by your side anymore. When the time comes, you must learn to take care of yourself. These are the words on the note inside the storage gourd that Li Xia left behind. At this moment, every word seems to be solemn. They all show deep concern. On the other hand, Inuyasha has not come to rescue them yet. I clearly said I wanted to get Mr. Xia back. How could I fall here? An indescribable momentum rose from the girl's body. Ali's senses instantly became much sharper. That is the perception ability that only a powerful Miko who enters the battle state wholeheartedly can have. With the help of this ability, the girl felt that the enemy was much slower. No, it's not that the enemy has slowed down, but that her reflexes have greatly improved. The next moment, our eyes met. Lioli, who was slippery and flying between the big trees, felt inexplicably frightened. It is a wonderful feeling that occurs when prey is targeted by hunters. Whoosh! From the side, an arrow with purple spiritual power shot out. It is the arrow that destroys demons. But it was a very ordinary demon-breaking arrow, not from Ali's hand. Who? Lioli, who narrowly dodged the arrow again and again, hurriedly turned around and looked around. Nothing was found. The other party was hiding in the dark, which made her feel very troubled. At the same time, Ali's situation was also interrupted by the sudden insertion of an arrow. As soon as his mind relaxed, his state returned to his usual level. This made her furious. But she can't blame the people who had good intentions to help her secretly, right? Glass, sewing's wrong, let's go. If a third party intervenes, there is a high probability that it is still a witch. Even if the opponent's strength is not too strong, it still makes things complicated. And there is no need for them to fight to the death. Anyway, the mission assigned by the young master has been completed. Seeing the big cat soaring into the sky carrying the two girls, Coral became anxious. 
Micah. For these. Lysia, who was hundreds of miles away, didn't know. He was currently riding down the river with Platycodon in a small canoe. Not to mention how relaxing and comfortable it is. After coming to this world, I rarely have such leisurely moments. Li Xia secretly said. Then, a fierce and untimely creature emerged from the dense forest on the shore and flew towards the boat where the two of them were. This undoubtedly disturbed his good mood. So without thinking, he threw a mana light bullet at it, ing it until nothing was left. A spoiler. But what happened next was far beyond the expectations of the two people on the boat. I saw Neriku's most powerful ones going crazy at this time, one by one actively begging for death, gathering in groups here, and then being ed in groups. It made Li Xia very annoyed, but he couldn't figure it out no matter what he thought. Neriku, you are done with this, aren't you? It seemed that he heard what he said. The most powerful ones in midair stopped approaching and switched to volleying to form words. On the boat, the two people who saw those words were stunned. It turned out that the strongest victors spelled out the words Mithraya was Ed and everyone was in trouble. What's going on? Can that guy Neriku still have such good intentions? Of course Neriku couldn't pull back from the brink and turn around. Fight, fight to the death. That one called Agate Pill, I am very optimistic about you. Help me damn Li Xia. Neriku had a good plan. Originally, he wanted Agate Maru to be connected to the human arm he provided. In this way, he can pass through the arm that is embedded with the four soul fragments and has been moved a little by him, and then slowly and secretly cannibalizes the opponent. As for him, although he didn't know what a rich treasure of monster power the so-called Flying Monster Moth's legacy was. Even if it was just an agate pill, it gave him the feeling that it was close to the aura of a general big monster. If you can absorb the opponent, you will definitely make a profit without losing anything. Unexpectedly, Agate Maru ignored him at all. Directly destroy his puppet. Let his first-hand plan come to nothing. It has to be said that what we see and hear about mainland monsters is so complicated and rich. Many of them have read military books written by human wise men and experienced complex human relationships. Monsters who have access to various channels of knowledge still understand the truth of being courteous for nothing is either a traitor or a thief. Give away a four-soul fragment for free. Any fool knows there is a big problem up there. This trick has been ruined by the flying demon moths in the past, okay? In the theatrical version of the original work, the flying demon moth used the four soul fragments contaminated by his own demon blood to control Ali, and used Ali's hand to play tricks on Inuyasha. Could it be that the two sisters Lioli Glass were enslaved physically and mentally in this way? Neriku, who can't even control his own children, is simply a master of tricks. As for Neriku's second-hand plan, the next best thing is to use Li Xia's hands to deal with Agat Maru, or to use Agat Maru's hands to test Li Xia. Anyway, whether Li Xia was seriously injured after ING Agat Wan, or whether Agat Wan Ed Li Xia, he liked to see it. It would be best if we can defeat both sides with a dog-brained approach. As for this, is there any intention to separate someone from Kikyo so that he can attack them separately? Did he have any intention of disturbing the two of them's relaxing trip, so that he wouldn't have to suffer silently behind the scenes and it would hurt his eyes? It's actually hard to say. Unfortunately, Sesomaru has entered the game. With Sesomaru's powerful strength, that Onyx Maru would probably not be able to cause any trouble. Forget it, even if it just takes Li Xia away from Kikyo. So that I can find an opportunity to take action against Kikyo, the result is good. I will that woman, Platycodon. Neriku muttered to himself in a self-deceiving manner. But just at this moment. The West. The Forest of No Return is located. A wave of terrifying demonic power spread to a small half of Honshu Island and radiated some of the waters of Shikoku Island. Five or six hundred miles away, Neriku felt this demonic power and was dumbfounded in shock. What a powerful evil spirit! What kind of seal did Onyx Maru destroy and what kind of peerless monster was released? Could it be the flying demonic moth relic that guy mentioned? Thinking of this, Neriku was even more shocked. What kind of outrageous monsters did Inuyasha's father seal back then? During his peak period, the area where his aura could spread and influence could only be a hundred miles away at most. The other party is good. At least a thousand miles. 
this is the strongest demonic energy he has ever seen since he was born. If there were a satellite in the sky, looking down at the island country from a high altitude, it would not be difficult to find that there is a huge whirlpool of demonic clouds similar to the eye of a typhoon gathering in a spiral at the forest of no return. Countless black demonic clouds are being generated in that area. All the sacred trees within the influence of the demonic energy are sprouting new ones one after another. Even the dead are coming back to life. Coming back to life. Even the wooden boards of the sacred trees used to build the bone-eating well thousands of miles away are alive and growing vigorously at this moment. And the growth is visible to the eye. Li Xia sighed. Why don't you go back to the village and see Inuyasha and the others? Kikio, who was holding the boat, asked aloud. In her opinion, the person in front of her still valued those human companions. Go back to the village. What village? I've already broken up with them, so what reason and motive do I have to go back? Inuyasha and your sister actually have some opinions on me. For example, regarding Nariku's treatment, your sister Kid is grateful for Nariku's kindness in not ing him, and she has given great support to Nariku for protecting him over the years. Good impression. So you blame me for being nosy. If I go back, aren't I asking for trouble and making myself unhappy? Li Xia shook his head and gave a rather straightforward answer. And what the enemy wants you to do, don't satisfy his intentions and don't follow his ideas. That's the safest thing. Nariku wanted him to return to the village and get involved with Inuyasha and others again, which made it clear that he had bad intentions. Therefore, it is definitely impossible for him to return to the village. He had no habit of following the rhythm of his enemies. Besides, can he trust the information Nariku revealed to him? He wouldn't believe a single punctuation mark. The mage named Methreya is dead. Is he your partner? Are you sure you don't want to go back and take a look? Kikio tried again. In response, Li Xia curled his lips and smiled. Methreya is dead. Hee hee, Nariku is deceiving us as fools. Methreya has been staying with Inuyasha and the others. Who can Methreya in front of Inuyasha, Ali and the others? Furthermore, Methreya's hand wind point can be called extreme one for one, and the fairy treasure gourd I left for him is also a ing move in addition. I also found ways to improve his poison resistance and enhance his his ss complete his mage heritage. You know compared with the lustful mage in the original timeline, Methreya at this time has been greatly strengthened by him. In the original work, Methreya, who was paddling in the water, lived to the finale with a smile. Nariku told him that Methreya, who was strengthened by him, died instead. Ah! So confident in them? Kikio cast a surprised look. Li Xia didn't answer and continued to hum a ditty. It's not that he has confidence in the strength of Inuyasha and others, but that he has confidence in the aura of the destined protagonists of these people. But he didn't realize that a weak chicken is not worthy of participating in some battles, so he can live comfortably however. Once he is strengthened and participates in some battles that he should not participate in, he will cause trouble. Just when Li Xia completely ignored Nariku's various efforts, and when Nariku was so angry that he was so angry that he was witnessing all this from afar. A strange wave of demonic power blew past the two of them like a breeze. Kikio immediately stopped punting the boat. Li Xia stood up like a carp and suddenly stood up. What's going on with this evil spirit? With goosebumps all over his body, he looked to the west in surprise. After noticing some abnormal emotions coming from the Yashima mask, his eyelids twitched for a while. Hey hey hey. No way. Could it be that that thing was born? If he remembered correctly, that seal must be destroyed by Tai Suya, the nominal guarding tooth and the actual destruction tooth. Most other top-level demon knives have difficulty destroying the dog's paw seal. But I've only been away for a few days. Why did Tai Suya go to destroy that seal? I obviously want to have a few more leisurely days. But some things often backfire. What an evil force. I plan to go and have a look. What about you? Kikio put down the bamboo pole in her hand. He casually attracted a few dead soul insects. Already prepared to take a few small pets to see what's going on. Mount. The red card appears and Flame Hoof makes its debut. In the Flying Demon Moth incident, he was very interested in both the Complete Era Tree and the Flying Demon Moth's inheritance container. 
he was not at ease if he allowed Kikio to someone on his own. After all, the inheritance ritual of the flying demon moth is too restrained for clay undead like Platycodon grandiflorum. Flame hoof turned into a streak of fire. Very fast. In addition, the boy and girl no longer turn their backs to each other this time. The man is humble and polite, while the woman's heart is calm. The West will not return to the forest. An inaccessible and dangerous primitive jungle. It was also the place where the dog general hundreds of years ago had a decisive battle with the great monster flying monster moth from the mainland. At that time, the mainland monster flying monster moth led his army of monsters across the vast sea to, hoping to take over the island country's monster world. At the beginning, it was overwhelming, quickly sweeping away less than half of the land under its feet. Until General Dog, the leader of the dog clan in the Western Kingdom, stood up. Many monsters in this land led a desperate resistance. In the end, General Inu defeated the flying monster moth and sealed the flying monster moth's heart. Together with a top-level monster tree monster under his command and the remaining monster army, deep underground in the forest of no return. The dog general also became famous in one battle. Now. Agat Maru, the son of the flying demon moth, returned here with the iron fong that can destroy the seal left by the Inu general. Just one blow. Buzz. The golden sword light swept across and headed towards the huge dog paw that served as the sealing wedge. The giant claws that were 20 to 30 meters long were submerged by the wind damage, and they quickly clicked and let out a whining. Ha ha ha. Ah ha ha ha. Finally, I can finally inherit everything from my clan. Agate Pill looked up to the sky and roared. Then he lowered his head and looked down at the collapse of the land for several miles around, and stepped on a purple light ball with a diameter of more than 10 meters to rise from the ground. The feeling that he was about to inherit the power accumulated by his father for generations and easily surpass countless great monsters made him extremely excited and excited. Soon, soon. Onyx Maru licked his lips, suppressing the restlessness in his heart. Prepare to start the inheritance ceremony according to the process. The ball of light under his feet is the inheritance container of the flying demon moth clan. It contains part of the power of his father and several generations of flying demon moths. As well as the demonic power transformed from some wandering ghosts that the time tree has spontaneously collected over hundreds of years. As long as he gets these powers, he can hope to be better than his master. Hundreds of years ago, that old dog blocked my father's footsteps now, I want to see who else in this land can stop me. Take off that human left arm. Throw it away like trash. Regarding this arm, Agat Maru didn't have the slightest intention of remembering it. Now that he has his own inheritance, even Tai Suya's power is completely ignored. So he left Tai Suya to his two maids for safekeeping. Then, he regained his left arm. Immediately afterwards, using his own blood as a guide, he opened the legacy of the flying demon moth. The figure followed a channel of demon power and slowly sank into the purple ball of light. Comfortable, so comfortable, it's this fulfilling feeling. The pure and powerful demonic power swims, precipitates, and quickly transforms into his origin in Agat Maru's body. His body entered a stage of rapid transformation. Because of this, his cheeks suddenly split open, revealing the flesh and blood inside, making him look a bit ferocious. Other similar fragile parts either fell one after another or were quickly strengthened. The whole process was not peaceful. The two girls, Gizi and Lioli, who had retreated far away, saw this, looked at each other, and immediately knelt down on one knee full of enthusiasm. Congratulations to the new master for acquiring the inheritance. The new flying demon moth will complete its transformation and be born soon. They have the ability to follow the dragon. The ambition of Flying Demon Moth is far more than just surpassing his father by a little bit. His desire is greater. Let's gather. My subjects. Find the souls of all the creatures on this land and sacrifice them to me. Accompanying his voice was a strange wave of demon power. Summoned by this demonic power, the light ball connected to the purple inheritance container was suddenly lifted into the sky. 100 meters. 500 meters. 1,000 meters. 3,000 meters. The huge tree of time that is complete has awakened. The roots of the tree began to grow wildly, 
and a large number of roots turned into tentacles and broke out of the ground, spreading rapidly in all directions. Like a certain shadow coming from the tree world. In just a few dozen breaths, it spread to cover the entire forest of no return. At this moment, this aged tree alone exuded a demonic power that was stronger than Sesomaru. The purple demonic flames cover the tree body, like a burning mountain range. All changes naturally don't stop there. For example, after this demonic power spread for ten miles, a hundred miles, or hundreds of miles, all the sacred trees within the range went crazy. For another example, an overwhelming number of small moths swarmed out from under the aged tree, and then flew into groups in all directions. Modern World, Tokyo Suddenly there were dark clouds floating in the sky, making the sky a lot gloomier. Mr. Higarashi, who was cleaning the shrine with a broom, looked up at the sky in confusion. Strange, why does it suddenly feel so cold? A gust of cold wind blew by, making the old man shiver. The movement in the forest is not small. In a distant place, the valley where Yao Lao poison lives in seclusion. The old immortal's expression became uncertain for a while. General Inu, the bomb you left behind has finally been detonated. But your two sons seem to be unable to handle it. Many other hidden old demons were almost alerted at this time. They all looked in the direction of the forest of no return. What is that? In a human village dozens of miles away, someone saw dark clouds in the sky in broad daylight, and then discovered a rising purple star in the center of darkness in the distance. It seems like sewing is flying towards our village. Someone else discovered sewing else. Dad, Mom. Among the children, there were also those with good eyesight who noticed the continuum of crystal colors that quickly swept through the clouds on the horizon. That's definitely not a good thing. Instinctively feeling scared in their hearts, they hugged their adults' legs or held their hands. It's bugs, lots of bugs. The crystal color was getting closer and closer until it reached the top of the village, the villagers were sure that they were small moths. The crystal color that fills the sky is the moth powder thrown by the little moths. Anyone who inhales this moth powder, even a small amount, will quickly lose consciousness and fall to the ground. Then a strange scene appeared countless human beings died on the roadside, in the fields, and in the villages in broad daylight, like a pile of dominoes collapsing. The momentum is strong. The direction starts from the area close to the forest of no return and spreads outward in a circular shape. The spread is frighteningly fast. One village, two villages. Ten villages. Hundreds of villages. Regardless of whether they are young or old, women or children, as long as they inhale the moth powder, they are all affected. Countless people watched in horror as the misfortune was coming, but they were powerless. They could only watch as their wives, children, elders, and relatives and friends around them fell unconscious. Of course, they themselves are no exception. Death was so close that they were at a loss. I want to escape, but human legs are nowhere faster than moth wings. Puff thump thump. They fell to the ground one after another. A series of disasters loomed. Their souls immediately left their bodies spontaneously, floated out of their mouths, and then flew into the air after that. They would flock to the forest of no return and gather at the top of the tree of ages. Momochi. Thousand roads. The soul of all things. And among these souls, there are not only those of humans, but also those of poultry and beasts, and even weak monsters or mountain elves. They will also be attacked by swarms of moths, and their souls will be forcibly taken away. In the eyes of those with advanced SS, these countless souls turned into meteors and flew towards the forest of no return. From the outside, it looks a little thin but in the area close to the inheritance container, souls one after another get into the purple inheritance container, and the scene is extremely spectacular. It's like waves of tides hitting the purple barrier. The souls of many living creatures will then be transformed into pure demonic power and stored up in the inheritance container. This also caused the purple light ball to expand more and more. Ah ha ha ha. Inside the purple inheritance container, Agat Maru was extremely excited at the moment. With each additional soul collected by the moth swarm, he could clearly observe that the inheritance container grew stronger. And this means that in the following time, as long as he absorbs and digests this power, he can accumulate an extra bit of his own heritage. 
the more souls the little cutie captures, the stronger he will naturally be after he completes his transformation and is born. Moto, Moto. I want more. My subjects, find more souls for your king. Onyx Maruno. It should be said that it is a new generation of flying demon moths. This guy became even crazier because of the pleasure of gaining power. I didn't think about the consequences of doing this at all. Or maybe, people don't pay attention to the island country's demon world and the human world at all. What happened to this evil and extremely powerful demonic energy? In the distance, there is a temple halfway up the mountain. A mage who has been practicing for many years and has relatively deep SS is frowning. When he saw the swarms of poisonous moths attacking from the horizon, his expression was extremely solemn. Noticing the commotion in the village at the foot of the mountain, he did not think of staying out of it, but went down the mountain with a few disciples without hesitation. Arriving at a wide space in the village, he set up a barrier. Let all the villagers come in quickly. After holding up the barrier, he could no longer move. He could only ask his disciples to call as many villagers as possible into the barrier to take refuge. A few minutes later a swarm of moths arrived. Seeing the villagers gathered in the village, the moths immediately fluttered this way. However, the moment the demonic moths touched the barrier, they all hit their heads and were bleeding. Many of them fell to the ground and turned into purple spots of evil energy that dissipated. Finding that they couldn't get close to the human villagers, the moths began to throw poisonous powder. But such a thing as a barrier, which is against one's will, can even resist the evil poisonous powder, giving no chance to the little moths at all. The moths retreated, and the mage knelt down on one knee from exhaustion. Using a large-scale barrier to confront the swarm of moths like a torrent was still too much for him. Ha, ha. I finally managed to hold on. Although he worked very hard and reluctantly, he finally protected the village. The first moth harvesting army suffered a setback. And it's not just here. In other places, as long as there are witches trained in the village. As long as there are temples built around the village and guarded by magicians and priests with decent practices, those villages can be lucky enough to avoid disaster. Even in the small mountain village in the wilderness that Platycodon accidentally built, Abi, an eight-year-old girl with the talent of a witch. Discovered the danger in time she immediately organized everyone to hide in a cave in the back of the temple, and then she blocked it a very weak hidden barrier was built at the entrance of the cave to barely protect everyone. The little girl doesn't have much spiritual power, but she has grown up very quickly under the guidance of Platycodon's words and deeds, and she is also very smart. At least in this first wave, the moths failed. Abi, are you okay? In the cave, a bunch of uncles and aunts all expressed concern. Looking at the several inches of yellow moth powder accumulated on the ground at the entrance of the cave, everyone was indescribably frightened and swallowed their saliva wildly. Then they looked up at the petite and childish figure who did not retreat even a little bit, and they were even more grateful beyond words. At the same time, each of them seemed to have seen the gods in their hearts, and their eyes became extremely eager. It's okay, just rest for a while. After the little girl with a pale face finished speaking, she staggered and was about to fall down. Thanks to someone's quick eyesight and quick hands, he helped the little girl in time. So that she didn't knock her head against the hard and cold mountain wall after her spiritual power was exhausted. Abi. I'll take a nap. The little girl said, curled up into a ball and passed out. This time, everyone spontaneously protected the little girl in the middle. The weak have the ODs of the weak. A strong person naturally has a strong style. A powerful shrine maiden like Hitomi she didn't guard the village at all, but after setting up a limited barrier for the village at the foot of the mountain. She took the initiative to the village to eliminate those demon moths within sight. There is also Monk Yanya, a wandering mage, who also leads seven disciples with good cultivation SS. He travels non-stop to many villages and wilderness, taking the initiative to attack the swarms of moths in the sky. In addition, it is the power of the demon world. Because moths fly everywhere, they always pass through the territory of some powerful monsters. When encountering a big monster, the moth swarm will be completely burned by a burst of flame or a burst of thunder. When encountering mid to high level monsters and threshold level monsters with 4 star monster power, the moths can only admit that they are unlucky, and they will disappear in large pieces. 
If they accidentally broke into the secluded place of immortals or the sheltered place of gods, none of the little moths would survive. For example, Yao Lao Poison just waved his wooden cane and whipped up a wind of fairy power the moths near the valley evaporated in an instant, and the sky cleared up again. The poisonous moth with evil aura was completely defeated by the immortal power. Certain gods with artifacts in their hands can control the wind, rain, and thunder, with almost similar effects. Many forces unanimously attacked the demon moths under the command of Agat Maru, and the losses of the moths can be imagined. Why did the moths collect so few souls? It stands to reason that as the inheritance ceremony continues and the area affected by the moth swarm becomes larger and larger, more and more souls should be harvested. Can it be that those resources can still resist? Onimaru hadn't realized the difference between using this move during the day and using it late at night when everything was quiet. He got Tai Suya too early and broke the seal, so he expanded a bit too much. It is undeniable that this guy has huge capital. The power left to him by his ancestors from previous generations alone can help him easily reach the level of top-level monsters. In addition, with the help of the complete era tree, it is difficult for many top demons to do anything to him. But this era is no longer the era when his father bullied half of the island country into bloodbath. After hundreds of years, this land has long since recovered its vitality. Humph, it seems that the moths are acting too univocally. Onyx Maru murmured. Then another ability of the age tree was demonstrated, releasing the remnants of the monster army from back then. That is a monster that only comes from mainland China. Go, go, cooperate with my moths to the creatures on this land, and sacrifice more souls to me. His eyes were blood red. Thousands of monsters swarmed out from the branches of the age tree, flying to cause carnage in all directions. As long as the souls leave the body within the radiation range of his demonic power. Those souls cannot escape the hunting of the inheritance ritual, and are destined to be transformed into the resources needed for his growth. The millions of living souls and a large number of dead souls collected before were far from satisfying his appetite. This time, although the speed of the soul tide is slower, it is faster. The village that had been lucky enough to escape the disaster once again felt the taste of fear and despair. A large number of mountain spirits and wild monsters dormant in the mountains and fields were purged. Such as the central tribe of the demon wolf tribe. The central tribe, which was originally the strongest among the five tribes in the east, west, south, north. And the west tribe and the south tribe, which were not weak in strength, were all caught off guard by the sudden attack and suffered heavy losses. Countless transformed wolf monsters died one after another. The demon wolf clan, which was already in decline, became even more declining after this wave. Ganya belongs to the eastern tribe, and Gangya's fiancé belongs to the northern tribe. Because this guy had a marriage contract with the little princess of the northern tribe, in the later period, Gangya was able to become the leader of the entire demon wolf clan. And had the ability to enter the secret land of the demon wolf clan to obtain qualifications for five thunder finger. On the back of the flaming hoof. Platycodon was very uncomfortable. Otherwise, you'd better not go there. He doesn't even want to let go of the dead girl's soul in your body. If you continue to get closer, the few remaining souls will be forcibly taken away. Li Xia, who was holding the girl in his arms, frowned slightly. Kikyo's situation is dire. The pure white dead soul insects couldn't snatch the inheritance container light ball on the tree of time. If the strength of summoning the dead souls over there is 100, the little cuties here work together and go all out, and the binding strength on the dead souls is only 10. And the closer you get to Agat Maru, the stronger the summons from the other side becomes. Hundreds of miles away, the clay body of Platycodon looked as if the girl's soul was about to be drained out of her body again. If Li Xia hadn't held up the barrier to protect her and reduced the forcible restraint as much as possible. The half-blooded witch in her arms might have returned to the bloodlocked state with only a little blood left. You had expected that this would happen to me, right? Platycodon said in embarrassment. Being laughed at made her feel really bad. The conscience of heaven and earth. On horseback, Li Xia patted his conscience and cried out. Yes, the girl guessed it right. But he must deny it. He didn't mean to take advantage, he just wanted to remind Kikyo not to be too arrogant. Neriku's weaknesses have been clearly figured out for a long time, so where does he have the confidence to deal with Neriku alone? 
it's better to cooperate with him. And since he discovered sewing strange about Platycodon Grandiflorum, it was impossible for Li Xia not to pay attention to another place. Immediately he rode Yan Ho to the mountains where the ghost girl Li Tao was once active. The forest of no return where Anamara was causing trouble was indeed not far from there. After arriving at the place, Li Xia hurriedly looked for the person. Flame Pearl. Soon, he found the girl who was tightly protected by several red mutated dead soul worms and several pure white dead soul worms in the cave where the clay platycodon was born. Brother Xia, why are you here? The burgundy-haired Yan Zhu separated from the dead soul insect beside him and stuck out his head, with a look of joy on his face. Someone seemed to arrive very unexpectedly. Deep down in my heart, I became extremely happy because of this concern. It seems that these little red pets have done a great job. Seeing that the little girl was safe and sound, Li Xia was also relieved. At the beginning, he was actually not sure whether the mutated dead soul insects strengthened by multiple four soul fragments could withstand this wave but with a prepared mind. He did what he thought was right and what he should do. But at the moment, it seems that the red mutated dead soul insect did not disappoint him. It really blocked the force of restraint transmitted by the Tree of Time and the inheritance container of the flying demon moth. No, not only Yen Zhu was fine, but even after Kikyo entered the cave, the remaining girl's soul in her body no longer tried to break away from the clay fake body. I have received good protection from the mutated dead soul insects here. Brother Xia, what is happening outside? I saw many souls flying in one direction before. The little girl thought of sewing, with a flash of fear and fear on her face. Don't worry, everything will be fine soon. Li Xia comforted him with a few words. Beside, Kikyo saw everything in her eyes. The comfort of this place made her eyes flicker, and she looked at the man in front of her with deep surprise. Isn't this man prepared for a bad situation like today? Kikyo thought secretly. The red soul absorbing power of the dead soul bugs in the cave was infinitely stronger than her pure white dead soul bugs. Even with the powerful attraction of the huge era tree, these mutated dead soul insects can actually resist it quite easily. Thinking of this, he looked at Li Xia and became even more brilliant. What an awesome guy! This man looks at things as if he can see far away. And this made her curious to find out. At this moment, Li Xia looked back. Their eyes met, and both sides looked calm, at least that's what they showed. As for whether they are peaceful or not. But it is no longer known to outsiders. Miss Kikio, you can stay here and leave the huge age tree that shows signs of going berserk to me. What do you think? Li Xia said warmly. However, Kikio simply shook her head. If you are just one person, there is no need to take risks. Your strength alone is far from enough. Even when I am alive, I dare not say how sure I am of that level of demonic power and evil. If you have to go, better take me with you. The eyes of this legendary Miko shone with sincerity. Grandma Maple's Cabin. It hurts. Inuyasha, who had been sleeping for a long time, slowly woke up. After feeling the severe pain on the left side of my waist, I couldn't help but gasp. Inuyasha, are you awake? Chibao said in surprise. Chibao. What am I? Inuyasha's memory was obviously still in a state of confusion. You were seriously injured by a dangerous guy, but it would be nice to wake up. Xiao Chibao looked relieved. Later, after the little guy talked for a while, Inuyasha, whose memory was messy and confused, finally cleared his mind and remembered the previous complete defeat by Anamaru. That, hiss. When he wanted to get up, he touched the wound, causing his whole body to convulse in pain. Then he coughed several times. Don't move, I managed to bandage your wound with great difficulty. Chibao tried to dissuade him with concern. Why am I here? What happened to Mithraya? Why is he trembling? Is it that cold around here? Where is his left hand? The series of questions made Chibao organize his speech for a long time. You seem to have been defeated by the monster that attacked us. Ali, Hualu, and Granny Fong took me back to where you and Mithraya were, and found you unconscious on the ground. I later learned from Ma Ba that you he was saved by your brother Sesomaru. It was Granny Fong who tried to help Ailey before but inadvertently interrupted Ailey's rhythm. As for Mithraya? 
he was actually already dead at the time. Ah Ba said that the guy who defeated you first chopped off Mithraya's left arm and then his head. At this point, Xiao Qibao was a little speechless. Mithraya is so miserable. Mithraya, dead. Inuyasha was stunned. Pointing to the huddled figure in the corner, exuding a decadent air, his eyes were full of doubts and disbelief. No, isn't this a good life? Isn't it? Yes, it was your eldest brother who saved Mithraya with his natural tooth. To be precise, after everyone returned, they found that Mithraya had died in the battle. Ali learned about the situation from Aaba, so he took Aaba to catch up with you. Brother, he knelt down and begged him to take action. Only then did he save Lord Mithraya. Shippo's words were full of gratitude toward Sesomaru. At that time, he was crying so hard. After Mithraya was resurrected, he was extremely happy. Did I lose? Did I also Mithraya? Ali asked Sesomaru to take action, and then Mithraya was rescued. After figuring out the whole story, Inuyasha fell silent. For some reason, he felt like a failure. Mithraya had done so much for him at that time and secured a fairly fair fighting environment for him. But he failed to live up to Mithraya's efforts in forcibly using the wind cave to collect a large number of poisonous moths, and even indirectly ed Mithraya. Fifty years ago, he failed to protect Platycodon. Fifty years later, he failed to protect his companions again. By the way, where is my Tai Suya? Well, it seems that I have lost Tai Suya again. Damn it, damn it, damn it. He punched the wooden floor with one punch after another, smashing a big hole in the floor and ignoring the resulting wound. Okay Inuyasha, you have to recover from your injuries first. Chibao hugged the stubborn cow with his little arms. Now, in order to vent my inner reluctance, I hurt myself again. What's the use? It's better to recover from the injury and then find a way back. From the beginning to the end, Mithraya, who was curled up in the corner, did not say a word or say a word. At this time, the young mage's heart was completely shrouded by the shadow of death. After all, in the past, he had only imagined the scene of his death being swallowed whole by the wind cave, but he had never imagined that he would be decapitated. But at that time, when his left arm was chopped off by Agat Maru, he actually woke up from the pain. Because of this, I witnessed with my own eyes the scene where my head flew up and then landed. He had really experienced death and so on, and a seed called fear was planted in him. And until this moment, he has not yet calmed down or cheered up. He doesn't want to die. In the past, he boasted that his strength was not weak and that he could protect himself with the wind acupoint. Now, he doesn't want to face those dangerous monsters at all. Chibao, where are Ali and Coral? Inuyasha, who was forcing himself to calm down, asked this question when he didn't smell the scent of the two women in the village. They believed that Yun Yu was taken away by the guy who was currently disrupting the demon world, so they asked Abazai to chase him. Shippo replied as he let go of Inuyasha's arm. Inuyasha was shocked when he heard this. Why are Ali and Coral so reckless? His opponent can defeat him easily, how can he be easy to deal with? Moreover, it was the first time in his life that even he felt the huge evil aura filling the air. It's so strong that it just doesn't make sense. Beings that can release this kind of demonic energy are absolutely extremely powerful. No, I have to go. It's okay Inuyasha, Ali and Coral are following Sesomaru. As long as your brother is here, they will be fine. Shippo was surprisingly confident in Sesomaru. This embarrassed Inuyasha who struggled to get up. The island country's demon world. The rest are everywhere. Many big monsters from the older generation are actually ready to take action. Back then, they teamed up to defeat the monster moth and the monster army from the mainland. Now, although the only son of the flying monster moth has inherited the power of his father, he lacks time to accumulate it. If they take action in time, they will definitely be able to suppress this thunder. Don't worry, there are already young people taking action. In a paradise like a fairyland, an old man with a bald head and an unattractive look stopped Totozai who was observing everything through the image projected by the three-eyed cow. Hmm. Sesomaru's current strength alone may not be enough. Although I have handed over the underworld Zengetsu show to him, for now, that move has only been developed to the extent that he has developed a small-scale crescent slash. At that level, 
it cannot deal with the new generation of flying demon moths with powerful demonic power. Totosai frowned. Aren't there other young people? Moreover, the key to victory or defeat does not lie with Sesomaru, or rather with Tenga. The new generation of flying demon moth looked down upon Tai Suya very much. Tai Suya. The cloud palace of the dog clan high in the sky of the Western Kingdom. The lady, who had been silently observing her son through the mirror projection, watched the whole process with interest. Talk about it. Ever since her husband died and her son grew up and ran away from home, she hasn't been very happy. This doesn't feel like home. Being in the zenith cloud palace, it looks high and high, but in fact it is full of loneliness and loneliness. Says Homaru, why have you become like your father? How come you've been on the domineering path since childhood, and you've just followed your father's old path? And run away to get involved with humans? That human named Ling, I thought she was your pet before, but now it seems that I was negligent. A human woman first took away her husband, and now she wants to take away her lovely son. It seemed that it was necessary to give her son a warning the next time he came to visit her. At last. Return to Li Xia. He took the platycodon protected by multiple red mutated dead soul insects and headed straight for the forest of no return. The thousands meter long complete age tree is now in sight. What a spectacle. It is very similar to the scene of a certain Kage's ten-tailed sacred tree blooming. Are you okay? Li Xia looked at the oil bottle beside him. Let's go, cut off the connection between the other party and the Tree of Time as soon as possible, so that we can interrupt this forced soul claiming ceremony. Kikio took a deep breath and said. With the protection of many red dead soul insects, she was no longer as helpless as before. The two of them were the first to get here because of their flaming hoofs. I may not be able to take care of you for a while, so I will leave Yen Ho to you for the time being. Miss Kikio, please be careful. Thanks. Hearing this, Li Xia nodded and said nothing more. After putting the big Osmanthus mask on his face, he quickly completed his demonic attire. The magical costume form of Qingjiao appears. One after another, the two quickly flew over the thousand-meter-long crater that was torn apart when the era tree broke out of the ground. Go straight to the canopy of the huge era tree in the center of the pit and it. Thunder and lightning. The powerful demon power of the poisonous dragon quickly converged on the thunder gun of the fire tip gun. A thunderball with a diameter of several meters quickly took shape. More than 300 meters away from the huge era tree, Li Xia fired this thunderball full of destructive aura, which was also his first test. The huge thunderball slowly expanded while flying, and in a few blinks it struck the surface of the inheritance light ball at the top of the era tree's canopy. It exploded as soon as it made contact, sparkling with dazzling light and sputtering out destructive arcs of electricity. Is that useful? Platycodon grandiflorum, which was protected by the mutated dead soul insects and leaned back slightly, narrowed its eyes slightly. She was ready to draw her bow and arrow. When the light dissipated, the top of the era tree was missing a corner, but the inheritance light ball was safe and sound. It's really useless. Li Xia sighed secretly. In the original timeline, Inuyasha wielded the Tetsuya and slashed many times, but without exception, he was all carried down by the purple inheritance light ball. There seems to be an extremely powerful barrier on it. That should be a barrier passed down from generation to generation by the flying demon moth family. Wait a minute, General Quan deliberately left such a hidden danger, isn't it just for Taisuya? If that were the case, General Inu's arrangement would be really powerful. After all, the coral gems of the Hayakabat clan are only capable of supporting a powerful barrier, and are not yet capable of forming an advanced barrier with exclusive SS. The so-called powerful barrier is similar to the red barrier that Ocelot Oyakata can hold up, or the pink barrier that Naraku can hold up before Bailing Mountain. The main feature is that it is very hard and can resolve various physical attacks from the outside world, but it is also that's all. The advanced barrier is not only harder, but also has exclusive abilities. For example, Naraku after by Ling Shan in the original work, the open purple barrier can reflect various ability state attacks from monsters whose power is less than his own, similar to the mirror reflection of Kana mirror in addition. Naraku at this time, the open purple barrier it can also connect the present world with the next world, and once helped Naraku return to the present world from the monster cemetery. Another example is White Heart's sacred barrier, 
which can be infused with its own holy power. Making the barrier capable of suppressing evil spirits and demon blood, purifying all kinds of filth in the world, and even purifying people's hearts. Another example is the psychic barrier in the cave where Tsuezi's body is located, which can tell whether the person who wants to enter the cave has good intentions. If the visitor has malicious intentions, not only will he not be able to enter the cave through the barrier light screen, he will also be shocked by the barrier. Finally, Tai Suya carries the Tai Suya boundary that is not allowed to be used by monsters. It can distinguish humans, half demon, and monsters, and has different changes according to different holders. By the way, it can hurt people by grabbing the handle of the knife. Monster. The stronger the demon power accumulated in Tai Suya's blade, the stronger this barrier will be. At the moment, the barrier on the inheritance container of the flying demon moth family is at least a powerful barrier. Maybe it's an unknown advanced enchantment. And if Tai Suya can the flying demon moth and let the blade drink the demon blood of this super monster, then will Tai Suya, the tooth of destruction, be able to obtain a force specifically designed to destroy high level enchantments? What about ability? Whoosh! Immediately following Li Xia's lightning demon bullet was Kikyo's demon breaking arrow. However, the demon breaking arrows that used to defeat evil spirits seemed extremely weak now. The arrow wrapped in purple spiritual light exploded into faint star points the moment it came into contact with the purple ball of light. The demon breaking arrow is useless. How could it be? The girl's expression became more serious. Human mages and witches. Wrong. Just a dead Miko. Oh, why, the dead still want to save the living. In the purple light ball, Agat Maru, who had not yet completed his transformation, looked mockingly at Li Xia and Kikyo in midair. You are a half-baked human mage who relies on the power of monsters, and a dead human witch. You too want to protect this land. Ha, huh, let those old guys come out. It's not his fault he has the protection of the inheritance container. As long as General Inu and the super monster king of his father's level don't take action. No matter how many humans or monsters stop him, it is impossible to break the protective knot outside the inheritance container. The world hurt him. That is a heritage barrier blessed by ancestors of all generations. The only time it was breached and sealed was by that old dog. Li Xia was unmoved after hearing Agat Wan's mocking words. Instead, he looked at the huge era tree holding up the purple inheritance light ball. If I can't destroy the inheritance container, why can't I destroy this era tree? Without the assistance of the era tree, the ritual of forcibly collecting souls by the inheritance container will be interrupted. Platycodon can then let go. And by then, how many percent of your agat pill's transformation has been completed? How can you, who is forced to end his transformation early, be any better than a half-assed person like me? Thinking of this, Li Xia couldn't help but narrowed his eyes. Being laughed at by the other party as a half-hearted person made him feel quite unhappy. Even if he is indeed only half-assed in front of a truly strong person but, who do you think you are, Onyx Wan? In the theatrical version, he clearly inherited all the legacy of his father, and his appearance was very impressive, but he was easily eliminated by Inuyasha and Ali in a matter of seconds. A second-generation trash can have the nerve to laugh at a first-generation entrepreneur like him. Well, to a certain extent, he can be considered a second generation. It's just that the background isn't that strong. Miss Platycodon, use the demon breaking arrow to purify part of the trunk of the evil age tree below and cut off its connection with the inheritance container. When his voice fell, the girl on Yanho's back immediately understood his intention. His eyes lit up. On the fire tip gun. A fire dragon over a hundred meters flew out, penetrated into the weakest canopy area of the giant era tree, and burned it with blazing flames. At the same time, a purple radiant demon destroying arrow shot out and hit one of the trunks of the aged tree supporting the huge crown above. The purple brilliance bloomed, spread, and purified demonic power and evil, and the trunk of the tree of time immediately broke. A large section of hundreds of meters was purified in an instant. And there are only eight such trunks in the entire huge era tree. There are seven trunks left, let's continue. Li Xia's eyes were determined and he kept adding fire to the tree crown above Platycodon Grandiflorum. Which was more maneuverable on Yen whose back, stared at the remaining seven trunks connecting the tree crown below. Men and women cooperate in a two-pronged approach. 
This scene made many of the older generation who were paying attention behind the scenes marvel at it, and at the same time nodded with approval. When fighting, he can always keep some brains this young human being is not bad, not bad. Compared with Inuyasha in the original work who just blindly chopped down the inherited light ball and injured himself all over with such heroic force. This cooperation between Li Xia and Kikyo is undoubtedly more effective. Damn human mage, damn undead witch. Agat Maru, who witnessed all this in the inheritance container, was furious, and his eyes were so angry that he almost wanted to someone. But he is accepting the inheritance and using the pure demonic power transformed from the souls of countless creatures to achieve some kind of qualitative change and transformation. At this time, it is impossible to interrupt the inheritance and jump out to stop it. Each generation has only one chance to inherit. And he doesn't have much time. If he can work hard for a day, most of the old guys in this land will come to deal with him. Therefore, during this period, he must collect more souls to make himself stronger. Otherwise, we can only go back to the mainland in despair. But there is probably no room for their family now. Hateful. He had no choice but to ask his subordinates to come to the rescue. Li Li, Lu Li, and the subjects under my command, stop them both. Glass and Lioli, who were originally watching the battle with a sneer outside the pit, actually noticed sowing was wrong in the direction of the huge era tree. After hearing Agat Maru's somewhat angry orders, he was shocked and quickly responded. Yes, Lord Flying Moth. Immediately. One of the two of them flew towards Li Xia with a spear, and the other carried a pair of knives and flew towards Platycodon Grandiflorum on a large mica. There were also many remnants of the mainland monster army, all of them miscellaneous monsters, and they all flew in groups and pounced on the mage and witch duo. Seeing this, Li Xia snorted coldly. A bunch of cannon fodder. The lightning gun shot out a thunder dragon, and wherever it passed, the remnants of the monster army turned into dregs. Liuli used the cover of a large number of cannon fodder wielding knives and guns to get close to Li Xia, preparing for a sneak attack. On the other side, although Kikyo has difficulty moving, Yan Ho perfectly makes up for this shortcoming. And Yan Ho is both offensive and defensive. One breath of flames burned to death countless monsters and cannon fodder. The flexible posture in mid-air helped Kikyo avoid all harm. Not to mention being scratched by Luya, even the death soul insects around Kikyo showed no signs of being injured. This allows this legendary witch to act as a turret with peace of mind. Damn it! Riding the mica glass, he was so angry that he slapped the big cat on the head are you too useless? In terms of speed, flexibility, and attack ODs, mica simply cannot compare with flame hoof. The only advantage of mica is its sharp teeth and claws. But the problem is, inflammation of the hoof doesn't need those at all. This flaming horse can spit out demonic fire and thunder, and is quite powerful, which greatly makes up for its own attack capabilities. In addition, its fast movement speed and explosive speed, coupled with its dexterous body SS, make it even more difficult for people to hurt it. The flying advantage that Micah had in the past was completely crushed in front of Yanho. The two of them are not on the same level. Swish swish. Platycodon Grandiflorum took advantage of Yen Tu's buying time to shoot five arrows in a row. Each arrow hit a main stem. In other words, only the last two main trunks are left supporting the tree crown of hundreds of meters and the inheritance light ball at the top with a diameter of 20 to 30 meters. Once obtained, the inheritance light ball will definitely fall into the underground pit, and the inheritance ceremony will be interrupted. Although this will also severely damage the huge era tree after all. It is the eight demon-breaking arrows that forcefully eat the remaining blood of Platycodon Platycodon, but things must be prioritized. Zitzi. Boom. A thick purple lightning blast struck Li Xia, who had just had a group of bull-headed and horse-headed humanoid monsters armed with knives and guns. This is what Agate Pill has been preparing for for a long time. Xia Jun. In the distance, on a white cloud, Ali and Coral exclaimed. Sha Dian, who was riding in the clouds next to him, felt his ears buzzing a little. The high decibels of human women are really harsh. It's better for Xiaoling, she will never be so loud. By the way, if she were in danger, would Ling lose her sense of proportion like this? Sesomaru thought this secretly. The speed of approaching the battle circle increased. 
On the other end, Li Xia bared his teeth and said, Agat Wan, you are really tolerant, and you only chose to take action at this time. He looked calm and calm, obviously well prepared. He turned over his hand and took out a purple gold card. Immediately afterwards, he saw two giant burgundy ghost hands protruding from it, crossing each other in front of him. Just in case, he also put a layer of barrier on himself. The purple beam of destruction struck, a destructive S that was far superior to Inuyasha's earth-level wind damage. Facing this force, Shan Gui quickly crossed his arms to block the front. Boom. Sizz. The area where Li Xia was was instantly flooded. The wind injury was unable to damage the giant ghost's arm. At this time, hundreds of wounds of various sizes were opened directly by the violent energy. This shows that Agat Maru is preparing a sharp attack. However, this blow can only inflict the most damage to the mountain ghost. After all, the mountain ghost not only perfectly absorbed the giant ghost from the multi-pagoda, but also strengthened its body to a certain extent with the help of a large number of four soul fragments. In other words, the super high physical resistance and magic resistance of this giant ghost's body have been increased. And this enhancement will not disappear due to the loss of the four soul fragments. When Ali shot the Four Souls Jade, the Monster Corpse Dance Crow, which had completed its initial transformation but lost the complete Four Souls Jade and continued to strengthen, did not degenerate back into the form of a little crow. This illustrates the strengthening effect of the Four Souls Jade on the physical body. Is long lasting. The purple destructive light that Onyx Maru activated with the help of the Inheritance Light Ball was indeed very fierce. It's a pity that after completing the entire inheritance ceremony, it is not the super powerful purple destructive light that can attack more than 10 miles away. A bereaved dog who escaped from the mainland, is this all you can do? The destruction beam dissipated, and in the smoke, a pair of arms retracted into the purple gold card. At the same time, Li Xia's voice came from it. What did you say? In the inheritance light ball, Agat Pill was furious and gnashed his teeth. He hated it when others poked their sore feet. However, it would be difficult for him to the opponent in a short period of time if he had that hand on his side. Suddenly, he thought of sewing. And immediately mobilized the demonic power in the inheritance container to control the huge era tree and consume a lot of his original demonic power to grow more thick roots and branches from the ground. Don't you want to cut down the tree? Come, let me chop it up. It depends on whether you cut it faster or I grow it faster. Several tree roots spread along the main trunk of the aged tree, and I believe they will soon be able to connect and replace the previously broken part. Want to cut down a tree? Hmm, not that easy. When Li Xia saw this, he raised his eyebrows and threw out the purple gold card. After the brilliant brilliance, a giant ghost that was hundreds of meters tall appeared in the eyes of the world. There are mountain ghosts blocking those tree roots and branches that are obviously a lot thinner, which is enough. Is that the mountain ghost I gave to Li Xia? Why has the aura become so much stronger? What happened in the middle? Sesomaru, riding the clouds in the distance, was coming here at full speed, with a look of surprise in his eyes. He was really shocked. The mountain ghost was originally a little follower he surrendered casually, and was given to Li Xia two or three months ago. I never thought that the big guy who was originally just bigger, stronger but with very poor monster power and strength would suddenly transform into a big monster after disappearing for a short period of time. And it's quite powerful. I underestimated you, Mr. Xia. This is the first time that your noble master treats someone as an equal. No more sliding. The mountain ghost was like a meteor, hitting several tree roots that were climbing up quickly from above and diagonally, immediately interrupting Agat Maru's hand. But this second generation demon didn't panic at all. Instead, he felt secretly happy that his conspiracy had succeeded. Human, without the protection of that giant ghost, let me see what trump cards you have. He immediately glanced at Liu Li. This loyal maid was also unequivocal and immediately rushed forward with a group of monsters. Li Xiar, who was in the form of the Qinglong magic suit, was very sharp and quickly noticed Liu Li who had been dormant around him for a long time, waiting for an opportunity to move at any time. Stuff in the ditch. His eyes narrowed with disdain as if Guan Gong was taking the enemy general's head out of thousands of troops, and then he swept out his tail, exploding countless cannon fodder. 
Then he divided the fire-tipped spear into two parts, with one hand of flame and the other of thunder, and ate several monsters in front of him. Anyone who stands in his way will die. He is invincible. And he quickly caught the hidden venomous snake. The thunder gun was thrown out by him and hit Lioli's chest. The witch was so shocked that she had to give up the damaging move she had prepared in advance and could only try her best to protect herself. Her spear suddenly turned into a long snake. The transformation of a spear demon into a snake and insect is a technique inherited from the mainland or to be more precise, the spear. Itself was forged and transformed by a special snake demon through a certain technique. During combat, if the wielder wants it to become a spear, it is a spear. If you want it to turn into a poisonous snake, it will become a poisonous snake. Very flexible and cunning. And this change really forced Li Xia to take a defensive stance. After all, the spear that was originally unable to pierce him suddenly turned into a snake head that could turn and pounce directly on his neck. Snort. In the first move, the opponent changed his moves too quickly, and because he lacked the mind-reading SS of the Mountain Ghost, he failed to succeed. But with this experience, he no longer gave Lioli a chance to avoid the second attack. The left hand that was left free after throwing the thunder gun suddenly condensed a wave of demonic power, forming a vortex in the palm of his hand. He had learned a repulsive force technique before based on this idea, he specially studied the black hole S of the Qinkuan Changdao and copied it. Imitating the current move similar to a certain shadow's all things heavenly induction. It can suddenly exert a pulling force on targets within a range of 100 meters and quickly pull them towards you. The size of this pulling force depends on the demon power and mana he uses, as well as the relative distance between the opponent and him. At the moment, Li Xia is in the form of the Azure Dragon demonic costume, and the demonic power he exudes is at the level of a five-star great demon. The distance from Liu Li is only 10 meters. Moreover, this change of his was also done in a flash of lightning, giving the witch in front of him no chance to react. Come here you. Facing Liu Li's frightened expression, Li Xia grabbed the woman's neck. My unicorn arm now not only has the blessing of the demon power of Inu Admiral and Sesomaru, but also has the increase of dragon power. The power was so great that if he didn't take the initiative to restrain most of his strength, the banshee who was strangled by his neck would probably die on the spot. But even if he restrained his strength, the woman would still not feel better. Pfft. Blood splattered. The blue magatama in the center of his eyebrows was picked out by the tip of the fire-pointed spear. This was regarded as severing the master-servant connection and resurrection OD between the other party and Onyx Maru. Immediately afterwards, a large number of spirit-sealing talismans greeted him. Seal. Without giving Lioli any chance to struggle, Li Xia used mage ODs to forcibly seal it into a fine middle-grade spirit-sealing talisman. The whole process was smooth and seamless. It was too late for Agat Maru to save him. Of course, Amon Maru wouldn't save him even if he could. He was just waiting for his maid to create a perfect opportunity for him to take action. No, the opportunity has come. How dare you turn your back to me? This human being simply didn't take him seriously. In this case, don't blame him for the sneak attack. Die. An extremely fast lightning shot out. Although the destructive power of this lightning beam is far less than the purple destructive beam that had been gathering momentum for a long time, it still has a good lethality. It is estimated that the wind damage is two or three times that of Inuyasha. Even if he saw Platycodon not far away, he almost couldn't help but waste one of the only two arrows left to rescue him. That's too late. The girl secretly said. After all, there was some distance between her and Li Xiao. Even the speed of the arrow coupled with the inertial speed of Yanho was not as good as the lightning. After hesitating for zero. One seconds, she gritted her teeth and could only completely believe Li Xia, who had her back turned to the lightning, and she shot the seventh arrow towards the time tree. Two balls of purple light exploded. Platycodon's arrow accurately hit the seventh trunk of the huge arrow tree supporting the crown it successfully broke the trunk. Which was more than 10 to 20 meters thick, and purified a large section hundreds of meters long out of thin air. It even purified many cannon fodder monsters attached to the tree trunks. As a result, only the last trunk was left to support the huge canopy of the blazing fire and the inheritance light ball at the top. Countless cannon fodder scrambled to protect this main trunk regardless of life or death. 
Another group of purple light was caused by the purple thunder emitted by Onyx Maru with the help of the power of the inheritance container, which exploded after hitting Li Xiao. Succeeded. Onyx Maru grinned. It makes you arrogant, makes you dare to look down on me, a mere half-baked human mage, you are worthy. After smiling, Agatemaru couldn't laugh anymore. Instead, he looked unwilling and angry. How can it be? Oh, nothing is impossible. In the flashing purple light, Li Xia said calmly. At this moment, every inch of his body was covered with dragon scales. These were originally just the three star scales of the poisonous dragon. But due to the dragon bone spirit's huge demonic power and the reinforcement of a large number of four soul fragments, they became extremely hard. It is no exaggeration to say that Li Xia's physical strength in this state is almost comparable to the steel body of the residual blood dragon bone spirit. And that unicorn arm is even more ferocious. With just one arm, he steadily blocked the thick purple lightning several meters in diameter. Sitsizi. The lightning struck the dragon scales and the entire left arm, unable to harm him at all. How could you, a mere human being, do this? Agate Pill looks ferocious. His chest kept rising and falling with anger. He wanted to end the inheritance immediately. He wanted to use his transformation body, which was less than half completed, to tear apart the ants outside. What happened to that arm? Why can you block my attack? After all, Li Xia's Kirin arm is filled with the demonic power of the three great monsters, Inu Deus Ho, Sesomaru, and Dragon Bone Spirit. Two of them are not just ordinary top demons, they are the top demon kings on the island nation. The dragon scales on the left unicorn arm can be used as a layer of armor and a shield the three strands of monster power are the best logistical support. If you want to break through this layer of defense head-on, you must at least use the mountain cannon level wind damage that Sesomaru wields to be safer. Hey, you lost dog who fled from the mainland, what, is this all you have? Did your father only teach you the S of sneak attacks? These words made many of the older generation watching the game feel happy behind the scenes. Feel refreshed. At that time, their aggrieved feeling of being suppressed by the previous generation of flying monster moths and almost suffocating finally dissipated a lot. Li Xia, who was completely unaware of this, sneered and used his left arm to blast the purple lightning directly towards the group of monsters on the side. It was unknown how many casualties were caused in an instant. This also made Agate Maru's face look even uglier. Just then, Kikyo avoided the entanglement between the glass and a group of monster cannon fodder, found an opportunity, and shot the eighth arrow at the giant arrow tree. As long as this arrow hits the last eighth trunk, the huge tree crown that is being engulfed in flames and the inheritance container on it will lose support and fall from an altitude of more than 3,000 meters. Onyx Maru will also be forced to interrupt the transformation process. But when Li Xia saw Platycodon hurriedly shooting the arrow, he secretly said, Oh no. Platycodon, I'm so impatient. Perhaps it was because of the loss of the dead soul insects, or perhaps it was to reduce the casualties in the distant human villages, which made the witch become a little anxious. However, being anxious often fails to achieve the goal. There was a flash of purple light at the top of the tree crown. A purple demon power thunder pierced through the lush canopy of the tree, and immediately blocked the path of the demon breaking arrow, which quickly offset it. It was difficult to intercept you before. I don't know which pillar you will destroy. Choosing one out of eight or one out of two can go wrong. But if there is only the last pillar left, I won't have to worry about guessing, he he he. After all, there was only one answer to the multiple choice question, so why should he hesitate? Even with her eyes closed, she knew the target of the human Miko's arrow. Agate Maru, who accurately intercepted the arrow, looked much better. Then just shoot another arrow. Kikio snorted coldly. But she reached for the arrow basket behind her back and suddenly froze. She touched nothing. It turns out that there are no arrows in the arrow basket. The arrow just shot was already the last one. Her turret was misfired. Ahaha. Otherwise, why do you think I didn't stop you before? What I'm waiting for is just because you were too impatient and careless. Agate Pill laughed wildly. It can be said that he is very satisfied. Isn't it because he had endured so long without taking action against the astonishingly mobile Miko that he could deceive her with an arrow at the last moment? 
he observed many details of the two of them. Naturally, he had to pay attention to how many arrows there were in the basket. He he, finally his adventure was not in vain. With the super defensive ability of the human mage, he was able to protect himself, but unfortunately he did not have a powerful attack OD, so he could not cut off the last pillar. As for the Miko without the demon breaking arrow, there was no threat to him at all. Not enough to be afraid of. It might even become a burden to the human mage. This wave is stable. But at this moment, the other direction, to be precise, it was the direction behind Agat Maru. A similar purple demon busting arrow pierced the sky, spanning two to three hundred meters without moving forward. Destroying countless miscellaneous monsters who tried to block the arrow along the way. Finally, it didn't miss the target and hit the eighth trunk, which was more than ten meters thick. Immediately, pure purple light of purification exploded. The last pillar collapsed. Onyx Maru suddenly turned around, his proud look disappeared, replaced by a look that could. Fortunately, I hit it. On a cloud, Ali cheered himself up happily. So close. Coral was worried about her little sister Ailey. Just now, my companion almost missed his shot. Miko. Miko again. The canthus of the agate pill is about to split. How unreasonable. Agate Maru, I never expected that I could hit that last arrow. On Yen Ho's back, Kikio showed a gentle smile. Do you think I don't know how many arrows are left in my basket? Oh, how is that possible? As someone who is accustomed to using bows and arrows, how could I not pay attention to this detail? You thought I only had this last arrow left. And I also want to tell you that I only have this last arrow left. When you focus more on my last arrow, and most of the rest of your attention is scattered on Inuyasha's brother and Lysia. Ali, a human being who is extremely easy to be ignored, will have great hope. At least I am more confident than myself that I can succeed with one arrow. Ali did not let himself down. His reincarnation, which had just entered the edge of the battlefield, shot an important arrow. Agat Maru, you pay too much attention to superficial details on the contrary, you ignore the deeper details. Kikio rode Yen Ho and retreated slightly. To prevent being targeted by an angry opponent. In this wave, she was on the first floor on the surface on Amaru and Li Xia were both deceived into being on the second floor and then there was her with scheming intentions. But in fact she was standing on the third floor like a matryoshka doll. In other words, she on the first level is just a cover, a disguise. In the original work, Platycodon shoots the turtle demon with an arrow. But the demon breaking arrow cannot be effective on the turtle shell so he pretends to retreat, attracting the turtle demon to stick his head out and attack. At this time, the man turns back and est the turtle demon with a headshot. The fighting talent is absolutely not low. Um. At least he's smarter than Inuyasha, who only knows the front. The huge tree crown lost its support and immediately fell freely from above. The momentum was very strong. After a burst of gravitational acceleration, it would surely roll along the edge of the huge tree of time and crash into the abyss. And because the inheritance container was disconnected from the time tree, Anamaru could no longer directly control the huge time tree to assist him at this time. Damn it, damn it. What a stinky woman, actually playing tricks on him. Crunch, crunch. The inheritance light ball fell off from the tree crown that was burning with blazing flames and leaning and falling rapidly. The inheritance ceremony has since been interrupted. This also makes all the sacred trees within the radiation range of the flying demon moth's demonic energy have all restored their self and no longer grow wildly. It quickly fell silent. For example, although the mouth of the bone-eating well has been blocked by a three-meter-tall sacred tree that has grown inexplicably, at this time, the tree has stopped sprouting and growing. At the same time, the sacred tree that had hung in Yasha for fifty years as well as the many sacred trees planted in shrines in various places, stop taking root and spreading their branches and leaves. In addition, the huge era tree itself has stopped extracting heat energy from each era. That's right. This complete tree of time of the flying demonic moth clan is so powerful and special. This demonic tree with huge demonic power, at a specific moment of rampage, once it is blessed by the extremely majestic demonic power of the flying demon moth and reaches the level of seven-star demonic power. 
its root system can penetrate the time and space barriers of different eras. Similar to the space passage in the bone-eating well, thereby capturing the mysterious spiritual factors and heat energy that are floating between heaven and earth in time and space. The price is to be targeted by the powerful men of those eras and worlds. Why is the era tree named era tree? Most likely there is such a reason. If Li Xia and others do not stop Agat Maru's actions, the modern world where Ali is located will usher in a cold winter that looks like December in the summer months of June and July. It is inevitable for blizzards to fall and freeze everything. The original momentum of the inert spiritual energy factor to become active again, which is the so-called spiritual energy recovery, will be forcibly terminated. And this is probably a major reason why the prophecies inherited by the Maya in the modern world have lost market in later generations. Li Xia, Platycodon and others teamed up to stop Agat Maru's actions, which was undoubtedly a timely protection for many other parallel worlds marked by the giant era tree. For example, in the Peninsula Li family in the modern world, everyone looked at the dark clouds in the sky that were quickly dispersing with a look of surprise. It's said to be a cloud, but it's actually a cold wave that can turn midsummer into winter in an instant. But somehow, the cold wave dissipated midway. The summer that is gradually getting hot has just turned into a warm spring with blooming flowers. The weather is nice. It can save several days of air conditioning expenses. Agat Wan could no longer hear the teasing of the older generation of the Lee family. At this moment, he was furious. My own huge tree of time, with a trunk of several kilometers and a root system of tens of thousands of meters. Lost the restraint of the inherited light ball and no longer extended its roots to assist him in accordance with the instructions of the flying demon moth who had not yet completely transformed. He did. Unexpectedly, he quickly retracted to protect himself, trying to get into the ground and lie dormant. And the retraction speed is several minutes faster than the falling speed of the inheritance light ball. Have you even lost faith in me? Agat Maru looked a little dazed. The inheritance light ball smashed into the deep pit splashing a large amount of smoke and dust, and woke him up from his panic. I cannot sit still and wait for death. The transformation must be ended early, and the few humans in the outside world and the old dog's eldest son must be sent away first. Just now, he focused most of his attention on the undead Miko. And divided the remaining attention into two parts on the human mage named Li Xia and the big dog demon Sesomaru, so he didn't pay too much attention to the other two. A human Miko. In the end, it was the human Miko who had failed to deal with Liu Li before and seemed useless at first glance, who gave him a heads up. What a pretend to be a pig and eat the tiger. Been taught a lesson. When I absorb all the last wave of souls and convert them into demon power, then, hum, you will be able to see it. Inside the inheritance container that expanded to nearly 40 meters, Agat Maru snorted coldly. Although the inheritance ceremony has been interrupted. The living souls and dead souls who have no physical bodies to rely on and are within a hundred miles of the surrounding area will still be forcibly drawn by the inheritance light ball. He had no intention of wasting these souls, which numbered more than one hundred thousand. However, what he didn't expect was. From the northeast, dozens of red mutated dead soul insects about ten meters long flew in and swallowed up almost all the souls in that direction. Dozens of red dead soul worms open their mouths like a whale swallowing a cow and drinking, and they will not reject anyone who comes. Surprisingly efficient. Dare to come and intercept my who? Veins appeared on Agat Maru's forehead. However, the next moment, a dog-shaped cloud dispersed in the northwest, also blocking all souls in that direction. Why are there so many nosy guys? It's bad for him. Before he could curse, a celestial force suddenly rose into the sky from the southwest, forming a huge but thin barrier. Although this barrier is very thin, thousands of souls cannot pass through it. Agat Maru suddenly didn't know what to say. Finally, in the southeast, where the response is slowest and least efficient, countless human mages, witches, and priests took action, all trying to intercept human souls as much as possible. Then let these souls spontaneously return to the bodies of the victims. Everyone can be saved. Agate Pill. Why does he feel that he is in trouble? This posture can almost keep up with the battles my father faced back then, right? Humans, monsters, immortals. All are ready to mess with him. 
Perhaps, before the transformation is completed, before reaching the height of the Father, one should not be so arrogant. Damn it, it's all that human mage's fault, it's all the fault of those two witches if it weren't for them, my transformation would have been very easy. By then, even if it's not as strong as my father's back then, even if there aren't many generals to assist me. I can also fight against all the immortals, monsters, gods, and humans on this land with my own strength. After the resentment, I had to face reality. Now, he can only leave the inheritance light ball to end the sacrifice ceremony, and then fight with his last resort. As the purple light ball opened a portal, a huge figure 40 to 50 meters high appeared in the pit. Onimaru reappears in a gigantic form. An unusually terrifying momentum rose from the pit, and a radius of more than 20 miles was covered by dark demonic clouds, with lightning and thunder in the clouds. Around him, the powerful demonic wind invisible to the eye formed a huge tornado in his perception, full of aura. Even if the transformation has not been completed, is it still so powerful? On Yen Ho's back, Platycodon Grandiflorum looked solemn. Sesomaru on the other side pulled out the Gon Blade and the Kun Blade, and quickly completed the combination of the two demon swords, responding with the same seriousness. Not to mention Ali and Coral. Hmm. Where is the human mage? Agat Maru, or the new generation of flying demon moth, glanced around the scene with confusion in his eyes. He had just seen his maid, Glass, being chased by the other party, and they were chasing and escaping while fighting each other. Why did the person disappear in the blink of an eye? That's all. Let's deal with the nosy guys in front of us first. Says Homaru, let's start with you. Your father had to have many big monsters intervene before he defeated my father by chance. Now, it's better for us to continue the fair fight that the previous generation failed to complete and fight vigorously. How do you compare? When he said this, he looked deeply at the noble master on the clouds for a while, and glanced at his own purple inheritance container with a diameter of only two meters next to him without any trace. If he could the big dog of Lao Go's family, it would shock all parties and buy some time for him to restart the sacrificial ritual and collect souls with the help of the inheritance container. As long as he can climb to the height of his father, this land can be harvested by him. Even if he was only half as good as his father in his heyday, the big monsters on this land would not dare to come and cause trouble for him. Therefore, it is best to make an appointment with Sesomaru and challenge each other. It's best if you can take down the opponent beautifully. It would be great if the two human witches with powerful spiritual powers could be actively restrained from the battle circle by the big dog. After being slapped in the face one after another, how could he dare to underestimate a human witch? Then let's fight. The arrogant Sesomaru sent Ali and Coral to the outskirts as expected. At the same time, he glanced at Kikio who landed on the ground not far away. Their eyes met, and nothing was said. The glory of the dog clan, the reputation of his father, and the obsession to surpass his father made it impossible for him to join forces with the human Miko. His father was able to defeat the extremely powerful previous demon moth, but there was no reason why he couldn't defeat the half-crippled new demon moth. War. Then, he faced Agat Maru with the Chinkuan sword. The collision of two fierce demonic energies, purple on one side and blue on the other, caused the air in the pit to explode and splash out with bright blue-purple light. Can you win? Ali said worriedly. At first, the purple that caught my eyes suppressed the blue that Sesomaru represented. In terms of the amount of demonic power, Onyx Maru has the upper hand. This also made him secretly happy. But soon, Sesomaru, who took the opportunity to train himself, broke some of the shackles in his heart, and a blue thunder dragon roared into the sky. Hold head high. When Onyx Maru saw this, his eyes became fierce, and he immediately shot a purple beam of light from the Magatama gem between his eyebrows. Sesomaru, die. If he had successfully completed his transformation like in the original movie version, this destructive beam could travel more than ten miles. It's a pity that he is far behind now. On the other side, Sesomaru swung the Chinkuan sword with all his strength, and a thunder dragon swung its sharp claws and tore it out. Aulong Pa. The two faced each other hundreds of meters apart. By the way, where is Li Xia? Underground.